Chapter 561 Reward Li Shiming took out his identity jade plate and checked his contribution points. There were many contribution points. His consciousness controlled the jade plate of identity. And he used his contribution points to order a large number of third-grade alchemy materials. What he needs to refine is the food of Silver-winged spirit goo insect A third-grade elixir called Spiritual insect golden yang pill When the Silver-winged spirit goo insect Is sleeping in the Goo wind bag The Goo wind bag Can provide the Silver-winged spirit goo insect With the energy it needs to survive But after the Silver-winged spirit goo Is summoned it still needs food to improve itself. This food is also the unique food. Spiritual insect golden yang pill that Brother Zhao summarized after long-term research. The alchemy materials required for the spiritual insect golden yang pill are not particularly precious. For Li Shiming, it can be fully supported by exchanging large quantities of contribution points. While he was waiting for the sect to deliver the alchemy materials for the spiritual insect golden yang pill, he received news from his master, Brother Hu. He left the cave and went to the cave of Monk Hu in Sixiang Cave. Although he had no contact with the outside world during this period, some monks seeking elixirs would send him news from the outside world from time to time. Among them was congratulations to Brother Hu for killing Brother Zhao of the Gu Feng sect. This achievement was extremely dazzling in the eastern Qi continent. You must know that the great monk is not that easy to kill. It is possible to defeat the great monk, but it is difficult to kill the great monk. Every great monk has grown up through countless life and death battles. And the weaker ones have long since fallen. Not to mention that the great monks have access to higher quality resources. Which makes the great monks have stronger life-saving capabilities. Brother who killed Brother Zhao. This achievement was the first time in the past 3,000 years of the Eastern Qi continent. Brother whose reputation has become even greater. And his status in the 10,000 beasts sect has even improved. Li Shiming didn't say anything. He would not tell others that Brother Zhao was attacked twice by him using a fourth grade black armor puppet. Brother Zhao's spirit worms came back and killed Brother Zhao. The greater the reputation of Brother Hu, the more benefits it will bring to him. He came to the cave of his master, Brother Hu, and the body of Brother who received him in the hall. There is no need to salute. Just feel free to come to my place. Brother Hu waved his hand to stop Li Shiming from making a salute. He regarded Li Shiming as one of his own. Although he had accepted him as a disciple before, his feelings needed to be cultivated. And accepting him as a disciple would not mean he would fully accept him. It was different now. Li Shiming informed him of Brother Zhao's whereabouts, which benefited him a lot. He fell in love with Li Shiming even more. Yes, Master! Li Shiming obeyed and sat at the bottom seat. I called you here this time for a reward. This is a reward for you. Brother who waved his hand, and five flying swords landed in front of Li Shiming. Li Shiming picked up the five flying swords and found that the five flying swords were a set of fourth grade magic weapons. And their quality reached the upper grade fourth grade. It seems that brother who saw that he didn't have any decent magic weapons after he reached the nascent soul stage. So he prepared this set of fourth grade high level magic weapons for him that perfectly matched his attributes. For early yuanying monks like Li Shiming, the fourth grade high grade magic weapon is already the best magic weapon. Not to mention that this is a set of five pieces of the fourth grade high grade flying sword magic weapon. The actual quality is better than a single four grade flying sword magic weapon. The upper level magic weapon is even better. Thank you, master. Although Li Shiming has his own plan. With this set of fourth grade high level flying swords, he can also be used for appearance in ordinary battles. Although the fourth grade magic weapon he refined is extremely powerful, it is still a weapon of calamity. However, Every time it is used, the enemy needs to be silenced, so that other monks cannot find out that the magic weapon he uses is abnormal. You must know that even a great monk may not have a fourth grade weapon in his hand. This is a magic weapon that surpasses the level of the fourth grade top magic weapon. Actually, this set of flying swords is not enough to reward you for your contribution. After you advance to the middle stage of nascent soul, I will give you some rewards personally, brother who said with a smile. Master, Thank you, Li Shiming said modestly. You know, the Gu Feng sect suffered heavy losses this time. After Zhao Qi Feng was killed, we raided the Gu Feng sect's monks again and dealt a heavy blow to the Gu Feng sect. After Gu Feng sect heard about Zhao Qingfeng's death, they immediately reduced their strength and evacuated from the Eastern Qi continent. They will not be able to come to the Eastern Qi continent for at least four to five hundred years. And it may even take longer, brother who said with a big smile. 
Why is this? Li Shiming asked with some confusion. The Gu Feng sect does not have no enemies in the southern Zhao continent. Their strength has dropped significantly this time, and they have no remaining strength to fight externally. Even the Gu Feng sect's basic base in the southern Zhao continent may not be able to be preserved. Brother Hu said. He explained. Li Shiming finally understood that the Gu Feng sect's biggest loss was the death of Brother Zhao. A great monk is the foundation of a great power. The death of any great monk is an extremely serious loss to the great power. A great monk is enough to suppress an area. When a great monk dies unexpectedly, the area under his control will be targeted by other major forces. If Gu Feng Sek does not handle it properly, perhaps Gu Feng Sek will become weaker and weaker from now on, either being swallowed up by other big forces or becoming a small and medium-sized force. The reason for all this came from the information provided by Li Shiming to Brother Hu, which allowed Brother Hu to find Brother Zhao. Even without Brother Hu, Brother Zhao would have been killed by the backlash of his own spiritual worms. However, Brother Hu witnessed the death of Brother Zhao with his own eyes, and the meaning was different. Brother Zhao died silently, no matter Gu Feng sect or other sects. They would not regard Brother Zhao as dead. Instead, they would still count Brother Zhao among the combat power of Gu Feng sect. However, with the proof of Brother Hu and the evidence of Brother Zhao's Yuanying being destroyed, all the forces knew that the Gu Feng sect was missing a great monk. There haven't been any major events in the recent period. You must hurry up and practice this set of flying swords until you are proficient in using it. Your realm does not match your magic weapon. Brother who finally gave instructions to Li Shiming. Brother who didn't know that Li Shiming had the natal magic weapon of the sky strike thunder hammer. He had some guesses about Li Shiming's natal magic weapon. It should be an auxiliary natal magic weapon. Although Li Shiming did not tell Brother who explicitly, he still revealed it in his words. Li Shiming returned to the cave and he had no intention of refining this set of 4th grade high level flying swords called Colorful Flying Phoenix Swords into his own magic weapon. He separated a part of his brain specifically to refine the Bicolored Flying Phoenix Sword. As Brother Who said, he must at least practice the Bicolored Flying Phoenix Sword until he is proficient in its use so that he can use some sword training methods instead of having to use lightning techniques with bare hands every time. In addition, he also has a separate brain that controls the water thunder nascent soul to sacrifice and refine the water dragon talus robe. Except for the fire and thunder nascent soul, the other three nascent souls have entered the state of cultivation. A few days later, the sect sent the materials for the spiritual insect golden yang pill, and Hule Yuaning began to refine the pill in batches. To refine the third grade spiritual insect golden yang pill, he can use the third grade pill furnace to refine ten furnaces of spiritual pills at the same time. In this way, every time you refine it, you can produce a top-level elixir. After the first third-grade top-level, Spiritual Insect Golden Yang Pill was released. He used 20 brains to summon the Silver-Winged Spiritual Goo Insect. He sent the third-grade top-notch Spiritual Insect Golden Yang Pill to the Silver-Winged Spiritual Goo Insect. And for the first time, the Silver-Winged Spiritual Insect Insect expressed joy. When Li Shiming sent the joy of the Silver-winged spirit goo insect. He couldn't help but be startled. He did not expect that the Silver-winged spirit goo insect could express such emotions. According to Brother Zhao's research on Silver-winged spirit goo insects. Silver-winged spirit goo insects cannot communicate. Brother Zhao has tried countless times without making any progress. Only then did he have the absolute S answer. Obviously, there are still problems with Brother Zhao's research. Li Shiming did feel the joy of the Silver-winged spirit goo insect. This shows that in addition to the crazy consciousness, the silver-winged spirit goo insect also has other emotions, but they are usually hidden in the crazy consciousness and cannot be discovered. The top-level third grade spiritual insect golden yang pill is a key that unlocks the hidden emotions of silver-winged spiritual goo insect. In fact, Brother Xiao also used the third grade top grade spiritual insect golden yang pill to feed Silver-winged spirit goo insects. The third grade. Spiritual insect golden yang pill. Is not a particularly precious elixir. And its materials are very easy to obtain. As long as the amount of spiritual elixir materials is large enough. An alchemy master with sufficient skills. Will still have a chance to refine the top quality. Spiritual insect golden yang pill. However. There is a difference between the top level. Spiritual insect jin yang pill. Refined by other alchemy masters. And the top level. Spiritual Insect Jinong Pill Refined by Li Shiming 
The top level. Spiritual insect golden yang pill. Refined by Li Shiming is truly top quality. The highest quality that can be achieved in theoretical alchemy. There is no flaw at all. And the performance of the spiritual insect golden yang pill is brought into full play. The top level. Spiritual insect golden yang pill. Accidentally refined by the remaining alchemy masters cannot reach the theoretical highest quality. And there will be some gap. It is precisely because the top level. Spiritual insect golden yang pill. Refined by Li Shiming is so perfect that it attracts the silver winged spiritual goo insect and makes it show some emotions. I don't know if it was an illusion. But after the silver winged spiritual goo worm took the top level spiritual worm Jin Ong pill, Li Shiming felt that the silver winged spiritual goo worm seemed to have a sense of intimacy with him. When the silver winged spirit goo insect did not receive an order, it was more willing to get close to him instead of staying at a certain distance from him as before. Don't underestimate this short distance. Every living creature has its own warning distance. Only creatures that you trust extremely will be allowed to come within your warning distance. Otherwise you will always maintain this warning distance. However, at present, the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect has only taken one top level. Spiritual Insect Gene on Pill and it will take longer to observe. But now that it has started, Li Shiming is interested in cultivating the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect have more confidence. Once the danger of backlash from the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Worm is eliminated, then maybe he can control the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Worm with just one brain. Li Shiming took out the bamboo whip magic weapon that his master, Brother Hu, had given him before. This was Brother Zhao's natal magic weapon. He hesitated slightly, but did not immediately use the method of recognizing his master to recognize his master. The body of Brother Zhao is still alive. But it is missing the Yuan Ying. The Yuan Ying is everything that belongs to Brother Zhao. Without the Yuan Ying, it is hard to say whether the body can still be regarded as that of Brother Zhao. But no matter what, this body is still stained with the aura of Brother Zhao. And this will not change. It depends on whether Brother Zhao's natal magic weapon can recognize Brother Zhao's body and regard it as its master without the nascent soul. If that were the case, perhaps this natal magic weapon could still exert its full power. However, at this time, Brother Zhao's body had not yet recovered, and Li Shiming had no intention of stimulating this seriously injured body too much. He gathered his thoughts, began to communicate with his natal magic weapon Z-15, and studied the puppet mechanism technique. He planned to create three fourth-grade puppets based on the fourth-grade puppet mechanism materials he already had. When a fourth-grade puppet is created, its strength is not fixed. Its strength will increase with the master's realm at the expense of consuming some precious puppet mechanism materials to enhance the strength of the fourth grade puppet. Therefore, he created three fourth grade puppets in the early stage of nascent soul. After his realm improved in the future, he could still increase the strength of the fourth grade puppets to a level that could help him. It is not easy to make a fourth grade puppet, let alone three fourth grade puppets. Li Shiming is not a stickler for rules. After in-depth research on puppet mechanics, he and Z-15 redesigned a 4th grade puppet that is more suitable for him. The energy core device of the 4th grade puppet is the most important. Brother Zhao prepared 3 sets of materials. After countless calculations, Z-15 wanted to redesign a stronger energy core device. Puppet mechanism is an extremely complex piece of knowledge. Even if a monk has developed his brain, it is not easy to achieve results in puppet mechanism. Why are those who make puppet mechanisms usually monks at the nascent soul stage? In addition to the extremely expensive materials for the puppet mechanism technique, it is the thought ability of the Yuanning monks that can meet the entry level standards for the puppet mechanism technique. It's so difficult to learn the art of puppet mechanics, let alone redesign it based on it. Evenly shimming. It took a month, with the cooperation of Z15, to redesign a fourth grade puppet. To create a fourth grade puppet, it will take even longer. And it will also require the assistance of Hole Nascent Soul or Jin Ji Naming's Naming Lihua. On the 40th day, Jin Ji Naming refined the healing elixir for the late stage of Nascent Soul. It is said that it was refined by Jin Shi Naming, but it was actually refined by Li Shiming himself. But he just borrowed the Naming Lihua from Jin Shi Naming. There are a total of six advanced healing elixirs in the late Nascent Soul stage. The quality of each one has reached the theoretical limit. The next step up is the top elixir that requires a lot of refining. Chapter 562 Two Years Li Shiming took out a late-stage Yuanying Advanced Treatment Elixir, and he sent the late-stage Yuanying Advanced Treatment Elixir into the computer room space. 
The ghost of heaven entered the body of Brother Zhao and controlled Brother Zhao to take the advanced healing elixir of late nascent soul. Fortunately, the heavenly ghost has reached the fourth level realm. Otherwise, even the body of the great monk Zhao would not be able to get close. The fourth level heavenly ghost can control the body of the great monk in a short time. The reason why it cannot be controlled for a long time is because it requires too much energy to control the body of a great monk. That is to say, only the heavenly ghost, a fourth grade creature who specializes in spiritual cultivation, can control the body of a great monk. Those who are mentally weak cannot do this. After the great monk took the advanced healing elixir of the late Yuanying period, a warm energy rose from his belly. This is the healing energy formed by the advanced healing elixir in the later stage of nascent soul. The two stubborn energies that were originally entrenched in the body of the great monk slowly melted away under the action of the healing energy. The real power of the advanced healing elixirs in the later stages of nascent soul is that they can treat injuries that cannot be treated by other levels of healing elixirs. The energy left in Brother Zhao's body by Brother Ding and Brother, who will only continue to deteriorate and cannot be eliminated in the body of the great monk who has lost his nascent soul. But with the advanced healing elixir of late Yuanning, the healing energy contained in the advanced healing elixir of late Yuanning was able to dissolve the energy left by the two great monks. The process of dissolution is very slow, but it continues to dissolve. As the energy left by the two great monks in the great monk's body continues to decrease, the injuries in the great monk's body are also slowly repairing. Li Shiming has been paying attention to the body of the great monk. After the initial use of the advanced healing elixir in the later stage of nascent soul, only a small part of the alien energy remained in the body of the great monk. However, the efficacy of the advanced healing elixir in the later stages of nascent soul has not completely disappeared and will continue to exert its therapeutic effect for a period of time. It seems that a fourth grade advanced healing elixir is enough to treat this body's injuries. Li Shiming said to himself with a smile. This is normal. Part of the injuries suffered by Brother Zhao at that time were on his body, and the other part was on his nascent soul. This advanced healing elixir in the later stage of nascent soul only needs to heal the body of Brother Zhao. A fourth grade advanced healing elixir alone is enough. Three days later, the alien energy in Brother Zhao's body completely disappeared, and most of the injuries in his body were healed. The monk's body will heal the remaining injuries on its own. And there is no need to take any more healing elixirs. Li Shiming summoned the body of Brother Zhao from the computer room space. When Brother Zhao's body appeared in front of him, he felt the pressure from the monk. Even without the nascent soul, this great monk's body still has a considerable suppressive effect on the early nascent soul. Especially after the great monk's physical injury improved, this coercion became even more powerful. The heavenly ghost controls the body of the great monk to make various movements. Judging from the spiritual consumption of the heavenly ghost, the heavenly ghost can only control the body of the great monk for as long as one stick of incense at most. Beyond this time, the ghost must rest. Li Shiming thought for a while and took out the bamboo whip magic weapon that originally belonged to Brother Zhao. When the bamboo whip magic weapon came close to Brother Zhao, the bamboo whip magic weapon gave off a bright light. As he analyzed, even if Brother Zhao's nascent soul dies, Brother Zhao's body still carries an aura that is unique to Brother Zhao. The natal magic weapon has been refined by Brother Zhao for who knows how many years. It has long been integrated with Brother Zhao and is equivalent to a part of his body. With the living body of Brother Zhao, the bamboo whip, the natal magic weapon, was rejuvenated and found its owner again. That bright light is the manifestation of the activation of the inner core of the natal magic weapon. Li Shiming issued an order, and the heavenly ghost controlled the body of the great monk and once again performed the recognition master technique on the natal magic weapon. In the bright light, the natal magic weapon bamboo whip received the master recognition method and was re-recognized as its master. In this process, it was still in a completely open state. Originally, this kind of natal magic weapon could only exert half of its power when it was re-acknowledged. But after such an operation, the full power of the natal magic weapon was retained. Through contact with Tian Gui, Li Shiming also knew the name of this magic weapon. Xi Bing Divine Whip is a top-level fourth-grade magic weapon with five powerful magic weapons. The Xi Bing God Whip has two effects. One is that it can produce black ice at any time when attacking. Xi Bing has effects such as confinement, sealing, and deceleration. The other is the God Hitting Effect. The so-called God Beating Effect is to attack the enemy, soul and spirit. Li Shiming was a little jealous of the Xi Bing Divine Whip magic weapon. After the ghost controlled the body of the great monk to recognize its master again, 
The Xi Bing Divine Whip could only be used by the body of the great monk. If the heavenly ghost wanted to control it alone, it would not be impossible, but its power would be reduced to half. This result has made Li Shiming very satisfied. The monk's body originally had no magic attack ability. With the Xi Bing Divine Whip, the monk's body has two more powerful attack methods. Without the Xi Bing Divine Whip, under the control of the heavenly ghost, the body of the great monk can only be used as a close quarters weapon. Using the body constitution of the great monk as a shield and the fists and feet of the great monk as weapons. But after the great monk holds the Xi Bing Divine Whip, his attack ability is greatly improved. He has more control ability and more ability to attack the soul and spirit. Li Shiming sensed Tian Gui's fatigue. He shook his head and waved his hand to take the monk's body back into the computer room, allowing Tian Gui to leave the monk's body and rest. He casually took out a top level third grade. Spiritual insect golden yang pill flew out of his sleeve. Silver winged spirit goo insect and swallowed the spiritual insect golden yang pill in one gulp. The silver winged spirit goo insect swallowed the spiritual insect golden yang pill and let out a soft cry. There was joyful emotion in this soft cry. The silver winged spirit goo insect flew back into his sleeve again. And this soft cry was just a thankly shimming. Dozens of days have passed since the Silver Winged Spiritual Goo Insect took the first top level. Spiritual Insect Golden Yang Pill. Every time the Silver Winged Spiritual Goo Insect takes a top notch. Spiritual Insect Golden Yang Pill. There will be a little more emotion. Now Li Shiming does not need to put the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect into the Goo Wind Bag without the control of 20 brains. The Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect will only stay quietly by his side. During this period of time, the madness of the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect became weaker and weaker, especially when it stayed with Li Shiming. The madness magically disappeared. After the madness disappeared, he was able to sense the faint attachment of the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Worm to him from the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Worm through the contract. As more and more people take the top notch, Spiritual Insect Golden Yang Pill, this faint attachment is also growing. The most satisfying thing about the Silver Winged Spirit Goo is that when the Silver Winged Spirit Goo is not fighting, its ability to hide its aura is very powerful. Even if other monks are close to Li Shiming, they cannot sense the Silver Winged Spirit Goo, the existence of insects. Of course, the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect is in a fighting state, and its fierce aura cannot be hidden at all. He took out another handful of Spirit Bee Sing Yuan pill, and then took out the Spirit Bee Sing Yuan pill. Seo Fang and Phantom Spirit Dragon ran in from outside. Seo Fang and Phantom Dragon both turned into small bodies in order to move more easily in the cave. Since Seo Fang became an adult, Seo Fang's need for energy has increased a lot. Fortunately, the Spiritual Beast Sing Yuan Pill is also a third grade elixir. He can refine the third grade elixir very quickly, which can meet Seo Fang's needs. It's funny to say that when Seo Fang saw the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect for the first time, she wanted to use the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect as food. It was only after Li Shiming explained it to Seo Feng that Seo Feng gave up the idea. Li Shiming did not want Seo Feng to try to attack the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect. The Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect has extremely strong defense. But Seo Feng is a natural red gold phoenix with the ability to burn souls. He didn't want to know whether the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect could withstand Seo Feng's soul flame. The Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect was his important combat power and could not be damaged due to temporary curiosity. He checked the identity jade plate and found some messages from monks asking for elixirs. He responded to the messages one by one and agreed on a time. Although he is in retreat, he is still taking over the alchemy business, which is his main source of income. Most importantly, taking over the alchemy business is also constantly increasing his stock of elixirs, which are resources for his cultivation. He left Wale a nascent soul to not participate in the practice just to use Namming Lihua to make elixirs. Now Jean G Namming has finished refining the healing elixir for the later stage of nascent soul and can also refine the elixir at the same time as Wale Yuanying. In addition to refining elixirs, he also plans to refine fourth grade puppets and traceless magic gold. These are not urgent and will take a long time to design. Time passed quickly and it was two years in the blink of an eye. In the past two years, Li Shiming has not left his cave. His external contacts were made by the ghosts, who
who controlled the living dead of the great elder named Li Si. In two years, his greatest achievement was to complete the refining of three fourth grade puppets and most of the refining work of the traceless phantom gold flying sword magic weapon. Only the last step of this flying sword magic weapon was left to be completed. Li Shiming looked at the three fourth grade puppets in front of him. These three fourth grade puppets were rather strange and different from the fourth grade black armor puppets. The three fourth grade puppets were designed by him to be speed type. He used his own unique technique to draw 800,000 acceleration runes on the feet of the three fourth grade puppets. This makes the three fourth grade puppets extremely fast due to problems with the materials and their design concepts. The defense of the three fourth grade puppets is not strong, which means they can withstand a full strength attack by the monks in the early stage of nascent soul. This kind of defense is too weak for a fourth level puppet. He lacks the fourth level puppet mechanism materials to make frontal armor for a fourth level puppet. He left an interface for the fourth level puppet, which can be added later when the materials for the fourth level puppet's mechanism for making frontal armor are available. But in fact, it didn't matter whether he added them or not. He had no intention of letting three fourth level puppets fight in close combat. Normal fourth level puppets are mainly used in close proximity. The puppets are used as a movable shield for the monks, blocking part of the attacks for the monks. But Li Shiming designed a new weapon for the fourth level puppet the electromagnetic gun which freed the fourth-level puppet from the shackles of melee combat. The power of its long-range electromagnetic gun attack far exceeded that of close combat. It is for this reason that the three fourth-grade puppets he refined do not require strong defense, but require high speed. It's a pity that the material for making the fourth-grade puppet's legs can only draw 800,000 acceleration runes, which is the limit. Otherwise, he could add more acceleration runes to the feet of the fourth-grade puppet. By giving up close combat, the energy core of the fourth grade puppet provides more energy to the electromagnetic gun, making the electromagnetic gun more powerful. He has four fourth grade electromagnetic gun puppets, and under the control of his natal magic weapon Z15, he can cause huge damage with the first hit. The current effective attack range of the electromagnetic gun is 500 miles. Within a distance of 500 miles, even if a mid stage nascent soul monk is not prepared at all and is attacked by four electromagnetic guns at the same time, there is a possibility of serious damage. The results of two years, apart from the fourth grade electromagnetic gun puppet, are the flying sword magic weapons that have not completed the last step. In order to refine the traceless magic gold, he tried his best. Traceless phantom gold cannot be sensed by spiritual consciousness, as if it is nothingness, but it can be touched by contact. Fortunately, the traceless magic gold is in the computer room space. If it comes into contact with the traceless magic gold with a control force of 5 nanometers, the traceless magic gold can be sensed. Traceless magic gold is difficult to smelt. The main reason is that the grade of traceless fantasy gold is too high. The fourth grade top grade material is not a treasure that the early Yuanying monks can touch. Normally, only senior monks are eligible to possess fourth grade top grade materials. It is much easier for a senior monk's infant fire to smelt fourth grade top grade materials. Li Shiming thought of a way. Jin Ji Nan Ming and Hua Lei Yuanying used. Nan Ming Li Hua. At the same time, after the two were combined, the traceless magic gold was smelted. He has a special design idea for this flying sword magic weapon, which is the ultimate sharpness. There is no need to consider factors such as speed, sturdiness, etc. Sharpness is everything. Traceless magic gold itself is a top grade fourth grade material and its sturdiness is extremely terrifying looking at the conditions required for smelting it can barely be smelted with two nascent soul level nan ming lihua this can be used to refine the weapon after two nan ming lihua burning for a long time the traceless magic gold was melted in a real battle it would not take such a long time to cause damage besides the Finnish flying sword magic weapon itself is much stronger than the material itself. As for speed, the traceless magic gold is invisible. Coupled with Li Shiming's sword cultivation methods, speed is guaranteed to a certain extent. Speed is not the most important thing. Li Shiming drew 90 million sharp runes on the flying sword sword blank with a precision of 5 nanometers. And these sharp runes were composed of 9 sharp runes into a sharp formation. Chapter 563 Sneak Attack this flying sword sword blank was Li Shiming's longest refining process, which took more than half a year, not including the design time. 
in order to be able to engrave sharp runes on the sword blank that could not be sensed by his spiritual consciousness. He experimented many times with other materials and only relied on the touch of the machine room space to increase the inscription accuracy to 5 nanometers. This is equivalent to blind engraving. The spiritual consciousness is the monk's eyes. Without the help of spiritual consciousness, it means that there is no help from the eyes. With the help of his natal magic weapon Z15, he mastered this technique after just practicing for a period of time. The next step is to engrave on the sword blank, since it can only be inscribed by touch. The engraving speed is not very fast. That is to say, as the engraving time became longer and longer, his mastery of this technology also continued to improve, allowing him to continuously increase his brain and perform multi-threaded blind engraving, and then completed the refining in more than half a year. Otherwise, the sword blank of this flying sword magic weapon alone would probably not be completed in less than 10 years. In fact, even 10 years is not a long time to refine a 4th grade top magic weapon. Li Shiming has the natal magic weapon Z15. When designing the flying sword magic weapon, he estimated all the situations in advance, and every step in the refining process is consistent with the design. The 5 nanometer accuracy makes it impossible to make the slightest error in the refining process. Normal monks, on the other hand, need to constantly adjust the flame temperature during the refining process and think while refining. When engraving runes, the material properties and the location of the inscription will have an impact on the inscription and the overall energy of the magic weapon must be in a balanced state. As long as there is an imbalance, the magic weapon is considered a defective product. In battle, the imbalance of energy within the magic weapon will become its fatal weakness. These require constant adjustment and thinking when refining the weapon. The higher the grade of the magic weapon, the more difficult it will be to refine it. 90 million sharp runes are concentrated on the whole body of the sword blank. In order to balance the energy, Massive calculations are required to ensure that the position of each sharp rune is in the best position. These were all completed by Z15, saving him a lot of time. 90 million sharp runes. 10 million sharp formations. I wonder what kind of flying sword can be made through this refining. Li Shiming murmured to himself, looking at the sword blank in his hand. Calculating time. The clone Li Yuanba will also cultivate to the realm of the Great Elder. He also needs to leave the sect and go to Li Yuanba's side. Just take this opportunity to find a place far away from the sect and complete the final step of this sword blank. Master, I have to leave the sect for a few days. Li Shiming sent a message to Brother Hu. You have to be careful. The relationship between the sect and the Hidden Sun sect has been tense recently. Brother Hu replied to the message. Did something happen? Li Shiming asked through his identity. Although the relationship between the Hidden Sun sect and the 10,000 Beasts sect has always been at odds. This is also a normal situation. Demonic sects such as Hidden Sun sect are naturally hostile to the righteous sects. In the past two years since you have been in seclusion, the sect has investigated and found out that the Sun Hiding sect was behind the provocation of the Gu Feng sect. Brother who replied, It turns out that after the Gu Feng sect withdrew, the 10,000 Beast sect did not end its investigation work. The Gu Feng sect really didn't have the energy to become an enemy of the 10,000 Beast sect. So they gave the 10,000 B sect a piece of information. Through this intelligence, the 10,000 B sect found out the shadow of the Hidden Sun sect. Master, I will be careful. This kind of thing will not affect Li Shiming's travel. The conflicts between sects will never stop. The purpose of the Hiding Sun sect is very obvious, which is to weaken the strength of the 10,000 B sect. The 10,000 B sect has performed so well in recent years, whether it is the number of senior monks or the reserve corps monks. The 10,000 Beasts sect's powerful foundation has been revealed. The four major sects in the Eastern Chi continent are all about the same strength. If the 10,000 Beasts sect's strength increases too much, this balance will be broken. Even Li Shiming suspected that in addition to the Hiding Sun sect, there might be other major sects involved. Who said that the monks of the 10,000 Beasts sect are too powerful? Nascent soul monks all have powerful spiritual pets that match their strength. Even the great monks, with the help of their spiritual pets, can display combat power that is much stronger than their own. Few, however, these have nothing to do with Li Shiming. What needs to worry is the sect's senior officials and the great monks. Li Shiming left the sect with absolute confidence in his own safety. He is now wearing a fourth grade water dragon talus robe, which can withstand even an attack from a great monk, let alone an attack from a monk in the early or middle stage of nascent soul. The five-handled, colorful flying phoenix sword 
is much stronger than the third great flying sword, Liu Guangxingyun, and it is more in line with his five elements attributes. These alone have improved his strength, especially his defense. Combined with a south close to the end of the world, he has the possibility of escaping even if he encounters a great monk. What he didn't know was that when he left the sect, a monk noticed him and sent a message using a special contact card. Mu Jing of the Hidden Sun sect was impatiently drinking spiritual wine in his cave. The sect's alchemy master once again disappointed him. The alchemy materials he prepared finally produced a fourth grade low level amputated limb rebirth elixir. This is already his fifth alchemy material. And he has spent most of his fortune on it. He just wanted to ask the alchemy master to refine a fourth grade high level amputated limb regeneration elixir to repair his lost left leg. His left leg was a life saving secret that replaced the fatal injury at the cost of a left leg. Only the fourth grade advanced amputated limb regeneration elixir can counteract the power of the rules of using the life saving secret method and allow the lost left leg to grow back. He also knew how difficult it was to refine a fourth grade high grade elixir. The chance that the sex alchemy master could refine a fourth grade high grade elixir was really low. And he wanted to try his luck. Facts have proved that his luck is not good. And he failed to refine a fourth grade high level amputated limb rebirth elixir from five alchemy materials. The more Mu Jing thought about it, the angrier he became. He thought about Li Shiming. How could he be like this if it weren't for Li Shiming? He seemed to have forgotten that it was he who took the initiative to trouble Li Shiming. Just then, he received a message. After forging a big feud with Li Shiming, he used the sect's intelligence system and spent a lot of money to ask spies from the 10,000 Bs sect to help keep an eye on Li Shiming. The news he received was the news that Li Shiming had left the clan, and also the direction of Li Shiming's departure. You finally left the clan! Mu Jing said through gritted teeth. Naturally, he would not go to trouble Li Shiming alone. His injuries made him afraid to leave the sect. He used some resources and a great favor to invite Duan Jin, a monk in the middle stage of Yuan Ying of the sect. Uncle Duan, please take action! He sent the message to Duan Jin, including the direction of Li Shiming's departure. Xiao Mu, I was on a mission near the 10,000 Bs sect, and I just happened to send him away. Duan Jin replied quickly. Then thank you. Uncle, I will thank you again when I get back. Mu Jing replied in a good mood. He took another sip of the spirit wine. Although his physical disability made his cultivation much less effective. After knowing that his great revenge would be avenged, he temporarily forgot about his physical disability. The body of the Yuaning monk is disabled. And the impact on his cultivation is relatively small. However, the cultivation time of the Yuaning monk is extremely long and even a small impact will be particularly serious with the addition of time. The most important thing is that if his physical disability is not taken care of, his attention from the master will decrease. This is the biggest trouble. Duanjin is indeed near the 10,000 Bs sect. Recently, the 10,000 Bs sect and the Hidden Sun sect have been targeting each other, and monks from both sides have been attacked from time to time. Duanjin looked at the message and smiled on his face. The target is the alchemy master who has become very famous in the 10,000 B sect in recent years. If this target is killed by him, in addition to getting a benefit from Mu Jing, the sect will also receive a lot of rewards. It was simply killing two birds with one stone. In addition, he also knew that Li Shiming had a valuable treasure. It is not a secret that Li Shiming obtained the recognition of the Tai Chu tripod from Tai Chu sect. As a master of alchemy, Li Shiming has a considerable net worth. Duanjin looked at the direction of Li Shiming's movement, which was not far from where he was. He could go there in advance to arrange things. As for Li Shiming changing direction halfway, this kind of thing rarely happens to monks. The monk is extremely sensitive to the direction. After almost selecting the target location, he will fly towards the target location in a straight line. If there is an area in front that must be avoided, the direction will not change. Of course, if Li Shiming really changed direction on the road, it would be because Li Shiming was lucky and escaped. Li Shiming controls the colorful flying phoenix sword and flies with sword control. This is a way for him to strengthen his connection with the colorful flying phoenix sword. In two years, he refined the five colorful flying phoenix sword to 100%. After that, it would be very difficult to strengthen it and it could not be achieved in a short time. Just like the clone Li Yuan Ba Xingjian. It has gone through hundreds of years of sacrifice before it has the effect of increasing the sword's power. The current colorful flying phoenix sword is just an ordinary refining. If it is not a natal magic weapon, it is not easy to further refine it. 
Sword cultivators can strengthen the connection between them by constantly driving the flying sword. As he flew in the air, his sword-wielding skills made him more like a sword cultivator. And he also liked the sword-wielding feeling of a sword cultivator very much. Duanjin discovered Li Shiming. He was in a cloud. His concealment secret method was of a very high level. And he became one with the cloud. The Hidden Sun sect is good at sneak attacks. It is very difficult to defend against a sudden sneak attack by concealing itself. Li Shiming's clairvoyance did not detect Duanjin hiding in the clouds. Spiritual eyes is not omnipotent. And Duanjin's concealment methods are very clever. Li Shiming was flying with his sword. When he flew close to the clouds, a black light shot at him. Duanjin was in the middle stage of nascent soul and had been accumulating energy for a long time just for this fatal blow. How could he let Li Shiming dodge easily? This is also Li Shiming's fault. If Li Shiming uses close to the end of the world to rush forward with his method of preparing multiple close to the end of the world at all times, any sneak attack can be avoided by using close to the end of the world. But today, he was using sword control. He was too confident in his Chennai power and did not think that he would be ambushed not too far from the sect. Wu Guang was a black flying sword. And he even felt the aura of waffle resentment from the black flying sword. The attack of the black flying sword was only 50 meters away from him. And the charged blow of the mid-stage nascent soul reached the distance of 50 meters in almost one blow. Li Shiming's scalp felt numb for a while. And he was well aware of the characteristics of the Waffle resentment kung fu, which made him understand that although the enemy did not use the nascent soul dharma form in this attack, the power of the attack was no weaker than the attack in the nascent soul dharma appearance state. In a short moment, he was able to think so much, thanks to the natal magic weapon Z15 that increased the speed of his thoughts. Although he had time to think, the time was too short, so short that his body could not react in any way. Just when the black flying sword was about to stab Li Shiming's body, the robe on his body flashed with light, and a blue water dragon appeared, hovering over his body, completely covering his body. The black flying sword struck the water dragon, and the blue water on the water dragon rippled slightly, but was not cut off. Thankfully, I have the water dragon Taoist robe. Li Shiming breathed a long sigh of relief. Although his physical training strength was good, he did not have the strength to resist a flying sword blow driven by the awful resentment skill with his body especially in his perception. The person who attacked him was a mid-stage nascent soul monk. He was a little scared. This time, he had received a warning from Brother Hu. But he was still almost attacked. I got a lot of benefits two years ago and robbed a great monk of his property, which made him somewhat arrogant. This time Duanjin taught him a good lesson and made him understand the dangers of the world of immortality. You do have a good robe. Duanjin broke away from the concealment technique when he took action. He was surprised when he saw that the attack did not accomplish anything. He also discovered the quality of the water dragon robe. He looked at the water dragon robe with greedy eyes. It has a passively activated powerful defensive magic robe, which is almost equivalent to a monk's life. He was not too worried about the water dragon robe. For a defensive spell of this level, the water dragon robe could not be cast many times. Even the water dragon protection that has been used will dissipate on its own after just a few breaths. He activated another secret method, which greatly increased his body's agility and speed. He was ready. Once Li Shiming wanted to escape using the duration of Water Dragon Body Protection, he would chase after him. In fact, Duanjin's current behavior has violated his normal behavioral norms. Under normal circumstances, he would only make one sneak attack. If he misses once, he will run away. But this time, the situation is different. Li Shiming's realm is much weaker than his. In addition to the Taichu tripod, he also has this Water Dragon Talus robe. For the Water Dragon Talus robe, it is worth taking the risk to hunt down Li Shiming. There are not many opportunities to see the fourth grade top magic weapon in the early Yuaning monks. And they are in a hostile state. It is a good opportunity to kill and seize the treasure. Chapter 564 Devouring Souls Duanjin made a decision and immediately executed it. He was not an indecisive person. To his surprise, Li Shiming did not turn around and run away immediately, but controlled five flying swords to resist the black flying sword. He was overjoyed. It seemed that Li Shiming had no experience fighting against mid-stage nascent soul monks. This phenomenon has appeared in many genius monks. Genius monks always think that they can fight against higher level monks by suppressing monks of the same level. But at each small realm in the nascent soul stage, 
The gap in combat power is huge. It is not without reason that when a monk in the early stage of Yuanying meets a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying, he should treat him as a senior. In the Golden Core stage, if you have enough talent, you can advance to a small realm in a few decades. But in the nascent soul stage, the time span to advance to a small realm may take hundreds of years. Duanjin didn't even activate the nascent soul dharma. With the help of the activated light secret method, Duanjin approached Li Shiming in a flash. Li Shiming also discovered Duanjin. Although he was nervous, he did not retreat. If he really wanted to leave, with the few breaths of time activated by Water Dragon Bodyguard, he would have been able to use South close to the end to escape far away. When Duanjin got close to a certain distance, Li Shiming's expression changed. He finally understood the difference between the middle stage of Yuanying and the early stage of Yuanying. Duanjin has a kind of coercive power, which is the suppression of lower levels by higher levels. If Li Shiming had not had 191 brains, each of which had reached a very high level of the early Yuanning stage, the coercive power coming from Duanjin alone would have caused him to lose most of his abilities. Power. In a battle at the nascent soul level, not to mention losing most of your mobility, just moving slower for a moment may be the difference between life and death. Duanjin felt proud. He approached Li Shiming, and Li Shiming was completely within the scope of his coercive power. This time, Li Shiming couldn't escape his grasp. Li Shiming's life or death depended on his thoughts. It was at this time that the Water Dragon Protection effect on Li Shiming disappeared. The five flying swords are struggling to resist the black flying swords. But the black flying swords are much stronger than the five flying swords. Even if they are five against one, they can barely support it. Duanjin had a smile on his face. He had gained a lot this time. He considered that Li Shiming was still a well-known alchemy master so it was better to capture Li Shiming back. He had the means to make Li Shiming obedient. While he was thinking about it, he quickly approached Li Shiming, gathered spiritual power in his hands, and prepared to use the secret method of sealing to seal Li Shiming's cultivation. He did not expect that Li Shiming would be able to resist. Even if Li Shiming resisted, Li Shiming would not be able to break through his defense even with a small gap in the nascent soul stage. Just like this, Duanjin was extremely confident and wanted to seal Li Shiming's cultivation at close range without any scruples. Just when he was 10 meters away from Li Shiming, he saw the strange smile on Li Shiming's face. He was startled in his heart. Li Shiming was not a fool. He could still laugh under such circumstances. He must have some tricks up his sleeve. Just when he was about to retreat, he saw a little silver light in his eyes. Of course Li Shiming was happy. If Duanjin didn't take the initiative to get closer, he would have thought about using South close to the end of the world to get close to Duanjin. However, there is a certain risk in using close to the end of the world to approach Duanjin. A mid-stage nascent soul monk at Duanjin's level definitely has the means to deal with magical powers such as Shinzu Tong to move through space. Duanjin took the initiative to get closer and saved Li Shiming from trouble. At a distance of 10 meters, Li Shiming released the silver-winged spirit goo insect. This was the confidence he dared to stay in place to fight against Duanjin. Silver-winged spirit goo insect is something that even great monks have to deal with carefully. If Duanjin knew that Li Shiming had Silver-Winged Spirit Goo Insect, he would not get too close to Li Shiming. The speed of Silver-Winged Spirit Goo Insect is not slow. 4. Silver-Winged Spirit Goo Insect The distance of 10 meters is equivalent to the distance of slight movement of its wings. Duanjin discovered the silver light, and before he could sense the specific situation of the Silver-Winged Spirit Goo Insect, he was caught by the Silver-winged spirit goo insect. It was not without reason that Brother Ding and Brother, who did not dare to let the Silver-winged spirit goo insect get close before. After the Silver-winged spirit goo worm got close to Duanjin's body, a terrifying and fierce aura erupted from the Silver-winged spirit goo worm, and the fangs of the Silver-winged spirit goo worm were truly revealed. Duanjin has a self-defense shield magic weapon that automatically activates to block the Silver-winged spirit goo insect. When it approaches, the Silver-Winged Spirit Goo opened its mouth and bit into the shield magic weapon. This shield magic weapon is a fourth grade high level magic weapon. It has been refined by Duanjin for many years. It is Duanjin's main defensive magic weapon. Although monks have many magic weapons, they usually focus on specific offensive and defensive magic weapons. The energy of monks is limited. Refining magic weapons requires a lot of time and it is impossible to take into account all magic weapons. 
The defensive power of the fourth grade upper level shield magic weapon can at least withstand several full force attacks from the peak monks in the middle stage of nascent soul. This is Duanjin's last line of defense. But something strange happened. When the silver winged spirit goo bit it, the aura of the fourth grade high level shield magic weapon dimmed, and a hole appeared in the bite area. This is the innate ability of silver winged spirit goo insect, spirit devouring. Any spiritual creature at the same level as the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect can be bitten by it and lose its spirituality. When the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect uses Spirit Devouring, coupled with its terrifying bite force, the fourth grade upper level shield magic weapon is instantly broken. Duanjin let out a muffled groan, which was the backlash of the destruction of the fourth grade upper level shield magic weapon. Before he could react, the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect came into contact with his skin. The body-protecting spiritual power on his body had no effect at all. The Silver Winged Spirit Goo S. Spirit Devouring ability dissipated as soon as it came into contact with the body-protecting spiritual power. Duanjin felt a pain on his skin and numbness all over his body. He knew it was not good and wanted to let Yuanying out of his body. But nascent soul seemed to have lost its vitality and moved extremely slowly. At this time, Li Shiming felt a lightness all over his body, and the coercive power from Duanjin disappeared. The Silver Winged Spirit Goo entered Duanjin's body, and the Spirit Devouring ability caused the spiritual power in Duanjin's body to lose control. Not to mention Duanjin, a mid stage nascent soul monk, even Brother Ding and Brother, who are not willing to get close to the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect, because the spiritual defense method is ineffective against the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect. Invalid. The best option is to use long range means to prevent the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insects from getting close. Duanjin was already too late now. When the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect appeared in front of his nascent soul, his only thought was regret. He regretted that he had broken the long established rules and not escaped immediately after the sneak attack failed. The Silver Winged Spirit Goo bit Duanjin's nascent soul. At this time, Duanjin's nascent soul was found in the body by the Silver Winged Spirit Goo, before it could leave the body. Duanjin's nascent soul was like a deflated rubber ball. The spiritual power, spirit, and other energy in the nascent soul were all swallowed up by the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect. The Silver Winged Spirit Goo emerged from Duanjin's body. At this time, Duanjin had already lost his life. It was also the first time for Li Shiming to see the Silver Winged Spirit Goo fight. He had known that the Silver Winged Spirit Goo was powerful. But he did not expect that the Silver Winged Spirit Goo could kill Duanjin so easily. A monk in the middle stage of nascent soul. He stretched out his hand to recall the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect. The Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect that he had just fought couldn't hold back his crazy emotions. But after he took out a top notch spiritual insect genong pill, Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect, the spiritual goo worm became quiet. Li Shiming used his spiritual consciousness to grab Duanjin's body. After his spiritual consciousness came into contact with Duanjin's body, he couldn't help but frown. Originally, for Duanjin's level, corpses were a good material for refining corpses. At least after refining this corpse into a refined corpse, there are not many bottlenecks in advancing to the middle stage of the golden corpse. But now Duanjin's corpse has lost most of its spirituality. If you really want to refine the corpse, it is hard to say whether it can be successful, let alone the potential of the corpse. This was of course the work of the Silver Winged Spirit Goo. It entered Duanjin's body, and the spiritual power in his body was swallowed up by it. Li Shiming couldn't help but feel his scalp numb for a while. If he hadn't been able to sense the affinity of the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect towards him, he would have wanted to put the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect into the Goo Wind Bag. The Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect is really too terrifying. Even the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul can't bear to take a bite of it, let alone Li Shiming. Li Shiming sent out a Nan Ming Lihua and burned Duanjin's body. Although at this stage, bringing Duanjin's body back to the sect can still get some contribution points. But with his cultivation in the early stage of Yuanying, killing a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying is not a record to show off. The gap between the small realms of the nascent soul stage cannot be overcome by relying on powerful magic weapons or techniques. If his ability to jump to the small realm and kill the monks in the middle nascent soul stage is really revealed, other monks will definitely suspect that he is hiding a strange treasure. 
Even great monks would be tempted by the exotic treasure that could leap into a small realm and kill monks in the middle stage of nascent soul. He didn't want to cause trouble for himself. It would be better to just destroy Duanjin's body and pretend that this incident never happened. Li Shiming put away Duanjin's mustard ring and black flying sword. The fourth grade high-level shield magic weapon had lost its spirituality. And there was a hole in it, making it worthless. This time, he did not use the sword control technique again, but activated the color-changing cloak, making himself invisible, and then used South Close to the End of the World to rush on. This carelessness almost cost him his life. The Water Dragon Talus Rope has not recovered yet, and he doesn't want to do it again. To be honest, the other most important reason for this sneak attack is that Duanjin is a mid-stage Yuanying monk. He used the realm of a mid-stage Yuanying monk to sneak attack Li Shiming, an early-stage Yuanying monk. Not to mention that the Hidden Sun sect is good at such methods. While he was on his way using South Close to the End of the World, he was also checking the harvest this time. The Black Flying Sword contains the energy of the Watering Resentment Kung Fu. This Black Flying Sword is a 4th grade magic weapon that cooperates with the Watering Resentment Kung Fu. Duanjin has practiced the Watering Resentment Kung Fu. It is possible that this person is also a ruthless person and is planning to use the Watering Resentment Kung Fu to make his body stronger. The Watering Resentment Kung Fu is not a serious skill, but a forbidden method of the Hidden Sun sect. When practiced to a high level, the Watering Resentment Kung Fu can transform monks into evil spirits. Li Shiming didn't know if the Hidden Sun sect had any means to prevent it. But since the Waffle Resentment Ming Kung Fu was designated as a forbidden method. Hidden Sun Sect might not be able to prevent monks from transforming into evil spirits. He cannot use the Black Flying Sword, but he can use the Golden Corpse and Black Shield. It just so happens that the Golden Corpse and Black Shield also practices the Various Resentment skill, which is very suitable for the Black Flying Sword. Li Shiming controlled the Golden Corpse Black Shield, and the Golden Corpse Black Shield cast the Master Recognition Technique adding the spiritual imprint of the Golden Corpse Black Shield to the Black Flying Sword. This fourth grade magic weapon is called the Devil Sword of Watering Resentment. It is a top grade magical treasure of the fourth class. When combined with the Watering Resentment skill, it can increase the attack power of the Golden Corpse Black Shield. In the past, the Golden Corpse Black Shield could only be fought with bare hands and black fists. With the Devil Sword of Wrathful Resentment, its attack power has at least doubled. This is the role of the 4th grade top magic weapon. Li Shiming's consciousness entered Duanjin's mustard seed ring. And he first discovered that a contact card was trembling. He took out the contact card. And his spiritual consciousness entered the contact card. Uncle Duan! What happened to Li Shirjin? This was a message from Mu Jing. Li Shiming finally knew why Duanjin attacked him. It turned out to be Mu Jing's reason. It has been beheaded. Come to this place and I will give you the body. Li Shiming thought for a while and used the contact card to reply a message. Mu Jing, who was in his own cave in the Hidden Sun sect, was overjoyed at first after receiving the news. But his expression immediately changed. Duanjin knew his situation, and it was impossible for him to leave the sect without recovering from his injuries. Thinking of this, his scalp couldn't help but feel numb, and he thought of a possibility. Uncle Duan, didn't I make an appointment with you at a meeting place? Mu Jing sent the message. When Li Shiming saw this news, he couldn't help but shook his head. Mu Jing was cautious. There must be a flaw in the message just sent. Which made Mu Jing see something. Mu Jing was deliberately testing. And he was too lazy to reply. I originally thought of getting rid of Mu Jing smoothly. But it seems that I can't do it. Li Shiming put the contact card away casually. This thing might be useful in the future. The spiritual object in this mustard ring made him extremely disappointed. It was not like the wealth that a monk in the middle stage of nascent soul should have. He is really too poor. How could this middle stage nascent soul monk from the Hidden Sun sect be so poor? Li Shiming didn't quite understand. There were almost no spiritual objects in the mustard seed ring that he could take a fancy to. How did he know that most of Duanjin's net worth was spent on the Demon Sword of Wrathful Resentment? It is not easy for monks in the middle stage of nascent soul to obtain the fourth grade top magic weapon. Most of the magic weapons of this level are used by great monks. That is to say, after Li Shiming saw the great monk's net worth, he felt that the fourth grade top magic weapon was nothing. Chapter 565 Sword Cultivator Duanjin, a mid-nascent soul cultivator of the Hidden Sun sect, gave Li Shiming the most valuable harvest of the 
Watering resentment Ming Gong. A transcribed. Watering resentment Ming Gong. Li Shiming was originally thinking about where to get the various resentment skill, but Duanjin sent it to him. This waffle resentment skill is prepared for the Golden Corpse Black Shield. At the level of the Golden Corpse, the Golden Corpse can already practice the skill independently. He first analyzed and studied the content of Waffle Resentment Ming Gong by the Nail Magic Weapon Z15, and then passed the content of the skill thoroughly studied and accompanied by a lot of explanations to the Golden Corpse Black Shield. With these skills, Golden Corpse and Black Shield began to practice the Waffle Resentment skill. It is very fast to learn, mainly because its predecessor already practiced the Walking Resentment Kung Fu, but Li Shiming did not have the Watering Resentment Kung Fu. After recognizing the Golden Corpse and Black Shield as its owner, the Golden Corpse and Black Shield became conscious. Dunn was unable to practice the False Resentment skill. Independently, the Devil Sword of Watering Resentment in the hands of Golden Corpse Black Shield has a complementary effect when he practices Watering Resentment Ming Gong, which makes Li Shiming a little surprised. He didn't know how precious the Demon Sword of Wandering Resentment was. Otherwise, why would Duanjin spend most of his wealth for the Demon Sword of Wandering Resentment? Li Shiming remembered one important thing when he came out this time. He and his clone Li Yuanba were spiritually connected. So he could sense Li Yuanba's situation. Li Yuanba didn't need to be too anxious. He needed to complete the Traceless Phantom Gold Sword first. The final step of the blank. He planned to refine the flying sword made from the Traceless Magic Gold sword blank into his own magic weapon. He can also be regarded as a sword cultivator. How can a sword cultivator be considered a real sword cultivator without his own flying sword? He has five nascent souls, two of which have natal magic weapons respectively, leaving three vacancies. South close to the end of the world, moved extremely fast, and soon he found a place some distance away from the various cultivating forces. In the computer room space, Li Shiming used the touch to engrave the Traceless magic gold. Sword blank and completed the final steps. He took out the traceless magic gold. Sword blank from the machine room space. Since he was the maker of the traceless magic gold. Sword blank. When the sword blank completed the last step, he and the flying sword had a spiritual connection. Contact. No longer needing touch. He could sense the existence of the flying sword through his spiritual consciousness. The flying sword was suspended in front of him. And the Thunder Sword Intention, in his five nascent souls, was constantly communicating with the flying sword in front of him. Although Li Shiming did not practice the top sword cultivation technique of Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju, his clone Li Yuan Bob practiced Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju, and he had all the insights from practicing Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju. It was only Li Yuan Bob who had only cultivated in the late golden elixir stage, and his understanding of the Sword Intent Climb to the Sky technique had only reached the late golden elixir stage. If his sword intent of heavenly thunder hadn't had another unexpected encounter and absorbed the power of the thunder many times, or the sword intent wouldn't be as powerful as it is now. His thunder sword intention, in terms of power alone, is at the peak level of the early nascent soul. This aspect allowed him to make up for the shortcomings in his skills. After obtaining the sky thunder sword intention and his understanding of sword cultivation, Tao Yun began to appear on the flying sword. Li Shiming's mind moved slightly. And he contacted his clone Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba joined in the communication with Fei Jian. He also asked his natal magic weapon Z15 to call up all the research materials on sword cultivation over the years. There was nothing he could do. Who said that his sword cultivation foundation was insufficient? Although he had the most advanced sword cultivation techniques, he majored in the five elements Kung Fu and also practiced the thunder technique. In terms of meaning runes, he couldn't even get close to being a swordsman. A large amount of sword cultivation knowledge continues to converge on Feijian. And the Taoist charms on Feijian appear one by one. One, two, three, until there were six. They stopped. There are six Dao Yun. And there is also a faint Dao Yun that is about to appear, but has not yet appeared. It seems that his accumulation is insufficient. So the seventh Dao Yun is still being nurtured. However, with the existence of this faint Tao Yun, as long as there is enough sword cultivation knowledge to supplement it, this Tao Yun can be completed. Li Shiming gave the flying sword a name and named it Traceless Fantasy Sword. After the material of Traceless Magic Gold, he could not judge the grade of the Markless Illusion Sword. 
The six and a half Dao Yun had long exceeded the number of Dao Yun of the normal fourth grade top magic weapon. Perhaps he has little knowledge. But in the weapon refining classics, he is read. There is no mention of fourth grade magic weapons that reach six Taoist rhymes. Of course, in the world of immortality, there has never been a monk who combined 90 million sharp runes and 10 million sharp formations into one magic weapon when refining it. At least monks in the nascent soul stage do not have such means. With an accuracy of 5 nanometers in rune lines. Even if one has cultivated magical powers such as divine eyes to a very high level, they can only see clearly. If you want to draw 5 nanometers of rune lines, rune lines are not just something you can see and do. That requires 5 nanometers of precise control. This level of minimal control. Except for special existences such as the computer room space. Even great monks cannot achieve this kind of control. In the sky, a thundercloud was gathering. Li Shiming let out a long breath and decisively drove Jin Lei Yuaning to recognize the Markless Illusion Sword as his life-saving magic weapon. After seeing the thundercloud, he decided to deal with the catastrophe together with the Markless Illusion Sword. The Traceless Fantasy Sword has no other enchantment. It is completely a single enchantment. It has 90 million sharp runes and 10 million sharp formations composed of 9 sharp runes. This is the Markless Magic Sword. Fantasy Sword is the ultimate way to attach magic. I wonder if the appearance of a six and a half word magic weapon, like the Traceless Phantom Sword, exceeds the rules of heaven and earth too much. The thunder cloud that appeared this time was several times stronger than the thunder hammer from the sky. He couldn't trust the Traceless Fantasy Sword to deal with the thunder alone. The Traceless Fantasy Sword was not good at resisting attacks. And the Traceless Fantasy Sword became his natal magic weapon in advance. And he was able to deal with the sky thunder together with the Traceless Fantasy Sword. The thunderclouds in the sky are getting thicker and thicker. And the lightning is constantly traveling through the thunderclouds, accumulating the terrifying power of thunder and lightning. Li Shiming was very knowledgeable about heavenly tribulations. The Markless Magic Sword transformed into a handheld long sword and was caught in his hand. Of course, this is just his feeling. If other monks look at it, they will only see that he is holding it empty and will not see the existence of the Traceless Phantom Sword. It is for this reason that he attaches great importance to the Traceless Fantasy Sword. With the Traceless Phantom Sword, his combat power will be greatly improved. The most important thing is that this strange characteristic of the Traceless Fantasy Sword allows him to use the Traceless Fantasy Sword in public. Anyway, his spiritual consciousness cannot detect the Traceless Fantasy Sword, let alone the Traceless Fantasy Sword. And Fantasy Sword is a fourth grade tribulation flying sword magic weapon. On Li Shiming's palm, five different colors of light flashed. These were the five nascent souls that gathered the Heavenly Thunder Sword intent onto the Traceless Illusion Sword. The special ability of the Traceless Illusion Sword allows the Thunder Sword intent to enter the Imageless Illusion Sword, but it will not be revealed. Only when the Traceless Illusion Sword takes the initiative to send out the Sky Thunder Sword intention will the existence of the Sky Thunder Sword intention be exposed, holding the Traceless Phantom Sword in hand. Li Shiming thought of the scene when Jian Wuwei saved the tribulation that day. He finally had the feeling of Jian Wuwei at that time. A feeling as a swordsman facing the thunder. With a sword in hand, he can cut through everything, even in the face of heavenly calamity. He looked at Lei Yun, and his pride suddenly rose. Kill! He shouted. His loud shout sounded at the same time as the sound of thunder falling in the sky. And the two sounds joined together in the air. Faster than the sound were the falling thunder and Li Shiming flying upward. The Traceless Fantasy Sword Delighted with the first sky thunder, the originally invisible Traceless Fantasy Sword was wrapped in the thunder's lightning, revealing the shape of the sword. At this time, Heavenly Thunder Sword intent spread out from the sword body, protecting the sword body within it. Tian Lei Sword Intent Based the Sky Thunder and the Sky Thunder and Tian Lei Sword Intent were in a stalemate. Countless thunder and lightning penetrated into the sword shape transformed by Tian Lei Sword Intent but against the Traceless Fantasy Sword. Sword, however, the body cannot cause much attack power. The thunder and lightning that entered the sword shape formed by the Sky Thunder Sword Intention were continuously weakened and absorbed by the Sky Thunder Sword Intent Although this heavenly catastrophe exceeded the previous weapon catastrophe, 
It was still far from the time when Li Shiming went through the nascent soul tribulation. He resisted the first thunderbolt just by relying on the Sky Thunder Sword intent. Even the Sky Thunder Sword intention got some benefits from it. And the thunder in the Sky Thunder Sword intent strengthened a little. The thunder and lightning on the Markless Magic Sword in his hand disappeared. And the first thunder ended. Li Shiming did not stop his upward momentum. Not only was the sword intent rising from the Markless Illusion Sword, in his hand, but his entire body was also filled with sword intent. His body was like an unsheathed sword. It seemed that he was provoked. Before he could reach the thundercloud, the second thunder fell. The thunder sword intention on Li Shiming's body merged with the thunder sword intent in the markless fantasy sword in his hand, forming a huge energy-based sword intention. The traceless fantasy sword is the tip of the sword that energizes the sword's intention. And Li Shiming's body is the sword's body that energizes the sword's intention. Cut! In his second loud shout, he slashed towards the second thunderbolt with his whole body. At this moment, his understanding of sword cultivation was improving at an extremely fast speed, and his sword intention became more solid and sharp. The tip of the Traceless Illusion Sword, which is the energy-containing sword spirit, explodes with its own truly terrifying power. 90 million sharp runes and 10 million sharp formations create unparalleled sharpness. And this sharpness is enhanced by the energy of the sword. The tip of the sword that energized the sword intention. The Traceless Phantom Sword came into contact with the second thunder. This time, something strange happened. The second sky thunder was actually broken through. And the Traceless Phantom Sword was like a fast boat breaking through the water, cutting the sky thunder apart. The part of the sky thunder that was cut lost its power and was partially absorbed by the energy form sword body of the sky thunder sword intent. The traceless illusion sword is in front, moving upwards, and the sky thunder is separated into two halves from bottom to top without any stagnation. The energized sword intent at this time is as real as substance, with a dazzling white surface. If you look closely, you will find that these dazzling white colors are composed of countless tiny thunder and lightning. It absorbed the energy of the entire sky thunder, allowing the energy converted sword intent to reach its strongest power. Li Shiming controlled the traceless magic sword and approached Lei Yun. His eyes were extremely hot. Breaking the sky with one sword, he shouted loudly, turned his sword intention into energy and rushed into the thundercloud with his traceless illusion sword in front. The thundercloud was like the previous thunder, with a gap cut open, and as Li Shiming went deeper, the gap continued to grow. His operation triggered the madness of the rules of heaven and earth. The thunder cloud suddenly emitted an extremely bright light, and the thunder and lightning energy contained in them increased several times in an instant. The thunder and lightning energy gathered into the last thunder, which exploded in the thunder cloud. The entire thunder cloud seemed to be ignited, and the entire thunder cloud became part of the thunder. Li Shiming's thunder sword intent was still moving through the thunder clouds and thunder, and the Traceless Fantasy Sword, no matter what was in front of it, was cut open by one sword. It was Li Shiming himself who was really attacked. The terrifying power of the last thunder passed through the energy form sword intent and landed on his body. The thunder hammer in his body began to flash with thunder and lightning, and runes were emitted from the thunder hammer to protect his body. Having practiced the Jade Pure Thunder Code, he has a strong resistance to thunder and lightning and the five nascent souls even shared the thunder attacks he received. The physical injuries did not affect him. At this time, he completely regarded himself as a sword cultivator, and he was still the most arrogant sword cultivator, a swordsman who dared to challenge the world. The last thunder was attacking him, and he was also attacking the thunder, wherever the tip of the markless illusion sword that energizes the sword's intention passes. Thunder clouds and sky thunder will be cut, losing its due power, and becoming nothing but material for the energized sword's intention. The energized sword intent did not weaken due to the attack of the sky thunder. Instead, the continuous impact of the thunder clouds and the sky thunder became stronger and stronger. With a boom, he walked out of the ignited thundercloud. The thundercloud behind him turned into fragments. In a short period of time, the energy form sword intent he transformed cut a piece of the thundercloud. Jian Wang. The entire thundercloud was shattered into pieces by the sword net and the last power of the thunder cloud dissipated after he rushed out of the thunder cloud. The thunder cloud flickered with lightning unwillingly, but still quickly disappeared into the void. Li Shiming stood in the sky, 
and the energy form sword intent on his body had been withdrawn. But even if he no longer had the energy form sword intent, he was still a sharp sword standing in the air. In this process of overcoming the catastrophe, the biggest gain is not that the Markless Illusion Sword has survived the catastrophe. He has the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer and the Markless Fantasy Sword. And he can definitely survive the natural disaster. But the way of passing it is different. His biggest gain was that he knew what it means to be a swordsman. He had fought as a swordsman in the past. But at that time, his swordsmanship methods were all about bullying the weak with absolute strength. At that time, his use of sword intent was still at an extremely weak level. Only today did he master the true application method of sword intent. At this moment, even if he didn't use the Traceless Illusion Sword or any other means, he could confidently suppress any early Yuanin cultivator with just the Colorful Flying Phoenix Sword. Chapter 566 10,000 Swords In the distance, several casual cultivators Yuanin stopped flying. After sensing the thundercloud, they rushed here, thinking it was some opportunity. But when they sensed the sword intent that soared to the sky, the sword intent that cut through the thunder clouds, all the little thoughts in their hearts disappeared. No monk is willing to fight a nascent soul sword cultivator, whose attack power is the strongest among all nascent soul sword cultivators. Of course, Li Shiming also discovered a few nascent soul monks. As long as they didn't come over, he wouldn't bother to pay attention. The Traceless Illusion Sword turned into a ray of light and sank into his body. In the hands of Jean lay nascent soul. He held the Traceless Illusion Sword. From now on, this Traceless Fantasy Sword will be maintained by Jean Lay Nascent Soul. And the Traceless Fantasy Sword will continue to increase in power over time. This is the benefit of the natal magic weapon, which can be energized and absorbed into the body. It's almost time! Li Shiming activated the color-changing cloak. He entered the invisible state again and used close to the end to head towards the secret cave. Arriving at the cave deep in the pool again, he stood next to his clone Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba is still in the state of refining the corpse. And the aura of the corpse has reached the extreme of the current state. Li Yuanba stopped practicing. In more than two years, he cultivated the Evil Corpse Spirit Record to the peak of Silver Corpse. This speed of cultivation is due to the environment here. The cold energy here is the favorite environment for corpse refining. Especially the Yuanying monks of the Hiding Sun sect who arranged it here. But they were designed to cultivate golden corpses. Li Yuanba was practicing here in his silver corpse state. And his practice was making rapid progress. If the silver corpse has the realm of a great elder, then his current state is that of a great elder among the silver corpses. His thoughts moved slightly, and his tall body quickly shrunk. The fangs in his mouth and the sharp claws on his hands all disappeared, and his body changed back to a human state. As he returned to the human state, his special Tai Chi body began to exert strange effects. Although after he returned to his human state, Silver Corpse's corpse pill entered an unknown hidden space. But with the energy of the Tai Chi Dao body automatically balancing the two states of Yin and Yang, spiritual power was constantly injected into his body from the unknown void. There is no need for him to practice. These energies are just like his own, and are absorbed by the golden elixir after they appear. The spiritual power in the golden elixir is increasing rapidly, and its quality is also improving. It only took an hour for Li Yuanba's realm to reach the peak of the late Jin Dan period, because the original body Li Shiming's understanding of the sword intention climbing into the sky technique was greatly improved when he helped the markless illusion sword overcome the calamity. The clone Li Yuanba also benefited greatly. Li Yuanba shared Li Shiming's understanding of the sword intention Chong Shao Ju, which raised his understanding of the sword intent Chong Shao Ju to the nascent soul stage. When the spiritual power of the golden elixir in his body was filled, he gained enough insights into the sword intention climbing to the sky technique to allow him to directly break through from the peak of the late golden elixir to the realm of the great elder. There was no bottleneck in the entire breakthrough process. He even felt that as long as there was an opportunity, he could advance to the nascent soul stage. Unfortunately, this opportunity is not so easy to find. Every monk has a different opportunity to be promoted to Yuanying. Therefore, monks in the realm of the Great Elder will spend all their time trying and searching, just to find an opportunity to be promoted to Yuanying. The Xianin fire in his body has also grown with his realm to the ultimate level of golden elixir. Congratulations, fellow Taoist. Wait five more years. If you haven't broken through the nascent soul stage in five years, I will send you back to Jianichong Shao Pavilion. 
Li Shiming said with a smile. Thank you, fellow Taoist. Li Yuanbar replied with the same smile. The two looked at each other and laughed. They were one, standing together as if they were talking to themselves. The Golden Corpse and Black Shield are left to you. You need to go out and find opportunities for breakthrough on your own. Li Shiming summoned the Golden Corpse and Black Shield and said to Li Yuanba, The Golden Corpse and Black Shield are his strongest Golden Corpses. If he has not mastered the true combat power of swordsmen, the Golden Corpse and Black Shield are still very important to him. But it's different now. He has become a true swordsman, and his apparent combat prowess is extremely astonishing. Most importantly, he also had the great killer weapon, Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect, and he rarely went out for the next five years. On the other hand, Li Yuanba, because he needed to find an opportunity to break through the nascent soul stage, could no longer be protected by Li Shiming as before. The Eastern Shi Continent is not the Northern Shi Continent. Here, even those who have reached the realm of Great Elder in the Golden Core stage have no ability to protect themselves. There are quite a few nascent soul cultivators among the casual cultivators in the Eastern Chi Continent. Li Shiming didn't want his clone Li Yuanba to be in danger. With the Golden Corpse and Black Shield by his side, he could at least ensure Li Yuanba's safety. Of course, Li Shiming also prepared a lot of elixirs and a jade talisman for Li Yuanba. This jade talisman is the life-saving means of the Yuanying monk. That is to say, Li Shiming has the magical power of So close to the end of the world, which makes him faster than the speed after the jade talisman is activated. So he gave the life-saving jade talisman to Li Yuanba. Even among large sects, there are not many nascent soul monks who can possess jade talismans as a means of protecting their lives. They are all nascent soul monks who are highly concerned by the great monks. In the end, he also gave five, Liu Wangxingyun to Li Yuanba, as well as many useless flying swords on his body to Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba has his vocation of flying swordsmanship. As a pure swordsman, he will not use other flying swords. However, the five handles of Liu Guang Starfall were all refined by Li Shiming himself, which is equivalent to being refined by Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba had no problem controlling Liu Guang Starfall. However, Li Shiming gave all five Liu Guang Xingyu and many useless flying swords to Li Yuanba, not for him to use. The natal magic weapon Z15 has analyzed and studied Li Yuanba's Wanjianfeng magic weapon. Since the highest quality of the flying swords in Wanjianfeng is the golden elixir stage, Wanjianfeng is completely useless when it reaches the nascent soul stage. Needless to say, at the nascent soul stage, even at Li Yuanba's current level as a sword cultivator, 10,000 sword peaks would have very little effect on him. In terms of cultivation, the sword power provided by 10,000 swords peak is only the sword power of the golden core stage, which is no longer enough to satisfy Li Yuanba, who has the sword power of the great elder realm. In the battle, the full four sword of elderly Yuanba's swordsmen can definitely compare with the power of 10,000 swords peak, but the preparation time required to activate 10,000 swords peak is a bit long, which is far less convenient than drawing the sword directly. Z15 treats the improvement of 10,000 swords peak as a topic to study. Although the level of 10,000 swords peak is very low, there is an essential difference between 10,000 swords peak and ordinary magic weapons. 10,000 Swords Peak is cultivated by many sword cultivators from generation to generation. They use a large number of flying swords to enhance the spirituality of 10,000 Swords Peak over thousands of years. This makes 10,000 Swords Peak have a low grade. But 10,000 Swords Peak, his spirituality is far beyond his own level. Li Shiming was interested in the foundation of Wan Jianfeng. He set a task for Z15, which was to continue to make Wan Jianfeng, shine and not to let Wan Jianfeng become a decoration in the mustard ring. The method given by Z15 is to use higher grade flying swords to be added to 10,000 swords peak and through the infusion of stronger sword intent. The original 10,000 flying swords of 10,000 swords peak can be improved in quality. You must know that the 10,000 flying swords on 10,000 swords peak, whether they are the flying swords of the chain energy stage or the flying swords of the golden elixir stage have long been in a semi-energy state and have become a whole with 10,000 swords peak. This makes the original quality of the flying sword less important. The flying sword mainly relies on the sword intention inside. As long as the sword intent is improved, 
The quality of the flying sword will also be improved. Li Shiming and Li Yuanbao left the cave, found a flat place, and released. 10,000 swords peak. Wang Jianfeng fell to the ground and turned into a mountain peak. Li Shiming nodded, and Li Yuanbao took out five, Liu Guang Xingyun, and multiple fourth grade flying sword magic weapons. The five handled, Liu Guang Xingyun, contains Li Shiming's Heavenly Thunder Sword Intention, which can be directly collected into 10,000 swords peak and many 4th grade flying sword magic weapons were captured by Li Shiming. And their quality ranges from 4th grade to levels range from lower to upper levels. But since the owners of these flying sword magic weapons are not sword cultivators, they do not contain sword intent. The five-handled Falling Star Fall landed at the core of the top of Wanjian Peak, replacing the original five-handled 3rd grade flying sword magic weapon there. Although, Liu Guangxingyun was eliminated from Li Shiming. It is a third grade weapon called the Tribulation Flying Sword that is comparable to the fourth grade flying sword magic weapon. It is definitely much stronger than the previous third grade flying sword magic weapon. Not to mention that Li Shiming's Heavenly Thunder Sword Intention at the nascent soul stage was much stronger than the original sword intention of the owner of the five third grade flying swords at the core of Wanjian Peak. This operation alone is enough to upgrade Wanjian Feng from a third grade magic weapon to a fourth grade magic weapon. Of course, it is not easy to replace the five-handled third-grade flying sword at the core of the magic weapon. But Z15 found the most perfect solution after a lot of calculations. Although Li Yuanba easily succeeded in replacing the five-handled Liu Guangxingyun as the core of 10,000 swords peak, the amount of data involved was enough to give any weapon refiner a huge headache. As the five-handled Liu Guangxingyun became the core of 10,000 swords peak, the sky thunder rolled on. 10,000 swords peak and the Sky Thunder Sword intent rose in. 10,000 Swords Peak. At this time, Li Yuanba sent all the 4th grade flying swords given by Li Shiming to. 10,000 Swords Peak. And Li Shiming also sent sword intent to. 10,000 Swords Peak. Li Shiming poured all his insights into. Tian Lei Sword Intent. Into. 10,000 Swords Peak. The special thing about. 10,000 Swords Peak. Is that. 10,000 Swords Peak. Has extremely strong spirituality. This spirituality can contain the sword's intention and turn the sword's intention into the energy of 10,000 swords peak at the same time that Li Shiming was infusing the heavenly thunder sword intent. Li Yuanba was also infusing his Jiang sword intent into 10,000 sword peaks. Although Li Yuanba's sword intent was not as good as Li Shiming's, the two of them were one. There is no conflict between the two sides' sword intentions. Instead, they tolerate each other, adding diversity to the sword intentions of 10,000 Swords Peak. Li Shiming's spiritual consciousness penetrated the spiritual power nodes of 10,000 Swords Peak. And he was using 10,000 Swords Peak to accelerate the energy of all the fourth grade flying swords invested. This ability to turn flying swords into energy is also the special ability of 10,000 Swords Peak. However, according to the normal situation of 10,000 Swords Peak, it takes an extremely long time to convert a flying sword into energy. Z15 found out the operating mechanism of 10,000 Swords Peak and used the energy of the nascent soul stage to accelerate the process, resulting in the scene before him. There are a lot of these fourth grade flying swords. Li Shiming found them from the mustard rings of many nascent soul monks. He looked down on these flying sword magic weapons, and they were of no use in his hands. These fourth grade flying swords became the resources of 10,000 Swords Peak. When these fourth grade flying swords were energized, the energy of the fourth grade flying swords quickly dispersed and poured into the original 10,000 flying swords. Of course, these fourth grade flying swords alone are not enough to improve 10,000 flying swords. The flying sword magic weapons that Li Shiming plans to obtain in the future will be invested in. 10,000 swords peak. If the owner of the flying sword magic weapon is a sword cultivator, then the flying sword magic weapon will become one of the thousands of flying swords. If it is not a sword cultivator, the flying sword magic weapon will be energized and used to enhance other flying swords. This extremely extravagant method of refining weapons would probably make any monk sad when they see it. Whether it is a fourth grade low level flying sword, or a mid level or high level flying sword, they are all precious things for Yuanying monks. Even if they are not used by themselves, they can be traded for resources. Only monks like Li Shiming, who could easily obtain resources, would use so many fourth grade flying sword magic weapons for weapon refining. The promotion of 10,000 Swords Peak here is not too big, and it does not attract the attention of any monks. 
The entire improvement process took three days. After so much investment, the quality of Wanjian Feng was completely stable at the fourth level, especially the sword intent. The sword intent contained in the 10,000 flying swords are all kinds of sword intent cultivated by countless sword cultivators. They were all improved under the influence of the golden elixir sword intent in the five third grade flying sword magic weapons. It has reached the golden elixir level. At this time, the five third grade flying swords at the core of 10,000 swords peak were replaced by Liu Guangxingyun. And the sword intention inside became the heavenly thunder sword intent. That was at the peak of the early Yuanying stage. After that, as long as you continue to input energy into 10,000 swords peak, the sword intent of all the 10,000 flying swords in 10,000 swords peak can be upgraded to the nascent soul level. This takes time to complete slowly, which is why Li Shiming doesn't want to give up. 10,000 swords peak, the potential of 10,000 swords peak is really too great. In the future, when Li Shiming's realm and sword intent improve, he can re inject stronger sword intent into the five handled Liu Guangxingyun. If he has a stronger flying sword to replace it, he can also replace it with Liu Guangxingyun to make 10,000 swords peak stronger. The power of 10,000 swords peak depends on the quality of the flying sword and the strength of the sword intention. With continuous investment, 10,000 swords peak will only become stronger and stronger. Even if Li Shiming wanted to refine this kind of magic weapon that could grow, there was no good way. He didn't have the patience to use thousands of years to gradually enhance the spirituality of a magic weapon. Only the set could do this. Li Yuanba has another life-saving magic weapon. The fourth grade. 10,000 swords peak. Chapter 567 Travel. Li Yuanba is separated from Li Shiming. He currently has two strongest methods. One is the golden corpse and black shield. And the other is the 10,000 swords peak magic weapon. Needless to say, the golden corpse and black shield. As long as it is summoned, the contract is connected to the main body Li Shiming. And he does not need to consume his own energy. But since he and the main body Li Shiming are one, he can command the golden corpse and black shield. As for the magic weapon, 10,000 sword peaks. It's a bit embarrassing. If he really wants to use the 10,000 swords peak magic weapon, he will not be able to use the 10,000 swords peak magic weapon by putting all his spiritual energy into it. The magic weapon, 10,000 swords peak, is a magic weapon that consumes extremely spiritual power. Not to mention that after it is upgraded to a fourth grade magic weapon, the demand for spiritual power increases to the point where even a monk who has just entered the nascent soul realm cannot satisfy the need to use 10,000 swords peak, the requirement of the magic weapon. Of course, since Li Shiming upgraded the 10,000 swords peak magic weapon from the third level to the fourth level and still used it for Li Yuanba. There must be a solution. After the analysis and research of the natal magic weapon Z15, in addition to using the Wanjian Feng magic weapon as a suppressive magic weapon, Z15 also found another special way to use it. This method of use is to borrow the flying sword in the magic weapon of 10,000 swords peak. Draw the flying sword out of 10,000 swords peak and turn it into your own flying sword weapon. In this way, the consumption of spiritual power will be reduced to a level that the Elder Sword Cultivator can support. As for the combat effectiveness of this method of using 10,000 Swords Peak, it depends on the Yuanba's own perception of the sword's intention. And it also needs to be tested through actual combat. Li Yuanba was flying in the air with his sword, feeling the Xianin fire in his body. In fact, he is already an alchemy master. With the spiritual fire and the alchemy experience and knowledge he shared from Li Shiming, his alchemy level is not as good as Li Shiming's but it is enough to surpass most alchemy masters. They shared Li Shiming's alchemy experience and knowledge. The reason why their level is not as good as Li Shiming's is not that Li Shiming hides his secrets. Nor does he need to hide his secrets. Li Shiming has the machine room space and the 5 nanometer control power of elixir refining in the machine room space. This is the reason why Li Shiming can refine the elixir into the theoretically ultimate quality. Li Yuanba or any alchemy master, even if they master the same level of alchemy as Li Shiming, would not be able to achieve the effect of Li Shiming's alchemy. What makes Li Yuanba better than other alchemy masters is that he can also borrow part of Z15's computing power. What he lacks now is an alchemy furnace. Li Shiming did not give him an alchemy furnace. Li Shiming's alchemy furnace is not enough for him. Even Li Shiming only has 10 third grade alchemy furnaces. 
even if there are a hundred third grade alchemy furnaces. Li Shiming can use them to make alchemy at the same time. These ten third grade pill furnaces were originally brought from the Beishu continent. Anyway, Li Yuanba has a lot of wealth. So it is not difficult to buy an alchemy furnace. Li Yuanba took out a jade slip. And his spiritual thoughts entered the jade slip. This was an extremely detailed map set by Li Shiming. Find a market first, he murmured to himself. Because we are looking for our own opportunities. We naturally cannot rely on the main body Li Shiming to help us with everything. That would lose the meaning of finding opportunities. It was easy to find a market. It was recorded on the Jade Slip map that he found a market that could provide the highest level of Golden Elixir level spiritual objects. However, no matter how high in the market was, it was not suitable for him. Sheng Yijian changed direction. The Great Elder was in a good state. Since he was at the Golden Core stage, as long as he didn't do anything provocative, the nascent soul cultivator would simply ignore him. But the Golden Core cultivator would not take the initiative to provoke a person. The Great Elder of Sword Cultivator. Of course, this premise is that he has not revealed anything that attracts others. Once he reveals his interests that attract others, the cruelty of the world of immortality will appear. Li Yuanba found Fancher according to the map. This Fancher was in a medium-sized city. If it weren't for the clear instructions on the map, he would have doubted whether he was looking for the wrong place. A medium-sized mortal city that looks extremely prosperous. Fancher was on a remote street in the city. Li Yuanba cast an invisibility spell and flew above the street. The invisibility technique is useless to monks, but it is like a magical skill to mortals. Feeling Fancher's unique formation, he knew he had found the right place. He played the general entrance and exit method of Fancher, and Fancher's formation opened a passage, and he passed through the passage and entered Fancher. This market is the simplest one he has ever seen. The entire market is a courtyard with three entrances, but there is only one truly open shop which is located in the main house in the middle. There are still more than 10 monks setting up shop on the floor, selling spiritual items from the Qi Chain stage and Foundation Establishment stage. This is the real low-level world of immortal cultivation. In the past, even if Li Shiming came into contact with casual cultivators, they were all casual cultivators with nascent soul cultivators, and the most he came into contact with were large sects. Of course, even if this is the lowest level of the immortal cultivation world, it is still higher than the bottom level of the Beishu continent. Among the casual cultivators in the Beishu continent, having monks in the foundation building stage is already very impressive. And those with the golden elixir stage are considered to be the ultimate in casual cultivators. Li Yuanba walked past each floor shop, and the low-level monks selling goods looked at him with awe in their eyes. He had no intention of hiding his own aura. He wore the aura of the great sword cultivator elder without releasing it, which not only allowed other monks to perceive his power, but also would not harm lower level monks. There was no spiritual object on the floor, so he walked towards the only shop. The shop only has one floor, and an old monk in the early stage of Jean Dan was dozing off. He only opened his eyes to check after hearing that there were customers. I've met my fellow Taoist, but what do you need? The old monk opened his eyes. After sensing Li Yuanba's strength, he trotted to Li Yuanba at a speed that was inconsistent with his age and bowed in front of him and asked, Li Yuanba glanced at the spiritual objects in the shop, and he regretted coming here. He seems to have some misunderstandings about the market marked on the map that sells the most golden elixir spiritual items. The highest sales of golden elixir spiritual items here are probably very few golden elixir spiritual items. Look here. The only third grade spiritual object is a lower grade third grade magic weapon. Looking at the battle marks on the magic weapon. This magic weapon is a secondhand magic weapon that has experienced many battles. I want to buy a third grade alchemy furnace. Li Shiming replied now that he was here. Fellow Taoist, this is ridiculous. How can there be such a treasure in this small shop? The old monk said with an embarrassed smile. Upon hearing this, Li Shiming was about to turn around and leave, but saw the old monk making a weight gesture. Fellow Taoist, although the shop does not have a third grade alchemy furnace, I know where to find one. There is a refiner named Zhang on Dangyang Mountain 300 miles south of here. He has the inheritance of refining alchemy furnaces. You can go and have a look. The old monk was afraid that Li Yuanba would be difficult to speak. So he told everything he knew in one breath. Normally, the old monk would only tell the news after asking for benefits. But facing the terrifying sword intent of a sword cultivator elder, even if the sword intent was not hostile at all, he did not dare to do anything to arouse the anger of the sword cultivator elder. Thank you. 
Li Yuanba took out ten high-grade spiritual stones and handed them over. The old monk happily took over ten high-grade spiritual stones. Even though at Tai Chu Sex Auction, there could easily be tens of thousands of high-grade spiritual stones. But among casual cultivators, ten high-grade spiritual stones are already a large sum of money. Of income, Li Yuanba left this small city. He was traveling around and looking for his own opportunities. Purchasing a third-grade alchemy furnace was just a matter of convenience. But there was no rush. He just wanders around as he pleases and does whatever he encounters. After he got the news, he also became interested. How could a refiner with a heritage of refining pill furnaces end up in such a place? The spiritual energy here is not sufficient. And it is close to the mortal world. So it is not suitable for hidden cultivation. Li Yuanba used his sword and came to Dangyang Mountain guided by the old monk. There was a large-scale Taoist temple on Dangyang Mountain. The Taoist temple there was for mortals and had nothing to do with the world of immortality. However, there is a raised platform in the middle of the cliff on the back of the mountain. And a cave can be seen there. He flew to the platform and cast a message transmission technique. You've been bullying me too much. I've already hit here. But you still won't let me go. A voice came from the cave. And then a figure flew out of the cave. This is a middle-aged monk in the late stage of the Golden Core. His eyes are full of anger. There is a flying sword magic weapon floating next to him. What caught Li Yuanba's attention was not the flying sword magic weapon, but a short crossbow in the palm of the middle-aged monk. This short crossbow is a third-grade high-level magic weapon, and he can sense the threat the short crossbow poses to him. You must know that his body training technique has already reached the great elder level. This short crossbow magic weapon can give him a sense of threat, and it must have some special power. Just as Li Yuanba was about to speak, the middle-aged monk had a hot temper and launched an attack first without allowing him to speak. The short crossbow flashed slightly, and a golden light flew out. Li Yuanba became vigilant when he sensed a threat. His, Shen eyes, and other minds were activated. When the middle-aged monk launched the attack, he sensed the middle-aged monk's movements in advance. Xing Yi's sword flew out and faced the golden light. This is a great test of eyesight and control. His eyesight is not a problem. With the help of Shen Vision, he can clearly see the extremely fast flight path of the golden light. Controlling a flying sword is a basic operation for sword cultivators. And control is not a problem either. With a ding sound, the golden light was blocked by Xing Yijian. Li Yuanba sensed that Xing Yijian was contaminated. The golden light contained extremely strong poison, which was enough to poison a golden core cultivator. No wonder he could feel the threat. This kind of poison is not just for monks. Even magic weapons will be affected. Xing Yijian's sword was contaminated by the poison in the golden light and he could even feel that Xing Yijian's sword felt a little raw. Disperse, he shouted softly, and Ji Yang's sword intention exploded with one strike of his own accord. The Ji Yang sword intent is the nemesis of all evil and filthy things. Although this poison is strong, it will be eliminated instantly when encountering the Ji Yang sword intent. Li Yuanba was not someone who could stand being bullied. Even if the other party clearly recognized the wrong person, he had no need to be polite if the other party dared to kill him first. The Jiang sword intention of Xing Yijian rose. Xing Yijian was no longer affected by the poisonous pollution. And the sword light flashed towards the middle-aged monk. The middle-aged monk's eyes changed. The short crossbow in his hand was his greatest confidence. He dared to take action against the elder sword cultivator precisely because he had this sex inherited treasure. However, his trump card did not produce any effect at all and was destroyed. He quickly tried to dodge and at the same time control the flying sword magic weapon beside him to resist Xing Yijian. Xing Yijian's light flashed, and the opponent's flying sword magic weapon broke into two pieces. Xing Yijian is among the third grade flying swords, and cannot be judged by its grade. The power of this natal flying sword, which has been cultivated by sword cultivators for hundreds of years, needs to be calculated in conjunction with the sword's intention. Although the flying sword magic weapon of the middle-aged monk is of good quality, it is not even the slightest bit inferior to the natal flying sword of the elder sword cultivator, which has been cultivated for hundreds of years, before the middle-aged monk could make any other move. He was stabbed through the heart with one sword after another. Li Yuanba fought inexplicably, and he didn't know the name of this middle-aged monk. But looking at where the middle-aged monk was, he was probably the weapon refiner named Zhang. He had no idea of killing people and seizing the treasure. He originally planned to buy it. But obviously the middle-aged monk had different ideas from him. He casually took off the space ring of the middle-aged monk and threw the remains of the flying sword magic weapon that was chopped into two pieces into the 
10,000 swords peak. If he had time to input spiritual power, he could turn the remains of the flying sword magic weapon into 10,000 swords peak. Jianfeng's nourishment. No matter how small a mosquito is, it is still meat. Although it is a third grade flying sword magic weapon, the quality is still good, and it can at least increase the power of 10,000 swords peak. A little bit. As long as you keep investing and add up bit by bit, 10,000 swords peak will one day become powerful. He entered the cave with the space ring. The cave was open when the middle-aged monk came out, which saved him trouble. The hall of the cave has been transformed into a refining room, which shows that this middle-aged monk has few friends visiting. Probably the middle-aged monk had traded with the old monk in Fonshire. The old monk didn't know much about the middle-aged monk. He only knew about the middle-aged monk's weapon refining ability. Otherwise, he would not have provided such information to Li Yuanba. In fact, the old monk was frightened by Li Yuanba. Facing a great swordsman elder, the old monk wanted to send Li Yuanba away as soon as possible and meet all Li Yuanba's conditions. It happened that the middle-aged monk met Li Yuanba's requirements very well. Anyway, the discussion was between the middle-aged monk and Li Yuanba. The old monk never thought that Li Yuanba's contact with the middle-aged monk would have such a result. It was extremely hot in the hall, and the source of heat was a flame in the middle of the hall. Is this an earth fire disc? Li Yuanba had only heard of this kind of thing. And this was the first time he saw it. The earth fire plate uses special means to introduce earth fire into the place of the container. Earth fire is the best flame for refining weapons. Different levels of earth fire can refine different levels of magic weapons. This earth fire disc is a third grade magic weapon, which can be used to refine third grade magic weapons. It is much easier than using pill fire, and it also reduces the requirements for skill attributes in refining the weapon. Normal weapon refining requires practicing fire-based techniques in order to provide enough powerful flames for the weapon refining. Chapter 568 Attack Li Yuanba put away this Earth Fire Plate Although it was only a third grade Earth Fire Plate It was somewhat rare. Except for sects who were good at refining weapons, it was almost impossible to see such spiritual objects. Of course, he is only in the Golden Core stage. If it weren't for Li Shiming's real body, the third grade Earth Fire Plate would be just right for him. The remaining items in the cave were mostly second and third grade weapon refining materials. But he did not pay attention to these things. He found the core of the cave, cracked it and obtained the authority of the cave, and opened the formation of the cave at will. Only then did he have time to sit down in the training room in the cave. The spiritual energy in the training room is extremely thin. And the spiritual veins of Dangyang Mountain are probably the foundation building spiritual veins. It is really strange for a middle-aged monk and a late-stage Jean Dan monk to build a cave here. Thinking of what the middle-aged monk said, there should be some enemy to avoid here. Li Yuanba's spiritual thoughts entered the space ring. His eyes lit up, and ten more jade slips appeared in a flash of his hand. The ten jade slips are all classics on refining weapons. Not only on refining magic weapons, but also on the inheritance of refining alchemy furnaces, as the old monks in Nafong City said. This is really an unexpected gain. Compared with the weapon refining classics of the 10,000 beast sect. Although the weapon refining classics of the 10,000 beast sect are of a higher level. Because Li Shiming is not a full-time weapon refiner in the 10,000 beast sect. The weapon refining classics he has come into contact with they are all open parts. Li Shiming cannot see the classics of the weapon refining line of the 10,000 beast sect. At least not without paying a certain price. It was obvious that the 10 jade slips in Li Yuanba's hand were the weapon refining inheritance of a certain sect and the contents were very comprehensive. There are 10 jade slips, in which you can see the knowledge of weapon refining from the 1st to the 4th grade, as well as a large number of practical cases. In fact, actual cases are sometimes more valuable than the knowledge of weapon refining. Actual cases are the experience gained by the weapon refining master who recorded the process of refining the weapon in detail. From these actual cases, it is almost as if Li Yuanba has refined this kind of magic weapon himself. This kind of experience has been accumulated by countless weapon refiners from generation to generation and is an extremely valuable asset. In particular, Li Yuanba contacted the natal magic weapon Z15 and included the contents of the 10 jade slips, which greatly enhanced his own knowledge of weapon refining. It also allows Z15 to accumulate more knowledge about refining and can simulate refining more refining materials. Li Yuanba didn't pay much attention to the third grade magic weapons in the space ring. So he took out a third grade alchemy furnace. 
This is also the only third-grade pill furnace in the space ring. He found that the quality of this third-grade pill furnace is pretty good. Better than the 10 third-grade pill furnaces used by Li Shiming. He shook his head. Although the method was a bit drastic. His goal was achieved this time. He got the third-grade alchemy furnace he wanted. Hey! What is this? When Li Yuanba's spiritual thoughts swept through the space ring. He found another simple box covered with runes. The history of the ancient box should be very long. This kind of mark of time cannot be artificially created by the weapon refiner. Judging from the smell of the ancient box. This box has a history of at least 5,000 years. He opened the quaint box. And to his surprise, there was a spiritual fire inside. This spiritual fire is exactly the opposite of his. Xianin fire, aura. The aura of this spiritual fire is an extremely young aura. It's really a golden belt for murder and arson. A golden elixir monk has so many good things in him. Li Yuanba said with emotion. The original Li Shiming killed the Yuanying monk. But he didn't gain much. But he killed a Jin Dan monk. And the gain was not small. Of course, this gain cannot be measured by value. But by what he thinks is useful to him. If measured by value, the mustard ring of Yuanying monk is naturally more valuable. The value of any fourth grade magic weapon exceeds the value of all the spiritual objects in Jin Dan monk's body. However, the knowledge of weapon refining contained in the ten jade slips and the spiritual fire cannot be bought with money. These are the foundation of any force. Li Yuanba's Xianin fire is a bit embarrassing. If he wants to best control Xianin fire, he must transform himself into the corpse refining state. Because Xianin fire requires cold energy to control. So if he really wants to make an elixir, he needs to make the elixir in the corpse refining state. And the corpse refining state cannot be exposed. He didn't know the name of this extreme yang spirit fire. But he knew one thing very well. Just by looking at this simple box. He could tell that this extreme young spirit fire had an inheritance. Maybe it was the inheritance of a certain sect. Spiritual fire. Whatever. It's mine! Li Yuanba thought to himself. With a wave of his hand. He created a master recognition spell. Which landed on the extreme young spiritual fire. He is in a human state at this time. And if the Xianin fire in his body is not summoned. It will exist in the unknown space where the corpse pill is. When the master recognition technique fell on the extreme yang spirit fire, the small flames of the extreme yang spirit fire connected with him. Small flames flew towards his body and penetrated into his body. He immediately felt that something was wrong. The power of the yang that the small flame emitted was extremely terrifying. If he hadn't been a yang body in his human state, he might have been burned by the small flame. What kind of spiritual fire is this? And how can it be so terrifying? He exclaimed. No one answered him. And the middle-aged monk who knew the answer was already a corpse. Small flames fell on his golden elixir. As if the golden elixir was on fire. Just when the Yuanba thought it was over. He recognized the little flame as its owner. And an energy came from the void. When this energy was in the void. It was the ultimate in. And when it came into his body. It became the ultimate in. Positive. This is the special ability of his Tai Chi body. This energy is like injecting vitality into the little flame. And the little flame quickly begins to grow. He sensed it and realized that the energy coming from the void was coming from the Qianin fire. Originally, in his human state, if there was no spiritual fire with the Yang attribute, then the Qianin fire would not be affected by the Tai Chi Dao body. After the spiritual fire is recognized as its owner, it is equivalent to a part of the monk's body and will also be affected by the Tai Chi Taoist body when the conditions are met. When it comes to Qian Yin Fire alone, Li Yuanba's Tai Chi body cannot balance the Yin and Yang energy of the spiritual fire. But when he recognizes the extreme Yang spiritual fire as its master and takes it into his body, the conditions for balancing the Yin and Yang spiritual fire are met. Li Yuanba was surprised to feel that the extreme Yang spiritual fire in his body was constantly growing. It didn't take long for it to grow to the peak of the third grade, which was exactly the same quality as the Xianin fire. The third grade peak extreme yang spiritual fire was very different from other spiritual fires he had seen. Extreme yang spirit fire is extremely domineering. In his opinion, it is twice as difficult to use such spirit fire to make elixirs. Because the spirit fire is affected by the extreme yang attribute and can almost be described as violent. If you want to control such a spiritual fire, you have higher requirements for the alchemy master's control. In addition, this extreme yang spirit fire should be suitable for refining weapons. Although such a terrifyingly powerful spirit fire is violent, 
the control required for refining weapons is lower than that for alchemy. In addition, the power of the spirit fire is extremely strong, and it is easier to melt. Refining materials. Li Yuanba was a little confused as to why the middle-aged monk did not recognize this extremely young spiritual fire as its master and use it for refining weapons, but instead used the third grade. Earth fire plate. He didn't even think about it. If this extreme young spiritual fire was so easy to recognize as its master, why would it be his turn to recognize its master? The biggest difficulty in recognizing the owner of the extreme young spiritual fire is that it requires a Ji Yang Taoist body to recognize the owner. Otherwise, if the extreme young spiritual fire enters the body, it will continue to burn the monk's body. Even if this kind of burning damage will not be too serious because of the recognition of the master. No monk can bear it if it is like this for a long time. You can't swallow healing elixirs every once in a while just for a spiritual fire. Even if you swallow the healing elixir, you still need to consider the resistance of long-term use of the healing elixir. Taking too many healing elixirs will greatly reduce the healing effect. And there will still be a day when you cannot resist the burning of the extreme yang spiritual fire. He looked at his mustard seed ring and found a third grade alchemy material, which was a trophy obtained at some point. He recognized the third grade alchemy furnace as its owner and prepared to try to use the extreme yang spiritual fire to refine elixirs. He has all the alchemy experience of the original Li Shiming. Although Li Shiming's alchemy is refined in the computer room space most of the time, Li Shiming answers the questions again and again according to the standard answers. This kind of experience is even better than those of the alchemy masters who are constantly groping. More important, Li Yuanba's alchemy requires constant comparison with the correct answer. The closer to the correct answer, the better. He poured the extreme yang spiritual fire into the third grade alchemy furnace. Felt the extreme yang spiritual fire in the alchemy furnace. And tried to control the size and power of the spiritual fire. Although Li Shiming had the experience of controlling them. Red yang spirit fire. He still made mistakes at the beginning and was unable to control the extreme yang spirit fire as he wished. When you encounter trouble, go to the natal magic weapon Z15. Z15 analyzes the intelligence of the extreme yang spirit fire and summarizes a set of fire control methods for the extreme yang spirit fire. Li Yuanba got familiar with it for a while and was finally able to control the extreme yang spiritual fire like an arm and a finger. He tried to make an elixir for the first time, starting from putting in the first elixir until the elixir was produced. Unfortunately, even though the main body Li Shiming successfully used the 101 points pill technique countless times in the computer room space, he left the computer room. In space, even with Li Shiming's experience, he could not successfully perform the 100 points pill Ju. This furnace of third grade elixir is full of elixirs, and the quality has reached high end. Of course, it has not reached the theoretical extreme, and can only barely reach high end quality. This is like a real alchemist. Li Yuanba didn't care and said with a smile. He didn't have much expectations for the level of alchemy. If there was really an important alchemy matter, of course the main body Li Shiming would have to take action. With double the amount of elixirs produced and higher quality. Unless he disliked having too many elixir making materials. How could he not find Li Shiming? After this time of elixir refining, he had more confidence. If he didn't have a ready-made 4th grade elixir in the early stage of Yuanying, he would be able to refine the 4th grade elixir in the early stage of Yuanying. Li Yuanba was summarizing the elixir refining just now in his mind. He was not likely shimming, who could provide help at any time. Although he was able to contact Z15, he was still separated by a layer and could not get help from Z15 anytime and anywhere. He needs to sum up his experience by himself. According to the characteristics of the extreme yang spiritual fire, the summed up experience is his own alchemy experience. Just as he was thinking, a warning woke him up from his thoughts. This warning comes from the cave's formation. If a monk enters the cave's warning range, it will trigger the cave's warning. Li Yuanba's spiritual thoughts enter the formation, and he sensed the situation outside the cave through the ability of the formation. He found five monks appearing outside the cave. The one standing in the air was an early Yuanying monk, and the other monks were all in the late Jin Dan stage. The four Jin Dan later stages stood in the four directions of the cave and surrounded the cave. Zhang Taizhan, come out! Don't hide in there! A Jin Dan monk shouted to the cave. It seems that they are here to find the middle-aged monk. The middle-aged monk's real name is Zhang Taizhan. Li Yuanba thought to himself. He did not respond to the golden elixir monk. He looked at the early Yuanying monk and judged the gap between himself and the other party. Needless to say, 
there was no need to talk about frontal combat. The huge gap in realm made him afraid that he would not even be able to withstand the opponent's pressure. Zhang Tai's on. Song Ancestor said that as long as you hand over the six Yang spiritual fire and get arrested, the sect will leave you a whole corpse. Otherwise, the sect will extract your soul and place it in the six Yang spiritual fire. It will burn for thousands of years. The golden elixir monk continued. There is no Zhang Tai's on here. You have the wrong person. Li Yuanba said in a deep voice, wanting to see if he could get through. The Hundred Chain sect has been looking for you for 60 years. Do you really think you can escape tracking? You have no other means but to rely on weapon refining to survive. Although you have changed the weapon refining method. As long as the basis is the sect, all the monks in the book can tell the origins. The Jin Dan monk didn't believe that he had made a mistake at all, and continued to say. Li Yuanba felt helpless. Why was he so embarrassed? He had been looking for him for 60 years, but he met him today. In fact, this is a coincidence and inevitable. Zhang Taizan spent most of the 60 years in seclusion, in a place close to mortals and with thin spiritual energy. He had indeed escaped the tracking of the Hundred Chain sect, except for some golden elixir monks who are retiring in the city. It is impossible for any golden elixir monks to survive in such a place. Zhang Taizan exhausted all the resources he carried in 60 years. He thought that he could go further and was not willing to die of old age in the golden elixir stage. So he chose to maintain his cultivation through weapon refining. He was born in the Balian sect and had no other means of making a living. He changed his weapon refining style and only sought secret deals with the organizers of Fangshire. However, no matter how he changed his weapon refining techniques from the Balian sect, he never departed from the fundamentals. Finally, the monks of the Hundred Chain sect discovered the magic weapon he had refined. And after a series of investigations, they found it here. Li Yuanba still found him through Fonsher. So it was both a coincidence and an inevitability. Chapter 569 Beheading the Infant Balian Sect Li Yuanba learned from the original body Li Shiming. This was a medium-sized weapon refining sect in the eastern Qi continent. Don't underestimate the medium-sized sections. Many of the medium-sized sects in the eastern Qi continent are stronger than the large sects in the northern Shu continent. Li Yuanba saw that no matter how hard he tried to explain, it was useless. The Six Yang Spirit Fire should be his new master. The Extreme Yang Spirit Fire. Even if he takes out the Six Yang Spiritual Fire and sends it back, there is a high probability that the other party will not let him go. Not to mention that the Six Yang Spiritual Fire has been upgraded to the peak of the third level by him. The Six Yang Spiritual Fire and the Xianin Fire exactly match the yin and yang sides, which is extremely important to him. Li Yuanba took out 10,000 swords peak. He needed to quickly deal with the four late-stage Jin Dan monks before he could face the early-stage nascent soul monk Song Lazu. With the formation of the cave, although the formation of the cave is not very powerful, it can still withstand the pressure of the early Yuanying monks. He first eliminated the four late Jin Dan monks in the cave to avoid fighting with the early Yuanying monks. During the fight between the monks, they were influenced by these four late-stage Jin Dan monks to kill the four late-stage Golden Core cultivators without leaving the cave. It must be an instant kill. Otherwise, the early-stage nascent soul cultivators will be on guard and block his attack. He tapped his finger on 10,000 swords peak and all the thousands of flying swords trembled in 10,000 swords peak, which had just been cultivated. Thousands of swords fired together. Kill! He shouted softly and waved his hand vigorously at the four late-stage Jean Dan cultivators outside the cave. The 10,000 flying swords in 10,000 swords peak were pulled by his chi and flew out of 10,000 swords peak. The 10,000-handed flying sword is not actually a physical flying sword. They are all energy-based flying swords because a lot of fourth-grade flying swords are decomposed into nutrients. The quality of the energetic sword body of the 10,000-handed flying sword is greatly improved. The sword intent inside it could only barely reach a level close to the fourth grade sword intent due to the short time of cultivation. On the contrary, the five energy flying swords transformed from Liu Guang Xingyun contain real fourth grade sword intent. And they are also powerful. Heavenly Thunder Sword Intent. This is also the reason why Li Yuanba did not refine Liu Guang Xingyun into his own flying sword, but instead absorbed 10,000 swords peak. After acquiring 10,000 swords peak, not only can it still be used, but it can also continuously improve the other flying swords. The sword intention within the sword. 
10,000 flying swords flew out under the leadership of five, Liu Guang Xingyun. Due to the energy, the 10,000 flying swords passed through the stone wall of the cave without damaging the stone wall itself. The four late-stage Jin Den monks outside were thinking about how to break open the cave. Since they had an absolute advantage, they couldn't let Patriarch Song take action against Zhang Taizhan. Song Patriarch maintains his identity and is here to prevent Zhang Taizhan from escaping. He is just in case and will not participate in the Battle of the Golden Core Monks. Just as the four late-stage Jin Den monks were exchanging ideas, they all suddenly sensed something and couldn't help but look towards the cave. Be careful. Retreat quickly. Old Ancestor Song noticed the danger first and shouted a warning while trying to get closer. But everything happened too fast. Countless flying swords were shot out from the cave. And these flying swords were shot at the four late-stage Jin Den monks. The four late-stage Jin Den monks were ready to fight. But they also had defensive means. They summoned defensive magic weapons in time. But when these defensive magic weapons encountered flower stars, they were shot through instantly, lost their spirituality, and were continuously shot through by the flying swords behind them. The four defensive magic weapons didn't last even a moment before they were smashed into pieces. The four late-stage golden core cultivators didn't even utter an exclamation. Just like their defensive magic weapons, their bodies were reduced to pieces. To be honest, Li Yuanba used the 10,000 swords of 10,000 swords peak to deal with the four late-stage Jin Den monks, which felt like using a cannon to swap mosquitoes, let alone thousands of swords fired at once. Even if he only used a few, Liu Wang Xingyun, it was enough to kill four late-stage Jin Den cultivators. He used 10,000 sword peaks to increase his actual combat experience. How dare you! Old Ancestor Song roared. He had lost face this time. While he was leading the team, all four late-stage Jin Dan monks were killed. This left him to explain what he should do when he went back. It wasn't that anyone from the sect would cause trouble for him, but that he couldn't face the monks from the sect. He, a nascent soul cultivator, brought four late-stage golden core cultivators to deal with one late-stage golden core cultivator. But all four of the late-stage golden core cultivators he brought perished. It was really unreasonable. It is naturally extremely terrifying for Patriarch Song to get angry. He did not use the nascent soul formation. With a casual blow, the formation of the cave immediately broke open. Not only the formation, but also several walls of the cave were destroyed, revealing the interior of the cave. Li Yuanba used step by step to rise lotus to leave the cave before the opponent attacked and the formation was not broken. He left the golden corpse and black shield in the cave and at the same time shot a sword in tension at the golden corpse and black shield. The formation was still there when he left, and all his movements were covered up by the formation. So when Song Ancestor broke through the cave, what he perceived was the golden corpse and black shield, and the sword intent on the golden corpse and black shield. This was really confusing. The first time he sensed it, he thought that the golden corpse and black shield was the monk who used countless flying swords to attack. Of course, with the strength of Patriarch Song. It only takes a moment to use his spiritual consciousness to discover the true identity of the Golden Corpse and Black Shield. But what Golden Corpse Black Shield is best at is speed. Song Ancestor took advantage of him. He never thought that the enemy would be at the nascent soul stage. When he sensed the aura of the Golden Corpse, the Golden Corpse and Black Shield had already come to him and slashed at him with the Demon Sword of Wrathful Resentment in his hand. This speed was so fast that he didn't even have time to react. He only saw a black light, and the protective spiritual power on his body was automatically activated, trying to block the attack of the Demon Sword of Wrathful Resentment. Why is the Wandering Resentment skill of the Golden Corpse and Black Shield a forbidden skill of the Hidden Sun sect? If the Wandering Resentment skill had not had too many side effects, this skill would be so powerful that most other skills would not be able to comparable an ordinary strike from the Waffle resentment skill is comparable to a strike from a monk's nascent soul. Not to mention that the Devil Sword of Wandering Resentment in the hands of Golden Corpse Black Shield has enhanced the power of Wandering Resentment Ming Gong. Song Lazu only felt his body light up, and half of his body was separated from the main body. This made him so frightened that he no longer considered chasing the traitor. Maybe this was not John Kishon's cave, and they had provoked an extremely terrifying existence. There is an extra jade talisman in his nascent soul's hand. The income of the weapon refining sect is very good. And the jade talisman, a life-saving thing, has also been obtained. Yuan Ying activated the jade talisman. 
because the speed of the Golden Corpse and Black Shield was so fast. Yuan Ying did not dare to make any unnecessary movements. So he activated the Jade Talisman in his body. The nascent soul turned into a stream of light and flew out of the body, flying towards the distance. What a pity! Li Yuanba sighed softly as he had divine vision and could see the movements of Patriarch Song clearly. If his realm reached the nascent soul stage, the Song ancestor's nascent soul would not be able to escape at all, even if he used life-saving means such as Jade Talismans. After all, the Golden Corpse and the Black Shield were not real monks. Coupled with Song Patriarch's decisiveness, he immediately used the Jade Talisman when encountering a crisis, making the Golden Corpse and Black Shield unable to kill Song Patriarch's nascent soul in time. Li Yuanba's divine foot power can catch up, but he doesn't have the strength of Yuan Ying. Will he die if he catches up? With his level, if he catches up to Song Ancestor's nascent soul, he will be affected by the other party's pressure. He shook his head and began to collect this harvest. The space rings of four late-stage Jean Dan monks fell to the ground, and he needed to take them back. The ancestor of the Song Dynasty only had Yuan Ying to escape, and the only thing that could be taken away was the natal magic weapon. The natal magic weapon is normally maintained in Yuan Ying. Even if Yuan Ying flies away, it can be turned into energy and absorbed into Yuan Ying's body. It will affect the speed of nascent soul's flight. So the other belongings of Patriarch Song were left on the body. Yes, Patriarch Song's body was cut into two parts. Without taking the life-saving elixir in time, his body was already dead. Li Yuanba put away Song Patriarch's mustard ring, and he weighed the Six Yang Spiritual Fire to burn Patriarch Song's body to ashes. Here we can see how powerful the Six Yang Spiritual Fire is. No matter how the Song Patriarch's body is destroyed, it is still the body of a Yuan Ying monk. However, when Li Yuanba injected spiritual power into the Six Yang Spiritual Fire, it strengthened it. After absorbing the power of Six Yang Spiritual Fire, the corpse was easily burned to ashes. No wonder. In order to hunt down Zhang Tai Zhan, the traitor, Balian sect, and even the nascent soul monks were dispatched. Perhaps not for Zhang Tai Zhan, but for this. Six Yang Spiritual Fire. He no longer stayed. Recall the golden corpse and black shield. Turn around and left here. Among the space rings of the four late stage Jean Din monks, there were mostly third grade weapon refining materials and some third grade magic weapons. But there was nothing that made Li Yuanba's heart move. There is a high probability that Zhang Tai is on defected. So he deliberately collected the skills and treasures of the Balian sect, which gave him some gains. And these late stage Jean Din monks are out to perform tasks. And even if they have good things, they will stay in the sect's cave. They are not casual cultivators, and will carry all important things with them. Li Yuanba was not disappointed. He had already guessed this. He took out the mustard seed ring again. Song Patriarch was a monk in the early stage of Yuan Ying. According to Li Shiming's experience, the chance of good things coming out of the mustard ring of a monk in the early stage of Yuan Ying was not high. But Patriarch Song was an early Yuan Ying monk of the Balian sect. And his net worth was probably extremely rich. Although the weapon refiner is not as good as the alchemist, it is still an extremely popular profession. As long as the strength is sufficient, the income is very considerable. His spiritual thoughts entered the mustard seed ring, and he first discovered that this mustard seed ring was much better than his own mustard seed ring, with a larger space and higher quality. There were dozens of fourth grade weapon refining materials piled inside the mustard seed ring. Each fourth grade weapon refining material ranged from 1 to 10. At first glance, he thought it was a sex warehouse being robbed. The value of the fourth grade weapon refining materials alone gave him a huge gain. What only disappointed him was that among the fourth grade weapon refining materials, only one was a fourth grade upper grade material, and the rest were fourth grade low grade and mid grade materials. Based on the vision he shared from Li Shiming, the fourth grade weapon refining materials can only be considered high grade and above. However, this pile of fourth grade weapon refining materials can allow him to practice after he is promoted to the nascent soul stage. Perhaps, he can also become a weapon refiner with this status. Next to the refining materials, there are 13 fourth grade magic weapons, seven of which are fourth grade flying swords. None of these fourth grade flying sword magic weapons are of interest to him. The main reason is that they are a bit low grade. Most of them are low grade and mid grade fourth grade flying sword magic weapons. The two high grade flying sword magic weapons of fourth grade are also not liked by him. Without saying anything, he threw all seven fourth grade flying swords into 10,000 swords peak. 
and became the materials of 10,000 Swords Peak. He had tested the power of 10,000 Swords Peak. Today, as long as he continued to invest in 10,000 Swords Peak, he could exert the offensive power of a nascent soul sword cultivator at the level of a golden core cultivator. Of course, the premise is to give him enough flying sword magic weapons. Especially 4th grade flying sword magic weapons. In fact, most of the flying sword magic weapons captured outside can only be used as nourishment for 10,000 swords peak. There are really too few sword cultivators. And there are even fewer sword cultivators who can be encountered and killed by him. Only the flying sword magic weapon of sword cultivator that contains sword intention can become the flying sword in 10,000 swords peak. Therefore, it can be said that there is a long way to go to raise the 10,000 swords peak to the invincible power of the nascent soul stage. Suddenly, Li Yuanbao looked at the pile of fourth grade weapon refining materials. If all this pile of fourth grade weapon refining materials were given to the main body Li Shiming, the main body Li Shiming would refine the fourth grade flying sword magic weapon. And then Li Shiming would cultivate it for a while. Time. Then wouldn't it be possible to add a batch of fourth grade flying swords to 10,000 swords peak? Once the idea came up, he wanted to try it. Even if there is not a pile of 4th grade weapon refining materials, Li Shiming can exchange these ordinary 4th grade weapon refining materials with spiritual elixirs if needed. Or he can offer to use 4th grade weapon refining materials as payment when refining elixirs. And it is not difficult for Li Shimingian to raise the flying sword magic weapon. For other nascent soul sword cultivators, cultivating the flying sword requires a lot of energy. But Li Shiming is different. He has 191 brains at his disposal. Theoretically, he can cultivate 191 flying swords at the same time. And his heavenly thunder sword intent is even more powerful. It is the peak state of the early nascent soul. And it can greatly enhance the power of the fourth grade flying swords. If we continue to operate like this, when one day the 10,000 flying swords in 10,000 swords peak are all fourth grade flying swords and the sword intentions inside are all nascent soul level sword intentions. Then the 10,000 flying swords will be in front of the sword. One can truly kill instantly at the same level. It can even be done with one enemy against many. Even if there are a 100 nascent souls of the same level, they can't resist 10,000 fourth grade flying swords containing nascent soul level sword intent. The more he thought about it, the more excited he became. It seemed that this task was going to be put on the agenda. He also had to collect the 4th grade weapon refining materials. And Li Shiming also started refining the weapon. Li Shiming's weapon refining does not need to consume the time of recent years like the Traceless Magic Sword. It only requires refining an ordinary 4th grade flying sword. Chapter 570 Trouble Li Yuanba continued to scan Patriarch Song's mustard seed ring with his spiritual thoughts. And nearly a hundred jade slips were piled together. His mind swept through the jade slips one by one. These jade slips were all filled with knowledge related to weapon refining, which was richer and more comprehensive than Zhang Tieshan's ten jade slips. The rest include not only the inheritance of refining the alchemy furnace, but also the inheritance of refining the flying boat, as well as the refining methods of some special magic weapons. These jade slips were probably the entire artifact refining inheritance of the Balian sect. But he didn't understand why Song Ancestor would carry these jade slips with him. Li Yuanba is in a happy mood. His plan to refine the 4th grade flying sword magic weapon and put it into 10,000 swords peak will be easier to realize. Because with these weapon refining inheritance, his and the original body Li Shiming's weapon refining level will be greatly improved. After all, it is a professional weapon refining sect. The comprehensiveness of its inheritance and the research of countless generations of weapon refining masters are beyond the reach of the weapon refining classics of the 10,000 beast sect. The spiritual thought moved away from the jade slip, leaving only the last place in the mustard ring, where a lonely jade box was placed. Using his spiritual thoughts to open the jade box, he found that inside was a fourth grade top level weapon refining material called Abyss True Sand. Abyss True Sand is a weapon refining material that can only be produced at the very depths of the seabed. It is also a pure metallic weapon refining material, coupled with its top level fourth grade quality. This weapon refining material is ideal for refining flying swords. Best materials. Li Yuanba hesitated for a moment. If the original Li Shiming had not obtained the Traceless Magic Gold to refine the Traceless Magic Sword, perhaps the original Li Shiming would have refined the Abyss True Sand into the Flying Sword. Now that the main body Li Shiming has the Traceless Magic Sword, although the Abyss True Sand 
is also extremely precious. There is no need for Li Shiming to refine a second flying sword magic weapon. More importantly, once the clone Li Yuanba reaches the nascent soul stage, Abyss True Sand will be more suitable for Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba's natal flying sword sword is a third grade flying sword magic weapon. If you want to improve its quality, you could only use matching fourth grade metallic refining materials to improve it. Abyss True Sand has no biased attributes, which makes Xing Yijian improved by. Abyss True Sand have more possibilities. He put away the True Sand of the Abyss. Even if he has the True Sand of the Abyss. Now, it is useless if he has not reached the realm. He then replaced this mustard seed ring with the one he used and obtained the weapon refining inheritance of the Balian sect. The spiritual imprint of the mustard seed ring that originally belonged to the ancestor of the Song dynasty was under his. Six Yang spiritual fire was cleared easily. He put his own spiritual mark on it. And this extremely high quality mustard ring became his. A few days later, Li Yuanba sensed something was wrong. The bodies of several Jin Den monks around him were thrown to the ground like rags. This was the fourth attack he had encountered in a few days. His spiritual thoughts found space rings from several corpses and found reward orders from them. The reward orders not only described him, but also contained his aura. He came out to look for opportunities and wanted to advance to the nascent soul stage. He couldn't be disconnected from the outside world. So he might as well find a place to retreat. So he followed the markings on the map. And whenever there was a market along the way, he would go in and have a look. Even if he didn't buy any spiritual items, he would gain more knowledge. The previous attacks came out of nowhere. And he thought they were motivated by money. Now after seeing the reward notice, he realized that this was revenge from the Hundred Chain sect. Li Yuanba asked the Song Patriarch to escape with only nascent soul. As a medium-sized weapon refining sect, Balian sect had several nascent soul monks who were not good at fighting. So Balian sect chose to offer a reward, using some profits to reward Li Yuanba. And the Balian sect had good relations with many forces. Li Yuanba was constantly attacked. However, it is obvious that Balian sect did not explain Li Yuanba's true combat power to these monks. Otherwise, there would not be a few Jin Den monks who dared to take action against him. You must know that Li Yuanba's record severely damaged the early Yuanying monks. Although he did not use his own strength, the monk's corpse refining was also part of their combat power. He pointed out the Six Yang spiritual fire with his finger, and the corpse on the ground was instantly reduced to ashes. When he was about to leave, his expression suddenly tightened. He regretted not borrowing the Z-15 to check the drone satellite system and check the situation around him. He sensed that the auras of three nascent soul monks were approaching quickly, and he would not think that the arrival of the three nascent soul monks had nothing to do with him. This is not a lively place. It is a place where casual cultivators live. It is possible for one Yuanying monk to appear. The chance of three Yuanying monks appearing at the same time is extremely small. It can only be that the three Yuanying monks have something to do beforehand. Come! Li Yuanba didn't hesitate at all. A white lotus flashed under his feet. And he used step by step to rise lotus to escape into the distance. He didn't need to think too much. The Jin Dan monk he killed just now must have exposed his whereabouts. The three Yuanying monks discovered him and chased after him. The speed of step by step to the lotus is indeed very fast, especially since he wears a hard band on his head, which doubles the distance he can move every time he uses step to step to the lotus. But the three Yuanying monks were also extremely fast, especially when they took out a small airship. After the three Yuanying monks entered the small airship, they actually kept up with his speed. The three Yuanying monks were also extremely surprised. They did not expect that the target this time had the magical power of divine feet. Fortunately, they had this fourth grade flying boat. Driven by the three nascent soul cultivators, they were able to increase the speed of the fourth grade flying boat several times. And finally they were not abandoned by Li Yuanbo. But this also made them lose face. Three Yuanying monks took action to deal with a golden elixir monk. But they fell into a situation of chasing each other. Li Yuanba also has a big head. He is different from Li Shiming. Li Shiming has the direct help of the natal magic weapon Z15. He can use multiple brains to display the magical foot power at the same time. So that there is no time interval between the use of the magical foot power. But he couldn't do it. If it weren't for the existence of the heart hoop. Which strengthened his spirit. He might not be able to compete with the three nascent soul monks in speed. It's a pity that this special treasure. The heart hoop. Will no longer have a mental bonus. When it reaches the nascent soul stage. Behead. He fled in front. 
But he was not willing to be chased like this. Because of the effect of the heart hoop. His attack distance is also twice as far. And the three nascent soul monks are all in the fourth grade flying boat and cannot cast the nascent soul dharma. So he calculates the distance before casting. Step by step ascending lotus. Use Xingyijian to launch a Jiang sword intent attack. How can the light of a grain of rice compete with the glory of the vast moon? The first nascent soul monk on the fourth grade flying boat couldn't help but said angrily when he saw that Li Yuanba dared to fight back when he was being chased. He waved his hand to block the attack of Jiang sword intent. Just when the spiritual power he emitted was about to block the Jiang sword intent. The Jiang sword intent suddenly dodged the blocking spiritual power like a swimming fish and slashed towards the fourth grade flying boat. Another nascent soul cultivator on the fourth grade flying boat took action in time and blocked the Jiang sword intent. This made the previous Yuanying monk's face turn red. He did not show his true strength. That is, he just blocked it casually. He sensed the power of the Jiang sword intent. So he did not take it to heart. I didn't expect that Jiang sword intent was so flexible. If another nascent soul cultivator hadn't taken action, this fourth grade flying boat would have been attacked. Although the defense of the fourth grade flying boat is very strong and will not be destroyed by the Jiang sword intent of this golden elixir monk, if it is really hit, it will be a big fool. How did he know that Li Yuanba was practicing the sword intention climbing to the sky technique, which was the most advanced sword cultivation method? Although Li Yuanba's combat power is not as good as those nascent soul cultivators, the quality of his skills far surpasses them. Among the nascent soul cultivators, who can be invited by the hundred chain sect as quickly as possible. There are nascent soul cultivators who are casual cultivators, as well as nascent soul cultivators from small and medium-sized forces. Their skills are far inferior to those of the Yuanning monks from the major sects, let alone compared to the top sword cultivation skills such as the sword intention climbing to the sky technique. It was normal for the Yuanning monk to suffer some slight losses from Li Yuanba's sword attack when he was unexpected, seemingly angry, the nascent soul cultivator came out of the fourth grade flying boat and stood on the fourth grade flying boat. With his breath surging, he displayed the nascent soul dharma. When Li Yuanba said something was wrong with the aura behind him, he immediately used South close to the end to widen the distance between the two sides. South close to the end of the world is relatively expensive, but the movement distance is farther and it immediately sends him beyond the attack range of the nascent soul dharma. The Yuanning monk who cast the Yuanning Dharma felt extremely uncomfortable. He wanted to attack Li Yuanba. But Li Yuanba was outside the attack range. He didn't want to pursue Li Yuanba alone. But he knew Li Yuanba's record. And he had heard about what happened to Patriarch Song. Li Yuanba has not used his strongest golden corpse now. He has been on careful alert to prevent being tricked by Li Yuanba's golden corpse. Damn it! He gave up the nascent soul Dharma and returned to the fourth grade flying boat. Li Yuanba took a spiritual pill to restore his spiritual power. He slowed down a little and closed the distance to the fourth grade flying boat, and then sent out another Jiang sword intent. He had already thought about it. If he was really in trouble, he would use the Jade Talisman to escape. Before that, he had to constantly arouse the anger of the three Yuanying monks. Only by making the three Yuanying monks lose their minds could he get a chance to fight back. He also kept in touch with Z15 and used the drone satellite system to observe the situation along the way. He did not want to be blocked by the monks. In addition, in order to prevent the three nascent soul monks from figuring out his escape route, he kept changing his direction. During the pursuit, the pursuit battle between the three nascent soul monks and Li Yuanba lasted for a day. Because the three nascent soul monks were in a fourth grade flying boat, and because they were nascent soul monks, their spiritual power reserves were even stronger. Li Yuanba continued to use step by step to rise lotus, and occasionally used, south close to the end of the world, even if he kept taking spiritual pills to restore his spiritual power. The spiritual power in the golden pill was greatly consumed. The three nascent soul monks are extremely cunning. It may be that the nascent soul monks who practice nascent soul and the small and medium-sized sects are more exposed to intrigues. They are not affected by Li Yuanba's provocation at all, and are just waiting to consume Li Yuanba's spiritual power. Junior. Are you tickling me with your sword intention? Please use more force. Monkey Yuanning sneered loudly. Naturally, he also wanted to anger Li Yuanba. As long as Li Yuanba was angered, they would be able to catch Li Yuanba as soon as Li Yuanba's escape speed slowed down. Li Yuanba has a very good mentality. It is not easy for the other party to make him lose his mind. However, he has contacted Z15, who is helping him analyze the battle situation. 
in the counterattacks one after another. His application of sword intention is also constantly strengthening. This is an extremely rare combat experience. Due to his body, Li Shiming, his sword intention has reached the peak level of the early Yuanin stage. However, due to his realm, his sword intention is only at the Great Elder level. In addition, there is still a distance between the perception of sword intention and real combat. He gained a lot of combat experience by wielding sword intention again and again. Li Yuanba felt the spiritual power in his body, and he shook his head helplessly. He was not prepared to continue like this. He mobilized the little spiritual power in his body, and finally poured it into Ji Yang's sword intention, and slashed towards the fourth grade flying boat behind him. He didn't have any expectations for this sword. He knew very well that even if his sword intention application improved a lot, the gap in the realm could not be made up for by the sword intention application improvement. He has already taken out the life-saving jade talisman and is preparing to activate the life-saving jade talisman and leave. Suddenly he stopped the movement of his hand, and he felt that his Jiang sword intent was suddenly injected with other sword intent, which caused the power of his Jiang sword intent to increase rapidly. After Jinny left the body to attack, it didn't mean that Jinny had no contact with him. Sword intention is the sword cultivator's spirit and spiritual power obtained through thousands of hammers and hundreds of chains, as well as his understanding of the sword. It is a part of the sword cultivator himself. Even after leaving the body, he still has a strong connection with the sword cultivator, especially the practice of sword intention Chong Shao technique makes this connection stronger than normal sword practice. He sensed the changes in Jiang's sword intent, which frightened him extremely. You must know that sword intention is extremely exclusive. What kind of existence can integrate its own sword intention into the sword intention of others? This kind of control of sword intention is simply not something he can compare with. Although Ji Yang's sword intent has changed internally, the external aura of Ji Yang's sword intent has not changed. Ji Yang's sword intention is like making a sh. L out of the sword intention of the great elder Jin Dan. Inside is the sword intention of an unknown powerful existence fused with Ji Yang's sword intent. That is to say, Li Yuanba is the master of Jiang's sword intent and can sense this change. The three nascent soul cultivators on the fourth grade flying boat behind them did not notice the difference in this Jiang sword intent. A nascent soul cultivator still waved his hand to block the Jiang sword intent like before. This spiritual power was not used casually, but a defensive secret method. Since Li Yuanba's Jiang sword intention is becoming more and more tricky, if he is not careful, he will embarrass the Yuanying monks in front of his companions. Therefore, when any of the three Yuanying monks tries to resist, they will use defensive secrets to prevent them from being allowed to do anything. Li Yuanba's Ji Yang sword intention has a chance to escape control. The spiritual power of the nascent soul cultivator formed a wall of spiritual power in front of the fourth grade flying boat, and the Ji Yang sword intent was about to collide with the wall of spiritual power. Chapter 571 Senior When the Ji Yang sword intent came into contact with the spiritual power wall, the terrifying aura inside suddenly erupted. The unparalleled sword intent moved forward with unparalleled momentum. The spiritual wall was instantly broken, and the sword intent slashed towards the fourth grade flying boat without any stagnation. This accident made the three nascent soul cultivators all startled. They never thought that the sword intention that was the elder of Jean Dan before would become such a terrifying sword intention. After the sword intent exploded, not only was its power greatly enhanced, but its speed suddenly became many times faster, causing the sword intent to directly hit the fourth grade flying boat. That is to say, the three nascent soul cultivators reacted quickly and flew out of the fourth grade flying boat in a flash. But the fourth grade flying boat was cut into pieces by this sword intention. If their speed was a little slower, maybe they would be the same as the fourth grade flying boat. The three nascent soul cultivators had a look of horror on their faces, and they looked around. Senior, please forgive me if we have offended you in any way, a nascent soul monk said loudly. Li Yuanba was shocked. Anyone who could be called a senior by a monk in the early stage of Yuanying must be a monk in the middle or late stages of Yuanying. He did not detect any nascent soul monk approaching from the drone satellite system. Where did that nascent soul monk come from? The three Yuanying monks and Li Yuanba stood in the void. The three Yuanying monks did not dare to take action against the Yuanba now. And Li Yuanba did not use the life-saving jade charm to escape. Li Yuanba thought in his heart that since this senior helped him, there would not be much danger. Besides, he is a golden elixir great elder, and he is a figure in the golden elixir stage. But in front of a mid to late nascent soul monk, he really means nothing. Didn't you say I'm tickling you? How strong is this tickling? 
a figure came from below at a very fast speed not far from the three nascent soul cultivators, and said to them calmly. Li Yuanba saw this monk and discovered that he was a mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator. Because of Li Shiming's real body, he shared Li Shiming's experience. So he could still judge the middle stage of nascent soul. He also felt an extremely familiar aura from this mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator. Senior, I was talking about this junior Jean Dan. Not senior. The Yuanying monk who spoke before quickly defended. He felt extremely wronged. It was obviously a verbal dispute during the pursuit. But how could a middle-stage nascent soul sword cultivator intervene and criticize it? But he didn't dare to blame the middle-stage nascent soul sword cultivator. The three of them combined couldn't resist a sword from such a being. You bully my disciples a sword intention Chung Shao Pavilion. And you also despise the sword intention of my sword intention Chung Shao Pavilion. I will give you ten breaths to prepare. I will only send out one sword intention. If you can resist it, forget it. The sword cultivator in the middle stage of nascent soul said in a deep voice. When Li Yuanba heard this, he understood where that sense of familiarity came from and why the other party could integrate the sword intention into his own. It turned out that he met the senior of Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion. He was in the Eastern Qi continent and had forgotten that he was still a disciple of Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion. At this time, he remembered that although the Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion was not in the East Qi continent, the sword cultivators of the Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion traveled around, and it was normal to meet fellow sects in the East Qi continent. Junior Li Yuanba has met my senior. Li Yuanba bowed and said with a okay salute. I didn't expect to meet a disciple of the same sect here. Who is your master? The mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator turned to look at Li Yuanba and asked with a smile. My master's name is Jin Wuwei. Li Yuanba replied. Jin Wuwei is still alive. The mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator said unexpectedly. He chatted casually with Li Yuanba, not worried about what the three nascent soul monks would do. The three nascent soul cultivators looked at each other and did not dare to escape. It is simply unrealistic to escape in front of a mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator. Sword cultivators are good at speed. If they really want to escape, they may not even have the last chance to survive. Instead, the mid-nascent soul sword cultivator asked them to defend themselves. And with only one sword intention, they might still have a glimmer of hope. The three nascent soul monks all summoned defensive magic weapons. Unfortunately, they were not wealthy nascent soul monks. The most powerful defensive magic weapon was only the fourth grade mid-level. They were still uneasy and cast defensive spells one after another, giving themselves multiple defenses. Master is very good. He has become a Yuaning monk and has returned to Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion. Li Yuanba replied respectfully. The mid-nascent soul sword cultivator knew his master, and this news made him feel more at peace. Jian Boy has also been promoted to the nascent soul stage, said the mid-nascent soul sword cultivator with a smile. He glanced at Li Yuanba again shook his head and said, Jian Boy's disciples are all at the great elder level. So it is normal for Jian Boy to reach the Yuaning stage. His talent is not bad. If it hadn't been for the accident, he would have made a breakthrough in the pavilion. The sword cultivator in the middle stage of nascent soul smiled. At this time, the ten breath time had come, and he had not forgotten what he said before. With a wave of his hand, a sword intent shot towards the three nascent soul cultivators. The three Yuaning monks now displayed the Yuaning Dharma appearance. In front of the Yuaning Dharma appearance was a defensive shield formed by defensive magic weapons, and their bodies were illuminated by the light of defensive spells. In order to be more safe, the three nascent soul Dharma phases stood together, so that the defensive magic weapon was equivalent to three lines of defense. There is an offensive magic weapon in front of them, but the offensive magic weapon does not launch an attack but is prepared to be used as a defensive magic weapon to intercept the sword's intention. In order to survive, they can be said to have used the strongest defense methods. As soon as the sword intention of the sword cultivator in the middle stage of nascent soul appeared, Li Yuanba felt like his scalp was numb. This sword intention does not have any special attributes, but only a strong desire to attack, like an arrow shot from a bow, with the will to go and never return. This is the most terrifying sword intent that Li Yuanba has ever seen. Evenly Shimming's Heavenly Thunder Sword Intention cannot compare with this sword intent. It's not that the Heavenly Thunder Sword Intent is not strong, but the sword intent in front of him is too strong. The sword intent in the middle stage of Nascent Soul is much higher in level. The sword intent hit the first defensive magic weapon, 
and the defensive magic weapon exploded into pieces with a bang, as if it had been ignited by gunpowder. One of the three nascent soul dharma appearances shook slightly, and he suffered some damage due to the magic weapon being broken. The sword intent did not stop, followed by the second defensive magic weapon, and the third defensive magic weapon, all with the same results as the first defensive magic weapon. The sword intention passed through countless fragments and hit the defensive spell. This time, the three defensive spells were broken at the same time, making Li Yuanba feel like he was beating an egg with a big iron rod. How could the edge, L of the defensive spell be resisted, withstand the attack of the big iron rod of sword intent? Just after all the defenses were broken, the three nascent soul dharma phases were about to scatter and dodge. But at this moment, a coercive force emitted from the sword intent. This is the coercion coming from the mid-stage nascent soul. Sword cultivators in the mid-stage nascent soul can control the pressure extremely flexibly and control it to appear at the most critical moment, causing the three figures of the nascent soul to dodge. The sword intention passed through the bodies of the three nascent souls, and the power contained in the sword instantly destroyed the nascent souls, including the nascent soul inside. Li Yuanba watched as the nascent soul forms of the three early nascent soul monks turned into dots of starlight, revealing their protected bodies. Unfortunately, their bodies no longer had the breath of life. When their nascent souls were destroyed, they were both killed by the sword. This is sword cultivation! Li Yuanba muttered to himself. The sword cultivator in the middle stage of Yuaning beheaded three monks in the early stage of Yuaning. Judging from the casual feeling of the sword cultivator in the middle stage of Yuaning, this blow did not produce much force, causing the three early stage monks to fall on the spot. Li Yuanba, you are brave. Facing the pursuit of three nascent soul cultivators, you still dare to fight back. This is indeed the character that a disciple of my sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion should have. A middle stage nascent soul sword cultivator is very concerned about killing three Yuan Ying cultivators. The early stage monk didn't feel much, so he smiled and said to Li Yuanba. He originally settled here temporarily and was being chased by Li Yuanba. When he sensed the aura on Li Yuanba's body and the sword intent exerted by Li Yuanba, he recognized that he was a junior from the same sect. When the three Yuanying monks said words that insulted the sword, he sentenced them to death. He seemed to like Li Yuanba. On the one hand, he was Jin Wuwei's disciple. He knew Jin Wuwei and had a very close relationship with him. Naturally, Ai Wu and Wu Xia had feelings for Li Yuanba. On the other hand, Li Yuanba's character was such that he dared to fight back against the three nascent soul cultivators, which also endeared him to him. This junior has magical foot power. So he is safe. Li Yuanba said truthfully. He had been using his divine foot power just now. And the mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator must know this. What you have learned is quite complicated. Seeing that you have also learned body training techniques and close-up sword cultivation techniques. You are still able to practice to the realm of the great elder at this age. Sword boy has found a good one. Disciple, said the sword cultivator in the middle stage of nascent soul glancing at him up and down. Has this junior gone astray? Li Yuanba couldn't help but ask. Master Jin Wuwei and the mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator in front of him were both pure sword cultivators in his opinion. This made him feel that he had gone in the wrong direction. A truly powerful swordsman should be a pure swordsman. There is no such thing as going in the wrong direction. Your sword intention is the Jiang sword intent. Even if you are a swordsman who specializes in sword cultivation, yours is extremely rare at your level. Since you have this talent, it doesn't matter if you learn more ways to save your life. The mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator said with a smile. Li Yuanba felt relieved. Facing the powerful sword cultivator, he had much less confidence in himself. My surname is Wu. From now on, you can call me Master Wu. Uncle, don't call me senior anymore. Come and sit down below. The middle-stage nascent soul sword cultivator waved his hand and said. He took Li Yuanba to the ground where there was a temporary cave. It is indeed a temporary cave. It can be seen that it was newly dug and will not last more than three months. Li Yuanba sat respectfully at the bottom of the hall. At this time, he was trying hard to recall the information about Master Wu's great uncle. Master Jin Wuwei passed down the scroll of sword intent to the sky. To him, the scroll of sword intention soaring into the sky contains information about all the sword cultivators in the set, and it is updated automatically. He quickly found the information about Master Wu's uncle from the Scroll of Sword Intent Chou Shao. Wu Qi, the 113th generation disciple of Sword Intent Chou Shao Pavilion, was in the middle stage of nascent soul. 
looking at your situation. Are you looking for an opportunity to break through the nascent soul? Master Wu's uncle poured a cup of fourth grade spiritual tea to Li Yuanba and asked. Yes, I just reached the realm of great elder not long ago. So I almost had a chance. Li Yuanba accepted the spiritual tea ceremony. Why don't you report the trouble you encountered today to the sect? I, Sword Intention Chum Shao Pavilion, am not that easy to bully. If you encounter trouble in the future, you will report it to the sect. There are not many forces who dare to ignore Sword Intention Chung Shao Pavilion. Master Wu's uncle said with a proud expression. Li Yuanba did not expect that the reputation of Sword Intent Chung Shao Pavilion would be so useful. When he was in Beishu Continent, no monks knew about the existence of Sword Intent Chung Shao Pavilion. At this time, he felt the benefits of the sect. A strong sect would allow him to be less bullied. I will pay attention to it in the future. Li Yuanba nodded and said. Tell me how you came here. And where did Jian Wu accept you as his disciple? Master Wu's uncle asked aloud. Li Yuanba did not hide anything about how he was accepted as a disciple by Jian Wu from the northern Shu continent. After Jian Wu broke through Yuanying, he escaped from the Sanluo sect and traveled all the way to the eastern Shi continent. Except for the fact that Li Shiming was not mentioned. The rest of the things were revealed. Master Wu's uncle nodded while listening. He couldn't help but shake his head because of Li Yuanba's risk of traveling from the northern Shu continent to the eastern Qi continent with his strength at the Golden Core stage. The Beishu continent is poor in resources, which makes it rare for other continents to communicate with the Beishu continent. It is for this reason that it is extremely difficult for monks from Beishu continent to leave for other continents, let alone Jin Dan monks. Even nascent soul monks are extremely dangerous to cross the ocean without a safe route. Thing. You have suffered a lot. Master Wu's uncle said with pity. You and I are destined. Since we have met each other, I also have some time. So I will teach you here for a while. He thought for a while, and then said. Thank you. Great uncle. Li Yuanba was overjoyed and bowed in thanks. Jian Wu left too early. And the explanation of. Sword intention Chong Shao Ju. Was like cramming. And there was no detailed and in-depth explanation. This can't be blamed on Jian Wu Jian Wu's biggest wish in his life is to return to Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. For Li Yuanba. After Jian Wu was promoted to Yuanying, he stayed in Beishu Continent for a few years and made a special trip to guide Li Yuanba. After leaving Jian Wu, Li Yuanba had no one to guide him, although he was able to share his insights with Li Shiming. In the end, Li Shiming did not practice the sword intent climb to the sky. What he shared from Li Shiming was only the knowledge of sword intent. Enlightenment. Even the perception of sword intention is different. His sword intention is Ji Yang's sword intent. While Li Shiming's sword intention is Tian Lei's sword intention. Although there are similarities in sword intention, there are still many differences in the perception of sword intention. Difference. Now he has a mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator to guide him, which plays an extremely important role in his improvement. The most important thing is that he is already the great elder of sword cultivator. He is only one step away from the nascent soul realm. Perhaps the teachings of Master Wu's uncle can make up for this step. Chapter 572 Opportunity Li Yuanba had a very comfortable life in the past two days. Master Wu's uncle had no reservations about him and explained to him the essence of the sword intent climbing to the sky technique. Since Master Wu's uncle's realm was much higher than that of his master Jian Wu Wei, his gains were also huge. His master Jian Wu Wei relied entirely on his own insights to reach the nascent soul stage. During this period, he did not receive guidance from others. That is to say, some memories from the past in Jianyi Chou Shao Pavilion were of some use. Therefore, Jian Wu's explanation to Li Yuanba was far less comprehensive and profound than that of Master Wu's uncle. In just two days, Li Yuanba felt that his Jiang sword intention became more and more solid, which was a manifestation of the improvement of sword intent. At noon, he sat cross-legged on the futon, with the sun sword intent condensing in front of him. Master Wu's uncle sat not far away and watched with a smile. Uncle Wu was very satisfied with this descendant of his sect. His understanding was almost the highest he had ever seen. Once explained, he would understand and be able to draw inferences from one instance to another. Teaching such juniors makes them happy physically and mentally. Little did he know that when Li Yuanba was studying with him, he was connected to Z15 and asked Z15 to record and analyze what he explained. Z15 after analysis and research combined with the previously acquired Kindo knowledge. The research results were finally shared with Li Yuanba, which made Li Yuanba appear to be an extraordinarily talented person. Of course, 
Li Yuanbao's own talent is also excellent. But without the help of Z15, he would not be so eye-catching. You must know that any monk who can join the Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion has extremely high talent. The threshold for sword cultivation is already very high. You cannot become a sword cultivator without considerable talent. Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion is the top sect in sword cultivation. And the disciples it recruits are of course, the top sword cultivation geniuses. Part of Li Yuanba's mind was connected to Z15. And part of him was comprehending his Jiang sword intent. All of his mind was devoted to cultivation. With Master Wu's uncle here, he didn't need to distract himself from his own safety. If Master Wu's uncle couldn't protect him, let alone his own strength. Suddenly, Master Wu's uncle frowned slightly, waved his hand lightly, and a spiritual force turned into a barrier to protect the Yuanbo. Outside the cave, Balian Sek contacted 12 nascent soul monks. And a total of 15 nascent soul monks came here. The leader is Xiao Shanha, who is at the peak of the early stage of Yuanying. He is the second supreme elder of Balian Sect. It is said that Balian Sect also has a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying. But he has not appeared for many years. Zhao Shanha is Balian. Zong's strongest combat power outside. That day, three early Yuanying monks came to hunt down the Yuanba at the request of the Balian Sect. But there was no news. Two of the three early nascent soul monks were from small and medium-sized sections. The Balian Sect must give an explanation to these two sections. The person disappeared because of the Balian Sect. And it is very likely that he has died. There is no other way. The Yuanning monks of Balian Sect can only take action personally. Because there was a precedent for the disappearance of three early Yuanning monks. And the incident involving Patriarch Song. The Balian Sect contacted these twelve Yuanning monks for safety reasons. Just to prevent another accident. And even if Li Yuanba was not traced by doing so, it would be enough to give an explanation to the two sects who had lost their nascent soul cultivators. Zhao Shanha did not expect that everything would go so smoothly. They found Li Yuanba's location easily. The fighting aura left by Li Yuanba was too obvious. And there was a cave nearby. A total of 15 nascent soul monks surrounded the cave. As they thought, no matter how many people were protecting Li Yuanba in the cave, they could not escape their grasp. Go away! Or I will kill you all. Master Wu's uncle said using his spiritual power to send his voice outside the cave. At the same time, a terrifying sword intent shot straight into the sky. This was the signature display of the sword intent Chongshao Pavilion. Which represented that he was born in the sword intent Chongshao Pavilion. It turns out to be a senior from Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion. I didn't know that senior was here. So I'm leaving right now. Before Zhao Shanha could speak, a nascent soul cultivator who came with him bowed and said, he turned around and left without even saying H. Low to Zhao Shanha. He doesn't consider Zhao Shanha or the Balian sect's thoughts at all now. When he goes back this time, he will ask the Balian sect for an explanation. If he had known that the enemy was the sword cultivator of Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion, he would have been beaten to death. Impossible to participate. What do you mean by sword cultivators? These are a bunch of lunatics. The sword cultivator sect rarely has deputy positions. It's not that the sword cultivator sect doesn't need them but that when the sword cultivator sect needs elixirs or resources, they will look for enemy forces to rob them. The growth process of a sword cultivator involves constant fighting. Through fighting, the sword cultivator's sword intent continues to strengthen. No monk is willing to be an enemy of the sword cultivator sect. And the sword cultivator sect is particularly willing to have monks provoke them. Because if they provoke them, they will have a reason to destroy the sect and seize its resources. As the first nascent soul monk left, more nascent soul monk soon saluted in the direction of the cave and left. Zhao Shanha watched helplessly as these nascent soul cultivators left. He and his two fellow disciples looked at each other and turned around to leave. Master Wu's uncle watched these nascent soul cultivators leave indifferently, but did not kill them. In fact, as long as he is willing, these Yuanying monks, who are from small and medium-sized sects and even casual cultivators will be like chickens and dogs in his eyes. But these nascent soul monks are Li Yuanba's enemies, and are the stepping stones for Li Yuanba's growth. Li Yuanba's sword power needs to be sharpened by them. So he will not overstep his will. He focused his attention on Li Yuanba again. Especially Li Yuanba's Jiang sword intent. There was a sense of wonder in his eyes. What he said today was already reflected in Jiang sword intent. Li Yuanba's talent in sword cultivation shocked him once again. He had a feeling that Li Yuanba's sword awareness had already surpassed the Golden Core realm and reached the early stage of nascent soul. It's just that the golden elixir bottleneck prevented Li Yuanba's sword intention from truly reaching the early stage of Yuanying. 
Master Wu's explanation was to make up for Li Yuanba's foundation and had nothing to do with the level of his sword intention. Originally, Master Wu's uncle was only planning to teach Li Yuanba for three to five days. But now, he decided to stay for a while longer. In the days that followed, in this ordinary cave, Master Wu's uncle spent half a day every day explaining to Li Yuanba the content before the nascent soul chapter of Sword Intent Climbing into the Sky. Starting from the Chain Chi chapter, we will explain it in detail bit by bit. At the middle stage of Yuanying, Master Wu's uncle, he was more powerful than Jian Wuwei. He was equivalent to rebuilding the foundation of Li Yuanba's kindo. Fifteen days passed in this way, during which time no monk came to disturb him. The situation in this temporary cave has long been spread. There is a sword intent Chengxiao Pavilion Sword Cultivator in the middle stage of Yuanying in the cave. How can there be a monk who dares to come and provoke him? Not to mention provocation. Even the nearby area was classified as a restricted area by the nearby monks. On this day, Master Wu's uncle finished telling Li Yuanba the last part of the Golden Elixir chapter of Sword Intention Chong Shaoju. In the morning, Li Yuanba sat cross-legged on the futon and began to contact Z15 in his heart, analyzing and sorting out today's gains. Li Yuanba's body training technique, Scorching Sun Jade body technique, has long been abandoned by him after these days. After Uncle Wu discovered that he had practiced the body training technique, Fire Sun Jade body technique, he criticized him because Sword Intention Chong Shao Technique itself had a part of the technique that was a body training technique. Neither Li Yuanba nor Jian Wuwei noticed this content. And they can't be blamed for this. The content of Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju is extremely complicated and numerous. In addition to sword cultivation techniques, it also contains many secret techniques of swordsmanship. When practicing the Sword Intention Climbing to the Sky Technique, you usually focus on practicing sword cultivation techniques and then choose some secret sword techniques that suit you. There were no hints about that body training technique. Even before Uncle Wu explained it, he didn't know it was a body training technique. Li Yuanba is currently practicing a body training technique called Sword Body. He did not have any trouble converting the body training technique of Scorching Sun Jade Body Technique into Sword Body, mainly because there is a nascent soul next to him, a midterm sword cultivator, and a fellow sword cultivator who also practiced the Sword intent climbed to the sky. Master Wu's uncle also practiced sword body. With the help of him and Z15, Li Yuanba's transformation process was very smooth. In particular, Master Wu's uncle used his sword intention to assist Li Yuanba in cultivating the sword body, so that Li Yuanba did not waste a single bit of body refining energy and allowed his sword body to reach the realm of the great elder in body refining. Li Yuanba was connecting with Z15 and suddenly his mind returned completely. The swordsmanship knowledge he had gained from Master Wu's uncle in the past 10 days, and the insights he had gained from previous training all flashed in his mind. Master Wu's uncle felt the strange aura rising from Li Yuanba's body, and couldn't help but put a smile on his face. This strange aura meant that Li Yuanba had found an opportunity for his promotion. Li Yuanba went out just to find an opportunity to be promoted to Yuanying. Unexpectedly, meeting Master Wu's uncle would not only complete his foundation, but also unexpectedly find an opportunity for him to be promoted to nascent soul. The constant flashes of swordsmanship knowledge made Li Yuanba suddenly feel enlightened about the sword intent climb to the sky technique. The fog in front of him disappeared, and the nascent soul bottleneck that had previously felt like a mountain also disappeared. There was no need to take any promotion auxiliary elixir, and he didn't think about it. His body and mind completely fell into a state of Taoist enlightenment. He smiled slightly, and his beautiful face bloomed like a hundred flowers in this smile, which also contained a kind of sublimation of Tao. This boy is so handsome, Master Wu's uncle said to himself, taking out a pulse locking disc and placing it next to Li Yuanba. There is a middle stage nascent soul spirit vein in the pulse locking disc. As for its origin, it goes without saying that it is a trophy of some sort of trophy belonging to Master Wu's great uncle. He pointed at the pulse locking plate without any regrets and the mid-stage nascent soul spiritual veins in the pulse-locking plate began to explode, and a large amount of spiritual energy poured out from the pulse-locking plate. If other monks saw what he was doing, they would be heartbroken. The operation he did on the mid-nascent soul spiritual veins in the pulse-locking disc would greatly consume the source of the mid-nascent soul spiritual veins. This was just to allow the pulse-locking disc to spit out more spiritual energy in a short time. Master Wu's uncle's activation this time shortened the service life of the mid-nascent soul spiritual veins in the pulse-locking disc by hundreds of years. But he has no regrets. 
Anyway, if such spiritual beings want it, they can just find a hostile force to grab it. All the spiritual energy radiating in the void was attracted by the Yuanba. And his body crazily devoured the spiritual energy. In his body, the golden elixir was also devouring. Not only devouring the spiritual energy that entered his body, but also devouring his vitality and spirit. His perfect face was losing weight at a speed visible to the naked eye. And his eyes were beginning to look hollow. But in the content of his golden elixir, a small nascent soul is being formed. And every formation of the nascent soul will absorb huge spiritual energy. There is no need to worry about the Yuanba's vitality and spirit. He has practiced the body refining technique and reached the realm of the great elder of body refining, which has brought his vitality to an extremely high level. Although his spirit is not the strongest, he is still considered the strongest among the great elders. Master Wu's uncle did not use his spiritual consciousness to avoid affecting the Yuanba's breakthrough process. But he was rich in experience and with his protection. There was no need to worry about any accidents happening to the Yuanba. He also took out several auxiliary elixirs to promote nascent soul to prevent Li Yuanba from being unable to successfully break through on his own. Of course, he did not want Li Yuanba to use these auxiliary elixirs for nascent soul promotion unless absolutely necessary. This kind of training in the process of nascent soul promotion was very helpful to Li Yuanba's growth. Li Yuanba's body looked haggard, but there was a life force being generated within him. In the golden elixir, the little nascent soul's hands and feet were complete and its facial features also appeared. When the nascent soul's eyes opened, a ray of light flashed in the eyes. Having experienced the promotion process of the original body Li Shiming, Li Yuanba is no stranger to promotion to the nascent soul stage. It's just that Li Shiming's promotion was so difficult at the beginning that it almost reached the point where it was not allowed by the rules of heaven and earth. On the contrary, this time, it was like a normal great elder's promotion to the nascent soul stage. Yuanying was bound by the SH. L of the golden elixir. When Yuanying stretched out his hand, the energized Xingyijian appeared in Yuanying's hand. Nascent soul slashed with his sword. And the SH. L of the golden elixir broke instantly. The way the sword cultivator Yuanying breaks the SH. L of the golden elixir is very violent. But it is also in line with the sword cultivator's behavior. There are no other runes in Li Yuanba's Yuanying body. Only the pure. Sword intention Chong Shaoju. Skill rune. A short sword formed by many skill runes stands erected in the body of the nascent soul. This skill rune dagger is itself the manifestation of the Jiang sword intent and the sword intention climbing into the sky. Skill. Li Yuanba does not need to be familiar with his own nascent soul. Like other great elders, it takes a period of time to become familiar with the nascent soul. But he has already known how to use the nascent soul. Li Shiming's real body has five nascent souls. He only needs to take care of one nascent soul which is very easy. He manipulated the nascent soul skillfully and cast spells one after another. His withered body began to recover, and the connection between the nascent soul and the body was completely established. Originally, it was necessary to take spiritual pills to restore the body. But after truly mastering Yuanying, Yuanying has many methods to restore the body. Not only to restore the body, but also to restore the spirit. It's just that ordinary monks who have just formed the nascent soul cannot do this. It takes a while to master the nascent soul skillfully. This time is usually several months. Chapter 573 Nascent Soul Master Wu's uncle stopped preparing to give the elixir to Li Yuanba. He was surprised to find that Li Yuanba was using Yuan Ying's ability to restore his body. This was another genius move. At least he had never heard of any monk in the world of immortality who could do what Li Yuanba was doing at this time. He pointed at the pulse plate again once again consuming the hundreds of years of life of the spiritual veins in the middle stage of nascent soul, allowing more spiritual energy to enter Li Yuanba's body. Li Yuanba's nascent soul is rapidly absorbing spiritual energy and converting it into spiritual power. All the spiritual power in his original golden elixir was absorbed by Yuanying. But because the level of spiritual power in Yuanying was too high, the spiritual power converted from the golden elixir became very little, but it was many times more powerful. The aura on his body has reached the nascent soul stage. But he has not become a true nascent soul monk and has to wait until he has passed through the heavenly tribulation. The skill rune dagger in Yuanying's body. The sword body, runes inside correspond to the sword body, runes in his body. Causing his body to rapidly improve towards the sword body of the Yuanying stage. This also requires a huge amount of spiritual energy. But fortunately enough spiritual energy makes the process very smooth. 
he is strengthening himself at an extremely fast speed. But unfortunately, the rules of heaven and earth do not leave him much time. He was awakened by the breath coming from the void. And he broke away from his physical and mental state. All his previous actions were instinctive operations based on the knowledge he had explained to Master Wu's uncle and Z-15's analysis and research on the knowledge. At this time he woke up. And the memory of everything that happened before was still there. Uncle Master, I'm going to go through the catastrophe. And I'll be back soon. He bowed and saluted Uncle Wu saying, Okay. He has already felt the thunderclouds gathering in the sky. He is really familiar with the heavenly tribulation. He is so familiar that he can judge the power of the heavenly tribulation by sensing the breath of the thunderclouds. The power of this thundercloud is similar to the power of Jian Wuwei's original heavenly tribulation. He didn't know whether he should be happy or helpless. The good news is that the smaller the power of the natural disaster, the easier it is to survive it. Unfortunately, the power of the heavenly tribulation was too small which meant that his breakthrough did not break through the rules of heaven and earth. The more intense the rules of heaven and earth reacted to the creation of nascent soul, the more it showed its huge potential. He felt that he could only be considered ordinary. He was just an ordinary swordsman. In fact, his understanding can't be wrong. But it definitely can't be right. First of all, he compared his own calamity with that of his real body. Li Shiming. Can the natural disaster of Li Shiming be compared? Li Shiming created five nascent souls at once. The five nascent souls still exist as five elements. They also contain thunder, body refining, sword intent and spirit. Every extra skill rune will increase the difficulty of overcoming the tribulation. Therefore, Li Shiming's tribulation is equivalent to a nightmare level. I am afraid that there is no second one in the entire world of immortality. In fact, anyone who really wanted to survive the catastrophe like Li Shiming would have been wiped out by the catastrophe long ago. In fact, Li Yuanba believed that the ordinary Jian Wuwei Thunder Tribulation was not ordinary. Who is Jian Wuwei? He was promoted to sword cultivator Yuanying by himself in the resource-poor northern Shu continent, relying only on the Sword Intention Chongshao Pavilion, and without any support from the Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion of You must know that the Sanluo sect where Jian Wuwei was at that time did not have a sword cultivation inheritance. Everything about sword cultivation was something he learned and grew by himself. How could a genius sword cultivator like him face an ordinary nascent soul thunder tribulation? Li Yuanba looked at the thunderclouds in the sky. His heart filled with pride. His current state was much stronger than Jian Wuwei's before. At least his mastery of nascent soul far surpassed that of Jian Wuwei back then. He also possesses the peak sword awareness of the early stage of Yuanying. Although he has just been promoted to the Yuanying stage, his sword intention has successfully entered the realm of Yuanying. He took a step forward and used South close to the end of the world. To reach midair. Uncle Wu also flew out of the cave and stood some distance away from Li Yuanba. Observing Li Yuanba intently. Li Yuanba's awe-inspiring sword intent was due to the teachings of Master Wu's uncle. And it was also the result of the combination of sword body and sword intent. Shang Jian was suspended in front of him. This was his natal flying sword. Although it was still at the third level. The sword intent within it had reached the nascent soul realm. Master Wu's uncle showed interest. Of course, he saw something special about Li Yuanba's sword intent. Sure enough, as he had judged before, Li Yuanba realized the sword intention to the early stage of Yuanying with the Golden Elixir Realm. Only then was he promoted to the first grade and was able to upgrade the sword intention to the Yuanying Realm. Li Yuanba's various performances broke the records of Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion. One after another, Master Wu's uncle was wondering if he would shock the other brothers when he returned this time. Every sword cultivator is an extremely talented person. It is not easy to stand out in a sect like Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion that has gathered the most talented sword cultivators. With a boom, the first thunder fell. Cut. This was Li Yuanba's voice, which was uttered at the same time as the thunder struck. Xing Yijian struck at Tian Lei with a nascent soul level Jiang sword intention, carrying the indomitable momentum displayed by Master Wu's uncle before. Li Yuanba and Uncle Wu Master had been together for so many days. Especially since Uncle Wu Master also used his own sword intention to help Li Yuanba practice his sword body. Which made Li Yuanba very familiar with Uncle Wu Master's sword intention. Uncle Wu's sword intention is selfless sword intention, which is an ultimate fighting sword intention. Derived from the idea that there is an enemy but no self. Li Yuanba's Jiang sword intention at this time carried a hint of selfless sword intent. Tian Lei and Xing Yijian collided. And Tian Lei was chopped into countless lightning bolts by Xing Yijian. 
after they dispersed. Xing Yijian and Li Yuanbao were covered behind. He stood in the void, his whole body surrounded by lightning. But he was not affected much. Although he has not practiced the Jade Pure Thunder Code, his understanding of Tian Lei and Lei Xiao is exactly the same as the original Li Shiming. The sword body was even upgraded to the nascent soul realm by him. Although it was still in the nascent soul realm, it was enough to withstand the scattered thunder and lightning. Of course, he was still a little embarrassed. His hair stood up and kept flying with the lightning. But this does not affect his arrogant demeanor. After experiencing the true meaning of sword cultivation through fighting against the heavenly calamity, Li Shiming gained a deep understanding of the sword intention Chong Shao Ju from Master Wu's uncle. He is a, a true swordsman. Even when faced with a catastrophe, he still used offense instead of defense. This was the sword cultivator's way of coping. The first thunder dissipated, the remaining power disappeared, and his hair slowly fell down. In the thunder clouds, the second thunder was gathering, and its power was obviously much stronger. This was the recognition of his strength by the rules of heaven and earth. A flying sword appeared next to Master Wu's uncle, and he was prepared to protect Li Yuanba in case of disaster even if it led to a natural disaster on him. He sensed Li Yuanba's great potential from Li Yuanba. Perhaps if Li Yuanba grew up, he would be able to reach the realm of a great monk, or even try a higher realm. He was just taking it as a precaution. In his judgment, Li Yuanba would be able to survive the catastrophe at most at the cost of some injuries. The second thunder fell with a loud noise. Li Yuanba felt the power of the thunder, and a rebellious light flashed in his eyes. No matter the power of heaven and earth, with a sword in hand. It can destroy heaven and earth. Cut! He shouted. And one of his hands suddenly transformed into a huge arm. This arm controlled Xing Yi's sword and slashed at the second thunder. The nascent soul dharma! This is the nascent soul dharma! Master Wu's eyes widened suddenly as he looked at Li Yuanba's attack. Li Yuanba used the partial nascent soul form, turning his arms into those of the Yuanying form. The Xing Yi sword is controlled by the arm of the Yuanying Darmaxiang and the Yuanying Darmaxian can greatly increase the power of the Xingyi sword and the internal Jiang sword intent. The second sky thunder was much more powerful than the first sky thunder, but it was still scattered after being struck by Xingyi Jian. Even because the power of Xingyi Jian's cut was too great, the lightning formed by the sky thunder on the contrary. The power was greatly reduced. Li Yuanba, standing in the air, did not even raise his hair this time, and his eyes were brighter. Xingyi sword can cut through the sky thunder twice. And the most important thing is the effect of Jiang Sword Intent. When the Jiang Sword Intent reaches the nascent soul stage, it has the power to destroy everything. The destructive power of the Sky Thunder has a minimal impact on the Jiang Sword Intent. On the contrary, the Jiang Sword Intent has a strong impact on the Sky Thunder. Destructive power. He felt the spiritual power in his body and then made a bold move. A small nascent soul emerged from his head. And then the nascent soul quickly grew in size and became a 10 meter tall giant. This is the complete form of the nascent soul. However, in Li Yuanba's current state, the use of the nascent soul form is so high that he cannot hold on for long. It will only take a few breaths at most before the spiritual energy in his body is exhausted. This time, the Yuanning Master is holding a 4th grade sword base. The original 3rd grade sword base was promoted to the 4th grade after the sword body reached the realm of Yuanning. The fourth grade sword base can also be transformed into energy. If the natal flying sword is the weapon of mainstream sword cultivators, then this kind of sword base is the weapon of melee sword cultivators. It's just that the inheritance of melee swordsmanship is almost extinct, and the inheritance passed down is very few and incomplete. When the nascent soul dharma awareness moves slightly, a sword of his own flying sword fell on the base of the fourth grade sword, and merged with the base of the fourth grade sword to form a new sword. The original flying sword sword and the fourth grade sword base are both energy based swords. It was just a flash of inspiration for him to fuse the two swords. In actual operation, he found that it was indeed successful. He could feel that the sword held in the hands of nascent soul master had all the characteristics of the fourth grade sword base and Xing Yijian, and was even more powerful. Xing Yijian is a natal flying sword, which greatly increases the sword's will. However, due to its quality, it is only a third grade flying sword. Since the fourth grade sword base is the weapon of a melee sword cultivator, it is just sharper. After fusion, it is still the fourth grade quality, but it increases the bonus to the sword's will. The nascent soul dharma looked up to the sky 
And then the nascent soul Dharma took a step forward. South close to the end of the world was activated, and the ten meter tall giant disappeared from its place. When he reappeared, he was already inside the thundercloud. Break it! he shouted, and slashed down hard with the energy sword that was fused with the fourth grade sword base in his hand. Layan also felt the provocation, and the third thundercloud was born in the thundercloud. But Li Yuanba's sword was faster by an instant. As the sword was slashed, the Jiang sword in tension turned into a huge lightsaber. And with this slash, the entire thundercloud was cut into two halves. The extreme heat contained in the Jiang sword intent not only cut through the thunder clouds, but also caused the water vapor in the thunder clouds to evaporate instantly. The sky thunder lost its foundation. When the third sky thunder was sent out, it was just a continuous wave. The first sky thunder was less than one-tenth of the power of the sky thunder. This lightning strike from the sky struck the Yuan Ying Dharma form, and even the defense of the nascent Ying Dharma form was not able to be broken. After resisting this thunder, the nascent soul's appearance was like a deflated rubber ball. This was due to excessive consumption of spiritual power. And Li Yuanba could no longer maintain the nascent soul's appearance. Ha ha ha! The nascent soul form dissipated, revealing Li Yuanba's body. The nascent soul returned to his body, and he stood in a void and laughed loudly. His face was pale, and it was too difficult for him to perform the nascent soul dharma at his current level. But everything was worth it. He cut through the thunder tribulation that promoted Yuan Ying with his fighting posture. He surpassed his master Jian Wu Wei. Although Jian Wu Wei also challenged the heavenly tribulation in a fighting stance at the beginning. Jian Wu Wei was severely injured by three thunderbolts. Li Yuanba has not suffered any damage except for the excessive consumption of spiritual power. Although the thunder cloud was unwilling to give up, it still slowly dissipated. Within his body, a strange energy rose from the void and circulated in his body and nascent soul. Wherever he passed, the spirit and vitality he had consumed during the tribulation were restored and improved at an extremely fast speed. He felt that his life had been sublimated under the influence of this wonderful energy. After a stick of incense, the wonderful energy in his body disappeared. His face turned rosy, and both his body and his nascent soul had truly entered the nascent soul realm. He could feel the vitality in his body, which was enough to give him a thousand years of life. His spiritual thoughts were also transformed into spiritual consciousness. With a slight movement of his mind, Xing Yi's sword entered Yuan Ying's body and merged with the skill rune dagger. From now on, nascent soul can strengthen the sword movement every moment. This is the unique sword pregnancy method of Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju. Unfortunately, Xing Yi Jian is only at the third level at present. He needs to wait for him to refine the fourth level top weapon refining material. Abyss True Sand. Into Xing Yi Jian before he can upgrade Xing Yijian to the fourth level. This process cannot be completed in a short time. He will have to retreat for a long time. In addition to the improvement of his natal flying sword, he himself also needs to enhance the spiritual power accumulation of Yuan Ying. Otherwise, he will lose his combat power after one blow of Yuan Ying's Dharma, like just like before. Thank you, Master Wu, for protecting the Dharma. Li Yuanba flew to Master Wu's uncle and respectfully said, Okay, with a big salute. Okay. Our sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion has another nascent soul sword cultivator. Later you will print your information into the sword intent Chong Shao picture scroll. And the nascent soul sword cultivator from the same sect will know about you. It exists. Master Wu's uncle said with a smile and helped him up. Chapter 574 Go. Li Yuan Ba successfully survived the catastrophe and was promoted to nascent soul sword cultivator. Li Shiming who was in his own cave of the 10,000 beast sect, had a smile on his lips. The clone Li Yuanba is extremely important to Li Shiming and was of great help to him when he was in Beishu continent. Unfortunately, after arriving in the eastern Shi continent, because Li Yuanba's level was too low and he himself improved too quickly, Li Yuanba was unable to help him. Instead, he sheltered him here. Finally, Li Yuanba became a nascent soul sword cultivator and no longer needed Li Shiming's protection so he could fly solo. In the temporary cave, Master Wu's uncle specially explained to Li Yuanba the content of the Yuan Ying chapter of Sword Intent Climbing to the Sky, which was exactly what Li Yuanba needed most. The next few years were a period for Li Yuanba to stabilize his realm, and it was also an important period for laying the foundation for the nascent soul stage. Yuanba, I'm going back to the Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion. Are you willing to go back with me? Master Wu's uncle asked Li Yuanba that day. 
Li Yuanbao thought about it. And originally he was planning to go to the Sword and Tent Chongxiao Pavilion. Although the actual combat power of Li Shiming is among the top in the early stage of nascent soul. Crossing the ocean to Zhongzhou continent is extremely dangerous even if he knows the route. It would be different if Master Wu's uncle led him to the Zhongzhou continent. With the strength of Master Wu's uncle Yuan Ying in the mid-stage swordsmanship, there would be almost no danger in crossing the sea. Those fourth grade spiritual beasts should be worried about the fourth grade spiritual beasts when they meet Master Wu's uncle. Master uncle, I want to return to the sect with you. Li Yuanba bowed and replied. Then let's set off now. You can practice in the flying boat. Master Wu's uncle said with a smile. Master Wu's uncle's flying boat was a small fourth grade flying boat with a pulse plate inside. The mid-stage nascent soul spiritual veins inside made the flying boat rich in spiritual energy, which was enough for Li Yuanba's cultivation. The fourth grade flying boat left this area, and their actions were not concealed, which also made the monks, who were paying attention here, feel relieved. No one wants to have such a terrifying middle-stage nascent soul sword cultivator next to their own power. Li Yuanba was sitting in the cabin. He didn't need to worry about traveling. He only needed to practice the sword intent climbing into the sky technique. Master Wu's uncle still explained to him the Yuan Ying chapter of Sword Intention Chong Shaoju every morning and guided his practice. This kind of cultivation conditions is extremely advantageous. But it is a pity that the number of fourth level cultivation auxiliary elixirs in the early stage of nascent soul that he brought with him were not many. Mainly because Li Shiming did not expect that Li Yuanba would be promoted to the nascent soul stage so quickly. But this is not a big deal. Li Yuanba can refine the fourth grade elixir by himself as long as he has the fourth grade elixir. His alchemy level is not much worse than Li Shiming. The only thing that cannot be compared with Li Shiming is the success rate of 100 points alchemy. The quality of his alchemy is only one step behind Li Shiming. But the quantity is less than half. But even so, he has this kind of alchemy ability, which is enough to make his cultivation worry-free in any continent. Even if the world of cultivating immortals lacks resources, it cannot lack the resources of alchemy masters with extremely high alchemy abilities. Li Yuanba followed Master Wu's uncle and left the eastern Qi continent which saved Li Shiming from having to travel far. And Li Shiming could rest assured to practice in the 10,000 Bees sect. Naming, the Golden Corpse, stood in the refining room of the cave. In front of him was a ball of fourth grade metal melted by Nanning Lihua. Li Shiming's body is doing many things at the same time. And one of his brains controls the Golden Corpse Naming's weapon refining. Recently, he has integrated the weapon refining inheritance of the Hundred Chain sect. And under the analysis and calculation of the natal magic weapon Z15, he took out all his fourth grade lower intermediate metals. Since there were a large number of flying swords that needed to be refined this time, and the fourth grade metals were still increasing as he continued to collect alchemy rewards, he had no intention of using his unique 5 nanometer weapon refining method. This time, he used the traditional method of refining the weapon. Although it was made by Jin Ji Naming, it was in the same cave, within the scope of his consciousness and it was controlled by his brain. The golden corpse of Nan Ning is not much different from the one he made by himself. The biggest advantage of the traditional refining method is that the refining speed is relatively fast. With the help of Z15, it can accurately attach the sword to the sword without adjusting the energy balance of the flying sword. Everything is taken care of. Z15 is designed in advance. The golden corpse Nan Ming was refining weapons. Next to the real body Li Shiming. There were 35 flying sword magic weapons, all of which were recently refined 4th grade flying swords. The 4th grade flying swords here, even if he uses traditional weapon refining techniques, but under the influence of his perfect weapon refining ability, the worst 4th grade flying swords are all 4th grade mid-level quality. Even a flying sword magic weapon made from a 4th grade low grade metal, with the inheritance of the 100 chain sect, and the perfect weapon refining ability, can be used to refine a 4th grade mid-grade flying sword. These 35 flying sword magic weapons are being cultivated by his 35 brains respectively, blessing the 35 flying sword magic weapons with the heavenly thunder sword intent. This work requires at least 100 days before the sword intention can be cultivated in the flying sword magic weapon. Of course, the longer the charm is cultivated, the stronger the sword intention will be in the flying sword magic weapon. Li Shiming is not afraid of trouble. Anyway, he has enough brains to cultivate the flying sword magic weapon that he refined in a short time. He did this to cultivate the Wan Jianfeng magic weapon. Since Li Yuanba used the Wan Jianfeng magic weapon in actual combat, he has paid more attention to the 
Wan Jianfeng, magic weapon. It's still hard to see now. If the magic weapon of 10,000 swords peak contains 10,000 fourth grade flying swords, and each fourth grade flying sword contains the sword intention of the nascent soul level, then as long as he according to his own realm by constantly inputting his sword intention, he could become invincible at the same level just by relying on 10,000 sword peaks. 10,000 swords peak is not only available to Li Yuanba. He and Li Yuanba are one. And he could also use 10,000 swords peak. Li Yuanba received the teachings from Master Wu's uncle. And Li Shiming also received many benefits. He was ready to rebuild the foundation of sword cultivation. Reshaping the foundation of sword cultivation is very difficult for monks in the Yuanning stage. They need to reshape the sword runes in the Yuanning body. For so many days, part of Z15's computing power has taken reshaping the foundation of sword cultivation as a topic. Studying the rune dagger in Li Yuan Ba's Yuanying. This work is very complicated. And Li Shiming often encounters problems that even Z15 cannot solve. He asked Uncle Wu through Li Yuan Ba. Although Uncle Wu was a little curious about some of Li Yuanba's weird questions, he still gave answers. The main reason was that Li Yuanba himself was extremely talented. And Uncle Wu looked at Li Yuanba in a special light. With the participation of Uncle Wu, the research on Z15 has progressed much faster. On this day, Li Shiming stopped practicing the Golden Thunder Yuanying. And the Golden Thunder Yuanying came out of his head. With a slight movement of his mind, he took the Golden Thunder nascent soul back into the computer room space. In the past, he himself could not enter the computer room space. But after he had the nascent soul, although his body was still unable to enter the computer room space, the nascent soul was able to enter. Perhaps there is some kind of spatial paradox between the computer room space and his body. So the body cannot enter the computer room space. But this has nothing to do with the soul. The nascent soul is, to a certain extent, the carrier of the soul. Of course, when it comes to Li Shiming, Jean Lei Yuani is only one of his soul carriers. And he has too many soul carriers. The five nascent souls. As well as the 190 CPUs of the natal magic weapon Z15. All play the role of his soul carrier. Jean Lei Yuani entered the computer room space. Except for a few living dead. The rest of the things in the computer room space were put into the mustard ring that was used as a warehouse. Jean Lei nascent soul opened its mouth and spat out the Traceless Magic Sword which was its natal magic weapon. The Traceless Phantom Sword is invisible and floating next to the Golden Thunder nascent soul. In front of Li Shiming's eyes, Z15 drew an extremely complex three-dimensional diagram of a rune dagger. This is exactly the rune dagger in Li Yuanba's Yuanying body, an energy dagger formed by one. The results of Li Yuanba's practice of sword intent climbing into the sky are reflected in this small energy dagger, which is also the foundation of his nascent soul. Li Shiming manipulated this three-dimensional picture and continuously enlarged it. As it continued to enlarge, it could be seen that the lines of the rune dagger were composed of smaller runes. And these runes were connected together in strange ways. What a huge project! Li Shiming murmured to himself. In the body of Jean Lei nascent soul, the runes of Thunder Sword Intent were operated by his divine consciousness from the perspective of God in the computer room space with 5 nanometer control power. This requires the cooperation of Jean Lei Yuanying. And it also requires unparalleled control. As long as there is a slight mistake, the Thunder Sword Intent rune of Jean Lei Yuanying will collapse. In the 5 nanometer microscopic world, the runes of Thunder Sword Intent are magnified countless times, revealing that the lines that make up the Thunder Sword Intent runes are also composed of smaller runes. And these smaller runes also appear very large in the microscopic world which is more convenient for him to operate the runes. His consciousness was like a precise instrument, finding the thread of the first tiny rune. Then his consciousness would start from the thread and change the direction of the tiny rune lines little by little. What he was doing was something no monk had ever thought of. He was copying the Sword Intention Chung Shao Technique Rune Dagger in Li Yu and Ba Zhuanying. Originally, this was something that was simply impossible to achieve in the world of immortality. Even if there is a powerful person who can copy the rune dagger of the sword intention Chong Shao Ju and put it into a new Yuanying. This does not mean that this Yuanying can control the sword intent Chong Shao Ju of power. Not to mention how difficult it is to copy the rune dagger of the sword intent Chong Shao Ju and whether it can be realized, even if it is achieved, without the same understanding of the sword intent Chong Shao Ju as the original owner. This sword intent Chong Shao Ju Chao Ju Rune Dagger is still just a decoration. 
not to mention, what Li Shiming did was not a 100% copy. He wanted to replace the Jiang Sword Intention. In the original, Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju, Rune Dagger with Tian Lei Sword Intent, which made the copy the difficulty has once again been raised to a completely impossible level. But he did it anyway, mainly because of the comparative analysis of Z15 and the knowledge help provided by Master Wu's uncle, which gave him the confidence to make the impossible possible. This is a job that takes a long time. Fortunately, without Jean Lei nascent soul, it does not affect his other affairs. He can even take over the alchemy business from time to time and have the whole a nascent soul make the elixir. In the 10,000 Beasts sect, Li Shiming began a state of semi-reclusion. Li Yuanba's fourth grade flying sword flew on the ocean for nine months and did not encounter any danger during this period. He also saw a fourth grade spirit beast discovering a fourth grade flying boat. But after seeing the fourth grade flying boat, he turned around and ran away, fearing that he would die if he ran too slowly. We're almost there, came the faint voice of Master Wu's uncle. Li Yuanba slowly stopped practicing. After his breath calmed down, he opened his eyes and let go of his consciousness. Ahead is still the sea, and there is nothing on the endless sea. He has divine eyesight, but under the observation of spiritual eyesight, he did not see any islands. When Master Wu said it was coming soon, it could not mean that it was more than thousands of miles away. It was almost there, but it was too far. While he was thinking about it, he felt that the fourth grade flying boat passed through a barrier. After passing through the barrier, he sensed the sword intent. The space was filled with all kinds of sword intent. These sword intents were scurrying around in the space like living fish. Based on his experience, this was entering a space affected by the cave sky. He also saw the island. The islands formed a formation. In the center of the island, a very high mountain peak shot into the sky. There are monks coming in and out from all over this mountain peak. From the foot of the mountain to the top of the mountain, you can see neatly distributed caves. Going home, Master Wu's uncle said with a smile as he left the fourth grade flying boat. Li Yuanba also came out of the fourth grade flying boat. His thoughts were complicated at this time. The countless sword intentions in the space and the mountain peaks in front made him feel novel. This is part of the Sword Intention Cave. Some of the Sword Intention Cave here are generated, and some are left by monks. If the new disciples who join the sect are unable to understand their own Sword Intent, they can find the most suitable one from these Sword Intentions. The Sword Intention. This is the foundation for the long-term existence of Sword Intention Chongshao Pavilion. Uncle Wusher introduced with a smile. Li Yuanba knew how difficult it was to comprehend the Sword's Intention. Why there were so few sword cultivators in the world of immortality was precisely because there were so few monks who could comprehend the sword's intention. Even the sword cultivating geniuses selected by sword intent Chongshao Pavilion need to grow up step by step from the Qi Chain stage. Starting from comprehending sword intent. If one cannot comprehend the meaning of the sword, then no matter how talented a swordsman is, he will only be a talent and cannot become a true swordsman. Li Yuanba thought about himself. His original understanding of sword intention came from a piece of right thumb phalanx. A sword bone that Yun Xingyi spent hundreds of years cultivating. Without the help of the sword bone, he didn't know how long it would take for him to sense the sword's intention. This sword intent cave is a paradise for sword cultivators. As long as someone with talent for sword cultivating is discovered, there will always be one suitable for him among the countless sword intents here. As long as you understand the sword intention that suits you, the difficulty of forming your own sword intention will be reduced many times, making getting started with sword cultivation a smooth path. Chapter 575 Sword Peak That sword peak, and it's also the home of all sword cultivators, Master Wu's uncle said, pointing to the highest mountain. He and Li Yuanba flew close to the island. Li Yuanba discovered that except for Jianfeng, there were not only no caves on the other islands, but also no spiritual plants. There were sword marks everywhere. The surrounding islands are where sword cultivators compete. Master Wu's uncle continued to introduce. Uncle Master, don't sex plant spiritual plants? Li Yuanba had seen many sex and raised his own question. Among the sex he had seen, there was almost no vacant land, and the land was fully utilized. The spiritual energy within the sect is extremely rich. It would be a huge waste if the land in this environment is left vacant. As long as the land is transformed into a spiritual field, a one-time investment can reap long-term benefits. At least for the sect. But the scene in front of him made Li Yuanba unable to understand. The islands surrounding Jianfeng were quite large, but they were not used and were only used for sword practice. 
Should we sword cultivators be allowed to plant it? Just grab whatever is lacking. Master Wu's uncle said so confidently that Li Yuanba didn't know what to say. Li Yuanba felt that he had learned alchemy and weapon refining. And that he still had the Six Yang spirit fire and Xian Yin fire in his body. But these were probably of no use in the sword in Tianchen Chongxiao Pavilion. Master Wu's uncle smiled. Li Yuanba joined Jin Yi Chongxiao Pavilion from outside and has not yet integrated into Jin Yi Chongxiao Pavilion. He will be able to understand after some time. Jin Yi Chongxiao Pavilion has a very special way of accepting disciples. As long as there are special spiritual objects such as Sword in Tianchen Chongxiao Scroll, monks can be accepted as disciples of Jin Yi Chongxiao Pavilion. Of course, there are conditions when accepting disciples, and they need to meet certain entry standards. Even the conditions for joining the Sword in Tianchen Chongxiao Pavilion are more difficult than entering the Mountain Gate directly. The monk swordsmanship talent needs to reach the top level. And he also needs to have sword intent. You can't let monks without sword intention join the sword intent Chongxiao Pavilion. Inside the mountain gate. You can have your own sword intention by sensing the sword intention in the sword intent cave. But without such conditions outside. The monks may not be able to do it all their lives. Unable to comprehend his own sword intention. Eh! Master Wu's uncle frowned slightly and let out a soft sigh. What happened? Li Yuanba had been with him for a long time and asked quickly when he saw him like this. Jian Wei hasn't come back yet, Master Wu's uncle said in a deep voice. When Li Yuanba heard the news, his heart sank. Jian Wei left Beishu Continent one step ahead of him, and he stayed in Dongqi Continent for several years. He originally thought that his master Jian Wei had returned to Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion long ago. It shouldn't be said that Jian Wei would be delayed by anything. As a disciple, he knew how much Jian Wu wanted to return to Jin Yi Chongxiao Pavilion as soon as possible. Master, you should be fine, Li Yuanba said worriedly. I will let the Sex Intelligence Network search for Jian Wu whereabouts. If something happens, the sect will avenge him. Master Wu's uncle regained his composure and said. However, Li Yuanba could see the murderous intent in his eyes. If Jian Wu was attacked by some force, he would probably suffer a devastating blow. I'll take you to register first and find you a cave. Master Wu's uncle said as he patted Li Yuanba's shoulder. Li Yuanba put aside his worries and followed Master Wu's uncle to fly to Jianfeng. The closer he got to the sword peak, the more intense the sword intention he felt. This sword intention was very special. His Jiang sword intent felt nourished in this sword intention environment. In such an environment, even if you don't practice sword cultivation, your sword will, will continue to strengthen. I just don't know if there is a limit to the ability of this environment to nourish sword intent. At least his Jiang sword intent can be nourished. Not to mention the spiritual energy here. The concentration of spiritual energy here is so rich that it exceeds any place he has ever seen. Including the fourth grade retreat room of 10,000 beasts sect. How's the aura here? Master Wu's uncle asked slightly proudly. How come there is such a strong spiritual energy? Li Yuanba asked in amazement. This place is still outside and has not entered the cave. In theory, the cave is the place with the strongest spiritual energy. Every time the sect carries out the task of exterminating the sect, it will bring back the spiritual veins. These spiritual veins are all placed in one place, which forms the concentration of spiritual energy here. Master Wu's uncle answered for him. Sure enough, it was a robbery, and Li Yuanba's suspicion was confirmed. No wonder the concentration of spiritual energy here is so high. With the sword cultivator's combat power, it shouldn't be difficult for a group of sword cultivators to destroy the sect. After countless years of accumulation, the number of spiritual veins will only increase, and the spiritual energy will naturally become more and more intense. Master Wu's uncle landed in front of an open cave door, and Li Yuanba followed him. This is where the sect's affairs are handled. You can come here if you need anything. Master Wu's uncle explained to Li Yuanba as he walked, walking into the cave. The interior suddenly opened up and was divided into several areas, including the area for Qi Chain and Foundation Establishment Monks, the area for Jin Din Monks, and the area for Nascent Soul Monks. It seems that Jin Yi Chongxiao Pavilion puts all the monks' affairs in one place. This is indeed convenient, but it is also extremely rare. Any sect will separate the affairs processing departments of different realms. There are huge differences in status between monks of different realms. It is really inconvenient to put them all together. There were not many monks here at this time. Li Yuanba saw a few Jin Dan monks doing something in the Jin Dan area. There were only sect service monks in the rest of the area. 
I've met Master Wu, the service monk in the nascent soul area said. Okay, with a sword salute after seeing Master Wu, this service monk is a late stage gene and sword cultivator, and the sword intent on his body is extremely sharp, making him like an unsheathed sword. Xiang Xi, you are on duty today. This is Li Yuanba, a monk who has joined the sect outside. Please handle it for him. Master Wu's uncle was very familiar with this service sword cultivator and ordered with a smile. Yes, Master Wu. Jiang Zi nodded in response. Then turned to Li Yuanba and said, Uncle Master, please show me the scroll of sword intent climbing into the sky. Li Yuanba took out the scroll of sword intention Chong Xiao. During the days on the flying boat, he had added his own information to the scroll of sword intention Chong Xiao. If you open the scroll of sword intent Chou Xiao, you can see his introduction, Li Yuanba, the 115th generation disciple of Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion, cultivated to the early stage of nascent soul. Jiang Ji did not open the scroll of Sword Intention Chong Shao, but took a jade plate of identity and placed it on the scroll of Sword Intent Chong Shao, and opened a small formation. As the light flashed, Li Yuanba's information was recorded on the identity jade disc. It turns out that this scroll of Sword Intention Chong Shao is the identity certificate for monks who join the Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. Not all sword cultivators who are outside can possess the Scroll of Sword Intent Chongxiao and are qualified to recruit disciples on behalf of the sect. In Jianning Chongxiao Pavilion, only a small number of sword cultivators with special status have such power. Moreover, each scroll of Scroll of Sword Intent climbing to the sky can only accept one disciple. No wonder Jian Wuwei was so strict in accepting disciples in Beishu Continent under the premise that he could only accept one disciple. He was naturally extremely demanding. Taller. Cave number 36 in Yuaning District is still empty. What do you think? Master Wu? Jiangji looked at Uncle Wu and asked. You are serious. Cave number 36 is not bad. Master Wu's uncle smiled and nodded. Then I will assign cave number 36 in Yuaning District to Uncle Li. Jiangji started operating the formation again. Li Yuanba could tell that Cave Mansion Number 36 in Yuaning District should be very good. Jiang Ji arranged Cave Mansion Number 36 in Yuaning District for him because of Uncle Wu's face. Otherwise, I would not have asked Master Wu's uncle before making arrangements. This would be to confirm the favor. After walking out of this business cave, Master Wu's uncle did not leave immediately, but prepared to take Li Yuanba to the selected cave in person. You are lucky. You met Jiang Ji on duty. Cave number 36 should have been vacant not long ago. Cave abodes of this quality are very popular. Master Wu's uncle introduced with a smile. The nascent soul district is located near the top of Sword Peak. Cave number 36 looks no different from other caves. If you can contact me with the identity J disc, you can stay in seclusion for a period of time and wait until your state has stabilized before you leave. The matter of Jian Wuwei has come to an end and I will send you a message. Master Wu's uncle stopped and said to Li Yuanba said, Thank you. Great uncle. Li Yuanba bowed gratefully. Whether it was Master Wu's uncle explaining to him the sword intention Chong Shao Pavilion, allowing him to advance to the nascent soul stage so quickly, or taking him thousands of miles to the sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion. It was all kindness. Do you know why I didn't ask you to change your title after you were promoted to the nascent soul stage? Master Wu's uncle smiled and helped Li Yuanba up and asked, Li Yuanba met Master Wu's uncle when he was in the Golden Core stage. And he has always called him his uncle since then. And it has not changed even after he was promoted to the nascent soul stage. Indeed, under normal circumstances, Master Wu's uncle would have asked him to change his title to Master Uncle. Jian Wu's master is my senior brother. You and I are related by the same blood. I will introduce you to other monks after you leave seclusion. Master Wu's uncle then explained the reason. Li Yuanba finally understood why Master Wu's uncle was so attentive to him. Uncle Wu left, and Li Yuanba used the identity jade plate to open his own cave number 36. He walked into the gate of the cave and immediately felt a stronger spiritual energy. As soon as you enter the door, you will see the hall, where the monks receive foreign guests. After the hall is a sword room. The sword room is equipped with a formation that gathers sword intent. In addition to the rich spiritual energy in the sword room, the special sword energy that nourishes one's own sword intent is also rich. This sword room was the training room of a normal cave. He used his spiritual sense to check it out and found only the formation to guide spiritual energy, but no special spiritual veins. 
It seems that this cave has imported spiritual energy and does not have its own spiritual veins. This is normal. A single spiritual vein cannot compare with the spiritual energy produced by countless spiritual veins accumulated for countless years. Even if these spiritual energy are distributed to many caves, it is still the most dense spiritual energy training room he has ever seen. There are two other rooms in the cave. One room is a sword testing room that is a thousand meters long and wide and expanded using space formation. The other room is a warehouse. This cave is extremely simple and has many fewer functions than a normal cave. However, the function of a cave has never been the first element. The cultivation environment is the most important thing in a cave. Besides, what kind of spiritual pet room, alchemy room, spiritual plant room, etc. are required for the sword cultivator's cave? The only thing the sword cultivator needs is the sword room, so that he can strengthen his sword intention while practicing. Li Yuanba was sitting in a place in the sword room, which was the center of the sword formation. He breathed a long sigh of relief. He finally came to Jin Cho Shao Pavilion and completed the goal he had originally set. But he thought of his master Jin Wu Wei, and it seemed that he also wanted to find out the whereabouts of Jin Wu Wei. The route Jin Wu Wei originally obtained was the route to the Eastern Qi Continent. Jian Wu Wei should have arrived in the East Qi Continent first. And Li Shiming, the real person, is in the East Qi Continent. It seems that Li Shiming needs to come forward to investigate. Li Yuanba needs to make his own plans for the future. The first step is to improve the quality of Xing Yijian. The third grade Xing Yijian is not in line with his realm. Fortunately, he has the fourth grade weapon refining material. Abyss True Sand. When his realm stabilizes, he can put it on the agenda to improve the quality of Xingyi's sword. He also needs to consider his corpse refining state. He has been with Master Wu's uncle before, and he has not transformed into the corpse refining state. He didn't know if he would have to go through another thunder disaster if he changed into the state of corpse refining in his current situation. Even if there is no thunder tribulation, whether the transformation into the corpse refining state will cause great disturbances is something he needs to consider. He has only been in Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion for a short time. But he is certain of one thing. That is, Jianyi Cho Shao Pavilion is extremely exclusive. If he exposes his corpse refining state, he will be in great trouble. In addition, his Six Yang Spiritual Fire also needs to be improved. After the Six Yang Spiritual Fire is improved, when he changes to the corpse refining state, the Xianyin Fire will naturally be improved. Li Yuanba thought in his mind. And when he sat down cross-legged, he immediately put aside all thoughts. No matter what he thinks, he needs to stabilize his realm and accumulate as much spiritual power as possible. The rich aura and the energy that strengthened the swords will make him feel the same training effect as taking a spiritual pill when he practiced the swords while climbing to the sky technique. He took out a fourth grade high grade spiritual elixir in the early stage of nascent soul and drank it. Coupled with the influence of the cultivation environment, it was equivalent to double the cultivation effect and made him extremely comfortable. Although the number of fourth grade elixirs in the early stage of nascent soul in his hand is not large, it is still enough to provide him with a stable state. During the nine months, he was on the fourth grade flying boat. His cultivation had not stopped. And the total amount of spiritual power in his nascent soul had increased a bit. After he practiced in the sword room of the cave for a period of time. And with the supplementary fourth grade elixir, he judged that it would only take him one year at most in this environment to stabilize the realm of the early nascent soul and accumulate a certain amount of power. Spiritual Power Chapter 576 Coming Out of Seclusion a year passed in the blink of an eye, and Li Yuanba ended his retreat. His Yuanying realm had stabilized, and his spiritual power had reached the standard to support the Yuanying Dharma for a period of time. Among monks in the early stage of nascent soul, this standard is the realm where they can travel. While practicing the sword intention climbing into the sky art, the six yang spiritual fire in his body absorbed spiritual power on its own, and it also improved to the early stage of the fourth level which was enough for him to reach the standard for refining the mid-to-late nascent soul elixir. He also encountered an embarrassing thing. His alchemy furnace was the original trophy. A third-grade alchemy furnace. But it was no longer in line with his current realm. In addition, he does not have the multitasking ability of the originally shimming. When he is practicing the sword intention Chong Shao Ju, he cannot do other things at the same time. So after he finished the retreat and stabilized his realm, he would start to improve his natal flying sword skill. He took out the fourth grade earth fire disc. Although his six yang spiritual fire could also be used for refining weapons, 
with the fourth grade earth fire disc. He did not need to consume spiritual energy to maintain them. Six Yang spiritual fire. To refine weapons. The fourth grade earth fire plate was placed in front of him. And the nascent soul in Li Yuanba's body came out of his body and jumped out of his body from the top of his head. The little Yuanying sat in front of the fourth grade earth fire plate, opened his mouth and spit out his sword. Yuanying did not use it immediately, but was contacting Z15 in response to this improvement of the quality of Xingyijian. Z15 has already started analysis and research, taking advantage of this opportunity to improve the quality of Xingyijian. Z15 can optimize the quality of Xingyijian to the greatest extent. Power. As a standard sword cultivator, Xingyi sword is very much in line with the sword cultivator's needs for his natal magic weapon. The strongest thing about Xingyijian is that it can enhance the sword intent of the swordsman. After years of cultivation, Xingyijian has improved from the 135% enhancement of the sword intent when he inherited it to the 142% enhancement of the sword intent. Even if he wanted to change his natal flying sword, it would be difficult to find a natal flying sword that could improve so much sword power. The biggest weakness of Xingyijian is that its materials are somewhat inferior. However, by using the refining materials in the nascent soul stage to reshape the sword body, Xingyijian's own materials can be changed to the fourth grade, which makes up for Xingyijian's biggest weakness. Not to mention that after reshaping the sword, you can not only retain the original effect of Xingyi's sword, but also increase the power of the weapon refining materials. Li Yuanba got the message from Z15 in his mind. This was the transformation plan of Xingyijian carefully designed by Z15 based on the top level 4th grade. Abyss True Sand The most special thing is that in addition to retaining the basic runes of Xingyijian, it also leaves huge room for improvement. He has a lot of ideas about Xingyijian. And Z15 even applied these ideas to the design drawings. But there is a problem. That is, the 5 nanometer rune inscription in the design can only be completed by the main body Li Shiming in the computer room space. Therefore, Li Yuanba could only transform the 4th grade top level, Abyss True Sand, into Xingyijian first. Move the basic runes of Xingyijian to the appropriate position, and leave the remaining parts vacant. After meeting the real body Li Shiming in the future, Li Shiming would inscribe the empty space left by Xingyijian with micro runes, so that Xingyijian could be raised to the limit of the 4th grade top. Abyss True Sand, material, although Xingyijian, which Li Yuanba needs to use for a long time is only a semi-finished product. And he is two continents away from Li Shiming. But considering the power of the miniature rune magic weapon engraved on it, it is all worth it. If Li Yuanba had a fourth grade natal weapon, the Tribulation Flying Sword, he would be able to suppress any nascent soul sword cultivator in terms of the natal flying sword. Li Yuanba's nascent soul placed the Xingyi sword on the fourth grade earth fire plate. And then placed the top grade fourth grade, Abyss True Sand, next to the Xingyi sword and was burned by the 4th grade earth fire together. Nascent soul continued to play magic formulas one after another. This is the secret method of improving the flying sword recorded in the Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju. The reason why he waited until now to start the operation, and he had not yet used the Six Yang Spiritual Fire, was because this work consumed a lot of spiritual energy, and he did not dare to exhaust his spiritual energy in the process. Once Xing Jin fails to improve, Xing Jian will suffer heavy losses if he is damaged. Although the natal flying sword can be replaced, the cost of replacement is too high and it requires too much time and energy. In this way, Li Yuanba ended his training retreat and entered another retreat to improve his natal flying sword. This is also the daily life of Yuanying monks. Whether it is cultivation or other things, the time required for Yuanying monks far exceeds the golden elixir stage. Li Shiming is also in retreat here. Fortunately, he can be distracted, so his retreat can only be regarded as semi-retreat. After more than a year, 99.99% of the Sword Intention Chong Shaoju skill rune dagger in Jean Lei Yuanying's body in the computer room space was completed. In the body of Jean Lei Yuanying in the computer room space, through the microscopic view, 90 consciousnesses can be seen changing tiny runes at the same time. For the rune dagger in Jean Lei nascent soul, he stopped refining those fourth grade flying swords. Now that he is very proficient in this work, only one consciousness can participate in changing the tiny runes. Now, 90 brains control 90 consciousnesses at the same time. It is precisely this kind of progress that has achieved such results in just over a year. Otherwise it would have taken a hundred years to achieve this step. Huh? Li Shiming exhaled heavily. He was still very nervous. Although the natal magic weapon Z15 
had done many simulations on changing the sword intention runes of Jin Lei Yuaning into the sword intent Chong Shao Ju skill rune dagger. The simulation was still a simulation. It cannot be 100% accurate without fact checking. Seeing that the sword intention Chong Shao Ju technique in Jin Lei Yuaning's body was about to be completed, and the results of whether it was successful or not, he became nervous and worried. According to his idea, the Jin Lei nascent soul was going to be trained into a sword cultivator nascent soul among the sword cultivator Yuaning. It can be said that the strongest one is the sword cultivator Yuaning from Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. This is also the nascent soul of sword cultivation that he is most familiar with. He has the nascent soul of Li Yuanba as a reference. This condition is unique in the world of immortal cultivation, not to mention the arrogant sword cultivator Yuaning. Even ordinary Yuaning monks cannot open their Yuaning to other monks for study and they still have to completely open the core runes of the Yuaning. With such conditions, Li Shiming naturally wanted to be the strongest sword cultivator. However, he had not practiced the sword intent climb to the sky technique before. He wanted to use this transformation to forcibly change the Golden Thunder nascent soul into sword intent Chongxiao pavilion sword cultivator Yuaning. The last stroke of the rune dagger of the sword intention Chongxiao Ju in Jin Lei Yuaning's body was completed. To his surprise, the rune dagger did not change at all. Just like a dead thing. How could this be? Li Shiming murmured to himself. Suddenly something moved in his heart. And Jin Lei Yuaning's mind recalled the insights he had shared with his clone Li Yuanba about the sword intent climbing into the sky. Technique. As the inside of sword intent to the sky rose in his heart, the rune dagger in Jin Lei Yuaning's body emitted a faint light. As if it had spirituality. The enlightenment of sword intent to the sky continues, and Jean Lei nascent soul's perception of the rune dagger is getting stronger and stronger. Successful. Jean Lei Yuaning opened his eyes. Although he was in the computer room space, he could still feel the power of the rune dagger of the sword intention Chong Shao Ju in his body. Just like his clone Lei Yuanba, Jean Lei Yuaning broke through the Yuaning by practicing the sword intention Chong Shao Ju, which caused the Yuaning body to breed a rune dagger with the sword intent Chong Shao Ju. The rune dagger of the sword intent Chong Shao Ju is the nascent soul foundation of the sword intent Chong Shao Ju. With the sword intent Chong Shao Ju, the rune dagger can display the sword intent Chong Shao Ju. The power of the sword intention Chong Shao Ju is even more powerful, and he can use all the secret techniques of the sword intention Chong Shao Ju. It is hard to imagine that it only took him one year for Jin Lei Yuaning to master the sword intent climbing into the sky. Of course. In order to increase the power of Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju, he needs to continuously improve his understanding of Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju. Improving the perception of Sword Intention Chong Shao technique does not require the main body to do it. He can share Li Yuanba's Sword Intent Chong Shao technique. Perception, which saves a lot of trouble. It is a pity that the clone Li Yuanba's cultivation progress is weaker than that of Li Shiming. And Li Shiming's sword cultivation cannot keep up with his own level. However, considering the powerful attack power of the sword cultivator, even if it is a little weaker in terms of realm. Being able to use all the secret techniques of the sword intention climb to the sky technique can still make up for the lack of realm. Jean Lei Yuaning opened his mouth and inhaled the Traceless Fantasy Sword, floating on the side. The Traceless Fantasy Sword flew into his body and merged with the sword intention Chong Shao Ju, skill rune dagger. Together, he could feel that the Immortal Illusion Sword was nourished by the rune dagger of the Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju. As long as the Immortal Illusion Sword was in this state, it was equivalent to being constantly affected by the Golden Thunder nascent soul of sacrifice. Jin Lei Yuaning came out of the computer room. He looked up at the sky and found nothing unusual. He was also worried about whether there would be a thunder disaster. His behavior this time will not be tolerated by the rules of heaven and earth. There is no reason for thunder tribulation. Probably the rules of heaven and earth did not consider that there are monks who can operate like this. Li Shiming put away the fourth grade flying sword magic weapon that he had refined in the recent period. There were 73 fourth grade flying swords here, of which only about 40 contained the heavenly thunder sword intent. There was no time to refine the remaining fourth grade flying swords, and most of his brain was spent on the rune dagger in Jean Lei nascent soul. At this time, he had no idea of continuing the sacrifice. After staying in the cave for so long, he felt a little restless. During this period of semi-seclusion, 
He not only completed the transformation of the Golden Thunder nascent soul into the Sword Intention Chong Shaoju skill and Rune Dagger. His Fire Thunder nascent soul sometimes made elixirs and sometimes participated in refining weapons. And the other three nascent soul has been practicing. Li Shiming left the cave. He first cast a spell and asked his master, Brother Hu, if he was free. After receiving a positive reply, he flew towards the Four Elephant Cave. Entering the Four Elephant Cave and arriving at the cave of his master, Great Monk Hu. He did not see his registered disciple Lu Hung or his second senior brother Yushan. When he really saw Brother Hu, he found that Brother Hu met him in an incarnation. Sure, Jin. You are out of seclusion. Brother Hu was very happy to see Li Shiming. Yes, my realm improved a bit quickly before. And it is only after these years of practice that I have stabilized it. Li Shiming bowed and replied. During this period, the conflict between the sect and the Hidden Sun sect has been constant. They are attacking each other's resource production areas. Most of the sect's nascent soul monks are stationed in various places. Since you are out of seclusion, I will give you a task. Brother who first sensed Li Shiming's state, and then made a decision. Li Shiming stood with his hands tied. From the messages sent by some Yuanying monks, he also learned about the recent movements of the sect and knew that the situation was somewhat tense. But he didn't care as long as he wasn't fighting head-on with the great monks. He would be able to protect himself when he encountered the monks in the early and middle stages of nascent soul. There is news about your senior brother Zhong Chung. Yu Shan and Lu Hum are both unavailable. Please go find him for me, brother who said in a deep voice. As he spoke, he took out a jade slip and threw it to Li Shiming. Li Shiming took the jade slip and his spiritual consciousness entered the jade slip. This is the investigation content from the intelligence system. It turns out that since senior brother Zhong Chong disappeared, brother who has never given up looking for Zhong Chong, the sex intelligence system finally found a clue not long ago. Senior brother Zhong Chong had a battle with Zhao Lingyu, a monk in the middle stage of Yuan Ying of the Hidden Sun sect. After that, senior brother Zhong Chong lost contact. According to some side information, senior brother Zhong Chong had only nascent soul seriously injured and escaped. Judging from the fact that senior brother Zhong Chong has not contacted the sect for so long, it is most likely that Yuan Ying lost his memory after taking his body. Seizing the body of the nascent soul is inherently risky. And a monk would not do it unless absolutely necessary. Not to mention that nascent soul was seriously injured. And the risk of seizing the body in this situation increased many times. In the situation at that time, senior brother Zhong Chong did not use the prepared spare body. But because the situation was urgent, and he could not return to the spare body in time. He had to find a body outside to take over. Li Shiming's mission is to go to Guangyang Prefecture to find senior brother Zhong Chong and bring him back based on the information investigated by the intelligence system. Is senior brother still alive? Li Shiming asked with some uncertainty after reading the jade slips. This jade slip does not mention the life and death of senior brother Zhong Chong at all. And it seems to confirm that senior brother Zhong Chong must still be alive. Li Shiming had to make sure of this. Otherwise, senior brother Zhong Chong would die, and he would not be able to bring him back to the sect no matter how much time he spent. Zhong Chong stopped his life lamp when he was walking. And his life lamp was still on. Brother who explained for him. The life lamp contains a bit of the monk's soul mark. As long as the monk is alive, the life lamp will remain lit. If the monk dies, the soul mark will disappear, and the life lamp will be extinguished. Not all monks in the sect will leave life lamps. Only some monks who go to participate in extremely dangerous missions will leave life lamps. The monks attach great importance to their souls, and the soul marks left behind need to be taken back after returning from the mission. Brother who handed over the task of retrieving senior brother Zhong Chong to Li Shiming, which was considered to be taking care of Li Shiming. When the two sects were in conflict, this kind of less dangerous task was most suitable for an alchemy master like Li Shiming to complete. Chapter 577 Mission Li Shiming left the sect, with the smaller Xiaofeng standing on his shoulders. Although Xiaofeng has become smaller, it is still extremely beautiful, like a mini phoenix. Of course, there are all kinds of spiritual beasts in the world of immortality, and there are many that look like phoenixes, so Xiaofeng's form will not cause any trouble. He did not want Xiaofeng to be promoted to the fourth rank as soon as possible. Xiaofeng had been promoted too quickly before and needed some time to settle. Xiaofeng's future is bright. As long as he can advance to the middle stage of nascent soul, with sufficient resources, it is almost certain that Xiaofeng will become a late stage fourth stage spiritual pet. Because Xiaofeng has great potential, 
Li Shiming must pay more attention to Xiaofeng's growth process. Besides, his combat power is not inferior to Xiaofeng's. He looks like a monk in the early stage of Yuanying. But in fact, his combat power has already exceeded the early stage of Yuanying. Xiaofeng screamed, chirp, at Li Shiming's other shoulder. But the phantom dragon invisible on this shoulder ignored Xiaofeng. Xiao Feng, be quiet! Li Shiming took out a spiritual beast enhancing pill and gave it to Xiao Feng and ordered. Xiaofeng swallowed the spiritual beast boosting pill in one gulp, then shrank her body and lay on his shoulder with satisfaction. He shook his head. Due to the nature of this mission, he was not pursuing any speed. It just so happened that Jean Lei Yuanying needed to get familiar with the sword intention Chong Xiao technique, and he was flying with a sword all the way. The sword flying this time is different from the previous sword flying. The previous sword flying was based on the sword intention Chong Xiao technique, but this time it is a sword flying technique that actually uses the sword intent Chong Xiao technique. His sword flying carried a faint sound of thunder, which was the result of mobilizing the thunder sword intent to perform the sword flying technique. Although the flying of the sword has the sound of thunder, which makes the flying of the sword no longer secretive. But with the blessing of Thunder Sword Intent, the speed of the flying of the sword is much faster. He hasn't used full speed yet. If he really wants to use full speed, he can reach the speed of thunder and lightning. Any monk who sees the aura on his body will think that he is a pure sword cultivator. This is the aura produced by him using the Jin Lei Yuanying. The Sword Intent Chong Xiao Ju in Jin Lei Yuanying's body makes the Jin Lei Yuanying the sword cultivator Yuanying of the Sword Intent Chong Xiao Pavilion. Li Shiming took out a life lamp, which was the life lamp of senior brother Zhong Chong. Since senior brother Zhong Chong had seized his body, he could not be found by ordinary means. Only the life lamp with the mark of his soul would sense it when it was close to him at a certain distance. Li Shiming observed the life lamp and found nothing unusual. So he put the life lamp away again. He has arrived at the boundary of Guangyang Prefecture. Guangyang Prefecture is very large, and it will take a lot of time to explore the entire area. In front of his eyes, the Natal Magic Weapon Z-15 displayed a map, which was the map of Guangyang Prefecture. Any areas he has explored will be marked, so he doesn't miss any of them. The only thing that needs to be worried is whether senior brother Zhong Chang will leave Guangyang Prefecture. After losing his memory, it is unknown to what extent senior brother Zhong Chang's strength has recovered. What state he is at now? What his face is like? and even whether his gender is male or female. Number. So although this mission doesn't seem to be dangerous, it is extremely troublesome. There is a monk approaching from the front. When meeting a monk in this kind of wilderness, when both parties are in the same realm, they need to maintain a certain safe distance. As long as there is no hatred between the two parties, they will maintain such a safe distance. Li Shiming restrained the breath of Jin Lei Yuanying and switched to the breath of Mu Lei Yuanying. In this way, he instantly became a Lacio, and no breath of sword show leaked out. May I ask, Master Li Shurzhen? Peng Chia Xiaoya Tower is so polite. The monk opposite didn't want to cause trouble and carefully kept a distance from Li Shiming. However, when the two sides passed each other, the monk opposite noticed something and bowed and asked. Li Shiming had never heard of the Xiaoya Tower force and thought it was just a small or medium-sized force. This Peng Chi's realm is in the early stage of nascent soul so he poses no threat to Li Shiming. In addition, Li Shiming has always turned on spiritual eyes and other minds. His spirit is much higher than Peng Qi's, and he can clearly feel that Peng Qi has no ill intentions towards him. Li Shurzhen has also met Daoist Peng. Li Shiming returned the salute with a smile. Peng Qi's eyes lit up. He had many friends. One of his friends gave him a portrait of Li Shiming, so he recognized Li Shiming at a glance. But he didn't expect that Li Shiming was not arrogant, and was very approachable. Masterly, many monks from the Hidden Sun sect have appeared here recently. You should be careful. Peng Chi provided Li Shiming with an important piece of information. Li Shiming naturally understood that Peng Chi wanted to befriend him. But this information is absolutely true. And this kind of thing can be confirmed at any time. Thank you Daoist Peng for the reminder. Li Shiming thanked him. This is really thanks to Peng Chi. If he was completely unaware, it would still be extremely troublesome to fall into the ambush of the Hidden Sun sect. I wonder if Master Li has started refining elixirs recently. Xiaoya Tower is willing to show its utmost sincerity and ask Master Li to help refine a batch of elixirs. Peng Chi then made his request. It's not that he doesn't know that it's inappropriate to use a favor just after you get it. But it's really not easy to meet Li Shiming. If he doesn't use the favor this time, he doesn't know how long it will take to meet Li Shiming again. 
Li Shiming's alchemy is extremely famous. But there are very few monks who can actually ask him to make alchemy. And most of them are monks from the 10,000 Bees sect. I wonder what the greatest sincerity is. Li Shiming did not refuse immediately. He could return the favor, get a reward, and at the same time increase his reserve of some elixirs. Why not do it? When Peng Chi heard Li Shiming ask this question, he was not surprised but happy. Since he would ask this question, he basically agreed to the alchemy matter. Please ask Master Li to refine the fourth grade elixir of the early nascent soul. Feel free to ask for any compensation. Xiao Tower has a history of more than 4,000 years, so there is still some leftover. Peng Chi replied with a smile. I need fourth grade weapon refining metal. And I think you all know my alchemy rules too. Li Shiming thought for a while and replied. Of course I know the rules. And please invite Master Li to move to Xiao Tower. Peng Chi invited with a smile. He did not expect that the reward Li Shiming wanted was not difficult to obtain. So that all the elixirs accumulated in Xiao Tower could be refined. Fourth grade refining metal is indeed precious. But every force has a considerable inventory. And it can be purchased through some channels. The fourth grade weapon refining metal can be purchased. But the quality of the fourth grade elixir refined by Li Shiming cannot be purchased. Peng Chi led the way. And Li Shiming followed. Although Xiao Tower is called a building, it is actually a medium sized sect, belonging to the largest force in Guangyang Prefecture. Li Shiming agreed to make alchemy, and also had the idea of going to Xiao Tower to investigate. For this kind of sect with a large formation, even if he came outside the sect's formation with a life lamp, the life lamp would not be able to get accurate feedback due to the obstruction of the large formation. The refining of the fourth grade elixir in the early stage of nascent soul is not complicated and does not take long. He can open two furnaces of elixir at the same time. And it does not take up much of his time. Qin Shu has met Master Li. Master Li's arrival has made Xiaoya Tower shine. Outside the sect of Xiaoya Tower, Qin Shu, another monk of the sect in the early stage of Yuanying, has been waiting here for a long time. After arriving at Li Shiming, he stepped forward to salute and welcome. Fellow Daoist Qin, you don't need to be polite. Get the elixir and arrange a quiet place for me. I will start refining the elixir immediately. Li Shiming returned the courtesy with a smile. Master Li, please speak quickly. The cave has been prepared for you a long time ago. The elixir is right here. Qin Shu took out a storage bag and pointed to another place. Li Shiming took the storage bag and entered the temporary cave prepared for him. There are 12 elixirs in the storage bag, as well as the corresponding 4th grade elixir prescriptions, as well as enough 4th grade refining metals. Although they are all of 4th grade low grade quality, they are definitely according to the rules. And the reward is only more quite a few. In fact, he only needs to open 4 furnaces of elixirs, and the rest of the elixirs are his own. And he will refine them into 4th grade high level elixirs when he has time. He can also open 2 furnaces of alchemy at the same time. In fact, the alchemy time required is only two days to complete. Since it was impossible for him to deliver the elixir in two days, he waited for five days before leaving the cave. Qin Shu and Peng Qi, two early Yuanying monks, were waiting outside the cave. When they saw him coming out, they both looked at him expectantly. Although Li Shiming is well known and has stable alchemy results, the twelve elixirs this time have been stored by the sect for a long time. If something goes wrong, the sect's many years of efforts will be in vain. What worried them most was that Li Shiming's alchemy time was too short. It was so short that they thought he must have failed several times before he was like this. According to the normal speed of alchemy, Li Shiming should not come out at this time. Li Shiming also felt their mood, and handed over a jade bottle with a smile without saying anything. Master Li's alchemy skills are indeed as stable as the rumors say. You are the highest level alchemy master I have ever seen in my life. Qin Shi was good at talking and his boastful words were spoken as if they were free of charge. He was not just talking nonsense. Although the fourth grade elixir in his hand was not of high quality, it was only a little short of high quality, and the quality of all the fourth grade elixirs was the same. Although many alchemy masters sometimes get lucky and refine fourth grade high level elixirs. However, these alchemy masters have a higher chance of refining fourth grade low level elixirs, which is far less likely than Li Shiming. There is no need to worry about the quality of fourth grade elixirs. Masterly, Xiaoling Yu, a middle stage nascent soul monk from the Hidden Sun sect, and two early stage nascent soul monks seem to be looking for something. They are exploring everywhere in Guangyang Prefecture. Peng Chi hesitated slightly, but stepped forward to send a message. As for the reminder a few days ago, it was a sign of goodwill. 
but the reminder this time is different. The release of such specific information will offend the Hidden Sun sect. With the strength of Xiaoyao Tower, it is possible for the Ziri sect to be destroyed if it offends them. Xiao Ling Yu! Li Shiming was startled when he heard this name. Isn't this the nascent soul monk of the Hidden Sun sect who fought with senior brother Zhong Chong? Why did he come here? Could it be? Li Shiming suddenly thought of a possibility. Both the 10,000 Beast sect and the Hiding Sun sect are large sects. And both sides have been infiltrating the other sect. The news about senior brother Zhong Chong's rebirth this time may have been sent to the Hidden Sun sect by spies from the 10,000 Beast sect. Otherwise, how could this Xiao Ling Yu appear here by such a coincidence? I have recorded this favor. This is my contact information. We will contact you in the future. Li Shiming took out a contact card and said, This was his external contact card. And Peng Qi and Qin Shu exchanged contact information. Li Shiming's behavior was tantamount to recognizing them and formally making friends with them. The two Yuanning monks were very happy to be accepted by an alchemy master of Li Shiming's level. It would be convenient for them to make alchemy in the future. Although Li Shiming's alchemy was well paid, many monks in the Eastern Qi continent were unable to hire Li Shiming to make alchemy even if they were paid. The energy of an alchemy master is limited, and a large part of it is needed to complete sect tasks. After subtracting the time for practice, there are not many other alchemy tasks that can be taken on. When Li Shiming left Xiaoyao Tower, he did not forget to check the life lamp. He found that the life lamp did not respond, indicating that the body of senior brother Zhong Chong was not in Xiaoyao Tower sect. After he left Xiaoyao building, he immediately contacted the drone satellite system through his natal magic weapon Z-15. Originally, he did this safety task as a distraction. Guangyang Prefecture is a relatively remote area, so with his strength, there will be no problems with safety. Of course, the most important thing was that he released Seal Fang and Phantom Dragon. These two spiritual pets were extremely sensitive to danger. He didn't need to worry about being ambushed by the monks. So he rarely paid attention to the drone satellite system. It was different now. When he knew that an enemy was in this area, he had to grasp the enemy's movements. The number of Yuanying monks in Guangyang Prefecture is limited, and the positions of each Yuanying monk are marked by the drone satellite system. In the following time, every once in a while, Z-15 will record the position of the nascent soul monks marked by the drone satellite system. After one day, three nascent soul monks move most frequently. Needless to say, these three Yuanying monks should be the three Yuanying monks from the Hidden Sun sect. Li Shiming also judged based on the vague range around the three Yuanying monks that one of them should be Xiao Lingyu, who is in the middle stage of Yuanying. On the virtual screen in front of him, Xiao Lingyu's action trajectory was drawn. At the same time, through the analysis and research of the action trajectory, Z15 gave the predicted action trajectory of Zhao Lingyu. He ignored the other two early stage nascent soul monks. If he touched these two early stage nascent soul monks first, he would alert the enemy and make it difficult for him to sneak attack Zhao Lingyu. Although he has never met senior brother Zhong Chong, as a disciple of Brother Hu, he avenges senior brother not for his senior brother's enlightenment, but for Brother Hu's sake. Brother who has always been extremely concerned about senior brother Zhong Chong, and he does not want to disappoint his master. Chapter 578 found. Li Shiming was using the magic weapon Z15 to analyze Xiao Ling Yu's expected route. He used South close to the end of the world, and the invisibility effect of the color changing cloak, which can be said to be silent. Even if there were informants from the Hidden Sun sect in this area, his whereabouts would not be discovered. Just as he passed a mountain peak, his figure suddenly stopped. He took out senior brother Zhong Chong's life lamp, and the flame of the life lamp flickered abnormally. Elder brother is here, he said to himself with some surprise. He looked towards the mountain. As shown on the map, there was a low-level city there. There are as many low-level markets as stars in the eastern Qi continent, and there will be such low-level markets at regular intervals. The low-level market serves casual cultivators. The exchange of resources among casual cultivators in the market is the guarantee for the survival of casual cultivators. Casual cultivators will sell the processed or cultivated spiritual objects in exchange for spiritual stones or cultivation resources. Li Shiming's mind moved slightly. And the color-changing cloak transformed him into an early-stage golden elixir monk. He came outside Fonsher and used his fingers to create a magic formula for entering Fonsher. And then the entrance to Fonsher appeared. He walked into the entrance of the passage and saw that there were very few monks in this market. There were only five monks setting up stalls here. This is normal. This low-level market is only lively on a few fixed days every month. The rest of the time, 
The nearby monks are busy with survival issues. Li Shiming watched as he walked, focusing on the situation of the life lamp. The life lamp was very close to senior brother Zhong Chong, which allowed him to find the actual location of senior brother Zhong Chong through the guidance of the life lamp. The monk setting up the stall looked at Li Shiming with awe. Even if Li Shiming had suppressed his realm to the early stage of the Golden Core, it was still not something they could handle for these monks, whose strength was only in the chain energy and foundation building stages. Li Shiming was walking and stopped in front of a monk in the early stages of foundation building. In the early stages of foundation building, the monk's face looked very vicissitudes of life, and he was probably a hundred years old. At this age, we are only at the early stage of foundation building. It is probably extremely difficult to break through to the golden elixir stage. In front of the monks at the early stage of foundation building, there were two first grade Takeshita black rabbits. Judging from the state of the Takeshita black rabbits, they had been domesticated. Taming a spirit beast is not easy. In addition to having the means, you also need to have a strong affinity with spirit beasts. Of course, there is only one grade of spirit beast that can be tamed. No matter how high the grade of the spirit beast is, its intelligence will extremely resist domestication, making domestication impossible. Li Shiming looked at the two first grade black rabbits under the bamboo, and then at the monks in the early stage of foundation building. Although it was extremely difficult to sense the aura of the Yuanying in the body after the Yuanying took over the body, only through the domestication ability of the two first grade black rabbits under the bamboo, he it can be judged that this person is most likely the body of senior brother Zhong Chong. His consciousness swept over the body of the monk in the early stage of foundation building, and he couldn't help but sigh in his heart. It seemed that senior brother Zhong Chong had no choice but to seize the body in the first place. The body's talent was very poor. It is estimated that if the nascent soul, which has senior brother Zhong Chong, had not been integrated into this body, this body would not even be able to reach the foundation building stage. Senior, what do you want? The monk in the early stage of foundation building asked restrainedly. He didn't think that the Jindanki senior in front of him would be interested in the two first grade bamboo black rabbits. But this made him extremely nervous. He didn't know what the Jindanki senior's purpose was. Your method of taming spiritual beasts looks familiar to me. I wonder where you got it from. Li Shiming asked with a smile. Senior, this is a method I tried out of my mind. If you are interested, I will give it to you. The monk in the early stage of foundation building replied without any hesitation. This is the way of survival for casual cultivators. When unable to resist, they will take the initiative to show weakness. Hey, don't call me senior. Just pack up and I'll take you to a place. Li Shiming sensed the situation of the life lamp. And after careful scanning with his spiritual consciousness, he was 100% sure that he was senior brother Zhong Chong in front of him. So he said calmly, the monk's face tightened in the early stages of foundation building. He looked at Li Shiming, fear flashing in his eyes. Fellow Taoist, this is the owner of the market here, an early stage Jin Den monk, appeared and spoke. He stopped mid-sentence because when he started to speak, Li Shiming turned his head and looked at him as the master of Fanshur, through the formations in Fanshur. The Jin Den monk can sense everything that happens in Fanshur. Li Shiming's aura was in the early stage of the Golden Core. Although the owner did not want to interfere, for the sake of Fancher's reputation, the owner still came forward to prevent Li Shiming from taking away the monks in the early stage of foundation building. The reputation of Fancher is life, and Li Shiming's aura is in the early stage of Jin Dan. The owner here is confident to suppress Li Shiming, but when Li Shiming turned to look at him, he felt the terrifying thunder and lightning in Li Shiming's eyes, a kind of thunder and lightning that was enough to make his soul tremble. Li Shiming has great control over the energy in his body. The trace of Lacio coercion he exudes does not spread out, but only targets the owner here. He didn't show too much coercion. Otherwise, with the coercion of his Lacio in the early stage of nascent soul, the master here would fall on the spot. Old Zhang, just follow the senior. I think the senior won't be in trouble. The master immediately changed his mind and persuaded the monk in the early stage of foundation building. In the early stage of foundation building, the monk knew that he could not change his mind. From the attitude of the master here, he knew that the golden elixir monk in front of him was extremely powerful. So powerful that the master here did not dare to say anything. He put away the two first grade bamboo black rabbits. Although it might be dangerous to follow Li Shiming this time, the two first grade bamboo black rabbits were a considerable fortune to him. And he was not willing to let them go. Thank you. Li Shiming nodded to the owner of Fanshur. With a wave of his hand, a surge of spiritual consciousness lifted up 
the early stage monk, and flew towards the outside of Fong's city. The owner of Fonsher kept a humble smile and watched their retreating figures until he shimming left Fonsher and could no longer be seen. Then he breathed a long sigh of relief. This is definitely not an early stage golden core cultivator. Or he is hiding his identity for some reason, he murmured to himself. But he soon realized that he was talking too much. He quickly looked around and found that there were no monks nearby. And he felt relieved. Li Shiming left Fong City with the early stage foundation building monks. He looked at the drone satellite system and found that with this delay, Zhao Lingyu would pass nearby in at most one stick of incense. What's your name? He asked the monk in the early stage of foundation building. Senior, the younger one's name is John Hai. John Hai was supported by his divine consciousness and restrained. And he answered honestly, John Hai, I have to do something here. I will set up a formation. You stay in the formation and don't move, Li Shiming said with a smile. As he spoke, the fourth grade formation flag in his hand had been thrown out. And when it landed on the ground, a hidden formation was formed. Zhang Hai did not dare to refuse. Nor did he have the ability to refuse. Li Shiming placed Zhang Hai in the concealment formation and casually blessed Zhang Hai with a defensive spell. Zhang Hai felt the light of magic on his body. Even if he was only in the foundation building stage, he understood at this time that Li Shiming would definitely not be a monk in the golden elixir stage. Although the level of the casual cultivators in the eastern Qi continent is low, their knowledge is definitely far greater than that of the casual cultivators in the northern Shu continent. Loose cultivators in the eastern Qi continent can see golden core cultivators from time to time. And even nascent soul cultivators can be seen every few years. Therefore, Zhang Hai knows the difference between spells. These fourth level defensive spells reflect that Li Shiming is a nascent soul monk. This thought made him no longer nervous. To be honest, if Li Shiming was really a monk in the early stage of Jin Dan, he would still think that Li Shiming would do anything to him. But it was different as Li Shiming was a nascent soul cultivator. He, a monk in the early stage of foundation building, had no value at all to the nascent soul cultivator and was not worth the effort that the nascent soul cultivator had to expend to deal with it. Although he didn't know what happened, he knew that he should be in no danger. He looked at the fourth level defensive spells on his body and then at the fourth level formations arranged outside him and felt more at ease. Li Shiming summoned four fourth grade puppets and used the speed of so far so far to arrange the four fourth grade puppets 400 miles away. Although he had a record of killing mid-stage Yuanying monks, he did not underestimate any mid-stage Yuanying monk. Not to mention that Zhao Lingyu was also a mid-stage Yuanying monk from the Hidden Sun sect. Zhao Lingyu can severely injure senior brother Zhong Chong in battle. So his combat power must be very strong. You must know that senior brother Zhong Chong is the eldest disciple of Monk Hu. Whether it is skills or magic weapons, he is the top being among the Yuan Ying mid-stage monks of the 10,000 B sect. Needless to say, Zhao Ling used combat prowess after defeating senior brother Zhong Chong. If Li Shiming hadn't had a variety of life-saving methods and his current attack power was extremely powerful, he would have walked away long ago when he encountered a powerful being like Zhao Ling Yu. Zhao Ling Yu was holding a thousand-mile spirit plate in his hand. He was in a good mood. He could immediately deal with his mortal enemy Zhong Chong and get the thing back from Zhong Chong's hand. After the intelligence personnel of the 10,000 Beast sect sent back the news that Zhong Chong was in Guangyang Prefecture. He immediately took over the task and rushed to Guangyang Prefecture with his two men. The reason why he came here before Li Shiming was mainly because Li Shiming was in retreat at the time. And brother, who could not find a trustworthy monk to come and take Zhong Chong back, given Zhong Chong's amnesia state after seizing the body. If a monk with ulterior motives is sent over, it is very likely that Zhong Chong will be killed to seize the treasure. Even if Zhong Chong escaped from nascent soul, he would at least keep one of his natal magic weapons. What's more, if he escaped with space items, Zhong Chong's net worth would be even richer. Sending monks rashly to pick up Zhong Chong would not save him, but harm him. Brother who was also planning to ask Yu Shan or Lu Hong to go to Guangyang Prefecture to pick up Zhong Chong when they had the opportunity. It happened that Li Shiming was out of seclusion. So this task fell to Li Shiming. Zhao Lingyu has another method that is more convenient than Li Shiming. And that is the Thousand Mile Spiritual Plate. He had obtained Zhong Chong's body, which made Zhong Chong's aura that could be inserted into the Thousand Mile Soul Plate stronger, making it easier to track Zhong Chong's location. Although the Thousand Mile Spiritual Plate claims to be thousands of miles away, that is without any obstruction. 
If Zhong Chong is in the formation, it will affect the effect of the Thousand Mile Spiritual Plate. Zhao Lingyu was flying when the pointer of the Thousand Mile Spiritual Plate and his hand moved and pointed in one direction. Zhong Chong, let's see where you run this time, Zhao Lingyu said happily. The direction of his flight was exactly the direction of the concealment formation arranged by Li Shiming. Of course, this is also near where Li Shiming arranged an ambush. Zhao Lingyu's whereabouts were not hidden and were monitored by the drone satellite system. When Li Shiming saw Zhao Lingyu changing direction, he couldn't help but pat his head and thought of the Thousand Miles Spiritual Plate. He had been positioned by the Thousand Miles Spiritual Plate and was very impressed. It seems that Zhao Lingyu has found the location of senior brother Zhong Chong. If he arrives too late, Zhao Lingyu may find senior brother Zhong Chong first. I can only lament that senior brother Zhong Chong was lucky enough to be found by Li Shiming first. Li Shiming made contact with four fourth grade puppets through the drone satellite system. In order to facilitate remote contact, he installed signal receiving and transmitting devices in the bodies of the four fourth grade puppets. The drone satellite system can transmit data in a timely manner. Of course, if the distance is too far, there will be a delay. But with a distance of only 400 miles, there will be no delay at all. Not to mention the magic weapon Z15 is here. Z15 is constantly calculating the distance to Zhao Lingyu. With Li Shiming's divine vision, he can see Zhao Lingyu's figure clearly, which facilitates Z15's accurate calculation. Zhao Lingyu looked at the thousand mile spiritual plate, getting closer and closer to the target. But a sense of danger arose in his heart. His spirit is very strong, and he can be regarded as the top existence among the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul. It was precisely because his spirit was strong enough that he felt dangerous. If you are mentally weak, you will not be able to sense that you are being targeted by four fourth grade puppets. The reason for this is that the four fourth level puppets are too far away, beyond the perception range of most Yuanying monks. The distance of 400 miles is such a long distance attack method that is rare in the world of immortality. Xiaoling Yu waved his hand, and a fourth grade high level shield magic weapon appeared in front of him, completely covering his body. He let go of his consciousness and carefully explored everything around him, not missing every inch. He trusted his spirit very much, and his early sense of danger allowed him to avoid many crises. In order to improve his spirit, he practiced many extremely cruel magic skills and secret techniques, which also allowed him to always take advantage in battles at the same level. Li Shiming was also suddenly shocked. This was the first time that a monk sensed the targeting of a fourth grade puppet. He did not launch an attack immediately. If he launched an attack under such circumstances, the possibility of being resisted was very high, and he did not want to make a useless effort. He was waiting. He knew that it was impossible for Zhao Lingyu to discover the four fourth grade puppets 400 miles away. Zhao Lingyu could not always be so alert. As long as there was a slight flaw, he would attack. However, he observed Zhao Lingyu with his spiritual eyes, but it did not trigger Zhao Lingyu's reaction. Chapter 579 Attack Zhang Hai, who was in the fourth level concealment formation, suddenly started to tremble all over. Although he only has the strength in the early stage of foundation building, this nascent soul that has been fused with his body is actually the nascent soul in the middle stage of nascent soul. Since he lost his memory during the seizure, Zhang Hai knew nothing about the seizure. He only knew that some hallucination sometimes appeared in his mind. The secret method he used to tame the first grade Takashita Yusagi was something he learned from the illusion and he felt inexplicably relaxed when using it. He was able to advance from the middle stage of Qi Chain to the early stage of Foundation Establishment because of this secret method. He sold domesticated spiritual beasts, which were the most popular commodities in the nearby area and brought him a lot of cultivation resources. If Li Shiming hadn't appeared, Zhang Hai might have been confused all his life and didn't know what happened in his past life. Li Shiming brought him here and set up a fourth-level concealment formation to ensure his safety. He did not expect that he could sense Zhao Lingyu's aura. Zhao Lingyu did not deliberately hide his aura. This aura was engraved in Zhang Hai's soul even if Zhang Hai lost his memory. Zhang Hai's eyes were blank at first. And then he seemed to think of something. Zhao Lingyu! How did I think of this name? Why do I hate this name so much? He murmured to himself. Just now, a series of memory fragments flashed up. He did not recover his memory. But he used the memory fragments to create cracks in his own memory blockade. If there is more stimulation, there is a high possibility that his memory will be restored. Zhao Lingyu scanned it three times with his consciousness, but found nothing. The faint feeling of danger seemed to exist, 
and it seemed to be his imagination. Which fellow Talus from the 10,000 Bees sect is here? He asked in a deep voice. He used a secret technique to make his voice spread far. It wasn't that he had discovered something. It was just a test. With the conflict between the Sun sect and the 10,000 Bees sect now almost open to the public. If he said this, if there were really monks from the 10,000 Bees sect here, they would appear to confront him. But Li Shiming ignored Xiao Lingyu. His own level was not as good as Xiao Lingyu. In addition, judging from the fact that Xiao Lingyu's danger perception is so sensitive, Xiao Lingyu's spirit is extremely strong. In this way, he would not even have the advantage of attack distance. The difference between a monk in the early stage of Yuanying and a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying seems to be only a small level. But in fact, the gap is huge. The realm suppression of the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying alone is enough to make it difficult for the monks in the early stage of Yuanying to exert their combat power. Even the middling weak monks in the early stage of Yuanying will be suppressed to the point where they cannot even fight back. Of course, Li Shiming has the Water Dragon Talus robe, which gives him a chance to get close to Zhao Lingyu in a few breaths. But the premise is that he can make good use of this period of counting breaths. Otherwise this ambush will be a joke. Z15 made multiple plans for him, each of which was targeted, using his advantages to defeat Zhao Lingyu. If other monks knew that Li Shiming planned to defeat Zhao Lingyu in the middle stage of Yuanying at the early stage of Yuanying, they would definitely say that he was crazy. Who is Zhao Lingyu? He is a top being in the middle stage of nascent soul, especially since he is from the Hidden Sun sect. He has never seen any conspiracies and tricks. Zhao Lingyu didn't hear the response. He shook his head vigorously. He was now wondering if this faint sense of danger was fake. He was too paranoid. He looked at the thousand miles soul plate. Again, Zhong Chong was not far ahead. And there was no way he would give up. While on guard, he flew towards Zhong Chong's direction. Suddenly, he sensed the aura of the great monk. His expression changed drastically. And without any hesitation, he turned around and ran away. In order to escape faster, he put away the 4th grade high level shield magic weapon. At the moment when he took back the 4th grade high level shield magic weapon, for 4th grade puppets 400 miles away fired the electromagnetic cannon at the same time. Among the refining materials he had harvested before, he refined the 4th grade mid-level refining materials into the 4th grade top cone-shaped magic weapon. Due to material problems, the 4th grade top cone-shaped magic weapon did not become a weapon for calamity. This can be regarded as an upgrade to the power of the electromagnetic gun. The power of the four electromagnetic guns has been increased by about three or four levels. For electromagnetic cannons fired in a salvo, and four fourth grade cone shaped magic weapons were shot out. With Z15's precise calculations, Zhao Lingyu's move of turning around and running away after sensing the aura of the great monk had already been calculated by Z15. That's why Zhao Lingyu turned around and ran away and four fourth-grade cone-shaped magic weapons were shot in front of him. Zhao Lingyu's strong spirit makes his perception distance much farther than that of ordinary mid-stage nascent soul monks, which gives him more reaction time. He activated three fourth-grade intermediate defense talismans at the same time, which was equivalent to the defensive spells cast by monks in the middle stage of nascent soul. But the difference is that it takes some time for monks in the middle stage of nascent soul to cast spells successfully while the 4th level intermediate defense talisman can be cast instantly. Three 4th grade intermediate defense talismans form three defensive spell shields for him. Just as the spell shield was raised, for 4th grade cone-shaped magic weapons hit the spell shield. The first defensive spell shield was broken upon contact, and the second defensive spell shield was broken after holding on for half a breath. For 4th grade cone-shaped magic weapons hit the third defensive spell shield again, and this time the four 4th grade cone-shaped magic weapons were blocked. Zhao Lingyu sensed four fourth grade cone shaped magic weapons through his spiritual consciousness. And his face was extremely ugly. Just now he sensed the aura of the great monk. And now he saw as many as four top grade cone shaped magic weapons of the fourth grade. Which had to make him make some guesses. But what he couldn't understand was that if a great monk really wanted to deal with him, why not take action directly? This fourth grade top cone shaped magic weapon was obviously not powerful enough for a great monk to take action and the aura on it showed that it was a 4th grade puppet's magic weapon. Although the 4 cone-shaped magic weapons did not injure Zhao Lingyu, they interrupted his escape. He just sensed the aura of the great monk, and it was Li Shiming who caused it. Li Shiming let the sky ghost enter the body of Zhao Qingfeng's living dead, and then summoned him from the computer room space. Although Zhao Qingfeng only has the body of a living dead, and no nascent soul in his body, his body can still emit part of the aura unique to the great monk, 
when it is deliberately stimulated. In the Eastern Qi continent, only great monks can fight against great monks. Other monks were crushed in front of the big monk. That's why Shaoling Yu turned around and ran away without thinking after sensing the aura of the great monk. Li Shiming was a little helpless and still had to fight face to face. He thought that the four fourth grade puppets could at least seriously injure Zhao Lingyu. Obviously, his own realm is too low. If his realm reaches the middle stage of nascent soul, the four fourth level puppets will be able to possess the power of the middle stage of the fourth level, and the power of the electromagnetic gun will be increased accordingly. Only then can they be able to damage to Xiao Lingyu, a top powerhouse in the middle stage of nascent soul. He used, close to the end of the world, and his figure appeared not far from Xiao Lingyu in a flash. The five-handled, colorful flying phoenix sword was arranged in a five-element formation, containing a strong, heavenly thunder sword intention, and slashed towards Xiao Lingyu. Hey, a sword cultivator in the early stage of nascent soul dares to challenge me. Xiao Lingyu sent Li Shiming's realm. Although he was very surprised by Li Shiming's spatial powers, he was still very contemptuous of Li Shiming's courage to fight face to face. Most importantly, he no longer sent the aura of the great monk. Judging from the situation of the great monk's aura just now, the great monk's aura was very light. It was possible that a great monk was passing by nearby. Zhao Lingyu had seen too many talented monks like Li Shiming and thought that he could challenge powerful monks with his own talent. Indeed, controlling five fourth grade high level flying swords at the same time and launching attacks in a formation shows that Li Shiming's control over the sword has reached a profound level. But in front of him, Li Shiming's five fourth grade high level flying swords were just a showpiece. With a wave of his hand, a top level fourth grade flying sword appeared and faced the five handled, colorful flying phoenix sword. At the same time, he activated the realm pressure and pressed down on Li Shiming. Li Shiming felt the pressure of Zhao Lingyu's realm, and he smiled lightly. At this time, his 191 brains shared Zhao Lingyu's pressure. Unless Zhao Lingyu's realm reaches a level that is enough to suppress 191 Li Shiming, he will not be able to influence Li Shiming simply by relying on his realm pressure. Zhao Lingyu's fourth grade top flying sword slashed at the five colorful flying phoenix sword. The five colored flying wind sword was like a swimming fish, constantly using the five elements formation to induce the five elements aura to form a cage to trap the fourth grade top flying sword. Li Shiming had no intention of confronting Zhao Lingyu's fourth grade top flying sword. He was not stupid. The two sides were not at the same level coupled with the quality gap of the flying sword magic weapon. If he really came into contact with the fourth grade top flying sword, the five colorful flying phoenix sword was destroyed. Which member of the 10,000 bees sect are you? I have never heard of a sword cultivator like you in the 10,000 bees sect. Zhao Lingyu frowned slightly. He was helpless to Li Shiming twice in a row, which made him extremely curious. Based on the Yi sect's understanding of the 10,000 bees sect, it is impossible for a nascent soul sword cultivator to be unaware of it. Li Shiming bears the mark of a core monk of the 10,000 Beasts sect, which cannot be faked. And no monk in the Eastern Qi continent dares to fake it. You will know after you die, Li Shiming said with a smile. Even though he had the advantage, he knew very well that even if he hit Zhao Lingyu, he would only suffer minor injuries at most. But if Zhao Lingyu hits him, he will die. The power of the middle nascent soul was still increasing during the battle. Even though he had 191 brains to share, he still felt it was difficult. He was waiting for an opportunity. Under the influence of the automatic return runes, the four fourth-grade cone-shaped magic weapons had disappeared and returned to the four fourth-grade puppet electromagnetic guns 400 miles away. In the current battle, both sides were very restrained and did not display the nascent soul dharma. There is a reason for this. The battle at this time is in a trial process and both sides need to understand the strength of the other side. In addition, although this is a casual cultivator area, the major forces have an agreement and are not allowed to use the nascent soul dharma in this place. This is a place where a large number of casual cultivators rely on for survival. If the nascent soul dharma is used here, it will cause huge and lasting damage to the place. Of course, no one can say when this restraint between the two sides will end. The real battle between the two sides will occur when one party uses the nascent soul dharma. Zhao Lingyu was not in a hurry to use the Yuanning dharma. He was at a higher level than Li Shiming. Li Shiming didn't use the Yuanning dharma, so he would not use it in advance. He was very dissatisfied. The set of colorful flying phoenix sword used by Li Shiming actually made him feel constrained when using the fourth grade top flying sword. 
Light flashed in his eyes. He didn't only know how to use the fourth grade flying sword. He had mastered many secret attacks. He was also waiting for an opportunity. An opportunity where Li Shiming would be killed with one strike before he could use the nascent soul dharma. At this time, he no longer considered escaping. How could he endure being provoked by an early Yuanying sword cultivator? Li Shiming controlled the five colorful flying phoenix sword. And he felt that his control over the flying sword had improved a lot. This was an insight from the Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju. He seemed to have practiced Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju for many years. The Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju skill rune dagger in Jin Lei Yuanying's body is flowing light flowing on it. And the Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju method of controlling a set of flying swords can be easily used. In the past, when Jin Lei Yuanying did not have the rune dagger of the Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju in his body, he might be able to use some of the methods of the Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju, but at that time, the Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju was used the means are simulated. Now he is performing the Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju, which is based on the rune dagger of Jin Lei Yuanying's Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju. This is the real Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion Sword Cultivation Method. This greatly improved his control and power of the flying sword. Even Zhao Lingyu did not doubt his identity as a sword cultivator. One can imagine how good he is at controlling the flying sword. Zhao Lingyu was thinking about using the secret attack method when he sensed danger again. However, because he was in the middle of a battle, the four fourth grade puppets launched electromagnetic cannons as soon as they took aim, which gave him a very short reaction time. His expression changed slightly, and his mind moved slightly, when a fourth grade high grade shield magic weapon appeared, together with the remaining fourth grade intermediate defensive magic shield that was not enough for defense. This was all his defense. With a boom, a crack appeared on the fourth grade high level shield magic weapon. Xiao Lingyu felt a pain in his head. Fortunately, he was mentally strong. The destruction of the fourth grade upper level shield magic weapon did not make him lose control of his body. The electromagnetic cannon fired by four fourth level puppets can break through the fourth level upper level shield magic weapon with one blow. It is also the fourth level upper level shield magic weapon driven by Zhao Lingyu in the middle stage of nascent soul. It is not only used as an electromagnetic gun. The quality of the weapon's fourth grade cone shaped magic weapon has been upgraded to the top grade of fourth grade. Another reason is that the four fourth level cone shaped magic weapons hit the same position of the fourth level upper level shield magic weapon at the same time. If it was hit once or twice, perhaps Xiao Lingyu's realm could still use spiritual power to bless the fourth level shield magic weapon. Defend with the upper level shield magic weapon. However, for attacks at the same position at the same time, for consecutive top grade cone shaped magic weapons, and the strong kinetic energy of the electromagnetic gun caused this defensive magic weapon to be destroyed instantly. Chapter 580 Beheading the Infant Zhao Lingyu's defensive magic weapon was broken, and the remaining force of the four fourth grade cone-shaped magic weapons then hit the defensive magic shield, and the long broken defensive magic shield dissipated instantly. The power of the four fourth grade cone-shaped magic weapons was still less than half, and they continued to shoot towards Zhao Lingyu's body. The robe on his body flashed with light, and with a sizzling sound, the fourth grade robe was shattered into pieces. But the final power of the four fourth grade cone-shaped magic weapons was also offset. It's not that the power of the electromagnetic cannons of the four fourth level puppets is weakened, but that the electromagnetic cannons are fighting across levels. It is already extremely extraordinary to be able to achieve such results. The core of a fourth grade puppet that is sacrificed to the realm of the early nascent soul can only emit the power of the fourth grade primary level at most which is equivalent to the combat power of the early nascent soul. Fortunately, the electromagnetic gun uses the 4th grade top cone-shaped magic weapon as a SH. L. So it can increase its power to a level that threatens the mid-stage nascent soul. But this threat to the middle nascent soul is just an ordinary strength in the middle nascent soul. The top combat power of the middle nascent soul, like Xiao Lingyu, is still somewhat inadequate. That is to say, for 4th level puppets attacked at the same time to make Xiao Lingyu so embarrassed. Xiao Lingyu was so shocked that he broke into a cold sweat. All his defense methods were broken. And even the robe on his body was not saved. The 4th grade puppet that fired a 4th grade cone-shaped magic weapon. According to the direction of the attack, he could not find anything as far as he could see. He also judged the attack frequency of these 4th grade puppets. If he waited for a few more breaths, he would probably come again. He was a little scared, and immediately prepared to use the nascent soul dharma. If he didn't use the nascent soul dharma, 
He was worried that he would not be able to defend against the next attack from a fourth grade puppet. Just when he was about to use the nascent soul dharma, his mind tightened and the life-saving secret technique was automatically released. His body changed from solid to virtual. This was the life-saving secret method of the Hidden Sun sect. It turned the body into a ghost to be immune to most attacks. Just as Xiao Ling Yu's body changed from solid to weak, a flying sword suddenly appeared in front of his body. It is not accurate to say that the flying sword appears because the flying sword itself does not appear. What appears is the spiritual power and sword intention inside the flying sword. For Yuan Ying monks, this is equivalent to the flying sword appearing. This is Li Shiming's trump card. The fourth grade top magic weapon. Markless illusion sword. And it is also one of his natal magic weapons. Driven by Jean Lei Yuan Ying's. Sword intention chung shao technique. The power of this blow is definitely the top strike of the swordsman in the early stage of Yuan Ying. In addition, the Traceless Illusion Sword, a 4th grade top level natal magic weapon, contains 90 million sharp runes and 10 million sharp formations. It can be said that the Traceless Illusion Sword can achieve the goal of being invisible to a certain extent, not broken. Based on Li Shiming's analysis of Zhao Lingyu's strength, Zhao Lingyu was unable to withstand a sudden close blow from the Markless Fantasy Sword, but he still underestimated the strength of a core monk from a large sect, even at the most dangerous time. Xiao Lingyu still had a trump card to prevent him from being seriously injured by the Traceless Fantasy Sword. Although Xiao Lingyu was not seriously injured, Xiao Lingyu was not completely uninjured, but the injury was relatively minor. The Traceless Phantom Sword passed through Xiao Lingyu's body, and most of the power of this blow was immune. The only thing that was not immune was the Thunder Sword intent, but what really hurt him was the damage caused by the sharpness of the Markless Illusion Sword and the damage caused by the Thunder Sword intent was very limited. It's not that Zhao Lingyu's life-saving secret method is powerful, but the difference in realms makes Li Shiming's attack a cross-realm attack. The sharpness of the Markless Fantasy Sword can jump to hurt Zhao Lingyu, but the Heavenly Thunder Sword intent, it is a bit difficult to hurt Zhao Lingyu, who is the top person in the middle stage of nascent soul. Li Shiming was slightly shocked, but he did not stop his attack. The natal magic weapon Z-15 has a prepared plan for any possibility in the battle. Although the Traceless Phantom Sword did not achieve the expected effect for the first time, his attacks are not limited to these. With a slight movement of his mind, he released the body of the Great Monk Chao Qin Feng from the computer room space, and the Heavenly Ghost controlled the body of the Great Monk Chao Qin Feng. The position where he released the body of the Great Monk Chao Qin Feng was behind Zhao Lingyu. Zhao Lingyu is still changing from real to virtual, and his speed has become extremely slow. This is the shortcoming of this life-saving secret method. However, given the gap between him and Li Shiming, as long as he maintains this state, he can be immune. Most of Li Shiming's attack effects. He has already sent a message to the other two early Yuaning monks in the sect. As long as the two early Yuaning monks arrive, not only will he not have to worry about his own safety, but he will be able to gather the strength of the three of them to kill Li Shiming. Take it. But he never expected that Li Shiming's rich methods exceeded his imagination. He only felt the aura of the great monk appear. And then the body of the great monk Chao Qi Feng hugged his body. Even if his body is insubstantial, it is useless no matter how insubstantial it is when it falls into the embrace of the body of the great monk Chao Qi Feng. Zhao Lingyu only felt that all functions of her body were lost under this hug. At this time, Li Shiming came to Zhao Lingyu's side and was about to release the Silver Winged Spirit Gu Insect. Zhao Lingyu was very decisive. He didn't stop for a moment. Nascent Soul came out of his body and fled towards the distance. I still want to escape. Li Shiming shouted softly. He did not need preparation time to use the magical foot power. South close to the end of the world. In the battle state, he had ten brains involved in performing. South close to the end of the world. This allows him to use South close to the end of the world at least ten times in a row. And there is no time interval between the ten. South close to the end of the world. Zhao Lingyu's nascent soul's out-of-body escape speed is very fast. But how can it compare with the divine foot power? South close to the end of the world. When Li Shiming appeared, he landed in front of Zhao Lingyu's nascent soul, blocking the direction of the nascent soul. Before he could attack, Xiao Feng on his shoulder spit out a ball of flame. He did not regard Xiao Feng as part of the battle. The main reason was that Xiao Feng's realm was only the peak of the late third level. This realm had no effect on Zhao Lingyu, who was in the middle stage of nascent soul. But in fact, 
He was wrong. The reason why Xiaofeng, a natural red gold phoenix, was called the number one spiritual pet of the phoenix family by the 10,000 beasts sect was that the red gold phoenix had extremely strong racial talent. This flame, if Xiao Lingyu was still alive, would indeed not be able to cause any harm to Xiao Lingyu. But the problem is that Xiao Lingyu only has Yuanying at this time. If Yuanying does not use Yuanying's Dharma, his defense is extremely weak. The great thing about Xiaofeng's flames is not the temperature of the flames, but the damage it causes to the soul. This flame fell on Yuanying's body. Zhao Lingyu didn't pay attention to Xiaofeng's attack at first. He was paying attention to Li Shiming's movements. In the state of Yuanying, he still had some secret techniques to use and some chances of saving his life. But Zhao Lingyu regretted it. Xiaofeng's flame fell on nascent soul. And he only felt the stinging pain in his soul. The stinging pain in the soul is the most intense pain. This kind of pain affects the soul. And he has no way to resist it. At this time, the phantom dragon's attack also arrived. When the phantom dragon attacked, its body appeared from the invisible state. The phantom dragon spit out a stream of venom, which landed on Zhao Lingyu's nascent soul. Theoretically, Xiao Feng's flames and phantom dragon's venom will produce some offset. But Xiao Feng and phantom dragon are both Li Shiming's spiritual pets. Their attack methods can be used overlappingly, and there will be no mutual interference. Offset. The venom of the phantom dragon is truly a fourth grade poison because it is a five-clawed dragon, with the enhancement of its bloodline and talent. This fourth-grade poison is extremely toxic, and can definitely be ranked among the most toxic among the fourth-grade poisons. Forefront. Zhao Lingyu's nascent soul let out a shrill scream. Xiaofeng's flames acted on the soul. And the phantom dragon's venom was used on the nascent soul itself. The double blow made him miserable. Nascent soul lost its defense ability at this time, and rolled in the void. Li Shiming's figure appeared next to Yuanying and the 4th grade sword base appeared in his hand. The 4th grade sword base slashed into Yuanying's body, and the terrifying thunder sword intent poured into Yuanying. Even though Zhao Lingyu's Yuanying was in the middle stage of Yuanying, this blow combined with the previous damage caused the Yuanying to scatter and explode. Li Shiming was still worried about Zhao Lingyu's means of saving his life, but he got the news of Zhao Lingyu's physical death from Tian Gui and understood that Zhao Lingyu's nascent soul had died. A fourth grade top grade flying sword and a ring appeared at the place where Zhao Lingyu's nascent soul exploded. The fourth grade top grade flying sword magic weapon was Zhao Lingyu's natal magic weapon. As for the ring, under the induction of Li Shiming's spiritual consciousness, he discovered it's a weird mustard ring. The reason why it is said to be a weird mustard ring is because this mustard ring can be transformed into nascent soul energy, which is something he has never seen before. It cannot be said that he has little experience. His time in Dongqi continent is still a little short. In addition, even if a monk possesses such a special mustard ring, he will not tell anyone about it. Li Shiming first put away the mustard ring and the fourth grade top flying sword magic weapon, and then returned to Xiao Lingyu's body. The body of Xiao Lingyu held by the body of the great monk Xiao Qifeng has been separated from the virtual state. He looked at this corpse, a corpse in the middle stage of nascent soul, and there were already two corpses with this one. He began to consider whether to find an opportunity to sacrifice the two corpses in the middle stage of nascent soul into refined corpses. Now his spirit is strong enough to accommodate more contracted beings. Two golden corpses are no problem. Of course, provided the sacrifice can be successful. His horizons are no longer what they were in Beishu continent. And he would be interested when he saw a talented corpse refiner. At his current state, ordinary corpse refining has limited effect. Just like those silver corpses with three heads and six arms which have become his research assistants, and he is too lazy to spend resources to cultivate them. The potential of these silver corpses is limited. At most, they will be in the early stages of gold corpses, and the possibility of further progress is extremely low, different from using corpses in the middle stage of nascent soul to refine corpses. As long as there are enough resources, the corpses made by monks in the middle stage of nascent soul can at least have the potential of the middle stage of the golden corpse. The strength of the middle stage of the golden corpse is enough for him to use it to the middle stage of the nascent soul. Even like Xiao Lingyu's corpse. Judging from Xiao Lingyu's talent, it is not impossible to upgrade his golden corpse to the late stage of the golden corpse. Li Shiming took the great monk Xiao Qi Feng into the computer room. This time, the body of the great monk Xiao Qi Feng made a great contribution. He still underestimated Xiao Lingyu. The core nascent soul mid-stage monk of a large sect so he almost exhausted all his means. While summarizing the battle just now, 
he flew towards John Hai's hiding place. John Hai stood blankly in the hidden formation. His mood had been in an unstable state since he sensed Zhao Lingyu's aura. Especially when Li Shiming and Zhao Lingyu were fighting with all their strength. Zhao Lingyu's aura was more obvious, which greatly affected Zhang Hai's mood. I am Zhong Chang. When Zhao Lingyu's death aura appeared, Zhang Hai's eyes flashed with clarity, and he murmured to himself. Scenes from the past appeared one after another. The seal of his memory was broken, and he knew who he was. He looked at his hands and body, sensing the conditions inside his body, and couldn't help but smile helplessly. Li Shiming walked into the hiding formation and saw Zhang Hai whose temperament had changed drastically. Zhang Hai is still the same Zhang Hai. His face and body have not changed. And his state is still at the early stage of foundation building. But Zhang Hai's temperament has undergone tremendous changes. And a temperament belonging to the Yuanying monk appears in him. Zhong Chan looked at Li Shiming who came over. He had the memory of Zhang Hai before and knew that Li Shiming brought him here. At the same time, he also saw the mark of the core monk of the 10,000 bees sect on Li Shiming. His heart tightened at first, as he was in such a state that he couldn't protect himself at all. If Master Hu, the great monk, sent a monk to look for him, he should be his junior brother Yushan or his registered disciple Lu Hung, not the strange monk in front of him. Who are you? Zhong Chang asked in a deep voice. Since recovering his memory, he has never thought of hiding his recovery. Even if his realm has fallen to the early stage of foundation building, he is still proud. He is one of the few strong men in the middle nascent soul stage besides the great monks in the 10,000 B sect. Even if he is down and out, he does not want to live a humble life. Li Shurjin has met senior brother. I am master's new disciple. Congratulations to senior brother for recovering his memory. Li Shiming bowed and saluted. Are you my junior brother? Zhong Chan looked at Li Shiming in surprise and asked. Master Hu, the great monk, was so strict about accepting disciples. Over the years, he had only accepted two of them. Even the extremely talented Lu Hung was just a registered disciple. What kind of ability does this little junior brother in front of me have that makes Master Hu, the great monk, accept him as his disciple? Junior brother, I wonder how the master and junior brother you are doing. Zhong Chan continued to ask without waiting for Li Shiming's response. The mark on Li Shiming's robe cannot be fake. And no monk would dare to fake the mark of the core monks of the 10,000 B sect. Besides, if it weren't for his junior brother, how would he come to find him? From the circumstances of the encounter in Fonshire, it seems that the junior brother found him and wanted to take him back to the sect. It's just that Zhong Chang was a little uneasy about his master. Brother Hu, sending his junior disciple instead of Yushan or Lu Hung, for fear that something big had happened. Master is very good. The second senior brother is on a mission. The sect recently had a conflict with the Hidden Sun sect. The fight was fierce. So the master sent me to take the senior brother home. Li Shiming heard Zhong Chang's thoughts and smiled. Replied. Chapter 581 Going Home Sir, please take this elixir. Li Shiming took out a second grade advanced healing elixir and handed it over and said. This second grade high grade healing elixir was just refined by him in the computer room space. He has plenty of elixirs. There are a large number of elixirs planted in them. John Hachienkuen Fan, coupled with his accumulation. He does not need to buy this kind of elixir. Ordinary second grade healing elixir materials can be taken out easily. Zhong Chang's body was already riddled with holes due to his long-term lifestyle as a casual cultivator. It is obviously a hundred-year-old body, which is still far from the two-hundred-year-old lifespan of the foundation period. But with the condition of this body, it is difficult to live beyond the age of 150. Zhong Chang was slightly startled and he took the second grade advanced healing elixir. He didn't pay much attention to it at first. But after seeing the quality of the second grade advanced healing elixir, his heart was filled with gratitude. No matter what level of elixir it is, as long as it reaches high level quality, it is rare to obtain it. It would not be difficult to return to the sect and find an alchemy master to refine a second grade high level healing elixir. But this was outside. And with Li Shiming's level, there was no need for a second grade healing elixir. Needless to say, this second grade advanced healing elixir was specially prepared by Li Shiming, which made Zhong Chan feel concerned. In the past, it was impossible for Zhong Chan to be moved by a spiritual elixir, not to mention a second grade elixir. Even a fourth grade elixir would not move him much. But this period is his most vulnerable period, and Li Shiming's concern deeply moved him. He didn't say anything. Big favors are never expressed verbally. 
although he was reborn and was only in the foundation building stage. His vision was still there. The quality of the second grade advanced healing elixir in his hand has reached the limit of what he can imagine. He took the second grade advanced healing elixir and felt the warm current in his body. The old hidden wounds on his body were repaired by the undercurrent. It didn't take long for his apparent age to return to middle age status. This was to repair the hidden dangers in his body and make his appearance the same as his actual age. Sir, let's go home, Li Shiming said to Zhong Chong with a smile. Go home. Zhong Chong breathed a long sigh of relief and said with emotion, he missed the 10,000 Beast sect, his cave, his master, and his junior brothers. Li Shiming put away the fourth grade formation flag and was about to recall the fourth grade puppets. But he stopped recalling them. In the display of the drone satellite system, the figures of two nascent soul cultivators were rapidly approaching. He checked the records and found that these were the two early stage nascent soul monks from the Hidden Sun sect. They must have gotten the information from Zhao Lingyu and rushed here. Senior brother, there is a little trouble. You go into the flying boat first and wait for me to solve it. Li Shiming took out the fourth grade high grade blue crystal cloud breaking boat and said, the conflict between the Gu Feng sect and the 10,000 Bees sect has long since ended. And Li Shiming was able to take out the blue crystal cloud breaking boat and use it. With his status in the 10,000 Bees sect, even if the Blue Crystal Cloud Breaking Boat is recognized by the monks. There won't be much trouble. If you are really in danger, don't worry about me, Zhong Chan said in a deep voice. He entered the Blue Crystal Cloud Breaking Boat and discovered the specialness of this flying boat. In particular, Li Shiming casually injected a water-based spiritual power into the Blue Crystal Cloud Breaking Boat and ice crystals were produced around the Blue Crystal Cloud Breaking Boat. Zhong Chan can feel that these ice crystals have terrifying defensive power. His eyesight is still there. This ice crystal can at least defend against the full attack of the peak monks in the early stage of nascent soul. This kind of treasure boat, let alone him at this time. Even in his heyday, he had never owned it. Sitting in such a treasure boat, Zhong Chan felt safe. He could see what was happening outside through the formation of Blue Crystal Cloud Breaking Boat. He was still a little worried about Li Shiming. Li Shiming's realm was only in the early stage of nascent soul. According to his judgment, his strength could only be regarded as ordinary. The perception formation of Blue Crystal Cloud Breaking Boat allowed him to discover the two early stage Yuan Ying monks of the Hiding Sun sect who were approaching. He is Zhao Lingyu's subordinate. Zhong Chang's eyes flashed with hatred and anger. He recognized the identities of the two early stage Yuan Ying monks of the Hidden Sun sect. He was almost killed when he was besieged by Zhao Lingyu and many Yuanying monks. It was precisely because of knowing these two early Yuanying monks of the Hidden Sun sect that he began to worry about Li Shiming's safety. Based on his judgment of the strength of both sides, Li Shiming can at most deal with one of the two early stage Yuanying monks of the Hidden Sun sect. If the two of them attack together, Li Shiming will never be able to resist. Junior brother, please come up and leave together, Zhong Chong said to Li Shiming using the formation of Blue Crystal Cloud Breaking Boat. With the speed of the Blue Crystal Cloud Breaking Boat, it can definitely get rid of the pursuit of the two early stage Yuan Ying monks of the Hidden Sun sect. Before Li Shiming could answer him, he was stunned. He had been using the formation of Blue Crystal Cloud Breaking Boat to pay attention to the two approaching Yuan Ying early monks of the Hidden Sun sect. He saw two early stage Yuan Ying monks from the Hiding Sun sect flying, and suddenly their bodies stagnated. And then two Yuan Yings rushed out of the bodies of the two early stage Yuan Ying monks. But the two nascent souls just appeared and were inexplicably broken apart. Li Shiming flew to the two early Yuan Ying monks and put away the two corpses and the mustard rings on their bodies. What's wrong with this world? Zhong Chan looked at what was happening in front of him in stunned silence. He was wondering if the world of immortality would be different from the past after he had lost these hundred years. When did the early Yuan Ying monks and the early Yuan Ying monks of a large sect fall so casually, he suddenly thought of something. When his memory was chaotic, he sensed Zhao Lingyu's aura and seemed to sense Zhao Lingyu's death aura. After his memory recovered, he thought that the death breath he sensed was his illusion. Seeing Zhao Lingyu's two subordinates fall in front of him, he couldn't help but doubt whether Zhao Lingyu had already fallen. But Zhong Chong still couldn't believe it, mainly because Li Shiming, his junior brother, was the only one here, and he didn't believe that Li Shiming could kill Zhao Lingyu. At this time, Li Shiming had packed up the battlefield and returned to the Blue Crystal Point Boat. He controlled the Blue Crystal Cloud Breaking Boat to fly in the direction of the four fourth-grade puppets. 
and his spiritual consciousness swept over the four fourth grade puppets and put them away. He did not hide this from Zhong Chong. Although the number of four fourth grade puppets was large, it was not a secret. As long as the secret of the electromagnetic gun was not exposed, it would be fine. Having said that, although Li Shiming used four fourth grade puppets to kill two early Yuanying monks in two rounds, the battle process was not something Zhong Chong, who was currently in the early stage of foundation building, could see clearly. Although Zhong Chong saw the battle process, because the flying speed of the fourth grade cone shaped magic weapon was so fast, he could not detect the existence of the fourth grade cone shaped magic weapon at the early stage of foundation building. The two fourth grade puppets fired a round of electromagnetic cannons first, and the two fourth grade cone shaped magic weapons did not say that the two early nascent soul monks were not prepared. Even if they were prepared, they could not dodge the electromagnetic cannon attack. The fourth grade cone shaped magic weapon only killed their bodies, but their Yuanin was still alive. After the Yuanin came out of the body, the other two puppets fired the electromagnetic cannon again, completely destroying their Yuanin. This battle seems to be very easy, but the calculations are extremely complicated. If it were not for the command of Z15, such a result would not be possible. The Blue Crystal Cloud Breaking Boat returned to the sect at full speed. Just like Zhong Chong's heart, Li Shiming did not take out the spiritual objects to entertain Zhong Chong, mainly because Zhong Chong was in too weak a state at this time. And the objects he entertained were simply not something Zhong Chong could bear. Junior brother, have you met Zhao Lingyu? Zhong Chong finally couldn't help asking after thinking for a while. Zhao Lingyu was a curse to him. It was feeling Zhao Lingyu's aura that made him no longer live in a hazy state. This shows how deeply he cherishes Zhao Lingyu. Yes, I found the senior brother before him. And then I set up a trap for him to fall into. Li Shiming replied with a smile. When Zhong Chong heard this, he couldn't help but feel frightened. If Xiao Lingyu really found him first, he was afraid that his life would be worse than death. What happened to Zhao Lingyu? Zhong Chong asked next. Zhao Lingyu is here. Li Shiming hesitated slightly, thinking about the grudge between Zhong Chong and Xiao Lingyu, but took out Zhao Lingyu's body and said, if he didn't take out Zhao Lingyu's body and tell him that Zhao Lingyu had died, Zhong Chong would be looking for Zhao Lingyu all his life, which would be a waste of Zhong Chong's life. In Zhong Chong's current state, if he really continues his hatred, he may never be able to regain his strength. Zhong Chong looked at the corpse in front of him, complex emotions flashing in his eyes. Hatred, confusion, disbelief, confusion, joy, relief, relaxation, laughter. His emotions were endless. And the previous hatred was ended in this emotion. He looked at Li Shiming. No matter what method Li Shiming used, Li Shiming avenged him. He knew very well that given his situation, it would be difficult to restore his original strength, let alone seek revenge against Zhao Lingyu. If Li Shiming had not killed Zhao Lingyu, he would have lived in hatred for the rest of his life. I never thought you would be here today. We fought for hundreds of years when we were alive. And now we are clean. Zhong Chong murmured to Zhao Lingyu's body. He turned to look at Li Shiming and opened his mouth to say something, but still didn't speak. He was going to go back and talk. Li Shiming put away Zhao Lingyu's body and added water spiritual power to the blue crystal cloud breaking boat, making the flying boat faster. As he got closer and closer to the gate of 10,000 B sect, Zhong Chong's eyes never left the scenery outside. When the blue crystal cloud breaking boat entered the range of thousands of miles and passed through a barrier, Tears welled up in Zhong Chong's eyes. It wasn't until now that he truly came home. This cavernous feeling was so strange yet familiar. Arriving outside the mountain gate, Li Shiming put away the blue crystal Puan boat and used his spiritual consciousness to support Zhong Chong and entered the mountain gate. He took Zhong Chong and flew straight to Xixiong Cave. He wanted to bring Zhong Chong to his master, the great monk Hu. As early as on the road, he sent a message to his master, Brother Hu. Outside Brother Who's cave, the spiritual incarnation of Brother Who stood waiting outside. Master, my disciple is back. After Zhong Chong saw Brother Who, he quickly stepped forward and knelt at Brother Who's feet, hugged Brother Who's legs and said, Just come back. Just come back and repair your cultivation. Brother Who gently stroked Zhong Chong's head with his hand and comforted him softly. The relationship between Master and Disciple in the world of immortality is closer than that between Father and Son in the mortal world. Zhong Chong is also the eldest disciple of Brother Hu. So the relationship is even closer. After a hundred years of separation, Brother Hu thought it was an eternal battle between heaven and man. 
He did not expect that Zhong Chong would come back. This was already an unexpected surprise. As for cultivation, although Zhong Chong's physical talent is very poor, it is the fusion of Zhong Chong's nascent soul that gives him a certain amount of Zhong Chong's original talent. It is impossible for Zhong Chong to break through the great monk, but it is still possible to recover part of his strength. Disciple, I'm sorry for my master's teachings. Zhong Chong calmed down and said with his head lowered. He understood very well how proud brother who was. As a disciple, he came back with such an end. He felt that he had embarrassed brother who. When you regain your strength, I will prepare some means for you to avenge your revenge. Brother who comforted him in turn. Master, junior brother Chiu has repaid me. Zhong Chang said a little embarrassed. Monk who unexpectedly turned his head to look at Li Shiming. He knew that Zhong Chang's enemy was Xiao Ling Yu. A middle stage nascent soul monk of Yuri sect. And a talented monk of Yuri sect who had great hope of being promoted to a great monk. Li Shiming's level has improved very quickly. But to say that Li Shiming can kill Xiao Ling Yu, even if he is Li Shiming's master, he cannot believe it. The disciple set up a trap and used some tricks. Li Shiming didn't explain much. He explained vaguely, You, I told you not to take risks. But you actually took the initiative to find Zhao Lingyu, who is in the middle stage of nascent soul. Brother who pointed at Li Shiming and shook his head. Zhong Chang looked at brother who and then at Li Shiming. He didn't quite understand why brother who said this. Fighting is the fastest way for a monk to grow. But he remembered that brother who taught him not to be afraid of fighting. But why didn't brother who let Li Shiming take the risk? Was it because brother whose requirements were low? Or was there something special about Li Shiming? I forgot to tell you that your junior brother is an alchemy master. Brother who said to Zhong Chang with a smile. Then thought about it and said again. He is the first alchemy master in the sect. Zhong Chang was stunned. He looked at his master. Brother who? With his mouth wide open. If this sentence hadn't come from brother whose mouth. He wouldn't have believed it at all. Perhaps he should be said to be the number one alchemy master in the eastern Qi continent. Brother who thought of Li Shiming's level in refining the fourth grade elixir of the late nascent soul, and changed his words again. Few monks in the outside world know about Li Shiming's level of refining the fourth grade spiritual elixir of the late nascent soul. Only a few great monks from the 10,000 beasts sect know it very well. It is precisely because of his knowledge of Li Shiming's elixir refining ability that Master who made this comment. Chapter 582 Mission Shurjin Zhong Chan will come to your place first. You can refine some spiritual elixirs for him, and all the expenses will be mine. Monk who turned to Li Shiming and ordered. He thought about Li Shiming's level of alchemy, which coincided with Zhong Chang's current situation. Even if he helped, there was nothing good he could do. What Zhong Chang needs is the best cultivation auxiliary elixir. With Li Shiming's level of elixir refining, Zhong Chang can make up for the time wasted before. Master, how much can senior brother consume? It's just a casual matter. Li Shiming waved his hand and said with a smile. He can understand the master's thoughts. He is indeed not short of these alchemy materials. Now Zhong Chan only consumes some second grade elixirs. Even if he is promoted to the golden elixir stage, it will only be third grade elixirs. He just didn't expose his Chan Hu Qianquan fan. The elixir produced by the Chan Hu Qianquan fan could be supplied by even a powerful person. Even ten times more. Zhong Chang. Do you have any objection to my arrangement? Brother who asked Zhong Chang. He was worried that Zhong Chang would not be able to save his dignity and would be embarrassed to let his junior brother take care of him. Master, my life was saved by my junior brother. Anyway, I owe you a lot of favors. Zhong Chang bowed and said to Brother Hu. When he lowered his head, determination flashed in his eyes. As if he had made some determination. He also understood that Brother Hu's body was not here. Although his spiritual incarnation could handle some affairs, it was very inconvenient to take care of him. Li Shiming took Zhong Chang to his cave and arranged a room for Zhong Chang in the cave. Since Zhong Chang's level is really too low, not only does the spiritual energy in the cave not need to be increased, but formations need to be used to reduce the concentration of the spiritual energy. Sir, do you need to go back to your cave? Li Shiming asked after decorating Zhong Chang's room. I won't go back for the time being. With my level, there will be a lot of trouble even if I go back there. Zhong Chang said with a wry smile and shook his head. His cave is similar to Li Shiming's. He has no way to use formations to reduce his spiritual energy attempts and arrange the environment into a training environment suitable for monks in the early stages of foundation building. 
He used to be a casual cultivator and was almost broke. The remaining spiritual objects in his cave were almost all fourth grade, which he could not control given his level. If he really wants to live in his cave, he needs to ask monks for help. It would be better if his second junior brother Yushan is in the sect. But now Yushan is not in the sect. It is better to follow the instructions of monk who and live in Li Shiming here. This is a batch of second grade elixirs that I refine for your cultivation. If you have any special needs, you can call me with the identity jade plate at any time. Li Shiming took out a few jade bottles and handed them over and said, Junior brother, this will delay your cultivation too much. Zhong Chang took the jade bottle and said, A monk's practice cannot be disturbed. Since Li Shiming said that he can come to him at any time, it means that Li Shiming has no intention of entering a state of practice. Zhong Chang felt a little sorry for Li Shiming. Li Shiming had done enough for him. Nothing to disturb. I have taken on some alchemy tasks recently. Li Shiming explained with a smile. Of course, he is not really uncultivated. His cultivation is somewhat different from other monks. As long as he keeps one nascent soul on call at any time, the other four nascent souls can enter the cultivation state. The five elements she receiving formation composed of five nascent souls will automatically convert the spiritual power cultivated by the four nascent souls into the bodies of the five nascent souls. Observe for a while longer, Zhong Chan thought in his mind. Although he had made up his mind, he was still a little reluctant to give up. After Li Shiming left the room, Zhong Chang opened several jade bottles in his hand and found that all the second-grade elixirs inside were second-grade high-grade elixirs, and their quality had reached the ultimate level. On the one hand, this shows that Li Shiming's level of alchemy is indeed extremely high, and on the other hand, it shows that Li Shiming put his heart into it. With these second-grade high-level elixirs in hand, he is sure to be promoted to the golden elixir stage in the shortest possible time. Unlike normal monks, he will not have bottlenecks before he is promoted to the golden core stage. Even if he is promoted to the golden core stage, the bottlenecks he encounters are much smaller than those of normal monks. This is related to his cultivation experience and the integration of his nascent soul into this body. Li Yuanba slowly exhaled a breath of turbid air. Another retreat ended, and the sword intent on his body became even more powerful. This is a manifestation of Xing Yijian's blessing of sword intention. Xing Yijian was promoted from the third level to the fourth level. He did not deliberately suppress the fourth level Xing Yijian. So this situation happened. He smiled slightly, and nascent soul spit out the four character sword, and the Xing Yi sword flew out of the body, transforming from energy to materiality. The fourth grade top flying sword. This improvement is barely enough. He felt the quality of Xing Yijian and said to himself lightly, This is not Versailles. He is using the fourth grade top grade weapon refining material. Abyss true sand. To improve Xing Yi sword, under normal circumstances, the quality of Xinjiajian should be the top grade fourth grade weapon. With the weapon refining methods he shared from his original body Li Shiming, this achievement is really nothing. If it weren't for leaving space to remember the five nanometer runes in the future, he could have improved the quality of Xing Yijian a little more. That's good. I can use Xing Yi's sword without any scruples, he thought in his mind. If he really refined a fourth grade weapon, he would have to consider the trouble that would arise if Xing Yijian exposed his quality. Although in the world of cultivating immortals, monks in the nascent soul stage have many kinds of magic weapons. But usually the quality of the magic weapons is based on the Yuanying realm. The monks in the early stage of Yuanying use the lower level magic weapons of the fourth grade. The monks in the middle stage of the Yuanying use the intermediate level magic weapons of the fourth grade. And the great monks use the top level magic weapons of the fourth grade. Of course, it is not that there are no special beings. For example, the core monks of large sects will have magic weapons that exceed their own realm. Li Yuanba is now using a fourth grade top flying sword to perform a sword, which is already far beyond his own realm. That is to say, his sword practice is quite special, specializing in his own flying sword. Although he is still a little too eye-catching, it will not be a big problem. But if he really wants to use the fourth grade weapon tribulation magic weapon, he must silence the monks who see the fourth grade weapon tribulation magic weapon when using it. Otherwise, he will be in endless trouble. Don't underestimate the monk's need for magic weapons. The monks in the early stage of nascent soul hold the fourth grade tribulation magic weapon in their hands. Just like a child walking in the busy city with gold. Li Yuanba summoned the 10,000 swords peak magic weapon that he had put aside in his hand. He found that the environment here could not only enhance his own sword intent, but also enhance the sword intent in 10,000 sword peaks. 
especially for those who are already weak in sword intent. The special sword intent environment in the sword intent Chongshao Pavilion allowed the weak sword intent to be rapidly improved, feeling the 10,000 flying swords and sword intent inside. 10,000 swords peak. A smile appeared on his face. Among the 10,000 sword intentions, in addition to the heavenly thunder sword intention, the nascent soul level sword intention also has his Jiang sword intention, and the power of the other sword intentions has also been greatly improved. After putting away the 10,000 swords peak, his retreat this time was over. He wanted to see the fastest way to improve his sword intention through the sword intent Chongshao Pavilion. From the knowledge gained from Master Wu's uncle, the fastest way to improve swordsmanship is through combat. The sword cultivator's way of survival is to fight to support fighting. If the sword cultivator stops fighting and concentrates on practicing in seclusion, then the sword cultivator's future achievements will be extremely limited. Which top sword cultivator became famous did not come from a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. Li Yuanba flew out of his cave and came to the affairs cave. Although you can see the tasks you can take on the identity jade plate. If you want to know more, you still have to come to the affairs cave. Junior brother, are you here to take over a mission? Just as he walked into the hall of the affairs cave, he was stopped by an early Yuanying sword cultivator and asked, Yes, I wonder what happened to senior brother. Li Yuanba asked inexplicably. There is still one person left in our team. I just happened to see you here. So I want to invite you to join. The sword cultivator replied with a smile. I do want to take the mission. But I don't know what mission you are taking. Li Yuanba asked with great interest after hearing this. He happened to want to integrate into these sword cultivators. So he was naturally very happy when a sword cultivator took the initiative to invite him. Our mission is to destroy the Hua Dai sect in Zhongzhou. It is just a small sect but it has expanded rapidly recently and its strength has improved a lot. The sword cultivator answered without concealing it. Li Shiming had never heard of Hua Dai sect, but he knew the sect's style of conduct. Although Jenny Chongshao Pavilion acts extremely domineeringly, it will never destroy other sects without reason. If Jenny Chongshao Pavilion acts without scruples and destroys some sects at will, I am afraid that the entire world of immortality will not be able to tolerate Jenny Chongshao Pavilion. It is precisely because every sect is destroyed for its own reasons that the other sects have nothing to say. They can only say that Jenny Chongshao Pavilion is too overbearing and remind themselves to be careful and not to let Jenny Chongshao Pavilion find an opportunity. Brother, I am willing to join. Li Shiming nodded in agreement. Ha ha, we are finally full. By the way, I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Yun Xiao. I am the captain of the team. I will take you to meet the others after sharing the mission. Yun Xiao said with a smile. He took out the identity jade disc and shared the task with Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba saw an additional mission to exterminate the Hua Dai gate on his identity jade plate. He also saw the names of the other five monks who shared the mission. With Yun Xiao ranking first, Yun Xiao took Li Yuanba out of the affairs cave. And not long after that, he joined the other four nascent soul sword cultivators. This is Yan Qian, Du Lei, Guoping and Zhu Xian. Yun Xiao introduced Li Yuanba and then realized that Li Yuanba's name was not asked. Fortunately, it was displayed when sharing the task, and he was not embarrassed. Just in front of other people, the monk took out the identity jade disc and checked it before saying, This is Li Yuanba, our new teammate. Yu Xiao, why did you find a new nascent soul? Is he good? It was Du Lei who questioned. You can't blame Du Lei. Li Yuanba's aura is too obvious. He is a newly promoted nascent soul sword cultivator not long ago. There will be a lot of trouble when doing tasks with such a newcomer. Du Lei, feel Li Yuanba's sword intent before you speak. Yun Xiao glared at Du Lei and said, then turned to Li Yuanba and said, Du Lei has a straight temper. Don't worry about it. Du Lei carefully sensed Li Yuanba's sword intention, and a look of understanding flashed in his eyes. Li Yuanba, you are so lucky. You have just been promoted to the top level of the fourth level of your natal flying sword. This is equivalent to missing hundreds of years of material accumulation, he said in an envious tone. Yun Xiao couldn't help but cover her head. Li Yuanba did have the aura of the fourth grade top natal flying sword in his body, but you couldn't tell it to his face. Li Yuanba had just been promoted to nascent soul sword cultivator, and the quality of his natal flying sword had only been improved not long ago. Even though he had hidden the aura of his natal flying sword, experienced nascent soul sword cultivators could still sense it at close range. Something breathy. Ignore Du Lei. You just can't talk like this. Yun Xiao said to Li Yuanba. It's my lack of cultivation. 
I can't blame senior brother Du Lei. Li Yuanba waved his hand and said. Several nascent soul sword cultivators couldn't help but laugh when they saw that Li Yuanba was easy to get along with. A team normally has fixed members. But one member of their team needs to be in seclusion for a long time before looking for a monk to join. Of course, the monks you are currently looking for need to be assessed for a period of time and approved by all members before they can truly join the team. Otherwise, they can only cooperate this time. Li Yuanba. We call you by your first name after joining the team. This is more convenient. Let's talk while walking. Yun Xiao said with a smile. He took out a fourth grade flying boat, and all the nascent soul sword cultivators entered the flying boat, followed by Li Yuanba. Have you all read the sex information about the Huai Dai sect? Yun Xiao said in a deep voice. The other nascent soul sword cultivators nodded. Li Yuanba took out the identity jade disc, retrieved the relevant information, and started checking it. Yun Xiao also knew that Li Yuanba had just shared the task, was not familiar with the task, and did not mention Li Yuanba. There are eight early stage nascent soul cultivators exposed in Huai Dai sect. If it hadn't been discovered that there are no middle stage nascent soul cultivators in Huai Dai sect yet, they would have been able to enter a medium sized sect with this kind of strength. The five of us are used to working together. Guaping, your task is to help Li Yuanba get familiar with our formation. For this task, Li Yuanba will be the mobile combat force first. Observe as much as possible and integrate into the team's fighting style as soon as possible. Yun Xiao continued. Guaping smiled and nodded to Li Yuanba who responded with a smile. Li Yuanba found that these nascent soul sword cultivators were very easy to get along with, and almost all of them were transparent people. Li Yuanba, we will observe your fighting style and consider adding your fighting style to the team formation after the mission. Yun Xiao said specifically to Li Yuanba. Next, Yun Xiao explained some precautions about the Huan Dai sect one by one. Although it is not a big problem for a team of Yuanying sword cultivators from the Sword Intention Chong Xiao Pavilion, to kill eight early Yuanying monks. The preparations in advance are not at all don't be sloppy. This is probably the reason why Jianyi Chou Xiao Pavilion is able to gain such a reputation in the world of immortality with flying swords. With such a cautious attitude, battles will rarely get out of control. Chapter 583 Destroy the Sect After crossing the ocean, Li Yuanba entered the Zhongzhou continent for the first time. The speed of the fourth grade flying boat is not slow flying close to the 33rd sky at an altitude of about 10,000 meters. At this altitude, it is not easy to be detected as long as it is not close to a certain force formation. Along the way, Guiping taught Li Yuanba how to cooperate with other nascent soul sword cultivators in the team, the normal formations and combat habits used by the team, etc. Guiping is a very meticulous swordsman, which can be judged from his words. No wonder Yun Xiao asked him to help Li Yuanba get familiar with the team's formation. He completed the task assigned by Yun Xiao perfectly. Li Yuanba, you need to attack with all your strength in a while, but don't use the nascent soul dharma. It's best to kill the Yuanying monks at Huadai Gate before they can react and use the nascent Ying dharma in advance. When approaching the gate of Huadai Gate, at this time, Yun Xiao explained again. I know. Li Yuanba nodded seriously and replied. Yun Xiao looked at the other Yuanying sword cultivators, who nodded to him. He waved his hand to put away the fourth grade flying boat, took out a talisman and activated it. The talisman turned into a faint gray mist, covering the entire team. Li Yuanba discovered that this talisman cast an extremely rare type of fourth grade spell, and its function was to hide one's own aura. What surprised him the most was that Yun Xiao used this talisman as a normal means. You must know that each of these talismans is extremely precious. Li Yuanba, who had learned the formation, stood at his position and followed the team to fly forward. He kept a distance from other nascent soul sword cultivators, and at the same time activated his, Shin eyes, to observe the mountain gate of the Flower Butterfly Gate. The Flower Butterfly Gate is located in a mountain with a strong aura. All kinds of spiritual flowers are blooming around the mountain gate, and butterflies and bees are flying among the flowers. This is probably the origin of the Flower Butterfly Gate. Wadiman's main source of income is spiritual nectar. But that was before. Li Yuanba learned from the information from Jianyi Chou Xiao Pavilion that the Hua Dai sect's behavior had changed drastically in the past hundred years, and that there was the shadow of the demon sect behind it, and it had done many unscrupulous things. If it were just like this, Jianyi Chou Xiao Pavilion would not interfere. But when a nascent soul monk from the Hua Dai Gate took action against mortals, he abducted the mortal relatives of a monk from Jianyi Chou Xiao Pavilion to practice magic skills. 
Only then did Jinny Chongxiao Pavilion issue an extermination mission against the Huadai Gate. The formation breaking talisman in my hand has only a 20% chance of breaking through this formation. If it fails to break through the formation, then concentrate on breaking it. Although it will arouse the vigilance of the Wadiman monks, there is nothing we can do about it. Yun Xiao took out a formation breaking talisman and said, Due to the effect of the previous talisman, their team came to the front of the formation without being discovered by the formation. Li Yuanba sensed the formation and found that it could only be described as an average formation, not a particularly complex one. Yun Xiao, I have done some research on the formation. I wonder if you can let me try first to see if I can break through this formation. When he heard that the possibility was only 20%, he said quickly, that it's up to you to break the formation. Don't be mentally burdened. The success rate of using the formation breaking talisman is very low anyway. Just think that I fail when I use the formation breaking talisman. Yun Xiao agreed after a slight hesitation. Li Yuan Ba observed the formation through his spiritual eye and at the same time contacted Z15 mentally and began to analyze the formation in front of him. Today's Z15, the formation knowledge in the database has been greatly supplemented. Although the 10,000B sect is not a sect that is particularly good at formations, most of the sects have extremely profound formation knowledge. In his eyes, the spiritual power lines were marked by Z15, and the relationship between the nodes and the spiritual power lines was clarified. He stretched out his hand and tapped the formation in front of him a few times. Then something that surprised Yin Xiao and the other nascent soul sword cultivators happened. A passage appeared in the formation in front of him. Li Yuan Ba. I really belong to you. How can you do some research on formations? If this was just some research, those formation masters would be ashamed. Do lay praise with a thumbs up. Stop talking and prepare to enter the Huadai Gate. Yun Xiao glanced at Du Lei and said in a deep voice. Without the large formation, the team passed through the passage opened by Li Yuanba and entered the mountain gate of Huadai Gate. Although Yun Xiao stopped Du Lei from speaking, the nascent soul sword cultivators in the team looked at Li Yuanba frequently and they became more and more satisfied with Li Yuanba. Sword cultivators are not afraid of fighting, but it is a bit difficult for them to study formations intensively. Sword cultivators need to practice their skills for a long time and constantly practice their natal flying swords. Most of their time is spent on these aspects, so that sword cultivators can become the strongest offensive profession, but they will never refuse to be by their side. Having a sword cultivator who is proficient in formations and can easily break through large formations has solved a lot of troubles for them. The caves of the eight nascent soul monks are right there. Yun Xiao took out a picture and pointed to the eight peaks in the center of the mountain gate. They are already at fighting distance and can attack the eight peaks at any time. Li Yuan Ba. If you have a range attack, try to use it to cover as many mountains as possible. Yun Xiao emphatically told Li Yuan Ba. His idea was to use Li Yuan Ba's attack as a distraction so that they could kill them in a targeted manner when they sense the opponent's nascent soul cultivator. Now that they are at this distance and their own side is well prepared, as long as the opponent's nascent soul cultivator appears, they will definitely end up being massacred. Although the Yuanying monks of Huadai sect are not casual cultivators of Yuanying, they are not much different. Their combat power is far inferior to that of the Yuanying cultivators of Zhongda sect, let alone the Yuanying sword cultivators of Sword Intention Chengxiao Pavilion. Compared, Yun Xiao ordered the Yuanba to do things, which also allowed the Yuanba to show more of his abilities and facilitate their future cooperation. Yes, they had only been together with the Yuanba for a short time but they had the idea of long-term cooperation with Li Yuanba. A person who possesses the top-level 4th grade natal flying sword and can break through the sect protecting formation of small sects in a short time, even if Li Yuanba is a new nascent soul sword cultivator, they are extremely satisfied and want to accept Li Yuanba to join the team. If you don't want such a teammate now, when Li Yuanba's strength improves in the future, it will be the turn of other teams to compete for him. Even now, if some teams know Li Yuanba's ability, they will definitely accept Li Yuanba enthusiastically. I have range attacks. Li Yuanba replied affirmatively. The female swordsman Zhu Xian on the side smiled. This was her job. She was the swordsman in the team who was best at range attacks. If Li Yuanba was unable to disturb the enemy, she would take over immediately. Li Yuanba summoned. 10,000 swords peak. And Yun Xiao looked at. 10,000 swords peak. With some curiosity. The. 10,000 swords peak. Magic weapon felt a bit weird, and it was impossible to accurately determine the grade of. 10,000 swords peak. Thousands of swords attack together. Kill! 
Li Yuanba mentally entered the 10,000 Swords Peak and pointed towards the eight peaks not far away. Five, Liu Guangxingyun, and several others have been upgraded to the fourth grade. Inside are his nascent soul level, Jiang Sword Intent, Flying Swords. They are divided into eight parts, each with a fourth grade quality sword. The Flying Sword and nascent soul level sword intent led the way and flew towards the eight peaks. Just after he displayed thousands of swords, the team's hiding methods disappeared automatically, and they were exposed to the formation of Wadiman. But this is not important anymore. The sword intent on Yun Xiao and the other four nascent soul sword cultivators rose up. Their natal flying swords carried the sword intent and flew out, followed closely by the 10,000 swords. After the flying sword, under the observation of Li Yuanba's spiritual eye, he could clearly observe the eight mountain peaks, formation nodes, and spiritual power lines in his eyes. In addition, the mountain protection formation of this kind of mountain is far less complicated than the sect formation. And Z15 helps with calculations. When the 10,000 flying swords of 10,000 swords launched together, flew towards the eight peaks. Under his control, the leading flying sword hit the key nodes of the formation first, and the formation of the eight peaks was instantly broken. With his ability, he cannot control thousands of flying swords. The way he controls thousands of flying swords is to use a few flying swords as the main control flying swords, and the rest of the flying swords follow the main control flying swords. If it were Li Shiming in his original form, he would still be able to accurately control thousands of flying swords. Li Shiming has practiced the method of distraction, and has 191 brains at his disposal. One brain can distract 100 minds. He only needs 100 brains to control thousands of flying swords. But Li Yuanba couldn't do this. His spiritual cultivation was far inferior to that of Li Shiming. Fortunately, his mission is not to kill, but to disturb the enemy, and does not require precise control of thousands of flying swords. The leading flying sword broke the formation. After the formation of the eight peaks was broken, more than a thousand flying swords rushed towards the caves on the peaks. Li Yuanba's attack was too sudden. When the Yuanying monk who was in the cave suddenly noticed, countless flying swords had already breached the cave. If he came alone, he would not dare to attack eight early Yuanying monks at once. But it was different now. With five nascent soul sword cultivators around him, he could use his methods boldly and confidently. I wonder if it was because of the bad luck of several nascent soul monks from Hua Dai sect. Among them, for early nascent soul monks were concentrating on their work and did not react immediately. When these four early Yuanying monks realized something was wrong and wanted to respond, flying swords blessed with Yuanying level sword intent shot into their bodies. Just as their nascent soul was about to leave the body, the thousands of flying swords that followed shattered their bodies into pieces together with Yuanying. There were four other nascent soul monks who reacted very quickly. When the formation in the cave was broken, they had already escaped from the cave and flew into the air to see who attacked them. For Yun Xiao and other five nascent soul sword cultivators. These nascent soul cultivators flying in the air are living targets. Not only can each of the five nascent soul sword cultivators get one, there is also an extra nascent soul sword cultivator as a backup. The four flying swords carried different sword intentions and drew four different lights and shadows in the air. The four early Yuanying monks were hit by the flying swords before they could use the Yuanying Dharma. Li Yuanba was also observing the fighting style of his companions. He was still very curious about the sword cultivator's fighting style. He had seen very few real swordsmen. Although he had seen Uncle Wu's battles, the battles at that time were like adults beating children and could not reveal the true fighting power of Uncle Wu. Now I can finally see how the nascent soul sword cultivators of Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion fight and how powerful their sword intent is. Li Yuanba quickly understood his shortcomings. It was also his natal flying sword. His natal flying sword hit the body of the Yuanying monk which was enough to destroy the body of the Yuanying monk. But the four flying swords in front of him hit the body of the Yuanying monk, not only killing the body, but also killing the Yuanying monk together, truly destroying the soul. This is exactly what he lacks. When he first became a Yuanying sword cultivator, he had not yet fully utilized the power of the Yuanying sword cultivator. It's so easy to have the Yuanba, Zhuo Xian said with a chuckle. It's just that there was no fierce battle, and I felt exhausted all over my body. Du Lei disagreed and said with some dissatisfaction. When we get back, let Guiping and Zhu Xian join forces to fight you. Yun Xiao said to Du Lei in a deep voice. That's no need, Du Lei said, shaking his head repeatedly. They had all the Golden Core cultivators in the Hua Dai sect. 
After cleaning up, we will collect the spoils. Yun Xiao waved his hand and said, The battle just ended too quickly. And it wasn't until this moment that the monks from the Huadai sect realized what had happened. The golden core cultivators flew into the air one after another. They didn't know that all the nascent soul cultivators in their family had died. What greeted them was a flying sword. Especially when Li Yunbao heard Yun Zhao's instructions. He mobilized thousands of flying swords and achieved the most spectacular results. Ten thousand flying swords, led by several flying swords, flew back and forth in the air several times. And no monk could be seen in the sky. No matter how fast the natal flying swords of the other nascent soul sword cultivators attack, they cannot match the results achieved by the ten thousand flying swords. It's just that Li Yuanba's thousands of flying swords cannot intervene in the subsequent battle. If he really attacks the target on the ground with his thousands of flying swords, he will leave no one alive. With one move of his hand, ten thousand swords flew back toward ten thousand swords peak and entered ten thousand swords peak. This is a special magic weapon. Yun Xiao looked at the Ten Thousand Swords Peak magic weapon and said with a smile. He was just curious about the Ten Thousand Swords Peak magic weapon. But he had no envy. As a sword cultivator, Li Yuanba is already an outlier among sword cultivators. In addition to his natal flying sword, he also has the offensive magic weapon. Ten Thousand Swords Peak. This magic weapon requires a large number of fourth grade flying swords to be fully upgraded. At present, Except for the leading flying sword. The power of the rest of the flying swords is limited. They just look at the scenery. Li Yunba shook his head and explained. Why do you want to cultivate such a magic weapon? Yun Xiao couldn't help but said with a bit of toothache. Just hearing the requirements for upgrading. 10,000 swords peak. Even a nascent soul sword cultivator from a large sect like Jenny Chong Xiao Pavilion felt heartbroken for Li Yunba. If we really want to increase the power of 10,000 swords peak to its ultimate power. Is it really necessary to invest 10,000 fourth grade flying swords? Who can afford to play like that? Chapter 584 Cleanup The battle at the Flower Butterfly Gate was over. The remaining monks in the Chi Chain stage and Foundation Establishment stage were unable to make any waves. They knelt on the ground one by one, not daring to make any movement. Li Yuanba, you have to learn next. Yun Xiao said to Li Yuanba with a smile. With a wave of his hand, the other four nascent soul sword cultivators flew out and began to clean up the battlefield. At first, Li Yuanba thought that cleaning the battlefield was not a simple matter. He had cleaned the battlefield countless times. So he was very experienced. But after seeing the actions of several nascent soul sword cultivators, he understood what professionalism meant. Several nascent soul sword cultivators first cleaned up the corpses of the eight nascent soul monks and put the bodies away, and then cleaned up the caves of the eight nascent soul monks. These are the most valuable parts. And most of Wadiman's fourth grade resources are on them. The nascent soul sword cultivator then packed up all the Gene Dan cultivator space items and cleaned up the spiritual field. Cleaning up the spiritual field is not just about collecting spiritual plants. They also collect the spiritual soil in the spiritual field. Some Yuanying sword cultivators found the sex treasure house and library and packed up all these places. While others found the spiritual veins and used the pulse locking disc to pack up the spiritual veins and take them away. It can be said that after the cleaning of several nascent soul sword cultivators, all the valuable spiritual objects in the Huadai sect have been cleared away. Even if there are monks from the sect outside the Huadai sect who want to rebuild the Huadai sect, they cannot do it without these foundations. Arrive. When returning to Jenny Chongxiao Pavilion, Yun Xiao handed a storage bag to Li Yuanba. This is your share. You played a major role this time. When you go back and hand over this batch of resources, you will also be given some contribution points. You can redeem the resources you want with your contribution points. Yun Xiao explained with a smile. Not only Yun Xiao was happy, but other nascent soul sword cultivators were also very happy. Although with their strength, it is not too difficult to destroy the Huadai sect. But with Li Yuanba as an unexpected helper, none of the eight nascent soul cultivators from the Huadai sect could escape. And Li Yuanba killed half of the nascent soul cultivators with one move, which reduced a lot of trouble for them. Otherwise, if a battle really breaks out, and both sides use the nascent soul dharma, most of the loot will be destroyed in the aftermath of the battle. How could there be so much harvest this time? Li Yuanba's consciousness entered the storage bag, and he found seven fourth grade flying swords, some fourth grade weapon refining materials and elixirs inside. Although the most commonly used magic weapon in the world of immortality is the flying sword, 
he was assigned seven fourth grade flying swords, which should be all the fourth grade flying swords harvested this time. This should have been specially reserved for him by several nascent soul sword cultivators who knew that his magic weapon, 10,000 swords peak, required a large number of fourth grade flying swords. The quality of the fourth grade flying sword and fourth grade weapon refining materials is very low and there is nothing that can be done about it. This is the background of a small sect like Hua Dai sect. Yun Xiao, is the number assigned to me a bit too much? Li Yuanba hesitated and asked. He didn't want to take advantage of his companions the first time they cooperated, and he really didn't care about this benefit. There are rules for distribution. Guo Ping, tell Li Yuanba. Yun Xiao laughed and ordered Guo Ping on the side. Li Yuanba was very satisfied with his lack of greed. No monk wanted his companion to be greedy. Returning to Jianning Chong Xiao Pavilion, Li Yuanba exchanged contact information with Yun Xiao and the other four nascent soul sword cultivators. If the team takes on a mission in the future, Yun Xiao will send out a summons notice. Li Yuanba officially joined Yun Xiao's team, and he was accepted by all his teammates. Separated from his teammates, he returned to his cave. Not long after he rested, Yuni received the news. The reminder from Identity Jade Disc was to inform him that a sum of contribution points had arrived in his account. It seemed that Yun Xiao moved very quickly and had already handed over this harvest. Li Yuanba was sitting in the sword room. The gains from this mission were not just material. In this battle, although he did not use his natal magic weapon, he did use his sword intention. He found that in this battle, his sword intention had improved a little. And even the Thunder Sword Intent and Jiang Sword Intent in 10,000 Sword Peaks had improved. He didn't pay attention to the impact of battle on sword intent before. It was after his teammates reminded him that he felt it specifically. After comparing before and after, he determined the impact of battle on sword intent. Although the sword intent has only improved a little. If this was practiced in the sword intent Chongxiao pavilion using the sword intent Chongxiao technique and the sword intent environment in the mountain gate, it would take at least more than a year to improve so much. No wonder the sword cultivators of sword intent Chongxiao Pavilion like to go out and fight the most. Fighting can improve sword intent faster than practicing hard behind closed doors. Zhong Chong of the 10,000 Beasts sect of the Eastern Qi Continent felt the benefit of having an alchemy master specially serve for him. After he finished taking several bottles of the second grade high grade elixir in his hand, Li Shiming changed it to another second grade high grade elixir for him to practice. Most of the second-grade high-grade elixirs that Li Shiming took out came from the northern Shu continent. For Zhong Chang, he had never taken them before, and the effect of taking them was the best. In the next few months, Li Shiming continued to replace the second-grade high-grade elixirs, allowing Zhong Chang to continue to enjoy new types of second-grade high-grade elixirs. Li Shiming, the alchemy master, may not have the same alchemy heritage as many veteran alchemy masters in the world of immortality but he does have the alchemy heritage of the northern Shu continent. The alchemy heritage of the northern Shu continent is, to a large extent, different from other continents. When monks take new types of elixirs, the effect is the strongest. After taking too much, the effect will continue to decrease with time and frequency. Half a year later, Zhong Chong's cultivation returned to the peak of the late foundation building stage. The big reason for this was the second grade high-level elixir provided by Li Shiming. On this day, Zhong Chong went to Dujia Mountain, and he did not ask Li Shiming to accompany him. Half a day later, Zhong Chong came back. At this time, he was already a golden elixir stage monk. A long lost smile appeared on his face, and he didn't have to worry about his lack of longevity. Li Shiming saved him precious time, for which Zhong Chong was full of gratitude. Don't underestimate time. Zhong Chong's body at this time is already a hundred years old. Although the lifespan of a monk in the foundation establishment stage can reach 200 years. After the age exceeds 100 years, the body begins to degenerate. The older you get, the more serious your body's degeneration becomes. This is why many monks are unable to break through the golden elixir stage within 100 years of age. Even if they break through to the golden elixir stage after they are 100 years old, their potential is not great. It can be said that for Zhong Chang who is in the foundation building stage, Every extra day he stays in the foundation building stage will seriously hinder his future cultivation and make it more difficult for him to regain his strength. Zhong Chang's mood improved after he finally stopped worrying about Shou Yuan. Although the golden elixir stage is still far away from the nascent soul stage, the substantial increase in longevity gave him great confidence. He entered Li Shiming's cave. 
in addition to the permission to enter and exit the cave. He only had permission to enter his own room. He cast a spell and made a request to meet Li Shiming. Li Shiming always had a nascent soul that could be moved at any time. So after receiving Zhong Chong's message transmission method, he quickly came to the room where Zhong Chong was. When he saw that Zhong Chong was already in the early stage of Jin Dan, he was not surprised at all. It would be strange if Zhong Chong couldn't even break through the foundation building stage. Zhong Chong's body was fused with Zhong Chong's previous nascent soul. The nascent soul retained a lot of his talents and transformed this body. The main reason why I didn't do well when I lost my memory was that I didn't have the ability to awaken my memory and couldn't really use the talent of this body. Senior brother, congratulations. Li Shiming congratulated with a smile. Junior brother, what can I congratulate on this? Zhong Chan shook his head and said helplessly. After his memory was restored, he often thought about his previous power and compared it with his current self, only to become more aware of his own gap. This is the third great elixir I prepared for senior brother. Some are left over from the past, and some are newly refined. Li Shiming took out 30 jade bottles this time and handed them over and said, The reason why there are so many third grade elixirs is that he refined a large number of third grade elixirs when he was in Beishu Continent. The amount of third grade elixirs remaining in his hands is far beyond what he and his clone Li Yuanba can consume. At that time, he did not dare to sell these third grade elixirs, but he used the 110 point elixir formula. If a large number of third grade elixirs with no elixir source appeared on the market, he would be in trouble once they were discovered. Of before he could figure out how to deal with these third grade elixirs, his realm continued to improve until he came to Dongchi Continent and advanced to the nascent soul stage. These third grade elixirs completely became collections in the mustard space. What he took out this time was only a small part of his inventory, but it was enough for Zhong Chan to practice for 10 years. Junior brother, I have prepared a gift for you. Zhong Chan took all the jade bottles. He knew without looking at them that they were all spiritual elixirs prepared for him. He put away the jade bottles and looked at Li Shiming said solemnly, Elder brother, you don't have to be polite to me. Li Shiming waved his hand. He did these things for Zhong Chang. Not only for Zhong Chang, but also for the entrustment of his master. Brother Hu, let me tell you how I ended up like this. Zhong Chang ignored Li Shiming's words. His eyes were slightly glazed over, and he was lost in memories. Li Shiming shut up. He was also curious about how Long Chang could be so miserable with his strength at that time. That was a hundred years ago. When I was exploring the Zhongzhou continent, I entered a ruins and got the fragments of Chiu Heng's treasure map. At that time, there were several nascent soul monks who were exploring separately, and they got the rest. Treasure map fragments. Among them, Zhao Lingyu and I were the strongest. We snatched the treasure map fragments from other nascent souls. I was a little injured at the time. So I returned to the Eastern Qi continent with half of the treasure map fragments. I spent several years recovering from my injuries. And then I went to find Zhao Lingyu. Zhao Lingyu set up a trap. And only nascent soul escaped. Zhong Chan spoke in a deep voice about what happened the year. A well-known treasure hunting story happens almost every day in the world of immortality. But there must be a key reason for attracting the attention of two middle-stage nascent soul monks from two major sects. Can Chiu Hung be very strong at first level? Li Shiming interjected and asked. He knew very little about the great powers in the world of immortality. He heard that what was being snatched was the treasure map of Chiu Hung. A great power. He was very curious about Chiu Hung. A great power. It is not strong. It may be said that he is the weakest among the powerful beings in the Mahayana stage. Chiu Hung is not even recognized by the great powers in the Mahayana stage as a powerful person. He is only half a step in the Mahayana stage. Zhong Chan did not hide anything. The meaning of hiding something was explained to him. Then the value of his treasure shouldn't be great. Right? Li Shiming asked puzzledly. His vision is very high. He has the cave heaven of Shai Gu. Shai Gu is a real great power in the Mahayana period. There is the inheritance of Shai Gu in the cave. So when he learned that Chiu Heng's power was only half a step into the Mahayana stage, he was a little disappointed. He thought it was such an important treasure. Chiu Heng's powerful treasure does not have much significance in breaking through the Mahayana stage. But it plays an extremely important role in breaking through the nascent soul stage and becoming a great monk. When Zhong Chang said this, the light in his eyes flashed. When he learned about Chiu Heng's powerful treasure, he was excited for many days and even risked his life with Zhao Lingyu in order to get the complete treasure map. Li Shiming didn't understand. 
He looked at Zhong Chan with questioning eyes, waiting for Zhong Chan's further explanation. Although Chiu Heng's great ability has stopped at the half-step Mahayana stage, he has left behind half-step of the core of the regular cave. If he is truly powerful, then even if he leaves behind the cave core, it is not something that we can comprehend. But this half-step rule cave core is a treasure that can be comprehended by nascent soul monks. As long as you understand part of the core content of the half-step rules of cave heaven, being promoted to a great monk is not a problem at all. Zhong Chan continued to explain. Li Shiming finally understood. As Zhong Chan said, he had seen many caves, but his perception of the caves was that he was in the cave space. And the caves had their own rules. As for studying the rules of Dong Tian, that is simply impossible. The rules are too high level and his realm is too far away. However, a monk at the nascent soul stage can comprehend the core of the half-step rules cave heaven of the half-step Mahayana stage. This is like a key that allows mid-stage nascent soul monks to understand the rules of the great monks. The reason why great monks are extremely special in the nascent soul stage is because they have their own understanding of the rules and can apply them to a certain extent. Although the monk's use of rules is still very superficial. Rules are the origin of the world. As long as this level of power can be used, it means that one's own level has reached another level. Therefore, the treasure Chiu Hung left behind is the most important and irreplaceable treasure for any mid-stage nascent soul monk. It is very difficult to be promoted to a great monk in the middle stage of nascent soul. You can know just by looking at how many great monks there are in each major sect. Nascent soul monks from large sects appear from generation to generation. And it can be said that very few of these nascent soul monks can eventually become great monks. Chapter 585 Inventory Junior brother, did Zhao Lingyu's mustard ring fall into your hands? Zhong Chong glanced at Li Shiming and asked. If Zhong Chong was still in the middle stage of nascent soul at this time, Li Shiming would be worried that his purpose in asking this question was impure. But Zhong Chong was still in the early stage of the golden elixir at this time. Even if he had any thoughts about Chiu Heng's treasure, he shouldn't ask the question so directly. Yes, Zhao Lingyu's mustard ring can be turned into energy. And it fell into my hands after killing his nascent soul. Li Shiming nodded and replied. He did not open the mustard seed ring. After returning to the sect, he found out about Zhao Lingyu's background. He was worried that there were some tricks left in the mustard seed ring. So he planned to wait for his master, the great monk Hu, to return in person before opening it. Even if there is any trouble at that time, there is no need to worry with brother Hu by his side. As for whether there are any treasures in Zhao Lingyu's mustard seed ring that are favored by brother Hu, this is just overthinking. Brother Hu and several other great monks share the resource allocation of the 10,000 bees sect. Who would be interested in Zhao Lingyu's mustard seed ring? Lingyu's mustard ring. Zhao Lingyu's master was a great monk from the Yiri sect. Fortunately, after Li Shiming killed Zhao Lingyu, he also killed the two nascent soul monks who came with him, leaving no trace. In addition, Zhao Lingyu seemed to have secretly traveled to Guangyang Prefecture without informing the other monks, except for bringing two nascent soul subordinates with him. Even his master was not informed. This is normal. Zhao Lingyu is here for Chiu Heng's powerful treasure. It is impossible for him to leak the news before the treasure becomes his own. The Hidden Sun sect is not a kind place. And the competition among the monks is even more fierce. Li Shiming has not been going out recently. And he also wants to see the aftermath of Zhao Lingyu's murder. There is no news about this in the sect's intelligence. It is normal for the Yuaning monk not to return to the sect for decades. Let alone for several years. Only those with no news for more than a hundred years will be taken seriously. And only the people closest to the monk will be taken seriously. The sect will take back the monk's cave after confirming his death. Therefore, if there is no news about Zhao Lingyu's execution recently, there will be no problem for at least a few decades. The premise was that Li Shiming did not leak the news, which he was not too worried about, knowing that the only people who killed Zhao Lingyu were Zhong Chang and Hu Dafu. He was very relieved about these two people. Look for a broken jade map in Zhao Lingyu's mustard ring? Zhong Chang asked slightly excitedly. I haven't checked inside the mustard ring yet. I want to wait until the master comes back to check it again. Li Shiming explained. You should be careful. The mustard seed ring is made of space soul crystals. There will be no surprises if you identify the owner. If you are worried, you can go to the four elephant cave to identify the owner again and explore the inside. Zhong Chan is interested in energy transformation. He was very familiar with the mustard ring and explained to Li Shiming with a smile. Li Shiming nodded. He had forgotten about the four elephants cave. In fact, 
He did not need to enter the Four Elephants Cave. Entering the cave of Jai Gu would have the same effect. But with Zhong Chan here, he could only enter the Four Elephant Cave Heaven. He took Zhong Chan to Xixiang Cave. And he cast a Master Recognition spell on the Mustard Seed Ring. He saw a black rune appear on the Mustard Seed Ring. This black rune glanced at Li Shiming very humanely. And then flew away into the distance. Destroy this rune quickly! Zhong Chan saw the black rune and shouted quickly. After Li Shiming heard his reminder, he clicked his finger, and a bolt of electric light hit the black rune. With a click, the black rune was hit. He heard a faint scream in his ears, and the black runes disappeared into flying smoke. Fortunately, you were careful. Otherwise, if this rune sent you a message, you would be in trouble in the future. Zhong Chong said with a long sigh of relief. He explained the situation of the black rune to Li Shiming, letting Li Shiming understand this rare method. This is a secret rune of the demon sect called the Soul Chasing and Vengeful Talisman. When the original owner of the Mustard Seed Ring died, the Soul Chasing and Vengeful Talisman was activated. As long as the Mustard Seed Ring is recognized as its owner again, the Soul Chasing and Vengeance Talisman will record the aura and face of the monk who recognized the master and will send back the information about the aura and face. That is to say, this place is inside the Four Elephants Cave and the Soul Chasing and Vengeance Talisman cannot break through the space here and leave. Otherwise it would not be so easily destroyed by Li Shiming's lightning method. Li Shiming was also secretly glad that his spirit was extremely strong, which allowed him to have an inexplicable sense of unknown dangers. Just like this mustard seed ring. After he got it, he had an inexplicable feeling. So he kept it without recognizing its owner. If Zhong Chang hadn't known some of the secrets, Li Shiming would not have recognized his master at this time. Li Shiming looked at the mustard ring again. The mustard ring has its own name. Ordinary space rings or mustard rings do not have special names. For monks, both space rings and mustard rings are standard space items. But the mustard ring in his hand has its own name. Which means it is not a standard space item. Soul Crystal Ring is named after the space Soul Crystal he uses. As his mind moves slightly, the Soul Crystal Ring disappeared from his hand and appeared on Hui Ying's finger. The Soul Crystal Ring can be energized and the energized soul crystal ring can still store items. Its biggest advantage is that the nascent soul can be carried with you and even put into the body. This does not mean that the normal mustard ring nascent soul cannot be carried. But the spiritual objects that the nascent soul can carry are very limited. And it must be held in the hand before it can be taken away. The soul crystal ring can be energized and can store a large number of spiritual objects inside without occupying nascent soul's hands. This benefit alone is enough to make the soul crystal ring the treasure that nascent soul monks are most willing to own. When nascent soul monks leave the body, most of the nascent soul monks can only carry their own magic weapons. After having the soul crystal ring, other magic weapons can be placed in the soul crystal ring. After the nascent soul leaves the body, it can be accessed at any time when needed. Li Shiming's consciousness entered the soul crystal ring, and the inner space of the soul crystal ring was ten times the size of his current largest mustard ring. What surprised him the most was the large number of fourth grade magic weapons, among which there were 33 fourth grade flying swords alone. And among the 33 fourth grade flying swords, 18 contained sword intent. It seems that Zhao Lingyu especially likes to collect the enemy's magic weapons. Instead of selling the captured magic weapons, he collects them all. Otherwise, even if Zhao Lingyu had some background, he would not have been able to kill so many nascent soul monks and obtained so many 4th grade magic weapons in a short period of time. The 18 flying sword magic weapons that contain sword intent are all natal magic weapons. Needless to say, these were obtained by Zhao Lingyu by killing the nascent soul sword cultivator. Li Shiming couldn't help but feel ashamed, and was a little lucky to be able to successfully kill Zhao Lingyu. He regrets it now. If his clone Li Yuanba is in the eastern Qi continent, he can send these 4th grade flying swords there. Together with the 4th grade flying swords he has refined recently, it will be enough to make the power of 10,000 swords peak. A big improvement. He saw two more flying boats in the soul crystal ring. A small 4th grade upper level flying boat and a medium sized 4th grade mid level flying boat. The two flying boats were too eye catching and were placed in separate locations. Since the space inside the soul crystal ring was large enough, the two flying boats were not shrunk to a miniature state for storage. This allows the two airships to be taken out when needed and can be activated at full speed immediately. Perhaps the time it takes for the flying boat to return to its normal size from its reduced state may be a matter of life and death. 
Lee Shimming didn't pay much attention to the small fourth grade high level flying boat, but looked at the medium sized fourth grade mid level flying boat. A medium sized flying boat can accommodate hundreds of monks. But this medium sized flying boat is not an ordinary medium sized flying boat. This medium sized flying boat is extremely luxurious. And the fourth grade materials used are a very good quality. The reason why the quality is only mid grade fourth grade is precisely because the medium sized flying boat is too large. And the proportion of fourth grade materials used in the materials used is small. It affects the quality of medium sized flying boats. The specific situation of the medium sized flying boat will not be known until the owner is identified. However, when Li Shiming wanted to recognize his master, he sensed that there was a spiritual mark in the medium sized flying boat. And this spiritual mark was so strong that he knew that he could not get rid of it after sensing it. Looks like I have to ask the master to take action. Li Shiming thought to himself. His consciousness moved away from the flying boat. And he discovered the thousand miles spiritual plate. Next to the thousand miles inspiration plate, there is a fourth grade top level shield magic weapon. And it is also a magic weapon that has recognized its owner. Hey, this spiritual mark of recognition seems when he sensed the situation of the fourth grade top shield magic weapon, he discovered something special. As his mind moved slightly, this fourth grade top level shield magic weapon appeared in his hand. Elder brother, this should be your defensive magic weapon. Right. Li Shiming had actually confirmed it through the spiritual mark. He asked while sending the fourth grade top shield magic weapon in front of Zhong Chong. Zhong Chong took over the fourth grade top shield magic weapon. He gently touched the magic weapon with his hand and could feel the spiritual mark inside, which was his mark of recognition. With his level, he was unable to activate this top-level 4th grade shield magic weapon. And based on his current situation, the possibility of obtaining a top-level 4th grade magic weapon is extremely low. Even Master Hu, the great monk, would not be able to give him the 4th grade top-grade materials to make magic weapons. Even for great monks, the top-grade 4th grade materials they can obtain are very limited. Great monk who does not only have Zhong Chong as his disciple, brother who needs to consider maximizing the utilization of fourth grade top materials. Even if there are excess fourth grade top materials, they will be given to the disciples with the greatest potential. Not Zhong Chong who has lost most of his potential. This has nothing to do with love or care, but a realistic choice. It's my golden and bronze armor shield that was my defensive magic weapon. I lost it when I was fighting Xiaoling Yu. I didn't expect that Zhao Lingyu didn't recognize it as its owner for so many years. Zhong Chong sighed softly. This is placed together with a thousand miles soul plate. I think it was prepared to track you. Li Shiming explained for him. Put it away. Zhong Chong handed the gold and bronze armor shield back to Li Shiming and said. Senior brother, this is your magic weapon. You can't use it now. You can still use it when you regain your strength later. Li Shiming refused with a smile. If it were a top grade fourth grade weapon refining material, he might be able to take a fancy to it. But he didn't pay much attention to the ready made top grade fourth grade magic weapon. In particular, this gold and bronze armor shield is the magic weapon of senior brother Zhong Chong. The mark of recognition is still there. So it is even more impossible for him to take it as his own. Zhong Chong was stunned for a moment, then smiled and put away the gold and bronze armor shield without any further insistence. He also has a fourth grade top grade flying sword a natal magic weapon, in his body, coupled with this fourth grade top grade defensive magic weapon, a gold and bronze armor shield. He can be considered to have good combat power when he enters the nascent soul stage. Although it can't compare to its original heyday, it at least has a foundation to establish itself. Li Shiming re-entered the soul crystal ring and skipped the elixir and elixir area. The elixir and elixir there did not attract much interest in him. He finally saw the broken jade map Zhong Chong mentioned. The map should be circular. And there was almost half of it here. There is also a jade box covered with isolation runes placed next to the broken jade map. It can be seen that Zhao Lingyu attaches equal importance to this jade box and the broken jade map. So they put them together. Li Shiming was full of curiosity about the jade box. What kind of spiritual object made Zhao Lingyu put it together with the broken jade map? He opened the jade box with his spiritual consciousness. And when the jade box was opened, his spiritual consciousness immediately sounded an alarm. Radiation? Strong radiation. His consciousness immediately closed the jade box. Even though he had only opened the jade box for a moment, he already knew what was in the jade box. It turned out to be a sword-shaped magic weapon made of Halsic crystal. The reason why it was not said to be a flying sword is because this sword-shaped magic weapon made of Halsic crystal 
is completely different from the normal flying sword magic weapon. Type. This sword-shaped magic weapon is more like a mountain-type magic weapon, turning it into a huge form and hitting the enemy. The sword-shaped magic weapon. L's hate crystal. In the jade box is in a reduced state. Since he has not identified its owner, he does not know how big the sword-shaped magic weapon will be after enlarging it. He was a little hesitant to recognize the sword-shaped magic weapon as its owner. Hellweary Crystal has another name in another world. Uranium Ore. Due to the inexplicable change between the L's crystal in the world of immortality, which is also the Uranium Ore and the Aura. The L's crystal has a fourth grade quality. Only demon cultivators will like the Hellweary Crystal and refine it into a magic treasure. But when Li Shiming saw a magic treasure that was truly made from Altire Crystal, for the first time, he still couldn't believe it. Think about it. There is a sword-shaped magic weapon made of uranium ore. Not to mention attacking the enemy. Even if it is held in one's hand, it will also produce extremely strong radiation for oneself. Not to mention that monks are not afraid of radiation. According to the radiation analysis of the sword-shaped magic weapon, Altire Crystal, by the Nail Magic Weapon Z15, it was concluded that it has a harmful impact on nascent soul monks. Chapter 586 Meet the Master Li Shiming did not touch the sword-shaped magic weapon. L's hate crystal. Without protection, he did not want to be exposed to this kind of super radiation enhanced by the world of immortal cultivation for a long time. Elder brother, is this what you are talking about? He took out the broken jade map and asked Zhong Chong. Zhong Chong looked at the broken jade map in Li Shiming's hand, with emotion flashing in his eyes. It was for this that he had fallen to this point. But now, even if the broken jade map is given to him so that he can obtain Chiu Heng's powerful treasure, he will not be able to understand the core of the half-step rules cave heaven in his current situation. He is very aware of his current situation. The most he can do is return to his previous state, which is still the most ideal state. If you want to break through the middle stage of nascent soul and become a great monk, you don't have to think about it at all. This body is not his own spare body, but a body of a casual cultivator with extremely poor cultivation talent. Even if it is fused with his yuanying, it has the foundation of the previous body's realm. And its potential will reach its peak at most in the middle stage of yuanying. That's it. Zhao Ling Yu really does carry such an important thing with him. He nodded. He paused for a moment and then continued. The other half of the map is my gift to you. Li Shiming was startled. But he did not refuse. This was an opportunity. And a monk would not refuse his opportunity. I was seriously injured. When Yuanying escaped, I could only hide the other half of the map. Zhong Chang said here, took out a jade slip, marked the location in his memory, and handed it to Li Shiming. Li Shiming took the jade slip, which marked an island off the mainland of Dong Chi. The half-step rules cave heaven core is of no use to me. The master has always wanted me to become the next great monk of the sect. I have let the master down. I hope you can make up for this regret on my behalf. Zhong Chang shared the news about the other half of the map. Hand it over. He said with a smile, as if he had put down a huge worry. I will definitely be promoted to a great monk, Li Shiming said with a heavy nod. In fact, his goal is more ambitious. But he is just afraid of scaring Zhong Chang by saying it. He has the power of Thy Gu. If the inheritance inside can be fully absorbed, let alone a great monk, it is not impossible even in the Mahayana stage. Of course, he would not underestimate Chiu Heng's ability to retain the core of the half-step rule cave. He knew how difficult it was to advance from the middle stage of Yuanying to the late stage of Yuanying. A little more control can save a lot of time. The cultivation of monks is actually a race against time. The thousand years of cultivation of early Yuanying monks may seem like a long time. But in fact, most of the early Yuanying monks will not be able to advance to the middle stage of Yuanying in their lifetime. Because they have exhausted their longevity. If you want to have more ambitious goals, you need to continuously improve your realm quickly. As your realm improves, although your lifespan also increases. The time required for corresponding cultivation also increases. After Zhong Chang was promoted to the Golden Core stage, he no longer needed to stay in Li Shiming's cave, but could return to his own cave. When Zhong Chang went back, he continued to retreat. He had a large number of elixirs in his hands. He planned to practice until the nascent soul stage before leaving seclusion. He was not polite to Li Shiming. All the elixirs in the Golden Elixir stage were supplied by Li Shiming. Ten days later, Li Shiming was wearing strange and heavy clothes, and even his head was protected by a helmet. 
This piece of clothing is a radiation-proof suit he made using technology from his previous life. Since he can bear far more weight than humans in his previous life, there is no need to consider the weight of the radiation-proof suit he made. He just stacked the strongest radiation-proof materials layer by layer in order to prevent radiation from harming himself to the greatest extent. Even for this matter, he left the mountain gate and dug a temporary cave outside, just to prevent radiation from remaining in his cave and causing trouble for himself. He took out the box containing the sword-shaped magic weapon. Elves hate crystal. This time, he did not use his spiritual consciousness. I didn't know last time that his spiritual consciousness was slightly affected. Fortunately, after opening the jade box at that time, I immediately discovered something was wrong and closed the jade box again in time. The impact on all spiritual consciousness was not great, and it was resolved in a few days. The jade box was opened, and the sword-shaped magic weapon, Elves Hate Crystal, was revealed. In his mind, the magic weapon Z-15 kept making warning sounds, and the red radiation data was refreshed in front of his eyes. However, the radiation protection suit he was wearing was really useful. The radiation from the sword-shaped magic weapon, Hell Resisting Crystal, was blocked and could not harm his body. After hesitating for a moment, he used his spiritual consciousness to draw the master recognition technique in the radiation protection suit. After the recognition master technique was formed, he sent it out of the radiation protection suit and inserted it into the sword-shaped magic weapon of L resisting crystal. The sword-shaped magic weapon, L resisting crystal, was recognized as its owner. And he felt the message from the sword-shaped magic weapon, L resisting crystal, prison suppressing demonic sword. This is the name of this sword-shaped magic weapon. At the same time, he also learned other data about Prison Suppressing Demonic Sword. First of all, the Prison Suppressing Demonic Sword is not as heavy and big as he imagined. This fourth-grade sword-shaped magic weapon made of l stricken Crystal actually weighs almost a thousand kilograms. Without shrinking, it is eight meters long. Rice. With this length, he immediately understood that this was not a magic weapon prepared for monks in the normal state, but a weapon in the nascent soul state. It's just that in the state of nascent soul, he can't put on the radiation protection suit. Anyway, it's impossible for him to use this prison suppressing demonic sword to deal with the enemy. At least, he won't use it until he can find someone who is not harmed by radiation. Even though the prison suppressing demonic sword weighs a thousand kilograms. In fact, it is far from enough to be used as a material for an atomic bomb. Besides, it is not easy to dismantle the prison suppressing demonic sword. Once the magic weapon formed is destroyed, it is difficult to say how intact the hell stricken crystal can be preserved. Lee Shimming put away the prison suppressing demonic sword with some disappointment and looked at the temporary cave. Everywhere in this temporary cave remains a large amount of radiation. He left the temporary cave and compacted it with a wave of his hand. From now on, I will check here every once in a while to see how long it will take for the radiation residue of the prison suppressing demonic sword to completely dissipate. Two months had passed since he returned to the sex semi-reclusive state. On this day, he received a message from his master, Brother Who. This was when Brother Who asked him to come over. He didn't hesitate and immediately went to Brother Who's cave. Entering the cave, they saw Brother Who and Yushan there. Master, Second senior brother. Li Shiming greeted with a smile. Thank you for bringing senior brother back. Yu Shan stepped forward and patted his shoulder hard, saying gratefully, The relationship between Yu Shan and Zhong Chong is not comparable to the relationship between Li Shiming and Zhong Chong. Yu Shan and Zhong Chong have been friends for hundreds of years. As the senior brother, Zhong Chong takes great care of Yu Shan. This is what I should do, Li Shiming said, unable to stand Yu Shan's enthusiasm. Sure, Jin. You did a great job. Zhong Chan has recovered to the golden elixir in such a short time. It seems I was right to ask you to take care of him. Brother who also said with a smile. This time, brother who is in his true form. But he doesn't know what happened to the conflict with the Hidden Sun sect. It's because senior brother's foundation is solid enough. Li Shiming replied with a smile. Zhong Chan wants you to put more thought into it and come up with whatever resources you need. Brother who waved his hand. Master. Please help me take a look. There is a spiritual mark in this medium-sized flying boat. Can you help remove it? Li Shiming thought of the medium-sized flying boat in the soul crystal ring at this time. He shrunk the medium-sized flying boat and took it out and asked. The medium-sized flying boat left the soul crystal ring and fell into the eyes of Brother Hu. 
brother who immediately cast an isolation spell to wrap up the medium-sized flying boat. Is this found in Xiaoling Yu's space items? Brother who asked with a strange smile on his face. In fact, when he saw this flying boat, he knew that it must be found among Zhao Lingyu's space items. But he didn't quite understand why this flying boat appeared on Zhao Lingyu's body. I found it among Zhao Lingyu's space items. Li Shiming nodded and said, Hey, isn't this the great monk ceremonial boat? Yu Shan on the side exclaimed in surprise. Ha ha, it is indeed Brother Bada's ceremonial boat. This thing is Brother Bada's face when traveling. If he loses this ritual boat, he has lost his face. Brother who said with a loud laugh. There was a conflict between the 10,000 Beasts sect and the Hidden Sun sect. And the great monks on both sides were at odds with each other. Being able to see the misfortune of Brother Bada from the Hidden Sun sect. Brother who was in a very happy mood. Ceremonial boats are flying boats used by monks with high status to attend important events. In addition to the functions of ordinary flying boats. This kind of flying boat also has many functions that may not seem practical. For example... Some ceremony boats can emit a variety of dazzling lights. And some ceremony boats can arrange a sea of clouds around them. Anyway, the ceremony boats are meant to show luxury and nobility as much as possible. I can help you get rid of Brother Bada's spiritual mark with this ritual boat. But you can only treat it as a collection. Don't show it in front of other monks before you have the strength to fight against Brother Bada. Brother who continued. He cast several spells on the ritual boat and restored the ritual boat to its ownerless state just when he was exorcising the spiritual imprint of the great monk Ba in the ceremony boat. The spiritual imprint of the great monk Ba in a distant place felt that the recognition mark on a flying boat was expelled, which could not make him, as a great monk, feel any spiritual imprint, influence. But he could still feel that the recognition mark inside his ritual boat had been forcibly expelled. The only monks in the eastern Qi continent who had this ability were the great monks. Then Brother Bada thought of a problem. His ritual boat was in the hands of his disciple Zhao Lingyu. The reason why the monk ceremonial boat was handed over to Zhao Lingyu for use was because Zhao Lingyu needed to participate in an event and go there on behalf of Monk Bada. So Monk Bada temporarily handed over the ritual boat to Zhao Lingyu. There is no problem with this. With Zhao Lingyu's strength. As long as the great monks don't take action. I believe that no nascent soul monks in the eastern Qi continent can keep Zhao Lingyu. Who is it? Brother Bada shouted angrily. He was sad that something happened to Zhao Lingyu, since his ritual boat had fallen into the hands of others, and even the spiritual imprints had been removed. It meant that a great monk had taken action. He was also sad to lose his ceremonial boat, which was his way of traveling and represented himself to a certain extent. Most of the forces in the eastern Qi continent know his ritual boat. If a monk controls the ritual boat, he can act in his identity. In addition, and most importantly, if word spread that he lost the ritual boat, he would lose all face in the eastern Qi continent. A great monk who couldn't even protect his own ritual boat. When his reputation spread, it made it difficult for him to deal with other great monks. But no matter what, things have happened. All he needs to do is to find out who got his ritual boat. What happens to Zhao Lingyu now? Li Shiming is still very curious about this ceremonial boat. What special functions does the bottom monk ceremonial boat have? Thinking of this, he cast the master recognition technique on the ceremony boat. As the method of identifying the master entered the ritual boat, he became connected with the ritual boat. The name of this boat is the Celestial Treasure Boat. It has two special functions. One is one breath 10,000 miles, and the other is Incarnation Palace. Everyone present was his own people, but Li Shiming had no intention of hiding anything. The situation of this ceremonial boat was revealed. Not bad. One breath 10,000 miles is very practical, but the Incarnation Palace is a pure toy brother who commented. Although he had dealt with Brother Bada and had seen the ceremonial boat, he did not understand the special functions of Brother Bada's ritual boat. The main reason was that he and Brother Bada were not friends and had never seen the heaven. King Bazu's performance. One breath 10,000 miles is the ability to move in a short period of time and can only be used once in a period of time. But it is indeed very practical. In one breath, the Azure Treasure Boat can appear thousands of miles away. This ability can quickly get rid of the enemy. At the same time, it will be difficult for the enemy to catch up with the full speed of the Azure Treasure Boat. As for the Incarnation Palace, it means to transform the Azure Treasure Boat into a palace. This ability is extremely difficult to achieve. You must know that the palaces used by great monks have certain standards, such as defensive properties, internal aura, 
etc. If you want the Azure Treasure Boat to transform into a palace, you need to design the flying boat. Add a lot of variable designs. Master, if you are interested, this Azure Treasure Boat will be given to you. Lee Shimming was really sorry that he could not use such a good flying boat, at least for a long time. Collect it for yourself. This is your record. When one day your strength is no longer afraid of Monk Ba, you can publicize it to the outside world. Monk who smiled and waved his hand in refusal. He doesn't need to use his disciples' gains to demonstrate his achievements. Besides, he accepted the Azure Treasure Boat. How to explain the origin of the Azure Treasure Boat? If he told the truth, it would bring great trouble to Li Shiming. If he didn't tell the truth, he didn't want to take Li Shiming's record as his own. Chapter 587 Going Out Masterly, this is the report of our investigation. A monk in the early stage of nascent soul handed a jade slip to Li Shiming. This early Yuanying monk is the director of the intelligence department of the 10,000 Beasts sect. Li Shiming asked the intelligence department of the 10,000 Beasts sect to help investigate the news about Jian Wuwei. It was not until today that he received a response. This cannot be blamed on the intelligence department's slow investigation. The main reason is that Jian Wuwei is not a monk in the East Qi continent, but has only appeared in the East Qi continent for a short time. The intelligence department of the 10,000 Beasts sect has almost a blank regarding Jian Wuwei's information. It is necessary to start the investigation from a blank. It is extremely difficult to get the results. Li Shiming was able to use the intelligence department of the 10,000 Beasts sect which was also due to his current position in the 10,000 Beast sect. He is the personal disciple of Monk Hu. This status alone makes him qualified to mobilize the intelligence department of the 10,000 Beast sect. Not to mention that he is also a very capable master of alchemy. Senior Brother Chong. Thank you. The corresponding contribution points will be deducted from my identity jade plate. Li Shiming thanked with a smile. Transferring the intelligence department was naturally not a waste of work. He had used up a large sum of contribution points but he was still extremely satisfied. After Brother Chong left, Li Shiming entered his spiritual consciousness into the Jade Slip. Jian Wuwei's whereabouts in the Dongqi continent were indeed very short. He came to the Dongqi continent from the ocean and stayed there for almost three months, during which he spent most of the time in seclusion. Li Shiming quickly saw what he needed, and Jian Wuwei found Yu Xiang Trading Company. Although Yu Xiang Trading Company was a medium-sized force in the eastern Qi continent, it had many transcontinental routes and every once in a while, there were long-distance ships flying between the continents. Round trip. Yu Xiang Trading Company. It seems we need to find them, he murmured to himself. The investigation by the intelligence department of the 10,000 Beasts sect only revealed that Jian Wuwei was in contact with Yu Xiang Trading Company, and they never appeared again. It's possible that Jian Wuwei boarded a voyage ship belonging to Yu Xiang Trading Company, or maybe something happened to Jian Wuwei during this period. No matter what. Starting with Yu Xiang Trading Company is the only thing Li Shiming can do at present. A medium-sized sect means that there is at least one mid-stage nascent soul monk, while Yu Xiang Trading Company has three mid-stage nascent soul monks. However, at least two of the three mid-stage nascent soul monks from Yu Xiang Trading Company are on guard on the voyage ship all year round, and only one mid-stage nascent soul monk will be at the headquarters of Yu Xiang Trading Company. Of course, Li Shiming could not go directly to Yu Xiang Trading Company to inquire. If Jian Wuwei's disappearance was really related to Yu Xiang Trading Company, then if he asked like this, it would be equivalent to alerting the enemy. It would not be so easy to investigate in the future. Before leaving the sect, he sent a message to his master, Brother Hu, and left some third-grade high-level elixirs for Zhong Chong. When he went out this time, his other task was to retrieve the other half of the map that Zhong Chong had hidden. The reason why he didn't immediately retrieve the other half of the map was because of the killing of Zhao Lingyu. He needed to confirm that Brother Bada didn't know about his killing of Zhao Lingyu. I got certain news from Brother Hu. Monk Bada is doing his best to investigate the disappearance of Zhao Lingyu. But it is obvious that the investigation has not included the 10,000 Beast sect. We can't blame Brother Ba for his incompetent investigation. But he didn't expect that it would be a monk from the 10,000 Beast sect. At the approximate time of Zhao Lingyu's disappearance, the 10,000 Beast sect and the Masking Sun sect were engaged in confrontations and conflicts in many places. Each of the great monks that the 10,000 Beast sect can dispatch has a clear position. In addition, the powerful mid-stage nascent soul monks of the 10,000 Beast sect are also defending important resource points. Judging from the investigation of the Hidden Sun sect, Jiaolingyu was far away from the conflict between the two sects. 
but was in Guangyang Prefecture. As for the investigation that Li Shiming, a monk in the early stage of Yuanying, also appeared in Guangyang Prefecture. The investigating monks from the Ziri sect did not notice Li Shiming's existence. Zhao Lingyu's combat prowess is notoriously powerful. Not to mention the early Yuanying monks. Even the middle Yuanying monks have few who can match him. Therefore, after the investigation results came out, nothing was mentioned about Li Shiming, allowing Li Shiming to get rid of suspicion. Li Shiming stayed away from the set, so he used the color-changing cloak to become invisible and used South Close to the End of the World to rush on. He is not worried about the other half of the map, although the other half of the map has been on the island for many years. Who knows if someone will get there first and get the other half of the map first. With his speed at full speed, it didn't take long for him to enter the ocean and approach the island marked on Zhong Chong's map. He stopped in the air dozens of miles away from the island and used his Shin eyes to carefully observe the island. In his perception, the island was too weird, and there was no trace of life in the entire island. While Li Shiming was checking, the Silver Winged Spirit Goo in his sleeve suddenly became active. After he communicated with the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect, he received a surprising message from the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect. There was a similar type of Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect in front of him. It seems that one of the two escaped Silver Winged Spirit Goo insects escaped here. Li Shiming guessed in his heart. However, he remembered that the 10,000 Bees sect had been tracking the two. Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insects. How could a Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect come here and there were no monks from the sect nearby to monitor it? The 10,000 Bees sect has been in a lot of troubles recently. Especially the continuous conflicts with the Goo Fong sect and the Sun Covering sect, which have mobilized a large number of sect monks. In addition, the task of monitoring the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect is on the ocean, and there are many uncertainties. It is normal for this. Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect to lose its trace. Go and find that Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect. Li Shiming did not approach immediately. He gave an order to his Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect. The Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect flew out, and he followed the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect from a distance. His method of controlling the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect is much better than that of the Gu Feng sect's great monk Xiao Qi Feng. He has developed a strong connection with the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect is Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect. Spiritual Goo Insect's consciousness is not affected by madness. Of course, this does not mean that his method of cultivating spiritual insects is better than that of Great Monk Chao Chi Fong of the Gu Fong sect. His method of cultivating spiritual insects was learned from the Gu Fong sects. Dora Insect Code He has the ability to refine the third grade top spiritual insect genome pill. The theoretical upper limit of the third grade top spiritual insect Jin Yang pill can continuously strengthen the connection between the Silver Winged Spiritual Goo Insect and him and change the nature of the Silver Winged Spiritual Goo Insect. There was some kind of connection between the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insects. His Silver Winged Spiritual Goo Insects had a very clear target and flew towards the island. The Silver Winged Spirit Goo on the island also discovered his Silver Winged Spirit Goo and he saw a bit of silver light flying out from the island. The two, Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insects, were not friendly and started fighting as soon as they met. The abilities of both sides are the same. But Li Shiming's, Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect, has been carefully cultivated and consumed a large number of third grade top spiritual insects genome pill, which has made his, Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect, stronger in recent times. The other, Silver Winged Spirit Goo Worm, is different. It left after a great battle, although it swallowed some spirit beasts in the sea. This silver winged spirit goo worm did not even have its original strength. None were able to recover. Therefore, the fight between the two silver winged spirit goo worms quickly became one sided. Li Shiming's silver winged spirit goo worm suppressed the other silver winged spirit goo worm, but it is unrealistic for his silver winged spirit goo insect to kill another silver winged spirit goo insect. The defenses of both sides are too strong, and they are highly resistant to their own attacks. I am afraid it will take a long, long time for this battle to end. Li Shiming's Silver Winged Spirit Goo has to wait until all the energy in a Silver Winged Spirit Goo is consumed. Li Shiming can help. Xiao Feng's flame should be able to pose a threat to the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insects, but he does not intend to kill even the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insects that have not been subdued. He is now unable to contract with more. 
Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insects due to his realm. But he does not want any of the Silver Winged Spiritual Goo Insects to die. He didn't pay attention to the battle between the two. Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insects but used South close to the end to appear on the island. His consciousness was searching on the island. Zhong Chong was a little anxious at first. So he just wrapped the other half of the map with a piece of cloth that was used to isolate the spiritual energy. Wrapped the jade map and stuffed it into the crevices of the rocks. Zhong Chong also told him about the characteristics of the rocks. But because the island was destroyed by the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect, many rocks were damaged. Li Shiming searched the island. Another Silver Winged Spirit Goo regarded this island as its home. So when it found out that Li Shiming had invaded his home, it immediately abandoned its enemy and flew towards the island. Li Shiming's Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect naturally did not want the other Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect to escape from the battle and follow him. He frowned, opened his mouth and said, The devil is in my ears. I don't know whether this special mental attack has an impact on the Silver Winged Spirit Goo or whether this Silver Winged Spirit Goo is in a period of sluggish strength and has insufficient resistance to the demon ears. Anyway, he issued, after the demon entered the ear, the other, silver-winged spirit goo insect, stagnated obviously. This stagnation caused his silver-winged spirit goo insect to catch up with another silver-winged spirit goo insect. And there was another burst of bites. A flash of light flashed in Li Shiming's eyes. And the magic weapon Z-15 immediately made a battle plan based on the current situation. Next to his head, a huge Dharma-like head appeared. This Dharma-like head is very real. But if you look closely, you will find that it is real because it is five nascent souls using part of the nascent soul Dharma at the same time. Combining the five nascent souls, the nascent soul head also activates the nascent soul form of the head. With the blessing of part of the Yuanying's Dharma, he was able to send out the heavenly demon into the ear. With the blessing of the human reincarnation technique, runes in the Yuanying's body, the effect of the mental attack was increased several times. Five nascent souls using the same technique at the same time to cast. Heavenly demon into the ears. Is equivalent to five nascent souls with the same strength as him using. Heavenly demons into the ears. At the same time. And they are all nascent soul monks who have practiced the. Human reincarnation art. This time. The power of. Demon ears. Cause the other. Silver winged spirit goo insect. To fall into a sluggish state again. Lee Shimming's Silver Winged Spirit Goo did not attack because once it attacks another Silver Winged Spirit Goo, the other Silver Winged Spirit Goo will wake up from its sluggish state he used close to the end of the world to appear next to another Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect. Open the Goo Wind Bag and with a slight movement of consciousness he took the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect in a sluggish state inside the Goo Wind Bag. The whole process went smoothly and the battle plan formulated by Z-15 was completed in an instant. The Goo Wind Bag is an inherited treasure of the Goo Wind sect. As long as a spirit insect is collected into the Goo Wind Bag, it will be affected by the Goo Wind Bag and fall into a deep sleep. His consciousness entered the Goo Wind Bag and saw the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect that had just been taken in. It did not wake up, but only entered a sleeping state from a sluggish state. This brings the number of Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insects in the Goo Wind Bag back to 10. Unfortunately, his level is too low. Even though the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect is the spirit insect with the least contract consumption, relatively speaking, he there is no way to contract a second Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect in the short term. Taking back a Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect made him feel good. He returned to the island and began to search every part of the rocks bit by bit. Found it! This time, it didn't take long before he found the target inside a seriously damaged rock. Fortunately, the thing was not destroyed by the Silver Winged Spirit Goo Insect. Otherwise, he would be very sad. This is a rare opportunity. He looked at the cloth in his hand. This cloth was made of the spiritual thread of some kind of spiritual insect. This kind of spiritual cloth seemed ordinary. And even with the perception of his spiritual consciousness, it was difficult to detect any abnormalities. He purposely scanned with his spiritual consciousness and found a gap. It was strange that there was a gap in the rock. Then he touched it with his spiritual consciousness to confirm whether there was an object. He uncovered the spiritual cloth. And inside was the other half of the broken jade map. 
he took out half of the broken jade map from the soul crystal ring. When the two pieces of broken jade map approached, the two pieces of broken jade map glowed faintly at the same time. Then, two broken jade maps were seen approaching and merging together, as if they were attractive. The merged parts were completely perfect. After the light disappeared, the two broken jade maps in his hands turned into a complete jade tablet with no visible damage. It turns out to be in Zhongzhou. Li Shiming learned from the jade tablet that the location of Chiyo Hengi's treasure was not in the eastern Qi continent. But in the Zhongzhou continent, the clone Li Yuanba is in Zhongzhou. But to enter that treasure, you need the jade token in his hand as the key. It seems that we have to go to Zhongzhou continent. He shook his head helplessly and said, His definition of the main body and the clone is clear. The main body should do as little dangerous things as possible and stay in the 10,000 B sect to practice elixirs as much as possible. Anyway, Li Shiming's resources are easy to obtain, and he doesn't need to risk going on missions to support his cultivation. Chapter 588 Discovery The headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company is located on a peninsula on the west coast of the eastern Qi continent, occupying most of the peninsula. A large number of monks gathered here, and these monks form a commercial area around Yuxiang Trading Company, making this peninsula look extremely prosperous. It was already night when Li Shiming came to the peninsula, where the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company was located. He looked at the brightly lit headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company and thought about how to find information about Jian Wuwei. The monks didn't care whether it was day or night. The business area outside the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company was still full of monks. Most of these monks live here. With the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company, this peninsula is protected by Yuxiang Trading Company, and few monks dare to cause trouble on the peninsula. It has also made this place a home for many casual cultivators and cultivating families. Danger in the cultivating world is everywhere, and the peninsula is already considered a very safe area. Li Shiming controlled the color-changing cloak to make himself invisible. He just used his Shinmu power to observe that there are many casual cultivators here, and the formations on the peninsula are not very clever. The ability of the color-changing cloak of an upper-level fourth-level person is such that the outermost formations on the peninsula cannot detect him. He ignored the gathering area of casual cultivators and flew towards the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. The headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company occupies the largest area on the peninsula. And he quickly approached the formation of Yuxiang Trading Company. This formation is a bit weird. Li Shiming used his spiritual eyes to observe the formation. And his natal magic weapon Z15 analyzed the spiritual power lines and nodes of the formation. He quickly discovered something was wrong. The formation of Yuxiang Trading Company is somewhat different from the normal formation of protecting the sect. This formation is part of the formation inheritance of the demon sect. Among the trophies Li Shiming got from the Yuanying monks of the Hiding Sun sect, he had knowledge of the Hiding Sun sect's formations, and he was also very familiar with the formations of the demon sect. The reason why the demon sect formation inheritance used by Yuxiang Trading Company was called weird by him is because in addition to the normal formation methods, the demon sect formation used by Yuxiang Trading Company also used the souls of monks and a large amount of blood essence. Raw materials. As a medium-sized business force. Although it has access to the inheritance of the demon sect formation, the meaning of applying it to its own formation is different. Of course, only monks like Li Shiming who possess divine vision and are familiar with the demon sect formations will discover the anomalies in the Yuxiang Trading Company's headquarters formation. Although the formation at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company had some methods of the demonic sex formation, it didn't take him long to open a passage through the shield of the formation. And the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company knew nothing about it and did not alert any monks. Li Shiming was thinking as he entered the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. This Yuxiang Trading Company may not be as clean as it appears. The methods used to arrange the demon sex formations are extremely cruel and are not acceptable to the righteous forces. There are many buildings in the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. But under his careful observation, he found nothing special. His eyes fell on the center of the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. And from that position, he sensed the auras of a mid-stage nascent soul monk and three early-stage nascent soul monks. The rest of the nascent soul cultivators in Yuxiang Trading Company should be busy outside. Li Shiming was very patient. He did not immediately arrest the monks for interrogation. Instead, he found a place within the headquarters formation to monitor the movements of the four nascent soul monks. He didn't want to make too much noise, at least until it was clear that Jian Wuwei's disappearance was related to Yuxiang Trading Company. He would not launch an all-out attack on Yuxiang Trading Company. He has experience in dealing with mid-stage nascent soul monks. 
the mid-stage nascent soul of Yuxiang Trading Company, a medium-sized force, is far from the mid-stage nascent soul of the Hidden Sun sect. Not to mention the Xiaoling Yu he killed. But he is the top existence among the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul of the Hidden Sun sect. So he is very confident in his combat power. What he needs now is investigation. When the investigation comes up with problems, he will do whatever he needs to do. Li Shiming monitored the four Yuanying monks at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. For ten consecutive days, he did not find anything abnormal. The four Yuanying monks never came out of the cave. This is normal, let alone ten days. It is normal for Yuanying monks to stay in the cave for several years. He set a time for himself and waited for another five days. If there was no news within five days, he would set up surveillance equipment here to monitor on his behalf. Of course, the monitoring effect using surveillance equipment is far inferior to his role here. But he does not have time to stay here for a long time. He hasn't had nothing to do in the past 10 days. He has been refining elixirs in his computer room. Three more days passed. And on this day, his alert brain discovered that an early Yuanying monk had left his cave. Sure enough, there is a problem. Li Shiming's eyes flashed. And he thought to himself. After he discovered that the formation at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company contained the demon sex formation, he changed his original plan and chose to monitor it. He just wanted to find out who the demonic cultivator was at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. The auras of the four Yuanying monks he had sensed before were all normal. But today the aura of the early Yuanying monk had a hint of demonic aura. Chang Chi opened his mouth and yawned. It was extremely rare for a monk in the early stage of nascent soul to have such a performance. His eyes were slightly flashing red. And the magic power hidden deeply in his body was about to move. If he didn't find a way to suppress it, he might be completely exposed. He wasn't nervous. He had long been used to this happening. This is an inevitable phenomenon in practicing magic. And it will happen every once in a while. Yu Xiang Trading Company has a perfect solution. All the nascent soul monks who stay at the headquarters of Yu Xiang Trading Company are the nascent soul monks who are about to have magical changes. After they solved the trouble at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company on the day when the magic power happened, they could go out again. Chang Chi flew towards a wooden building, and Li Shiming frowned slightly. He checked the wooden building with his spiritual eye and found nothing unusual. Chang Chi cast a spell and entered the wooden building. He didn't notice an invisible little dragon following him into the wooden building, right next to his back. Li Shiming shared the Phantom Dragon's vision through the contract with the Phantom Dragon and Chong Chi's every move was clearly seen by him. Chong Chi came to a chair made of spiritual jade placed in the lobby on the first floor of the wooden building and cast a spell on the chair. The chair splits in the middle to reveal a downward passage. He entered the passage, which was a downward passage that went 20 meters underground. And in the process of his descent, he needed to use magic tricks every 5 meters to open the spiritual barrier, which shows how important the bottom is. But he didn't know that the secrets here and the techniques he used had all fallen into the eyes of the phantom dragon. With AZ-15 analysis record, the method he used was mastered by Li Shiming. When the phantom dragon followed Chong Chi to the space 20 meters below, Li Shiming saw a scene that shocked him through the phantom dragon's eyes. As soon as you enter the underground space, you can see a space of about 200 square meters. The space was filled with golden elixir monks nailed to the shelf one by one. These golden elixir monks are all in the late stage of golden elixir, and many of them have even reached the realm of great elders. Li Shiming counted 43 Jin Den monks. All the Jin Den monks are still alive, but their lives are worse than their deaths. Their energy is being sucked away through the shelves behind them. Each shelf is connected to the formation of the space. In the center of the space, there is a spiritual gourd with blood light. The blood, spiritual power and spirit of the 43 golden elixir monks were slowly drawn into the spiritual gourd. And this slow extraction cannot kill the golden elixir monks. The recovery ability of the golden elixir monks has become their nightmare. And the blood, spiritual power and spirit they have recovered will be extracted again. They fell into this situation where life was worse than death and became the material for demon cultivators. Li Shiming was shocked. This method, which was like planting monks, was taboo in the world of immortality. At least not known to the righteous forces. Once it is known that there is a force that dares to use this method to treat monks as cows, then the righteous forces will definitely exterminate that force. Of course, there are still many such methods in the world of immortal cultivation in private. Who knows that the magic cultivation method has such a shortcut, which will allow monks to be greatly improved in a short period of time. 
Chong Chi did not look at the 43 golden elixir monks. Nor did he care about the bloody spiritual gourd. The resources collected by the spirit gourd here will be used for the cultivation of gene and monks. By using this method, Yu Xiang Trading Company can cultivate more powerful golden elixir demon cultivators. And Yu Xiang Trading Company has a special secret method that can hide the aura of magic power. Chong Chi came to another connected space. This place was different from the outside space. Nine formation nodes were distinguished here. In the center of the nine formation nodes, there was also a spiritual gourd with blood. Currently, six monks have been placed among the nine formation nodes. These six monks are all early Yuanning monks. Their bodies are covered with needle-shaped magic treasures. And their bodies are completely unable to move. Just like the golden elixir monks outside, the energy in their bodies is being extracted. Li Shiming suppressed the anger in his heart and saw Jian Wuwei. Jian Wuwei is one of the six Yuanying monks. This Yuanying sword cultivator no longer has the luster in his eyes that he had when he was promoted to Yuanying. It's a pity that even if you want to die, you can't do it here. As long as there is still use value. The energy in the body will continue to be extracted until it completely loses its function, and then it will be disposed of. When Chang Chi came here, the demonic aura on his body was no longer hidden. The black aura was rising on his body. And he looked at the six early Yuanying monks with a look of pride in his eyes. Only a commercial force, like Yu Xiang Trading Company, has such convenience, and can capture so many nascent soul cultivators without being noticed by any force. This is related to the target selected by Yu Xiang Trading Company. Yu Xiang Trading Company never attacks established monks. The monks they selected were all monks who traveled alone and had no connections with the major forces in the eastern Qi continent. And every time they arrested a monk, they took advantage of the reputation of Yu Xiang Trading Company, used methods to poison the monk, and then used their superior combat power to suppress the monk in one fell swoop. Chong Qi cast a spell at the spiritual gourd in the middle, and a stream of energy flew out from the spiritual gourd. The nascent soul above his head came out of the body, and the nascent soul opened its mouth and was about to absorb this energy. By sharing the phantom dragon's eyes and perception, Li Shiming sensed the specialness of this energy. This energy should be the blood of the nascent soul. Nascent soul is a product of energy, and theoretically there should be no blood. The so-called blood of the Yuanying is the special energy that makes up the Yuanying. It is the fusion energy body of the soul, spiritual power and vitality of the Yuanying monk as well as his understanding of his own skills. Jian Wu's consciousness was still awake, which made him even more painful. After he sensed the magic aura on Chang Chi's body, there was a glimmer of light in his eyes. He looked at Chang Chi with hatred. He could not forgive these demon cultivators, but his situation left him helpless. He couldn't even deliver the message to the outside world. Otherwise, he could be rescued as long as he contacted Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. Just as Jian Wuwei watched Chang Chi's nascent soul about to swallow the nascent soul's blood extracted from his body, he saw that the nascent soul suddenly stopped moving, and even the half-flying nascent soul's blood was swallowed up again. The spirit gourd sucked it back. Behind Chang Chi's Yuanying, an elegant five-clawed dragon showed its figure. Chang Chi's nascent soul has two tooth cavities, and black venom is spreading in the tooth cavities. He wanted to send a message, but let alone send a message. He couldn't even control the nascent soul. This is the poison of the phantom dragon. Not to mention the early Yuanying monk from a medium-sized force like him. Even if a middle-stage Yuanying monk from a large sect is bitten, this terrifying poison is enough to make the opponent unable to bear it. Jian Wuwei saw the sudden appearance of the phantom dragon, and his eyes were full of hope. Since the phantom dragon attacked Chang Chi, it meant that the phantom dragon was Chang Chi's enemy. He didn't care about death. Even if the phantom dragon killed him, it would be better than being reduced to the furnace of a demon cultivator. However, the phantom dragon did not go on a killing spree, but looked at the six restrained early Yuanying monks in a humane manner. The six early stage nascent soul monks were all energetic at this time. Although they were still unable to move, they knew that this kind of day would be over soon. Li Shiming hesitated for a moment, then put on a mask and hid the aura of his sword intent climb to the sky technique, revealing only the aura of the Jade Pure Thunder Code. He didn't want to recognize Jin Wuwei. The identity of Li Shiming, the master of alchemy in Beishu Continent, was really too much for him in Beishu Continent. He is living a very good life now, hiding some alchemy abilities, which makes him have extraordinary alchemy talents without being too different. If you are one step ahead of other alchemy masters, that is genius. If you are many steps ahead of other alchemy masters, that is trouble. A big trouble. Fortunately, we were in Beishu Continent, 
so the trouble was much less. If he showed that kind of alchemy ability in Dong Chi Continent, he would have to hide in the sect every day and make alchemy every day. Chapter 589 Rescue Li Shiming took one step forward and South close to the end of the world made him appear in the underground passage. Due to the multiple spiritual barriers in the underground passage, he was unable to use close to the end to directly reach the underground space. He cast the spell, easily opened the spiritual barrier, and entered the underground space. He saw with his own eyes 43 golden elixir monks. He shook his head. Although these golden elixir monks were alive, they could not be saved. The golden elixir monk is different from the Yuanying monk. The soul of the golden elixir monk is still in the body. The demon cultivator can easily obliterate the soul of the golden elixir monk through some means. The situation is different for Yuanying monks. The soul of Yuanying monk is in Yuanying. If you want to obliterate the soul of Yuanying monk, you must destroy Yuanying itself. But the demon cultivator grabbed the Yuanying monk to keep him alive and provide energy. So how could he let the Yuanying monk die like this? Therefore, the 43 golden elixir monks in this space cannot restore the obliterated souls even if they use the third grade top level healing elixir. Even if the 43 gene and cultivators were rescued, there would only be 43 more living dead. I will avenge you! Li Shiming said in a deep voice without touching the 43 golden elixir monks. He walked into another space and observed the formation here with his divine eyes. After seeing Li Shiming's arrival, the desire for survival rose in the eyes of the six early Yuanying monks. They could tell that the monk who appeared was not the Yuanying monk from Yuxiang Trading Company. This can be judged from the aura of Lei Xiao on Li Shiming's body. Yuxiang Trading Company does not have nascent soul Lei Xiao. Fellow Taoists, I accidentally discovered this place. When I crack the formation here, I will save you. Li Shiming saw the survival light in the eyes of the six early Yuanying monks. And he said lightly, he didn't show that he was specifically trying to save Jin Wuwei. And he didn't need Jin Wuwei's thanks. Jian Wuwei is the master of his clone Li Yuanba, and is also his master. The formation here is connected to the formation at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. Once there is an abnormality in the formation here, it will be noticed by the formation. I need some time to solve this problem, Li Shiming continued. It really didn't take long. Just a stick of incense. For him to thoroughly study the formation here. The main reason is that the formation here is a supporting formation for some kind of magic power. He has never seen it before. And its operation concept is also different from the normal formation. Which is why it took so long. He shot multiple spells in succession in his hand. And the light from the spells fell into the formation. As soon as the light of the formation dimmed, the bloodlight spirit gourd in the center of the formation lost its support and fell to the ground. Jian Wuwei felt that the energy flowing out of his body stopped. This was the first time in several years that he had time to breathe. He was no longer being pumped out continuously. The feeling that life was worse than death made him almost crazy. That is to say, every monk who can reach the nascent soul stage must have a firm mind and can still maintain a clear mind under this kind of demonic cultivation method. Li Shiming appeared in front of Jian Wuwei. He looked at the needle-shaped magic treasure on Jian Wuwei's body. This was a set of needle-shaped magic treasures whose quality reached the fourth grade mid-level. The needle-shaped magic treasure not only has the ability to imprison monks, but its sealing method is a second insurance allowing the Yuanying monk's body and Yuanying to be imprisoned at the same time. He used his shen eyes to carefully observe the position where the needle-shaped magic treasure was nailed into Jian Wu's body. Shen's eyes allowed him to see clearly the direction of the spiritual power, thus deducing the core of this method. With the help of the natal magic weapon Z15, he performed more than billions of calculations in a short period of time, allowing him to obtain the closest to real method of restoring confinement. With the restoration method of confinement, it is extremely easy to lift it. Li Shiming's consciousness fell on Jian Wu's body, and he pulled out the needle-shaped magic treasures one by one in a special order. There was a set of 24 needle-shaped magic treasures on Jian Wu's body alone. Jian Wu felt the vitality of Yuanying. Yuanying moved his hands and feet, and he felt his power return to his body. Even though most of the energy remaining in Yuanying was reduced, leaving him in an extremely weak state. This state was already much better than his previous state. He stood up slowly. This action made him want to cry. A simple action. But it was what he wanted to do most in these years. He finally got rid of the suffering that was worse than death. He looked at Li Shiming. The masked Li Xiao. And his heart was filled with gratitude. Li Shiming took off all the needle-shaped magic treasures from the other early Yuanying monks. Like Jian Wuwei. The early Yuanying monks were busy moving their bodies 
after the confinement was lifted. I don't know your benefactor surname. I will definitely repay my benefactor one day. Perhaps Jian Wuwei had been arrested for the shortest time, and his recovery speed was also the fastest. He was the first about to Li Shiming and asked, Li Shurjin of the 10,000 Beasts sect, I don't need to repay you. I just found out and did it conveniently. Li Shiming replied calmly. He didn't dare to let other monks know about his identity. Anyway, the possibility of him dealing with Jian Wuwei in the future was extremely low. He knew that Jian Wuwei was going to Zhongzhou continent. Li Among, if you hadn't come to the rescue, I don't know how long we would have been tortured. After the other five early Yuanying monks had a little mobility, one of the early Yuanying monks said, Okay, and everyone the monks in the early stage of nascent soul followed suit and performed the great ceremony. You guys take a rest first and regain some strength. I'm going to take you guys away, Li Shiming said, helping them up with a wave of his hand. At this time, Jian Wuwei and the other five early Yuanying monks remembered that they were not truly out of danger yet. They knew that there would be at least one mid-stage nascent soul monk guarding the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. They also saw that Li Shiming's level was just that of a monk in the early stage of Yuanying. Even though the attack power of Yuanying Lei Xiao was very strong, there was still a big gap between him and the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying. Li Among, even if I want to regain the strength to fight, it will take at least a hundred days, Jian Wuwei said with a helpless smile. The deficit in his body is really too great, and it cannot be easily made up by simple practice. Li Among, it has been more than fifty years since I was captured. My situation is not as good as this fellow Taoist. I don't have a few years to regain the strength to fight. Another early Yuanying monk was even more helpless. Li Shiming thought for a while and took out the fourth grade healing elixir. What he gave to the five early Yuanying monks was the fourth grade intermediate healing elixir, which he intercepted when refining it for other Yuanying monks. The fourth grade healing elixir given to Jian Wuwei was of higher quality, and it was a fourth grade advanced healing elixir. Take the healing elixir and stabilize your injuries first. You don't need to take action in the battle, he said with a smile. Jian Wuwei's eyes flashed with surprise when he saw the fourth grade high grade healing elixir. From the scent of the elixirs, he smelled from the other five early Yuanying monks. He could tell that the quality of the fourth grade healing elixirs in his hands was not as good as his own. Of. In addition, the value of a fourth grade high level healing elixir was beyond imagination. Li Shiming actually gave him such a fourth grade elixir, which made him make some guesses. The six early Yuanying monks took the fourth grade healing elixir, no matter what they thought in their hearts. Their attitude towards Li Shiming became more respectful. If they put themselves in their shoes, they wouldn't be willing to give away a fourth grade healing elixir of this level to others if they were to switch. How to deal with this gourd? Li Shiming looked at several early Yuanying monks and asked, This is my benefactor's trophy. Although it was extracted from us, it has nothing to do with us. Please collect it yourself. Before Jian Wuwei could speak, another monk in the early stage of nascent souls spoke. He looked at the blood glow spirit gourd with disgust in his eyes. The blood glow spirit gourd was of no use to him and would only bring back those unpleasant memories. Although the blood light spirit gourd contains the nascent soul blood extracted from them, this nascent soul blood cannot be returned to their bodies. Li Shiming didn't refuse. He didn't know how to use the blood of nascent soul but it was a good research material. Three hours later, because they had taken the fourth grade healing elixir, at least six early Yuanying monks could fly freely without fighting. Among them, Jian Wuwei's recovery was the best, except for the deficit of Yuanying in his body. His Yuanying and his body had recovered 80%. As a sword cultivator, even without using the spiritual power in the body, he can still participate in the battle while holding a flying sword. Of course, he couldn't fight the nascent soul cultivator, but he could still kill the Golden Core Cultivator. Let's leave first, Li Shiming said in a deep voice. The six early Yuanying monks did not object. They were a little excited and a little apprehensive about leaving. Maybe they would be truly free after leaving. Or they might meet middle-stage Yuanying monks. But they know very well that if they stay here, there is only one way. And that is to be arrested again. They would rather face death than be caught again and become the furnace of demon cultivators. Li Shiming took them to the outside space. When they saw the 43 Golden Core cultivators outside, they all showed a light of hatred. Most of the souls of these Golden Elixir monks were wiped out, and they are still alive dead when they are rescued, Li Shiming said in a deep voice. My benefactor, let's free them. Jian Wuwei hesitated for a moment and then asked aloud. Jian Wuwei seemed to see himself in them, 
after he was captured and turned into a furnace. He just wanted to die as soon as possible and get rid of this life that was worse than death. After seeing the 43 golden elixir monks, he guessed that if these golden elixir monks were still conscious, they would have the same idea as him. Okay. Li Shiming nodded and agreed. With a tap of his finger, a power grid appeared in the space, and the life breath of the 43 Jin Dan monks disappeared. He flew upwards along the passage with six early Yuanying monks, and stopped before reaching the last spiritual barrier. If you pass this spiritual barrier, you will be discovered by the nascent soul monks at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. I will arrange a formation to protect you, and I will solve the problem at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. Li Shiming finally confessed. Without the spiritual barrier, the auras of the six early Yuanying monks would be as eye-catching as bright lights in the dark night. Without the help of the invisibility ability of the color-changing cloak, they would not be able to remain undetected like Li Shiming. I have the right to choose between life and death, even if it means death. I don't care. If Li Yongwang has a chance, he should leave us alone and escape on his own. The early nascent soul monk, who had been imprisoned for 50 years, said with a smile. He looked at the other early Yuanying monks, and the same ordeal made them have the same idea. It's not that dangerous. It's just a middle stage Yuanying monk and two early stage Yuanying monks from Zhao Yuxiang Trading Company. It's not difficult to deal with him, Li Shiming said with a smile. When he said this, he unconsciously felt a surge of momentum. This is the momentum generated by killing many mid-stage nascent soul monks. And it is the confidence in one's own combat power. He took out several fourth-level formation flags. And a huge right hand appeared in front of his right hand. This was when he displayed a partial form of the nascent soul. Transforming his arm into a form of the nascent soul. In the right hand of nascent soul. He holds the Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer. At this time. The six early stage nascent soul monks were at their weakest and unable to perceive the special features of the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. Li Shiming was not in a hurry to pass the last spiritual barrier, but continuously prepared the ranged thunder attack. Thunder Cloud Spell. The casting of Thunder Cloud Spell requires lead time. With his ability, if prepared in advance, he can maintain 30 Thunder Cloud Spell at the same time. Of course, without this spiritual barrier, the aura of him preparing the Thunder Cloud Spell would have been sensed by the monks at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. It has to be said that the spiritual barrier installed here by the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company is still very powerful, and the shielding effect of this method is excellent. Li Shiming felt strenuous. Most of his spiritual energy was consumed in preparing 30 Thunder Cloud Spells. That is to say, his realm has reached more than two-thirds of the level of the early Yuanying, coupled with the peak combat power of the early Yuanying. He was able to prepare 30 Thunder Cloud Spells at one time. This is the Thunder Cloud Spell of the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer with the blessing of part of the nascent soul dharma. Although it does not reach the power of the complete nascent soul dharma, it is so powerful that it can affect the monks in the middle stage of the nascent soul. Let's go! He said in a deep voice. This time, he used his spiritual consciousness to lead the six early Yuanying monks through the last spiritual barrier and through the passage to the wooden building. As soon as the auras of the six early Yuanying monks appeared, they were detected by the formation. The formation sent an alarm to the important monks at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company, reminding the important monks that six early stage nascent soul monks appeared inside the headquarters. Something happened! The mid-stage nascent soul monk, who was sitting in the cave, discovered the auras of the six early stage nascent soul monks one step ahead of the formation. He sensed the location of the six early stage nascent soul monks and immediately screamed. That was the entrance to the underground space where the six early Yuanying monks had arranged their cauldrons for their cultivation. The presence of the auras of the six early Yuanying monks indicated that the six Yuanying cauldrons underground had escaped. Chapter 590 Solution The mid-stage nascent soul monk from the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company left the cave in a flash. He was the fastest. The other two early stage nascent soul monks also knew that something had happened. But they were all delayed by their own affairs. So he didn't come out of the cave in time. Jian Wuwei worked hard to hold his natal flying sword tightly. Preparing to fight for his life. Although he and the other five early Yuanying monks were protected by the formation arranged by the fourth grade formation flag. This formation was unable to block the attacks of the mid-stage nascent soul monks. He has sensed the breath of the monk in the middle stage of Yuanying. This breath is something he can't forget. It was this monk in the middle stage of Yuanying who captured him and became the furnace of the demon cultivator. Except for the natal flying sword in Yuanying. 
everything else is gone. The reason why he can keep the natal flying sword is because the natal flying sword exists in the form of energy in the Yuaning body. Unless he is killed, there is no way to forcefully take out the natal flying sword from his nascent soul. Jian Wu tried for a moment and then gave up. The spiritual power in his body was simply not enough to drive his natal flying sword to attack from a distance. This made his sword cultivation methods incapable of even fighting back when facing nascent soul enemies. Even if he wanted to fight desperately, he was not qualified to fight against Yuan Ying's enemies. There was a boom, followed by continuous boom, sounds that exploded above the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. Li Shiming took action. And the 30. Thunder cloud spells he had prepared long ago were activated by him. Since the thunder cloud spell was cast inside the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company, the large formation at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company could not suppress the thunder cloud spell at all. The terrifying aura of thunder enveloped the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company, and the only mid stage nascent soul monk looked above his head in shock. As for the monks at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company, who were below the nascent soul stage, their livers and gallbladders were torn apart at this time, before the thunder cloud spell could really attack them. The souls of the monks who were slightly weaker were directly destroyed by the terrifying power. Each of the thunder cloud spells cast by Li Shiming has the power of the peak of the early Yuanying. The combined power of 30 of them is impossible for monks in the early Yuanying to resist. He had murderous intentions towards Yuxiang Trading Company and was not prepared to leave any survivors at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. Although he knew something about the actions of the demon sects, no matter how those demon sects acted, it had nothing to do with him. But this time Yu Xiang Trading Company caught Jian Wu Wei, who was the master of his clone Li Yuanba. The master of the clone Li Yuanba is equivalent to Li Shiming's master. Of course, Li Shiming has to say this for his master. The way he vented his anger was to wipe out the headquarters of Yu Xiang Trading Company. The mid-stage nascent soul monk did not immediately attack the six early-stage nascent soul monks. Although he was a mid-stage nascent soul monk, he did not dare to underestimate the 30 thunder cloud spells above his head. The monk is naturally afraid of thunder. He took out a defensive magic weapon and prepared a defense for himself. The thunder and lightning brewed by the thunder cloud spell fell and attacked every place in the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company indiscriminately. The monks in the middle stage of Yuanying saw thunder and lightning falling, and the formations at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company were shattered one after another. Even the caves of the two monks in the early stage of Yuanian could not escape such a fate. Be careful. Come to me quickly. The mid-stage nascent soul monk shouted loudly to the two early stage nascent soul monks from Yuxiang Trading Company. He also carried the defensive magic weapon and moved towards the two early nascent soul monks. Unfortunately, with this level of thunder cloud spell, he could not move too fast. Every moment, Several thunderbolts containing the terrifying aura of thunder fell on his defensive magic weapon, forcing him to increase his spiritual energy investment in the defensive magic weapon. Even so, his spiritual imprint in the defensive magic weapon was constantly being worn away by the repeated attacks of thunder and lightning. This is the most terrifying thing about the thunder and lightning. The thunder has a natural restraint effect on spiritual substances, and the spiritual imprint is being restrained by the thunder. There was no other way. The monk in the middle stage of nascent soul changed to another defensive magic weapon. He also understood that this defensive magic weapon could not last long. He was able to sustain himself under 30. Thunder cloud spells. Because his level was much higher than that of Li Shiming. And Li Shiming's. Thunder cloud spell. Was not powerful enough to damage him. But this does not mean that he can ignore the. Thunder cloud spell. If the. Thunder cloud spell. Really hits his body. It will also cause him considerable harm. He was still moving, but he couldn't help but stop again, because he did not need to save the two early Yuanying monks from Yuxiang Trading Company. After the formation of the two early Yuanying monks in the cave was broken, they were killed by several thunder and lightning before they could even leave the cave. Under this large area range attack, it was still a continuous range attack. Even if the two Yuanying monks in the early stages of the Yuanying came out of their bodies, the Yuanying would be directly attacked by thunder and lightning. You must know that this is the peak level sky thunder attack in the early stage of Yuanying. Even one of the sky thunder and lightning cannot be defended by the two early Yuanying monks. Let alone the continuous sky thunder and lightning attacks. You are looking for death. The mid-stage Yuanying monk gave up on saving the two early stage Yuanying monks from Yuxiang Trading Company. He turned to look at Li Shiming and roared. At this moment, he felt a little regretful. He should have immediately killed Lei Xiu, 
who was using the Thunder Method. In that case, he might be able to save the two early nascent soul monks in time. His nascent soul flew out of his body. And the moment it flew out, it enlarged and transformed into the form of the nascent soul. The speed at which he performed the nascent soul technique was extremely fast. And it could be seen that this must also be a secret technique. In order to cast the nascent soul dharma so quickly, he consumed a lot of nascent soul's blood. And at the expense of this, he could achieve such a speed. Although the secret method of magic cultivation has various strange effects. These effects are not without cost. And the cost is not small. But it has to be said that the secret method of magic cultivation can always have a very powerful effect in battle. Just like now. Underly Shimming's 30. Thunder Cloud Spells. It would not be easy for a normal Yuaning monk to cast the Yuaning spell. Li Shimming was also startled. But the second attack he prepared arrived. The Traceless Illusion Sword blew soundlessly in front of the nascent soul technique of the monk in the middle stage of Yuaning. The secret sword control method of Sky Thunder Sword Intent and Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju made this blow more powerful. The power exceeds the realm barrier of the early nascent soul. I have to say that the Traceless Magic Sword, refined by Li Shiming, with 90 million sharp runes and 10 million sharp formations was not in vain. Although it did not achieve the expected effect the first time it was used to deal with the mid-nascent soul monks of the Hidden Sun sect. The effect was still extremely strong against the mid-nascent soul monks of medium-sized forces, like Yuxiang Trading Company. The monk's nascent soul form in the middle stage of Yuaning was too late when it sends the Traceless Illusion Sword. The Traceless Illusion Sword cut through the defense of the Yuaning form and entered the interior of the form. The defensive power of the nascent soul Dharma in the middle stage of nascent soul is very powerful. But who would have encountered the Traceless Illusion Sword? The fourth grade top level calamity magic weapon is focused on the sharpness of the natal flying sword and is driven by the top sword cultivation techniques in the world of immortality. This sword is so sharp that it can break through the defense of any mid-stage nascent soul monk at will. The Traceless Illusion Sword entered the inner body of the nascent soul and the Heavenly Thunder Sword intent immediately erupted, exuding the power of the Heavenly Thunder Sword intent to all around. The Traceless Illusion Sword did not stop inside the nascent soul dharma, but continued to pass through and cut. The corners of Jian Wu's eyes twitched. Of course, he saw the secret technique of sword cultivation and control performed by Li Shiming. And he even sensed a hint of the sword intention climbing to the sky technique. He glanced at Li Shiming. But he only felt Lei Xiao's aura from Li Shiming. As if the flying sword that appeared strangely was controlled by another monk. His judgment was not wrong. The thunder method used by Mu Lei Yuanying and the Traceless Phantom Sword used by Jin Lei Yuaning were theoretically performed by two monks respectively. Li Shiming only let the Mu Lei nascent soul reveal its aura, and hid the Jin Lei nascent soul's aura. Probably Jian Wu Wei didn't expect that there would be multiple Yuaning monks if there were Yuaning monks, and the multiple Yuanings would also practice different techniques. You must know that even if a Yuaning monk practices special skills and gives birth to two Yuanings, it is impossible for the two Yuanings to practice different skills respectively. A monk's time is limited, and it is impossible to waste time on multiple exercises. The skills practiced by Yuanying monks need to be accepted by Yuanying before they can be truly mastered. The difficulty is far from what it was before. In the nascent soul stage, not many monks practice too much concurrently, mainly due to lack of energy and time. Although the thousand years of life of a Yuanying monk seems to be a lot, it cannot be wasted. It takes a lot of time for a Yuanying monk to practice just one technique. Wasting time may prevent the Yuanying monk from advancing to the next level before the end of his lifespan. Jian Wuwei couldn't understand the situation in front of him. And he didn't want to ask too much. The Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion is very strict in recruiting disciples. But the Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion has been passed down for tens of thousands of years. And there will still be a small number of inheritances left outside. Even Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion will only turn a blind eye. Those who can obtain a small part of the inheritance of Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion are more or less the same as the sword cultivators of Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion. There is some relationship. The inheritance of Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion cannot be obtained by threatening and robbing. It requires the sword cultivator of Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion to take the initiative to inherit it. In addition, Li Shiming was his benefactor who saved his life. So he would also turn a blind eye to this matter. Jian Wei saw the mid-stage nascent soul form of Yuxiang Trading Company. 
and a look of horror flashed in his eyes. Even among the early Yuaning sword cultivators of Sword and Tent Chengxiao Pavilion, there are very few who can fight across realms. Those sword cultivators who can fight with Midnace and Soul monks at the early stage of Yuaning are all legendary sword cultivators. At least Jian Wuwei has not heard of any sword cultivator in the current Sword and Tension Chengxiao Pavilion. Who can do it? There is a chasm between the early and middle stages of Nascent Soul, making it almost impossible to fight across levels. But the battle in front of them was between the monks in the early stage of Yuaning suppressing the monks in the middle stage of Yuaning. The monks in the middle stage of Yuaning all displayed the Yuaning Dharma. But they saw that the Yuaning Dharma was about to be scattered. Li Shiming felt very relaxed. He finally understood that there was a huge difference between the monks in the middle stage of Yuaning and the monks in the middle stage of Yuaning. There is a huge difference in combat power between the mid-stage Yuaning monks at the core of large sects and the mid-stage Yuaning monks from medium-sized forces. Li Shiming didn't even use his real trump card. He just used the abilities of Lei Xiao and Sword Cultivator to suppress the mid-stage nascent soul monks from Yuxiang Trading Company. Thunder is coming! His transformed Yuaning Dharma image arm pointed at the Yuaning Dharma image of the mid-stage Yuaning monk. And he shouted loudly. The lightning strike spell is the fastest among single lightning spells. And it is more powerful than the range attack. Thunder cloud spell. A white light flashed. And the thunder and lightning had already hit the nascent soul Dharma form when the white light appeared. Within the nascent soul's Dharma form, there was the cutting of the traceless phantom sword and the raging of the heavenly thunder sword intention and there was the heavy blow of the lightning strike spell outside. The monks in the middle stage of the nascent soul, who were struggling to hold on could no longer hold on. The nascent soul image exploded from the inside outwards. A small nascent soul was like a frightened rabbit, and a jade talisman cracked in its little hand. A ray of light emitted from the jade talisman, wrapping the nascent soul, and the light took the nascent soul and fled into the distance. Li Shiming was already prepared. Activated. South close to the end of the world and took one step forward. His natal magic weapon Z-15 accurately calculated Yuaning's flight trajectory. And, south close to the end, led him to block Yuaning's flight trajectory. The, sky strike thunder hammer, in his hand erupted into a thunder net. The thunder net formed by the sky thunder and lightning covered the area near nascent soul and nascent soul. Jian Wei stared at Li Shiming's fighting figure, and he recognized it as Shin Tong. Although the environment for cultivating immortals in Beishu Continent is not as good as other continents, its inheritance of magical powers is beyond other continents. Of course, perhaps there is an illusion that the Beishu Continent has been controlled by a few major sects for thousands of years, so that all magical powers are concentrated in the hands of a few major sects, so that it appears that there are many magical powers. In addition, due to this centralized monopoly, the inheritance of magical powers in the northern Shu Continent has not been cut off. This has resulted in a large number of types and quantities of magical powers in the northern Shu continent. Jian Wuwei did not recognize Li Shiming's identity. He just wondered whether Li Shiming was born in the northern Shu continent. The inheritance of Shin Tong was extremely rare in other continents. But he quickly dismissed this idea. Even the nascent soul monks in the northern Shu continent could not have such combat power. When he was beheading the mid-stage nascent soul in the early stage of Yuanying, the only thing he could think of was the ultimate monster among the great forces in the world of immortality that could only be seen in millions of years. The battle is over. And Nascent Soul faces the Heavenly Strike Thunder Hammer. The result is that Nascent Soul is completely defeated. The Nascent Soul was struck to pieces by thunder and lightning, leaving only a fourth grade mid-level natal magic weapon left alone. Li Shiming shook his head. This middle stage Nascent Soul monk from Yuxiang Trading Company was really too poor. He put away the 4th grade mid-level natal magic weapon. This thing was probably just a collection and had no value to him. He then went to remove the mustard ring from the corpse of the monk in the middle stage of Yuanying, who had not yet arrived and was taken away by Yuanying. Chapter 591 Separation Li Shiming's consciousness scanned the mustard seed ring and found no special spiritual objects. Even if there were spiritual objects of some value, he did not notice them. His spiritual consciousness swept through the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company and retrieved the mustard seed rings of the two early Yuaning monks. He also found some fourth grade magic weapons from the destroyed cave. These nascent soul monks are not the only ones who have caves at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. Although other nascent soul monks are not here, their caves are all here. Although monks have the habit of carrying spiritual objects with them, some spiritual objects that are not needed but have some meaning will still be placed in the cave. The many 4th grade magic weapons 
that Li Shiming found in these caves are the exhibits in these caves. He took out another post-locking disc. And his spiritual consciousness found the spiritual veins at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. He activated the secret method of transferring the pulse. And he absorbed the spiritual veins here into the pulse locking disc. His consciousness also entered the formation, which was closed by him. And the fourth grade formation materials that were still available in the formation were removed one by one by him. It's a pity that the 30 thunder cloud spells he cast hit too wide. In addition to these gains, everything else in the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company was destroyed by thunder and lightning. Do you still have your natal magic weapon? Li Shiming came to the six early Yuanning monks and asked while putting away the fourth grade formation flag. My natal flying sword is still there. Jian Wuwei was the first to reply. The rest of the early Yuanning monks shook their heads. Their natal magic weapon had experienced a long-term energy plunder and could not maintain the energy of the natal magic weapon. So it was taken away by the Yuxiang Trading Company's Yuanying monks. You can each take one of these fourth grade magic weapons. Li Shiming said to the five early stage nascent soul monks who had lost their own magic weapons. He had saved the early nascent soul monks and would not let them get into trouble again because they were unable to protect themselves. They were given a fourth grade magic weapon that had just been found from the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company. Yuxiang Trading Company compensated them at that time. This is for you. Li Shiming threw another mustard seed ring to Jin Wuwei and said, in the eyes of the other five early Yuanning monks, this was because Jian Wuwei failed to obtain a fourth grade magic weapon. And Li Shiming used a mustard seed ring instead. But after Jian Wuwei took the mustard seed ring and stamped it with his own spiritual mark, he discovered that the mustard seed ring was not empty. His consciousness discovered a large number of spiritual objects in the mustard seed ring. In particular, several fourth grade magic weapons allowed him to recognize the owner of this mustard seed ring. It was the mustard seed ring of the monk in the middle stage of nascent soul, who had just fought with Li Shiming. He wanted to say something. But after seeing Li Shiming shake his head slightly, he stopped talking. Everyone, let's say goodbye, Li Shiming said in a deep voice. Farewell to Liang Long. Six early Yuanying monks, including Jin Wuwei, bowed. After accepting this great favor, they knew Li Shiming's identity and wanted to repay him when they had the opportunity in the future. Of course, except for Jin Wuwei. The other five early Yuanying monks understood that even if they wanted to repay the favor, they would probably have no chance. Li Shiming was a monk from the 10,000 Beasts sect, so there was no way he could compare to nascent souls like them who were living outside. They had been trapped at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company for too long and did not know Li Shirjin's reputation. They would only find out how Master Li became famous after they inquired. By then, let alone repaying the favor. They would need to make an appointment in advance even if they wanted to meet Li Shiming. There will definitely be dozens of nascent soul cultivators who want to work for Li Shiming. As long as Li Shiming puts it forward. Only Jian Wuwei believed that he was capable of repaying the favor. No matter what Li Shiming's identity is. Jian Wuwei's identity as a sword cultivator of Chongxiao Pavilion will one day be able to help Li Shiming. At the same time, Jian Wuwei also felt that Li Shiming treated him differently. Even though he was born in Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. He had always grown up in Beishu Continent, even if his original space items were still there. Li Shiming did not give them to him casually. The value of his mustard ring is high. Yuxiang Trading Company I am afraid that it will be reduced to the bottom of the medium-sized forces from now on. I will recover some strength earlier and seek revenge from Yuxiang Trading Company. A monk in the early stage of nascent soul looked at the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company in front of him. The wreckage did not eliminate the hatred in his heart. He said solemnly, we must not let go of Yuxiang Trading Company. Even if our strength is damaged, we can still kill some of the golden elixirs of Yuxiang Trading Company and destroy their industry. Another early Yuanning monk also nodded. Even though the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company was destroyed like this, at least Yuxiang Trading Company still had two mid-stage nascent soul monks, as well as a large number of early-stage nascent soul monks. The destruction of the headquarters of Yuxiang Trading Company only caused Yuxiang Trading Company to lose its foundation. But as long as the two mid-nascent soul monks return in time, the situation can still be stabilized. Are you willing to take revenge with me? If you are willing, we can make a blood oath to advance and retreat together. An early Yuanying monk looked at several other early Yuanying monks and suggested. The six early nascent soul monks were all persecuted and were tortured together in the underground space. Although they could not speak to each other at the time. This also allowed them to establish a special emotion. I agree. I'm joining. 
I'll join in too. Except for Jin Wuwei. The rest of the early Yuanying monks chose to advance and retreat together, which was also a way of self-protection. Apart from a fourth grade magic weapon given by Li Shiming, they now have no other combat capabilities. Even if it is a fourth grade magic weapon, given the condition of the nascent soul in their bodies at this time, they cannot control the fourth grade magic weapon. In this extremely weak state, the best option is to work together. At least a few nascent soul monks are together, even if they have no combat power. The number alone can make other nascent soul monks dare not act rashly. Let's leave too. It's not safe here. Jian Wei reminded in a deep voice. Jian Wei will not join them. As long as he returns to Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion, he will have many choices. You can return to Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion. Use the resources and training environment of Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion to restore your own strength as soon as possible. And then personally take revenge on Yu Xiang Trading Company. You can also report your encounter to Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion and ask the sword cultivators of Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion to take action in the form of a task. The result of that would be that Yu Xiang Trading Company would be completely wiped out. The other five early Yuanning monks did not force Jian Wuwei. They flew away from the headquarters of Yu Xiang Trading Company together, and Jian Wuwei left from the other direction. After flying a certain distance, Jian Wuwei took out a fourth grade low level small flying boat from the mustard ring, and he entered the flying boat. As long as you don't want to fly at a faster speed, the energy contained in the airship alone can make the airship fly, okay, without the intervention of a monk. This is what Li Shiming left in the mustard ring. It is the flying boat of the monk in the middle stage of Yuanying. In the affairs cave of Jinny Cho Shao Pavilion, Li Yuanba was handing over a task with his companions. With a smile on his face, the real body Li Shiming rescued his master Jin Wuwei, so that Li Yuanba could finally let go of his worries about Jin Wuwei. As for how Jian Wuwei was able to return to the Zhongzhou continent from the eastern Qi continent, the wealth in the mustard ring given to Jian Wuwei by Li Shiming was enough for Jian Wuwei to return through regular business channels. I think Jian Wuwei suffered the loss this time and will not be deceived again. In fact, this can only be blamed on Jian Wuwei himself. Since he has never returned to Jinny Chou Shao Pavilion, he does not act as a sword cultivator of Jinny Chou Shao Pavilion outside. This made the monks of Yu Xiang Trading Company think that he was a baseless nascent soul monk. After Yu Xiang Trading Company succeeded, they would not be able to let him go even if they knew his background. If Jin Wuwei, as a sword cultivator of sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion, had reserved a location for a long distance voyage at any trading firm, it would be absolutely impossible for this kind of thing to happen again. The domineering style of Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion will make any monk with different intentions dare not take action. Yuan Ba, why are you so happy? Yuan Xiao asked curiously when she saw Li Yuan Ba suddenly laughing. It's nothing. I just completed another mission. And I'm happy to get the benefits. Li Yuan Ba casually found a reason. Ha ha. With your joining. Our team can complete the mission so quickly. Yuan Xiao said with a smile. I don't know if it's due to the chaos in the world of immortality in recent times. But sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion sect annihilating missions have appeared one after another. Yuan Xiao's team took on three sect eradicating missions in a short period of time and completed them all quickly. Even other teams were extremely surprised by this efficiency in completing the task. Don't underestimate the mission of annihilating the sect. Any mission of annihilating the sect must be handled with caution. Analyze and study the sect's intelligence in advance. And have a detailed understanding of the sect's formation, power, and relationship network. When launching an attack, try to kill the Yuanying monks of the sect as much as possible. And do not allow too many Yuanying monks of the sect to survive. With the addition of Li Yuanba, he can easily break through the sect's formation in terms of formations. Once Li Yuanba's group attack method, 10,000 sword peaks, is activated, he can do it as long as he does not encounter a particularly powerful Yuanying early stage monk. To widespread suppression, with his help, and the fact that the other five nascent soul sword cultivators in the same team are not weak in strength. We have achieved our current results. Old rules. The fourth grade flying sword belongs to you. But I won't give these fourth grade flying swords to you. Each of us will take a fourth grade flying sword and use this rest time to bless the fourth grade flying sword. Intention. Yun Xiao began to distribute the spoils. He distributed the other items and finally said. Yun Xiao and several other team members have discussed this matter. Wan Jianfeng is not only Li Yuanba's magic weapon, but also an important combat power of the team. The stronger 10,000 swords peak is the more helpful it is to the team members. So they chose to cultivate 10,000 swords peaks together. 
Thank you a lot. Li Yuanba said happily. These five nascent soul sword cultivators refine the fourth grade flying sword. And after a period of cultivation, the fourth grade flying sword can contain their sword intent. Their sword intent is the sword intent of the early stage of nascent soul. And more importantly, their sword intent is more unique, which will increase the diversity of the fourth grade sword intent in 10,000 swords peak. The more types of fourth grade sword intentions there are in 10,000 swords peak, the more powerful they will be facing the enemy's defense. As long as there are enough types of fourth grade sword intentions in 10,000 swords peak, there will always be fourth grade sword intentions that target the enemy's defensive weaknesses. If any of you have any elixirs and need to refine a fourth grade elixir, I can help. Li Yuanba thought for a while and said, his level of alchemy is not low. Taking this opportunity to repay his teammates can also deepen the relationship with them. After all, he has not been with them for a long time. Hey, you can also make elixirs? Yun Shao said in surprise. If he hadn't known that Li Yuanba wouldn't lie about this kind of thing, he would have thought that Li Yuanba was joking. Yuanba, let's talk about it first. Whether your alchemy ability is good or not, don't waste our elixir. Du Lei, who has a more straightforward personality, said, Bring me some elixir first. Then you'll know. Li Yuanba said to Du Lei with a smile. This is my elixir. You can refine it as much as you can. Unexpectedly, Du Lei directly took out seven fourth grade elixirs and handed them to Li Yuanba and said, Although his character is outspoken, he has a good heart. He is considering using his own elixir to test Li Yuanba's alchemy level. I don't have the recipe for these two fourth grade elixirs, so I can't refine them into a training auxiliary elixir. These five fourth grade elixirs plus some third grade elixirs can be used to refine five furnaces of fourth grade elixirs for training auxiliaries. Li Yuanba he returned the two fourth grade elixirs to Du Lei and said, These two fourth grade elixirs should be regarded as the reward for alchemy. Alchemy masters receive their rewards in advance. Du Lei said, as he pushed the two fourth grade elixirs back. He didn't care about the two fourth grade elixirs, since they couldn't be refined into cultivation auxiliary elixirs. Then these two fourth grade elixirs were of no use. It would be more useful to give them to Li Yuanba, who could make elixirs. By the way, the rule is I will keep one of the three Chung Don. Li Yuanba reminded again. This is the rule of alchemy. We all know it. Yun Xiao replied with a smile. Li Yuanba was really afraid that they didn't know that these guys were all swordsmen. Not swordsmen who were engaged in production. He had misunderstood these sword cultivators. Although they did not produce. The elixir they obtained would still be refined into elixirs by the alchemy master. Therefore, they are very clear about the rules of the alchemy master. Even if they are swordsmen, they try not to offend the alchemy master. Li Yuanba took the elixir, turned around and left first. It seems that Yuanba's alchemy level is very high. Yun Xiao said to several companions with a smile after Li Yuanba left. Yun Xiao, how did you tell? Zhu Xian asked in disbelief. There are very few sword cultivators who have extremely strong alchemy talents. The main reason is that sword cultivators are mainly based on metallic spiritual roots. And the exercises they practice are also metal-based exercises. And few are related to fire-based exercises. Therefore, sword cultivators are the least likely to have alchemy masters among them. In addition, sword cultivators focus on fighting, which is also different from the alchemy master's habits. Yuan Ba said that he knew how to make alchemy because he wanted to thank us for refining the flying sword for him. If he was not sure, would he bring it up? Yun Xiao said with a smile. Chapter 592 Visitor a few days later, Du Lei received a notice from Li Yuanba and went to Li Yuanba's cave. The other nascent soul sword cultivators in the team came together. They had nothing to do recently anyway, and they were curious about Li Yuanba's alchemy ability. In the hall of the cave, Li Yuanba brought spiritual fruits and spiritual tea to entertain the team of nascent soul sword cultivators. Du Lei, fortunately you have lived up to your fate, Li Yuanba said as he handed a jade bottle to Du Lei. Du Lei took the jade bottle. His spiritual consciousness entered the jade bottle. And a look of astonishment appeared on his face. Du Lei. What's going on? Is there something wrong? Zhu Xian, a female swordsman, couldn't stand Du Lei's performance and asked repeatedly. Yu and Ba. I didn't expect your alchemy level to be so high. Du Lei ignored Zhu Xian and praised Li Yuan Ba. Even though Yun Xiao had said before that Li Yuan Ba's alchemy ability should be pretty good, he never thought that Li Yuanba's alchemy ability was so high. In the jade bottle in his hand, among the ten fourth-grade elixirs, eight are fourth-grade intermediate elixirs. 
and two or fourth grade high level elixirs. Li Yu and Ba deliberately lowered his alchemy level. Otherwise, these ten fourth grade elixirs would all be of high quality. But in that case, it would be too dazzling. Yun Xiao and the other nascent soul sword cultivators were extremely curious, especially Zhu Xian, who had the urge to snatch the jade bottle from Du Lei and check it out. Yun Xiao, you should also take a look. Du Lei handed the jade bottle in his hand to Yun Xiao. Yun Xiao took the jade bottle and scanned it with his consciousness. The expression on his face was equally wonderful. He handed the jade bottle to Zhu Xian. You and Ba, your alchemy skills are much better than those guys who claim to be alchemy masters. From now on, we will be looking for trouble in alchemy. Zhu Xian exclaimed. Soon all the nascent soul sword cultivators had seen the fourth grade elixir in the jade bottle. And they all had smiles on their faces. The nascent soul sword cultivator and his team has such an ability to make alchemy. After he seizes the fourth grade elixir, he can ask Li Yuanba to make the elixir so that he can make the best use of the fourth grade elixir. Yun Xiao, with my level of alchemy, can I set the alchemy reward as a fourth grade flying sword that contains sword intent? Li Yuanba had already had an idea and asked Yun Xiao. Of course there is no problem. We sword cultivators only focus on our natal flying swords. It is not difficult to waste some time on cultivating a fourth grade flying sword. Yun Xiao understood what Li Yuanba meant. He thought about it and nodded. Yun Xiao is very supportive of this idea. In the final analysis, it is all to strengthen. 10,000 swords peak. The stronger the power of 10,000 swords peak is, it will not only be good for Li Yuanba, it will also be of great benefit to their team. The biggest weakness of a sword cultivator is the range attack. Even if a natal flying sword uses the secret method of dividing the sword light, the range of the range attack is also limited. 10,000 swords peak. A magic weapon that launches attacks from 10,000 flying swords can make up for the team's lack of range attacks. The most important thing is that the power erupted by 10,000 swords peak is enough to easily suppress multiple early Yuanying monks at the same time. Every increase in the power of 10,000 swords peak is equivalent to an increase in the team's combat power. I don't intend to make alchemy to others. I only accept the alchemy reward of the fourth grade flying sword containing sword intent to refine the elixir for my sex sword. Please help spread the word. Li Yuanba said with a smile. Help me refine the elixir first. And then, I will give you another fourth grade flying sword. I have a lot of fourth grade flying swords in my collection. Shui Xian was afraid that she would be slow. So she followed. Shui Xuan, Yuanba will definitely give priority to the team. You don't have to worry. Everyone who has fourth grade elixirs will give it to Yuanba to help refine the elixir. The reward must be given. We can't break the rules. In addition, you must also help Yuan Ba contacted fellow sword cultivator to expand the alchemy business. Yun Xiao waved his hand and said. Several nascent soul sword cultivators had just experienced many sect exterminations and had accumulated some fourth grade elixirs in their hands. They took out the fourth grade elixirs one after another and made appointments with Li Yuan Ba to make elixirs. At the same time, he also said that he would help Li Yuan Ba introduce the alchemy business. They all grew up in Jianyi Chou Xiao Pavilion since childhood, and their interpersonal relationships were not comparable to Li Yuanba's. In the following days, Li Yuanba began to refine alchemy. Since the sword intention climbing into the sky, he practiced was not a fire-based technique. His six yang spiritual fire could not be improved normally. However, he also has a way to improve the six yang spiritual fire. He has tried it when he went out to be alone. He can transform into the corpse refining state at will, and will not suffer the catastrophe again. Whenever the six yang spiritual fire is consumed too much, he will set up a corpse refining array in the cave and transform himself into a corpse refining state to enter the corpse refining array. At this moment, Li Yuanba was sitting in the corpse refining formation. His whole body was golden, and he was in the form of a golden corpse. The form of his golden corpse is no different from that of ordinary people, except that the skin is golden. This is the state of the golden corpse that is automatically balanced by the Tai Chi Dao body, which is the same as his human state. His human state is in the early stage of nascent soul. After nearly two years of training, his state of early stage of nascent soul has stabilized. This made the state of his golden corpse equally stable and made his golden corpse form like a normal person. He has not tried the combat power of the golden corpse state. But one thing is certain. His golden corpse state combat power is not as good as the Golden Corpse Black Shield. 
This is related to the relatively low level of the corpse refining technique he practiced. Evil Corpse Spiritual Record is a corpse refining technique obtained in the Beishu continent. In fact, he also has a corpse refining technique, which is the Sun Hiding Corpse Refining Technique of the Hidden Sun Sect. However, he is in Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion, and he dare not practice the corpse technique here. Switching to the corpse refining method requires maintaining the state of corpse refining for a period of time. He currently needs to practice elixirs for the nascent soul sword and does not have time to retreat for a long time. However, he has put it on the agenda to practice the Sun Covering Corpse Refining Technique. The main reason is that the Evil Corpse Spirit Record will hardly have any effect on increasing the combat power of the Golden Corpse when it reaches the nascent soul stage. The Sun Covering Corpse Refining Technique is different. This is the Sun Covering Sect's strongest corpse refining method, and it includes the corpse self-cultivation method. At the level of the Golden Corpse, the corpse refiner has some independent consciousness and may be able to practice corresponding techniques. Just like the Golden Corpse and Black Shield, they practice the Waffle Resentment skill in the Golden Corpse transformed by Li Yuanba. The Xian Yin Fire automatically balances the energy of the Six Yang Spirit Fire, and the energy reduced by the Xian Yin Fire is caused by the Yin energy of the corpse refining formation beside him. Cold Energy Supplement Li Shiming lived a very peaceful life, and the conflict between the 10,000 Beast Sect and the Hiding Sun Sect did not affect him. His record of killing the middle stage Yuan Ying monks of the Hidden Sun Sect was concealed by his master, the great monk Hu, and was not known to outsiders. And they also knew that he killed the six early Yuan Ying monks of Yuxiang Trading Company. Five of the early Yuan Ying monks were recovering in seclusion and had no contact with the outside world. It was even more impossible for Jin Wu to leak the news. So Li Shiming's strong record did not cause any ripples in the eastern Qi continent. Master, are you looking for me? Li Shiming was summoned to the cave of Xixiang Cave by brother, whose message transmission technique. When he was saluting, he found an imposing middle-aged monk sitting not far from brother who, although he did not use his spiritual consciousness, he could tell by his perception that this was a great monk who was in the same realm as brother who. Monk. Shurjin. This is my good friend. The great monk Luzian. Please call me Uncle Lu. The great monk who introduced Li Shiming to the great monk next to him with a smile. Li Shiming was shocked. Under normal circumstances, if a monk from a different sect is called a master, it means he is stronger than the master. With the identity of the great monk who, he recognized that the great monk Lu Ziyun was stronger than himself. The identity of this great monk Lu Ziyun was probably not simple. I've met Master Lu. Li Shiming thought as he bowed and saluted. You are Lao Hu's new alchemy master disciple. I have been famous for a long time. This is a little meeting gift. Senior monk Lu Ziyun was very enthusiastic towards Li Shiming. He helped Li Shiming with a smile and took out a jade box and said. Li Shiming glanced at Brother Hu. And when he saw Brother Hu nodded to him, he took the jade box. He opened the jade box and saw that there was a mountain-like magic weapon in the jade box. A mountain-like magic weapon in a reduced state. He couldn't help but take a breath. This was a 4th grade top-level mountain-type magic weapon. Although the 4th grade top-level mountain magic weapon in hand is not as special as the 10,000 Swords Peak, it is extremely rare to have only the 4th grade top-level magic weapon. Not to mention that when he took a closer look, he found that it was a crude rough material of a 4th grade top-level mountain-type magic weapon. The so-called rough blank means that in the process of refining the weapon, only the outer parts are roughly refined, and the core runes are not involved. The biggest advantage of this kind of rough magic weapon is that any monk can take over the refining. After the refining is successful, he will directly become the owner of the magic weapon, which saves a long time of sacrificial refining process, and starts refining from the rough stone. It fits the monk himself. This is too expensive! Even though Li Shiming had seen many good things, he was shocked by such a large sum of money. Normally, this type of mountain magic weapon is the most valuable among magic weapons of the same grade, mainly because it requires too many materials. In his opinion, this fourth grade top mountain magic weapon can exert extremely powerful effects even in the hands of a great monk. It's just a greeting gift. Just accept it. Senior brother Lu Ziyun waved his hand indifferently and said, Shurjin, since Uncle Lu has said this, just accept it. Brother who was also slightly shocked, but he also signaled to Li Shiming. He was also shocked by the generosity of the great monk Lu Ziyun. Fortunately, he knew the origin of the great monk Lu Ziyun and quickly stabilized his emotions. 
Thank you, Master Lu. As soon as Li Shiming heard this, he put away the fourth grade top mountain magic weapon. As for my relationship with your master, I will call you by your name directly. Senior brother Lu Zian said with a smile when he saw Li Shiming put away the greeting gift. Just call me Shirjin. Li Shiming wouldn't mind. He is also willing to have a good relationship with a great monk, which is usually difficult to come into contact with. Shirjin, I won't be around the bush anymore. I came here this time to invite you to be the guest of Zhongzhou Trading Company. Senior brother Lu Zian stated his intention very directly. Li Shiming looked at brother whose expression again and found a brother who was not surprised. It was obvious that brother Lu Zian had greeted brother who in advance. Zhongzhou Trading Company was the first trading company he had heard of. However, being able to use the name of Zhongzhou as a trading company shows that it has sufficient confidence. I wonder what I need to do to become a guest of Zhongzhou Trading Company. Li Shiming did not immediately agree. He asked, Becoming a guest of Zhongzhou Trading Company. Apart from the basic task of refining a furnace of great month elixir every year, there are no other hard tasks. You can choose whether to refine elixirs for Zhongzhou Trading Company. Zhongzhou Commercial Bank has fixed resources that can be collected every year. This resource depends on your level. In addition, you can use the trading company's cross-continental voyage ship. You can use the trading company's emergency signal to summon helpers in times of danger. And you can use contribution points to exchange for skills and resources. Etc. Of course, as a guest of Zhongzhou Trading Company, except that you can accept private alchemy tasks yourself. You cannot accept alchemy tasks from other commercial forces. If you want to accept them, you must go through Zhongzhou Trading Company. Brother Lu Zian explained to Li Shiming very seriously. As a great monk, he was able to come to see Li Shiming in person because he was extremely interested in Li Shiming's talent for alchemy. He knew Li Shiming's alchemy level better than other nascent soul monks. He knew from some channels Li Shiming's level of refining the fourth grade spiritual elixir for great monks. After learning the news, he came here personally. If I become a guest of Zhongzhou Trading Company, will it affect the sect? Li Shiming still asked a little uneasy. Ha ha. How is that possible? Lao Hu doesn't have any objection. Senior monk Lu Zian replied with a smile. He was not angry because Li Shiming had too many questions. On the contrary, the more Li Shiming asked, it showed that Li Shiming had an idea. Li Shiming's mind was spinning. From Brother Hu's attitude, he could tell that Brother Hu agreed with him to become the guest minister of Zhongzhou merchants. Brother Hu could not harm him. He also wanted to have a business channel. He had a large amount of materials to purchase. The materials required for these researches were of many varieties and of varying quality. General trading houses were not willing to do this business. I am willing to become a guest of Zhongzhou Trading Company. Li Shiming made a decision. Welcome Shirjin to join Zhongzhou Trading Company. This is your Kachin Yu Dai. I have assigned a specialist for you to contact you. If you have any requests, you can make them to him. You can contact the specialist through Kachin Yu Dai. Great Monk Lu Zian said with great joy. Li Shiming took over the Kaching Jade dish and found that the quality of the Kaching Jade dish exceeded the identity Jade dish of the 10,000 Beasts set. And he found that the Kaching Jade dish could be directly connected to a formation to receive information from afar. He was slightly surprised. This was the mountain gate of the 10,000 Beasts sect. Unless it was the Jade disk of the sect's identity. Other contact methods were not supported in the mountain gate. Chapter 593 Receive Brother Lu Zian left and brother who personally escorted him out of the cave. Li Shiming was left behind by brother who. It was obvious that brother who wanted to talk to Li Shiming alone. Sit wherever you want. Brother who waved his hand and said to Li Shiming after seeing off the guests and returning to the cave. Li Shiming sat down and waited for brother who's explanation. Actually, I don't want you to join Zhongzhou Trading Company. Brother whose first words made Li Shiming unable to sit still. He could clearly see that when brother Lu Zian was there, Brother whose behavior was not as he said. Brother who obviously recognized Li Shiming as a guest official of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. Otherwise, how could Li Shiming choose to join Zhongzhou Commercial Bank and become a guest official without knowing much about Zhongzhou Commercial Bank? With his alchemy ability, he would receive the best treatment if he joined any trading firm. So why would he choose an unfamiliar trading firm? I'm not saying that joining the Zhongzhou Commercial Bank is not good. On the contrary, the Zhongzhou Commercial Bank is a cross-continental super force. Your joining the Zhongzhou Commercial Bank will be beneficial to your future development. But the enemies of the Zhongzhou Commercial Bank are also superpowers. It will be a big deal if there is trouble. Trouble. Brother who continued. Master, 
Is the Zhongzhou Trading Company stronger than the 10,000 Beast sect? Li Shiming couldn't help but asked curiously when he heard Master Hu saying that the Zhongzhou Trading Company was a superpower. You must know that the 10,000 Beast sect is only recognized as a major sect. But Zhongzhou Commercial Bank is called a superpower. He does not know how the superpowers are divided. The strongest forces he has seen are the Sword and Tent Chongxiao Pavilion and the 10,000 Beast sect. But since he and his clone Li Yuanba have only joined these two sects for a short time, they do not have a deep understanding of the sect's strength. But even so, through some information, he still knew that the strength of Sword and Tent Chongxiao Pavilion and the 10,000 Beast sect were extremely terrifying. Like the 10,000 Beast sect, there are five great monks on the surface alone. It is unknown whether there are more monks secretly. And the strength of Sword and Tent Chongxiao Pavilion is greater than that of the 10,000 Beast sect. Zhongzhou Trading Company is very powerful, but the 10,000 Beast sect can't compare with it. Brother who said with a wry smile and shook his head. Li Shiming was startled. He did not expect that there were powerful monks in Zhongzhou Trading Company. He has always regarded powerful monks as legends. It turns out that superpower is the power with powerful monks. If you join Zhongzhou Commercial Bank, don't act too impulsively. Although Zhongzhou Commercial Bank is powerful, it is too overbearing in doing business and has offended many forces. Brother who continued, I understand. Master. Li Shiming nodded in response. Master, I really can't refuse. Who told me that I owe Luzi in a favor? But I asked you to repay the favor for me. Brother who finally explained. Li Shiming bid farewell to his master, Brother Hu, and returned to his cave. In the cave, he took out the meeting gift given by the great monk Lu Zian. The fourth grade top mountain magic weapon is made from the fourth grade top earth based weapon refining material, the square rock. This square rock is indivisible. The indivisibility of the quadrangle rock is extremely special. The size of the quadrangle rock is determined by the length of time it takes to form. No matter how big the Sifong rock is, it can only be regarded as a weapon refining material. Once a part is cut from a square rock material, the part that leaves the main material will lose its spirituality and become mortal. The fourth grade top mountain magic weapon in the jade box is made of a huge square rock. Li Shiming received a lot of weapon refining inheritance, especially the weapon refining inheritance from Balian sect, which brought his accumulation of weapon refining knowledge to a very high level. Although his refining inheritance included methods for refining mountain-type magic weapons, he did not immediately perfect the rough material. Instead, he asked the natal magic weapon Z15 to establish a research topic. He knew how rare the 4th grade top grade materials were. If he could get a rough 4th grade top grade magic weapon, he didn't want to waste it and refined it into the strongest 4th grade mountain peak magic weapon. Li Shiming asked Z15 to analyze and study it. And he took out the guest jade dish himself. The function of Kiching Yudi is very comprehensive. There are only two contacts among the contacts. One is the great monk Lu Zian, and the other is a commissioner named Xian Jingyun. Kiching Yudi can also accept tasks. All the tasks he can see are alchemy tasks, and there are no other tasks. I think Zhongzhou Commercial Bank positioned him as alchemy and didn't want to use his other abilities. Of course, how could a superpower with great power in the Mahayana stage care about the combat prowess of an early nascent soul monk? Li Shiming currently has no contribution points, so he cannot see the resources and techniques that can be exchanged for contribution points. He checked the alchemy mission, and he suddenly discovered that this alchemy mission was definitely not just for the Donchi continent. The alchemy mission he saw had alchemy missions for all continents. He can accept all these alchemy tasks, but it is marked that if you take them across the continent, you have to wait for the transfer of resources. It will take a year before you can get the alchemy materials. After the alchemy is completed, it will take a year to get the corresponding reward. He listed the task of refining the fourth grade spiritual elixir of the great monk separately among the alchemy tasks. And after thinking about it, he chose the task of refining the fourth grade spiritual elixir of the great monk in the eastern Qi continent. Kuching has to complete three monks' alchemy tasks every year. So he wants to complete them in advance to avoid running out of time later. He can also take on the great monk's alchemy refining quest continuously and it is not a problem to complete the Great Monk's alchemy refining quest for many years at the same time. The Great Monks in the Eastern Qi Continent have a lot of 4th grade elixir tasks. As many as 14. And the rewards are also stated. This is the reward provided by the Great Monks who issue the alchemy tasks. When Li Shiming completed these alchemy tasks, he not only received rewards from the Great Monks, 
but also received contribution points from Zhongzhou Trading Company. This is more rewarding than taking over the alchemy business on his own. And the extra contribution points can be exchanged for resources and techniques. He chose five tasks that satisfied him with the rewards of alchemy, which was equivalent to his mandatory tasks for five years. With his operation, he took over all five great monks' alchemy tasks. What he didn't know was that he, the guest guest, was extremely special. There are many alchemy masters in Zhongzhou Commercial Bank, but there are very few alchemy masters who can directly accept the alchemy task of the great monks without the need to be confirmed by the great monks who issue the tasks. At the level of a great monk, the fourth grade alchemy materials of a great monk are extremely precious. A great monk will not let such precious alchemy materials be refined by an uncertain alchemy master. If an ordinary alchemy master wants to accept the alchemy task from a great monk, he needs the approval of the great monk before he can complete the task. However, when an alchemy master like Li Shiming, who has special authority, accepts a task, he does not need to be confirmed by the monk who issued the alchemy task. Because Zhongzhou Commercial Bank has certified Li Shiming's alchemy level and made a credibility guarantee to other great monks. Li Shiming didn't know how Zhongzhou Trading Company sent the alchemy materials. He couldn't see anything from the guest's jade plate. So he could only wait. On the other side, Li Shiming's commissioner, Brother Xian Jingyan, started busy work after seeing the five monks' alchemy tasks that Li Shiming accepted. Since Li Shiming accepted the alchemy task from five great monks, Xian Jingyan needed to find the five great monks and get the alchemy materials. After a whole day of busy work, Xian Jingyan finally got all five alchemy materials. Xian Jingyan flew to the 10,000 Bees sect. She showed a jade plate and gained permission to enter the 10,000 Bees sect. She came to the outside of Li Shiming's mountain peak and cast a message transmission technique. She was actually very curious as to what kind of alchemy master could obtain the highest authority among nascent soul level alchemy masters just after joining Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. Li Shiming activated the mountain formation and allowed Xian Jingyun to enter the top of the mountain. He did not let Xian Jingyun enter his cave. He was not familiar with Xian Jingyun. He met his Zhongzhou Commercial Bank Commissioner. Xian Jingyun turned out to be a female cultivator in the middle stage of nascent soul. Senior, I didn't expect that the alchemy materials were delivered by Senior himself. Li Shiming smiled and saluted. Master Li, you should call me fellow Taoist. I don't dare to accept your status as a guest. Xian Jingyun said with a smile. And then she continued, For the next hundred years, I will be your commissioner, sending resources, and it will be up to me to take away the elixir. And we will notify you when the commissioner is changed in a hundred years. Fellow Daoist Xian, if I want to buy some sundries, can the trading company help? Li Shiming was very concerned about this issue. His research has been going on. But as the research goes on for longer and longer, more and more materials are consumed. Most of his previous inventory has been consumed. And he needs to restock. Many of the materials he needs are mortal objects. As long as you give a list. Even spiritual objects from other continents can be fetched for you. But it will take a long time. Xian Jingyun replied confidently. Li Shiming did not hesitate and handed a jade slip to Xian Jingyun. Xian Jingyun took it and checked it with her spiritual sense. When she saw the densely packed item names in the jade slips. Many of which were mortal objects. She couldn't help but feel a little distracted. Masterly, I need some time to prepare. Xian Jingyun quickly replied. She is not worried that Zhongzhou Commercial Bank cannot collect these items. Those spiritual objects are easy to handle. Most of them are available in the warehouse. Even if the spiritual objects are not available, they can be transferred from other places. Those mortal objects require the longest preparation time. Mortal objects require the help of mortal forces to collect. And the collection speed of mortals cannot be guaranteed. As long as it's ready before I finish refining the alchemy. That's it, Li Shiming said. Then, there is no problem. These are five great monks' alchemy materials. And the matching elixir recipes are also included. Please check it. Master Li. Xian Jingyun put a storage bag in front of Li Shiming and said. Li Shiming checked it and found that there was no problem. It will take about 120 days. I will notify you to come over then. Master Li. It's not that I don't believe you. But have you made a mistake about the time? Even if it takes 40 days to complete a furnace of 4th grade elixir for great monks. And you don't have to rest at all during this period. That's the least. It will take 200 days to complete the elixir. Xian Jingyun came into contact with Li Shiming for the first time. And she raised her own questions. That's right. 
I have my own secret method for refining alchemy. It's not convenient for me to explain it to you, Li Shiming said calmly. He would not tell Xi and Jingyun that he started refining two furnaces of fourth grade elixirs at the same time. In addition, he has a brain of 191. So there is no pressure on him to continue refining elixirs. Masterly! I'm the one who said too much! Xi and Jingyun bowed slightly. It was taboo to inquire into a monk's privacy. She had violated a taboo. So she took the initiative to admit her mistake. By the way, these are the resources Masterly has allocated in the past five years. She thought of something else and took out another storage bag and said. At this time, her affairs were over and she bowed to say goodbye to Li Shiming. Li Shiming took out the spiritual objects from the storage bag, including 10 fourth grade elixirs from the early stage of nascent soul, 100 pieces of fourth grade spiritual tea leaves, 100 fourth grade spiritual fruits, 10 fourth grade lower level talismans, and two fourth grade mid level talismans. He was very surprised when he saw the five year salary offered by Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. It was really too much. You must know that when he becomes a guest minister, he will receive additional rewards and contribution points for accepting the alchemy task. Although he looked down upon 10 fourth grade elixirs, for a normal early stage nascent soul monk, these were extra fourth grade resources, and they were even better than what he had gained from many dangerous missions. 100 pieces of fourth grade spiritual tea leaves and 100 pieces of fourth grade spiritual fruit are used to entertain guests. Although the quality is average, the quantity can make up for it. Five years of entertaining so many spiritual creatures is definitely just a lot more. The power of fourth grade lower level talismans is equivalent to the power of spells cast by monks in the early stage of nascent soul. The key is that the fourth grade lower level talisman does not require spell preparation time and can be activated instantly. This is the important point of the talisman. For ordinary yuaning early stage monks, the fourth grade mid-level talisman can be regarded as a life-saving talisman to a certain extent. The fourth grade mid-level talisman is equivalent to the power of spells cast by monks in the middle stage of nascent soul. The preciousness of this mid-level talisman is much higher than that of the lower level talismans. Even Li Shiming has rarely seen it. Zhongzhou Commercial Bank allocates two to him every five years. And these are the most precious spiritual objects in the storage bag. Li Shiming didn't know that this was unique to him. And other guest guests did not have such resource allocation. This is due to the evaluation of him by the great monk Lu Zian. The great monk Lu Zian's evaluation of his alchemy level is the same as that of the great monk Hu. He is the first alchemy master in the Eastern Qi continent. Li Shiming's alchemy level is not recognized as number one in the East Qi continent. But any monk who knows his level of refining fourth grade spiritual elixirs for great monks will confirm his number one status in the East Qi continent. As the number one alchemy master in the Eastern Qi continent, Li Shiming, a guest official, naturally receives special treatment from the Zhongzhou Trading Company. It's just that Brother Lu Zian didn't explain these things clearly to Li Shiming. And Xi and Jingyun didn't explain anything to Li Shiming before he really saw Li Shiming's alchemy skills. Xi and Jingyun is waiting and watching. She will not change her attitude until Li Shiming shows her convincing alchemy ability. Chapter 594 Half a Year An Alchemy Master Appeared in Thord Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion And the news spread throughout. Thord Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion This is as rare as a scholar appearing among a group of butchers. The most important thing is that this alchemy master's alchemy level is very high. Of course, as an alchemy master who is a Yuanying sword cultivator, he also has special demands for alchemy rewards. He needs the sword cultivator to use his own sword spirit to cultivate a fourth grade flying sword. The fourth grade magic weapon is the reward for refining the elixir. It is still the reward for refining the fourth grade elixir in the early stage of nascent soul. It is definitely high. But Li Yuanba's alchemy level is worth the price. Li Yuanba did not show the ability to refine the fourth grade elixir of the middle and late Yuanying. The news he released could only refine the fourth grade elixir of the early Yuanying. The refining time of the fourth grade elixir in the early stage of nascent soul is relatively short. And only the third grade elixir furnace can be used to refine it. The energy and time spent in refining the elixir have little impact on his practice. He is different from the real body Li Shiming. Li Shiming has the help of the natal magic weapon Z15. He can practice alchemy at the same time without affecting each other. He didn't want to devote all his energy to alchemy. He was a clone. And the task given by Li Shiming was to improve his own strength. As for refining alchemy, Li Shiming's side is the most cost effective. Li Shiming is able to perform the 101 points pill technique. 100%, so that he can get double the harvest every time he makes pills, but consumes very little energy, 
while Lee Yuanba needs to take time out of his practice time to make pills. If it weren't for the enhancement of 10,000 Swords Peak, Li Yuanba would not have wanted to expose his alchemy ability so early. Li Yuanba still underestimated the number of sword cultivators in the early stage of nascent Solon. Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion. In the next few months, he was occupied most of his time by the large amount of alchemy business. This was the result of his rejection of some Yuanying sword cultivators in the early stage. He rejected those Yuanying sword cultivators who were unwilling to use fourth grade flying swords containing sword intent as rewards. In half a year, Li Yuanba only participated in one team mission, which was a small mission to clean up a spiritual mine. On this day, he was sitting in front of the third grade elixir furnace. When the elixir was about to be refined to the point of being divided into pills, he habitually used the 101 points pill technique. It's a pity that the reason why 101 points pill technique is called 100 and 1 is that there is only 1% chance of success. This does not mean that one success will occur after 100 casts, but that each cast has only a 1% chance of success. In fact, most of the time, thousands of casts will hardly ever succeed. Li Yuanba also failed this time. He was not disappointed because there was no hope at all. He put away the refined 4th grade elixir in a jade bottle and took back the 6 Yang spiritual fire in the 3rd grade elixir furnace into his body. After feeling the 6 Yang spiritual fire, he found that the 6 Yang spiritual fire consumes a lot and he needs to replenish the Xianin fire in the state of corpse refining and indirectly replenish the 6 Yangs by balancing Yin and Yang with the Tai Chi body. The loss of spiritual fire as his mind moved slightly, the four characters' sword transformed into a sword light, and he threw the jade bottle onto the sword light. The jade bottle was wrapped around the hilt of the sword behind the sword light. He tapped his finger lightly, and the sword light flew away. This is the secret method of transmitting objects with the flying sword. The secret method recorded in the Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju. Small items can be transported to a fixed location within a certain distance. This is a small trick especially very popular within the Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion to facilitate transactions between monks. The secret method of flying sword transfer cannot be used by any sword cultivator. At least the natal flying sword needs to reach a very deep sacrificial level before it can be used. This degree of sacrifice is not the quality of the natal flying sword, but is related to the length of time that the sword cultivator has been practicing the natal flying sword. Li Yuanba is also lucky. His four characters sword is the natal flying sword that Yun Xingyi a golden elixir sword cultivator, has been practicing for hundreds of years. Yuan Xingyi committed suicide and wanted to take away Li Shiming's body. In the end, he not only ended up killing himself, but also gave Li Shiming his own flying sword. Li Shiming gave Xing Yijian to his clone Li Yuanba, and Li Yuanba refined Xing Yijian into his natal flying sword, inheriting the hundreds of years of sacrifice before Xing Yijian. Therefore, despite the fact that Li Yuanba's four characters and one sword actually took a very short time to practice. It already met the prerequisites for using the flying sword secret method of transferring objects. Of course, for normal nascent soul sword cultivators, as long as they have not changed their natal flying swords during the nascent soul stage, most of them can meet the prerequisites for using the secret method of transferring objects with flying swords. The sword light transformed by Xing Yijian does not need to return. After completing the task, the sword light will dissipate into spiritual power. The loss of the transformed sword light is not great. The main reason is that this sword light has no offensive power and does not require too much spiritual power and spirit to condense. Not long after, with Li Yuanba's permission, a sword light passed through the formation of the cave and landed in front of Li Yuanba. When the sword light fell in front of him, it turned into dots of starlight and dissipated, leaving behind a small storage bag. He picked up the storage bag and took out a fourth grade flying sword. Feeling the sword intent in the fourth grade flying sword, he nodded with satisfaction. He released 10,000 swords peak, sent the fourth grade flying sword into 10,000 swords peak, and mobilized the formation in 10,000 swords peak to fuse the fourth grade flying sword. He put the 10,000 swords peak aside. It won't take long for this fourth grade flying sword to be energized and become one of the 10,000 flying swords in the 10,000 Swords Peak. Currently, there are 45 4th grade flying swords that have been fused with the nascent soul sword in Tianin. 10,000 Swords Peak. The five, Liu Guang Xingyun, at the core of Wang Jianfeng, are somewhat unable to suppress so many 4th grade flying swords. 
The main reason is that the quality of Liu Guangxingyun is so poor that it relies on refining techniques. It can make it reach the power of a fourth grade flying sword. Li Yuanba was not in a hurry. The main body, Li Shiming, was using fourth grade high grade weapon refining materials to refine five fourth grade top grade tribulation flying swords to replace the five handled meteor meteor at the core of 10,000 swords peak. As for how to send Fajian from Dongchi continent to Zhongzhou continent, a solution has been found. There are two delivery methods. One is through the channels of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank, which can deliver the spiritual objects from the eastern Qi continent to Li Yuanba in the Sword Intent Chengxiao Pavilion. Second, Li Shiming personally came to Zhongzhou continent and sent all the refined and sacrificed fourth grade flying swords to Li Yuanba. The fourth grade high level weapon refining materials that Li Shiming received were the rewards he received for recently taking on the alchemy task of the great monk of Zhongzhou Trading Company. Li Shiming became famous again in the eastern Qi continent, this time in the circle of great monks. The five great monks who issued the alchemy task at Zhongzhou Commercial Bank belong to different forces, and they are all major forces in the eastern Qi continent. After they learned that the alchemy task they had posted was accepted, they naturally wanted to inquire about the identity of the alchemy master. Only then did we know that Li Shiming, the master of alchemy, had the ability to refine the fourth grade elixir of a great monk recognized by Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. Coupled with Li Shiming's public performance in refining the fourth grade elixir of the early and middle stages of nascent soul, he can definitely be regarded as the number one alchemy master in the eastern Qi continent in the circle of great monks. Moreover, with the promotion of many great monks, his reputation spread from the great monk circle to the ears of the nascent soul stage monks. In the past, such a reputation would have brought some trouble to Li Shiming, even if he had a background from the 10,000 Beasts sect. But he is different now. His status as a guest minister of Zhongzhou Trading Company gives him a very strong protection. At least in the eastern Qi continent, no monk dares to publicly embarrass him. Even if you want to deal with him, you have to consider the consequences of the news leaking. Zhongzhou Commercial Bank is a superpower. And the wrath of a superpower is not something that ordinary powerful forces can withstand. Xi and Jingyun was sitting in the hall of the cave. She was finally qualified to enter Li Shiming's cave. Her attitude was also very different from the beginning. Li Shiming's level of alchemy was enough for her to attach great importance to him. Fellow Daoist Xian, this is the refined elixir. Check it out. Li Shiming threw a jade bottle to Xian Jingyun and said, Since Li Shiming was refining a fourth grade elixir for great monks, both the materials and the elixir were delivered personally by Xian Jingyun. No monk will find it troublesome, because the resources of the great monks are so precious. Thank you for your hard work. Master Li, Xian Jingyun said with a smile. Her consciousness scanned the inside of the jade bottle and checked the quality of the two fourth grade monk elixirs. Sure enough, it is still a fourth grade intermediate elixir, just a little short of being able to break through to a fourth grade high level elixir. She can be 100% sure that Li Shiming definitely has the strength to refine the fourth grade high level elixir. Otherwise, it would be impossible to accurately stabilize the quality at the same standard every time he refines the elixir and never change. But she didn't want to raise questions. Li Shiming's current alchemy ability was enough to satisfy the great monks who issued the alchemy task. Even if Li Shiming had reservations, it would not affect the fact that Li Shiming's alchemy ability was unparalleled in the eastern Qi continent. I won't be refining alchemy in the near future. I want to take a good rest for a few years, Li Shiming said calmly. That's no problem. But if there is an urgent alchemy task, Master Li is asked to help in time. Xi and Jingyu replied with a smile. She was not surprised. The consumption of refining the fourth grade elixir of a great monk was really too great. The refining process lasted for more than 40 days and required full concentration at every moment. The slightest distraction would cause huge losses. Not to mention that Li Shiming first took on five great monks' alchemy refining tasks. And after completing it, he took on three great monks' alchemy refining tasks. With almost no rest in between. According to the rules set by Zhongzhou Commercial Bank for Li Shiming, he has completed eight years of mandatory tasks. As for the so-called urgent alchemy task, this rarely happens. The expedited alchemy task is an alchemy task that will be issued only when a major monk in the Zhongzhou Trading Company has a major incident and urgently needs the designated fourth grade elixir of the big monk. The reward is also far higher than the normal alchemy task for the big monk. At the same time, this urgent alchemy task can be forcibly assigned, which is equivalent to the role of a distress signal and is a life-saving task within Zhongzhou Trading Company. As long as I am not in seclusion, I will take the urgent alchemy task. 
Li Shiming nodded and said, This is the second batch of goods you ordered. Xi and Jingyun took out a space ring and handed it to Li Shiming. Li Shiming took the space ring. Inside was a large amount of research materials he needed, many of which were mortal objects. After continuously refining the fourth grade elixir of a great monk, his contribution points in Zhongzhou Trading Company are no longer blank. But he has accumulated a considerable amount of contribution points. In fact, the goods he ordered were huge in terms of quantity and type. But their value was extremely low. Only a few contribution points were enough to pay for each batch of goods. As for these contribution points, the main expenditure is the cost of collecting these items by Zhongzhou merchants. The value of the goods themselves is too small. Xi and Jingyun was also helpless. The dignified middle-stage nascent soul monk from Zhongzhou Trading Company personally transported these worthless goods and even attached a space ring. The storage bags are too small to hold so much cargo. Of course, she wouldn't really care about a space ring. But the value of the space ring itself was only half of the value of these goods. Fellow Daoist Xian, thank you so much. Li Shiming smiled and took out a jade box and placed it in front of Xian Jingyun. He knew how troublesome the goods he needed were. Now his research on past life technology had expanded to multiple fields. And the materials he needed were even more complicated. This is what I should do. Xi and Jingyun saw the special mark on the jade box. And the smile on her face became brighter. She took the jade box and said, In the jade box were ten pieces of fourth grade spiritual tea, which was very small in quantity compared to the fourth grade spiritual tea distributed to Li Shiming by Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. But Xi and Jingyun knew very clearly how valuable these ten pieces of fourth grade spiritual tea were. After coming into contact with Li Shiming, she learned from other monks of the 10,000 beasts sect that Li Shiming personally roasted the 4th grade spiritual tea, which was the most top-notch among the 4th grade spiritual tea. Even within the 10,000 beasts sect, only the great monks are eligible to receive regular allocations. The other nascent soul monks can only rely on their connections to compete for the few 4th grade spiritual teas. It is said that this kind of 4th grade spiritual tea is extremely difficult to fry, and the success rate is very low. Li Shiming cannot spend time on frying tea for a long time. So very few fourth grade spiritual tea flows out from Li Shiming. Xi and Jingyun was fortunate enough to have tasted this fourth grade spiritual tea several times at Li Shiming's place. And she liked this fourth grade spiritual tea very much. It's a pity that none of the monks who got this kind of fourth grade spiritual tea were willing to sell it. And Li Shiming deliberately suppressed the shipment, making the value of the fourth grade spiritual tea even more precious. The 10 pieces of 4th grade spiritual tea she received today were enough for her to entertain particularly important guests. The most important thing is that after this time, she is confident to get more 4th grade spiritual tea from Li Shiming. She can see that Li Shiming is not a stingy person. As long as he serves Li Shiming with his heart, there will be benefits. Li Shiming smiled. Under his deliberate management, the sip in Ling Cha, he fried became an extremely high-end entertainment item, which was exactly what he wanted to see. Chapter 595 Save Again Li Shiming looked at the jade slip in his hand with an anxious look on his face. The jade slip was sent by the intelligence department of the 10,000 Beast sect. He asked the intelligence department to help pay attention to the news about Jian Wuwei. Jian Wuwei has been in seclusion since he rescued him and there has been no news. But this time a piece of information came from the intelligence department. Jian Wuwei appeared and had a conflict with Inkting Village. Jian Wuwei was injured and escaped. Inkting Village is currently tracking Jian Wuwei. Li Shiming frowned. He did not expect that Jian Wuwei would be in trouble again. This can only be said that Jian Wuwei is too unlucky. Even after more than half a year, Jian Wuwei is afraid that he will not be able to sustain a long battle. Jian Wuwei's previous losses were too great. This time is not enough. Made up for. Inkting Village is not a big force. Nor can it even be considered a force. It is a group composed of 15 early Yuanning casual cultivators. Inkting Village does not occupy any territory and does not have a mountain gate. They mostly rely on robbery as their main source of resources. Of course, the robbery in Inkting Village is not as good as that of Jinny Chengshao Pavilion. They are just robbing weak existences who are also casual cultivators. Precisely because they never provoked the monks from medium and large forces. Their lives were smooth and they were not attacked by powerful forces. Li Shiming left anyway. After all, he was the master of the clone Li Yuanba. And this friendship was worthy of his help. Jian Wuwei was very angry and embarrassed. His sword escape was a little staggering. And even the nascent soul cultivators who were following him couldn't get rid of him. With the experience of being caught last time, he rested for a period of time. 
and after he had some spiritual power in his body, he could no longer resist the urge to return to Jianning Chongshao Pavilion. He ended his retreat and wanted to contact the voyage ship heading to the Zhongzhou continent. He was very unlucky. He met a nascent soul cultivator in Inkting Village, who had mastered the special pupil technique, and he could see his weak state at a glance. In order to reduce consumption, Jian Wuei used a fourth grade flying boat to travel. This behavior of revealing wealth made him a target of Inkting Village. When 15 early Yuanning monks from Inkting Village intercepted Jian Wuei, Jian Wuei announced the name of Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion and produced the unique sword light of Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. If these 15 early Yuanning monks were knowledgeable, they would probably turn around and leave immediately. But it is a pity that the 15 early nascent soul monks were all rogue cultivators. They have never even left the eastern Qi continent. And the people they usually get along with are all rogue cultivators. How could they know about the Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion? Far away in the Zhongzhou continent, Jian Wuwei didn't dare to fight at all. He mobilized his limited spiritual power and tried to escape from the siege of 15 early nascent soul monks despite being injured. Fortunately, he was practicing the Sword Intention Climbing to the Sky Art and had many life-saving methods. So he managed to escape in a weak state. Jian Wuwei took out the Jade Math Slip. He wondered if he could find a prosperous place with many monks nearby and escape the pursuit of the 15 early nascent soul monks behind him. But it was obvious that the 15 early Yuanning monks in Inkting Village were very experienced. Although they allowed Jian Wuwei to escape, they continued to compress Jian Wuwei's escape direction during the pursuit. There was no place to escape in the direction where Jian Wuwei escaped. Jian Wuwei took out a spiritual elixir from the mustard seed ring and swallowed it. This was the mustard seed ring left to him by Li Shiming. It originally belonged to a monk in the middle Yuanning stage of Yuxiang Trading Company. He couldn't help but sigh as he felt the spiritual power in his body slowly increase a little. And at the same time, there were bursts of cramping pain in his abdomen. Taking too much of this fourth grade elixir to restore spiritual power. The effect became worse and worse. And there was also an accumulation of medicinal properties. If not treated, it would have a bad impact on his body. But how could he care about this at this time? All he needed to do was to continuously squeeze his spiritual power. If his spiritual power is insufficient, he will fall into the hands of nascent soul cultivators at the rear. He knew very well that if he really fell into the hands of nascent soul cultivators, he wouldn't even have a chance to survive. The nascent soul rogue cultivator will kill him, and everything on him will become the opponent's trophies. Jian Wu's consciousness stopped on a contact card in the mustard ring. This was the contact card left by his benefactor, and he could contact his benefactor. But he was really embarrassed to contact his benefactor. He originally thought that this contact card would be used after he returned to Jinny Chongxiao Pavilion and his strength increased greatly. So that he could come to his benefactor to repay his kindness. If he were to use the contact card to ask his benefactor to help him again, he would not want to do such a thing even if he was killed by the casual cultivators behind him. He removed his consciousness from the contact card and focused on sword escape again, using precise control to reduce the consumption of spiritual power as much as possible. Feeling the coming and approaching breath, he felt very heavy. Is it finally here? Mr. Liang? I'm really sorry for your rescue. Jian Wu can't repay you. Jian Wu murmured to himself. Just when he was about to lose hope, he found that among the 15 early Yuanying monks behind him, four of them suddenly stopped and the breath of life disappeared from their bodies. For small nascent souls flew out of the lifeless body in panic. The four nascent souls did not pay attention to their companions next to them. Instead, they wrapped around the space objects on their bodies and flew away into the distance. Because the incident happened so suddenly, by the time the other eleven early Yuanying monks had reacted, the four Yuanyings had already escaped far away. Although the fifteen early Yuanying monks are all members of Inkting Village, they all know each other's nature very well. When they lose their bodies and only have Yuanying left, they cannot ask for help from their companions. If you really want to believe in the help of your companions, the only possibility is that Yuanying is imprisoned and becomes the furnace for the other party to refine magic skills. And all your wealth falls into the hands of the other party. Therefore, after being attacked and killed, the four early Yuanying monks made the same choice. They all chose Yuanying to escape. They all still have a second chance to be reborn. As long as the nascent soul can still exist, they can borrow the spare body prepared before for rebirth. The spare body of every nascent soul cultivator is one of the biggest secrets of the nascent soul cultivator. The Yuanying monk will not tell anyone where his spare body is kept. The spare body is the Yuanying monk's last hope. Who is it? Where did you see the attack coming from? 
the eleven early Yuanying monks had no time to pursue Jin Wu Wei. They quickly formed a circle and deployed their defensive magic weapons, shouting in panic. The weakness of the nascent soul cultivators was fully revealed at this time. Because the electromagnetic gun attack speed used by the fourth grade puppet was too fast and the distance was hundreds of miles away. Ten of them, including the four Yuanying cultivators who escaped. None of the five early Yuanying monks knew where the attack came from when they wanted to check the bodies left behind by the four escaped nascent soul monks. The fourth grade top cone-shaped magic weapon in their bodies had disappeared under the action of the automatic return rune. When Jin Wu Wei saw that the nascent soul cultivator behind him was being attacked, he did not stop and continued to fly forward. But he really had no energy left. And his sword escape speed was getting slower and slower. He knew that he could no longer escape. So he turned back to look at the remaining ten Yuan Ying early stage monks. Only a few breaths of time passed. And the physical vitality of the four early Yuanning monks was extinguished. The fourth grade top cone-shaped magic weapon entered their bodies. Destroying all vitality in the body. The four nascent souls came out of their bodies. This time, the four nascent souls didn't even dare to carry space objects. So they fled into the distance. In order to form a defensive formation, the eleven Yuanning early stage monks were a little close together. This made the four Yuanning monks afraid of being attacked by the other Yuanning monks after leaving their bodies. In fact, they were overly worried. Normally, their companions would definitely do what they thought. But at this time, their companions had no such thoughts. The remaining seven early Yuanning monks were like frightened birds. They did not dare to stay here anymore. Turned around and fled in the direction they came from. In the process of escaping, for more early stage nascent soul monks fell from the sky. The four nascent souls flew out of their bodies and then fled. Jian Wu Wei was stunned. What kind of method was this? Since he was still in a weak state and his perception was not as good as before. He only knew that it was the long range attack method that caused these early Yuanying monks to suffer a lot. But he could not see it. What kind of magic weapon is the attack? The last three early Yuanying monks were still trying to escape. But this time, there was no attack. Only then did the three early Yuanying monks escape and ascend to heaven. They didn't look back. They just ran for their lives. It was really terrifying. Of the fifteen early Yuanying monks, without knowing who their enemies were, only three of them were left. As for those monks who have retained the nascent soul, rebirth is almost equivalent to death. They are all casual cultivators, and they are extremely lucky to be able to advance to the nascent soul stage. It is far more difficult than those sect monks to be reborn and promoted to nascent soul again. Which fellow Tao has saved my life? Please come out and see me. How could Jian Wu Wei not understand that he had been saved? He asked loudly. Fellow swordsman, if you take this elixir, your situation will not be good. Li Shiming appeared in front of him, throwing a jade bottle in his hand and saying, My benefactor. Jian Wu Wei was startled. But he didn't expect that his benefactor would come to the rescue again. But then I thought about it. I didn't know any nascent soul monks in the eastern Qi continent. Except for Li Shiming. My benefactor. I thought that no monk would fight against 15 nascent soul monks of the same level to save him. Although it seemed that Li Shiming's fight of one against 15 was a massacre. It was not accurate to say that it was a massacre. The two sides did not even meet. And the 15 early Yuanying monks were almost slaughtered. But after all, they were fighting at the same level. If Jin Wu Wei was in his prime, he might still be able to use the speed and attack power of the sword cultivator to fight against these 15 nascent soul casual cultivators. Jian Wu Wei took the jade bottle and drank the fourth grade advanced healing elixir inside to stabilize the injuries in his body. How did my benefactor know that something happened to me? Jian Wu Wei was still very surprised by Li Shiming's action. And he asked directly without hiding it. He didn't think Li Shiming had any ill intentions. To be honest, he really wanted to do something to him. With Li Shiming's strength, he didn't need any means at all. His physical condition didn't even allow him to fight back in front of Li Shiming. I asked the intelligence department of the sect to pay attention to your news. It is also your good luck. Your battle was discovered by the intelligence department and reported to me. I also happened to have free time and came in time. Li Shiming did not hide anything. Replied with a smile. My benefactor. I'm so ashamed that I asked you to help me again. Jian Wu Wei bowed and said with a look of shame on his face. It's just a matter of convenience. What are your plans? If you want to leave Donchi Continent, I can help you contact him. Li Shiming waved his hand and asked Jian Wu Wei. I need to go to Zhongzhou Continent. Jian Wu Wei gritted his teeth, no longer adhered to his principles, and stated his destination. 
they were saved twice by Li Shiming. This kind of great kindness can only be repaid in a lifetime. After returning to Jinny Cho Shao Pavilion, and the strength has improved enough to help Li Shiming, he will repay Li Shiming. A small matter like asking Li Shiming to help him return to Zhongzhou Continent was nothing compared to the life-saving grace. After he decided in his heart to repay his life, he no longer cared about such small things. I will contact Zhongzhou Commercial Bank to see when the nearest voyage ship to Zhongzhou Continent is. You are going to Zhongzhou Continent just to do something for me, Li Shiming said with a smile. Of course Jin Wu knew about Zhongzhou Trading Company, and he felt relieved when he heard that he could borrow Zhongzhou Trading Company's voyage ship. Zhongzhou Trading Company is a superpower, and its long-distance flying ships are the safest. The mark of Zhongzhou Trading Company alone is enough to keep most of the fourth-grade spiritual beasts away from the long-distance flying ships. My benefactor, if you have anything to do, just ask me. Jian Wu said immediately when he heard that he could do something for Li Shiming. Please give this storage bag to fellow Taoist Li Yuanba from Jianyi Chou Shao Pavilion. Li Shiming handed a storage bag to Jian Wu Wei. Li Yuanba returned to Jianyi Chou Shao Pavilion? After Jian Wu Wei heard Li Yuanba's name, he thought he had heard it wrong and quickly asked. His scroll of sword intent soaring into the sky was given to Li Yuanba. Even if it was not given to Li Yuanba, it would have been lost when he was captured last time. So he didn't know that there was a portrait of Li Yuanba in the Scroll of sword intent climbing into the sky, and that Li Yuanba became the Yuanying sword cultivator. Li Yuanba was brought back to Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion by Jian Xiao Wuchi more than a year ago. This is a batch of magic weapons he customized for me, Li Shiming explained with a smile. Jian Wu Wei took the storage bag and looked at Li Shiming, who was wearing a mask. Some of his previous doubts deepened. When he thought about it, the last time Li Shiming saved him was probably not an accident, but a special trip to save him. The reason was for Li Yuanba, who was Li Yuanba's master, and Li Shiming rescued him for Li Yuanba's sake. Jian Wu Wei shook his head vigorously. There was no need to think about this. Li Shiming's rescue of him was real, and it was a life-saving grace twice. Then it is worth his lifetime to repay. This decision has been made just now, and there will be no change. This is the sword cultivator's promise, and the moral bottom line of the sword cultivator. It is worth abiding by with one's life. Chapter 596 Farewell Li Shiming used Kaching Jade Dis to contact Xi and Jing Yun, and then agreed on a meeting place, and then he took Jian Wuwei there. He really didn't want Jian Wuwei to act alone outside anymore. Jian Wuwei was in a weak state, and he was afraid that he would suffer a loss if he encountered any nascent soul monk. He could not guarantee that he could save Jian Wuwei every time. What he drove was a fourth-grade high-level flying boat carrying Jian Wuwei. Although Jian Wuwei had taken the healing elixir, the long-term damage to his origin was not so easy to recover from, and he needed a long period of rest. Li Shiming put the mark of Zhongzhou Trading Company on the fourth-grade high-level flying boat, and did not use the mark of 10,000 beasts sect. Although Jian Wuwei was in a weak state, he still discovered this. This discovery made him a little worried. The mark of Zhongzhou Trading Company was not so easy to use. Recently, there has been some trouble between the 10,000 Bs sect and the Masking Sun sect. I was too lazy to be harassed. So I marked the Zhongzhou Trading Company. Li Shiming noticed Jian Wuwei's doubts and explained with a smile. Is there going to be any problem? Jian Wuwei asked worriedly. It's okay. Li Shiming shook his head and said. After all, it is still the mark of Zhongzhou Trading Company. The forces who do not recognize the mark of Zhongzhou Trading Company along the way cannot afford to offend Yuanying monks like Li Shiming. Nascent soul monks, who are stronger than Li Shiming, must also recognize the mark of Zhongzhou Trading Company. So we didn't encounter any trouble along the way and arrived at a valley safely. In the valley, a huge flying boat was parked in the valley. Master Li, here! Xi and Jingyun seemed to have been waiting for a while and waved when she saw Li Shiming. She stood next to the huge spaceship and the side hatch of the huge spacecraft was open. Fellow Daoist Xi and I'm sorry to bother you! Li Shiming said as he flew over with Jian Wuwei. Not to mention trouble. This is the monk who is going to Zhongzhou Continent. I have already said H. Lo. The flying boat will stop briefly near Jianyi Chou Shao Pavilion. You can disembark there. Xi and Jing Yun said with a smile and waved his hand. Keep this bottle of elixir and be careful along the way. Li Shiming turned to Jian Wuwei and said. And put a jade bottle in Jian Wuwei's hand. Jian Wuwei firmly shook the jade bottle in his hand. Bowed and bowed and then walked towards the side hatch. He entered the side hatch, and a golden elixir monk wearing a suit with the logo of Zhongzhou Trading Company looked at him curiously. Senior, come with me. 
said the golden elixir monk, bowing and making a hand gesture. Jian Wu Wei followed the golden core cultivator and was led towards the interior of the flying boat. He felt the huge flying boat rising into the sky. The inside of the flying boat was protected by the formation. And he didn't feel any discomfort. Senior, you are so proud. Brother Jean Dan was a very talkative monk. He said as he walked. Why do I have face? Jian Wu Wei asked in confusion. He didn't know what he had done. Let the Jean Dan monk from Zhongzhou Commercial Bank say so. Our long-distance spaceship has already set off. But it received an order to return and came here to pick you up. I have served on the long-distance spaceship for more than ten years. And this is the first time I have encountered such a thing. The Golden Core monk exclaimed. Jian Wu Wei shook his head. He knew that this was not his own face. But Li Shiming's. It seems that Li Shiming used the Zhongzhou Commercial Bank's mark not without reason. Li Shiming must have some kind of relationship with Zhongzhou Commercial Bank to have such a big reputation. He knew that it was not easy for superpowers to change the rules. The ship returning from a long voyage to pick him up definitely broke the rules. He was taken to the best room on the voyage ship. The spiritual energy inside was enough for him to practice. Although he was on a voyage, the conditions here were equivalent to practicing in seclusion. Jian Wu Wei opened the last jade bottle given by Li Shiming and found three high-grade healing elixirs of the fourth grade in the early stage of nascent soul inside. He couldn't help but marvel at Li Shiming's generosity. Any one of these three fourth-grade elixirs could become the highlight of an auction. Its value was so high that it was almost impossible to find a market for it. With these three high-level healing elixirs of the fourth level in the early stage of Yuanying, as long as he does not encounter fatal injuries in the future, one high-level treatment elixir of the fourth level in the early stage of Yuanying can save his life. He smiled, put the jade bottle into the mustard ring, then closed his eyes and began to practice. It would take nine months for the voyage ship to travel from the eastern Qi continent to the Zhengzhou continent. He was prepared to go into seclusion for a few months. He was not interested in making any friends on the voyage ship. Li Shiming finally felt relieved when he sent Jian Wu Wei to Zhengzhou Commercial Bank's long-distance ship. Jian Wu Wei's bad luck in coming to Dongqi continent was really bad. He felt sorry for Jian Wu Wei's care for his clone Li Yuanba if he didn't send Jian Wu Wei safely to Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. Returning to the cave of 10,000 B sect, he returned to his previous life, refining elixirs every day, allocating some brains to control the silver corpses for research work, while the four nascent souls in the body maintain a state of cultivation. On this day, his mind was touched, and he used South close to the end to take a step forward and appeared in the spiritual pet room. Phantom Dragon was standing next to Xiao Feng, looking at Xiao Feng curiously. Xiao Feng worked hard to maintain a small body, but Xiao Feng's body was not stable. Xiao Feng, it seems that you are about to break through. I will take you to Dujia Mountain. Li Shiming was not surprised but said with a smile. Xiao Feng's accumulation at the peak of the third level is definitely not that long compared to the top bloodline spiritual beasts. Like the accumulation of large realms of top level bloodline spirit beasts. It takes a long time to slowly accumulate energy before it can accumulate enough energy to break through. But Xiao Feng has a good master. Li Shiming gave Xiao Feng the third grade spiritual beast and Yuan pill. The quality of these third grade spiritual beasts Yuan Zeng Dan, at worst, will not be lower than that of the third grade advanced spirit beasts Yuan Zeng Dan. Most of the third grade spiritual beasts Yuan Zeng Dan are of top quality. That is to say, Li Shiming has a stable ability to refine top level elixirs, which allows Xiao Feng's food to maintain such a high quality. In addition, Li Shiming himself is a monk in the early stage of Yuanying, and has reached the peak of the early stage of Yuanying in terms of physical training and spirit. In addition to the total amount of spiritual power, the quality of the spiritual power is also due to the five elements chi collection array, composed of five yuanings, and reached the peak of the early stage of nascent soul. This resulted in Xiao Feng not only not being hindered by his master, but actually benefiting from him. Li Shiming gave the phantom dragon an order, and the phantom dragon turned into a bracelet and fell on his wrist. He took Xiao Feng to perform. South closed to the end of the world and appeared in the sex Dujia Mountain. Xiao Feng, don't be afraid. If there is trouble, I will take action. Li Shiming said to Xiao Feng with a smile. He has great confidence in Xiao Feng. Xiao Feng is a red golden phoenix. If Xiao Feng's race cannot survive the fourth grade heavenly tribulation, I am afraid that no spiritual beast can survive the fourth grade heavenly tribulation. The only thing that needs to be worried is that Xiao Feng is too young and will be frightened by the catastrophe and unable to exert his own strength. Xiao Feng returned to his strongest state at this time, 
and the full form of the red gold phoenix was suspended in the air. In Seal Fang's body, the energy in the demon elixir is undergoing drastic changes, and the energy is shrinking in Xiao Fang's demon elixir. All the energy is squeezing toward the center point of the demon core. When the squeeze reaches a certain level, energy collapse occurs inside the demon core. The energy at the peak of the third level turned into nothingness after the energy collapsed. But in no time, a new tiny demon pill appeared in the void. This tiny demon pill was rebuilt from the regenerated energy after the energy collapsed. The new energy is fourth grade energy, and the demon elixir formed from it is naturally a fourth grade demon elixir. The continuous increase of the fourth grade demon pellet does not mean that the energy in the fourth grade demon pellet is filled, but that the peak energy of the third grade demon pellet has experienced energy collapse and is transformed into the fourth grade energy. The SH, L, and the inside are still empty. At this time, the effect of Xiaofeng's continuous consumption of the third grade top spiritual beast increasing pill during this period took place. A massive amount of energy accumulated in Xiaofeng's body and poured into the fourth grade demon pill. When passing through the SH, L of the fourth grade demon pill, these energies are converted into fourth grade energy. With the emergence of the fourth grade demon pill, the aura on Xiaofeng's body also increased. The fourth grade demon pill stretched out countless small threads to connect various parts of Xiaofeng's body, especially the runes in Xiaofeng's body. Among the fourth grade demon pills, a ball of flame runes is appearing. This is Xiaofeng's original ability. Li Shiming since Xiaofeng's situation. He found that there was only one flame rune in the fourth grade demon pill, and no other runes appeared. He was happy and helpless at the same time. It's helpless because Xiao Feng's fourth grade demon elixir has too few innate abilities and only has one fire ability. Gao Gao also has only one innate ability. Considering Xiao Feng's talent, having only one flame ability shows how powerful this flame ability is. The fourth grade demon pill reacted with Xiao Feng's body. The energy in the fourth grade demon pill entered various parts of its body through countless small threads and then returned to the fourth grade demon pill. During this process, Xiao Feng's body was also upgraded from the third level to the fourth level, and its body more than doubled in size. The terror of the top bloodline was fully demonstrated in Xiao Feng. During the process of breaking through to the fourth level, Xiao Feng's body was not affected much. The vitality and spirit absorbed during the formation of the fourth level demon pill did not make Xiao Feng weak at all. Xiao Feng can still maintain the best condition, which greatly increases the possibility of surviving the catastrophe. In the sky, a thundercloud formed. Li Shiming did not bless Xiao Feng with lightning resistant spells. Given Xiao Feng's current situation, he did not need his help. Xiao Feng seemed to be very bored with the thunderclouds in the sky. It spread its wings and flew towards the thunderclouds in the sky. There was a loud boom, and a thick thunder fell. Based on the situation of thunderclouds and sky thunder, Li Shiming judged that the power of the disaster against Xiao Feng was not small. Xiao Feng saw the thunder falling and spit out a mouthful of flames to meet the thunder. The sky thunder collided with the flames, and the flames exploded. However, the sky thunder consumed most of its power during the collision. The final sky thunder fell on Xiaofeng, causing no pain or itching. The second thunderbolt fell three breaths after the first thunderbolt, and there was no intention of giving Xiaofeng time to breathe. The power of this sky thunder increased a lot. Xiaofeng was not afraid. It still spit out a mouthful of flames. The flame turned into a hollow pillar of fire this time, shrouding the sky thunder. The hollow pillar of fire supported it for half a breath before it was broken open by the sky thunder, and the pillar of fire dissipated. After experiencing the consumption of the fire pillar, the power of the second sky thunder was reduced by half. When the sky thunder fell on Xiao Feng's body, only part of the energy feathers on his body were reduced to nothing. Boom! This sound was louder than any previous thunder. Li Shiming was suddenly shocked. The Mu Lei Yuanying in his body was still cultivating. He was a little too confident and did not let Mu Lei Yuanying stop practicing. This made it impossible for him to use the fourth grade lightning technique to its fullest power, even though he was using the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. Without the support of nascent soul, Lei Fei's power would be greatly reduced. Even if he uses the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer to give Xiao Feng the lightning resistance spell, it won't help. This last thunderstorm almost emptied all the lightning energy in the thundercloud at once. It can be seen that the rules of heaven and earth do not want top-level bloodline spirit beasts, like Xiaofeng, to break through to the fourth level. This may also be a means of restricting top-level bloodlines by the rules of heaven and earth. Li Shiming felt that he had underestimated the calamity of the top bloodline beasts. 
he thought that it would be easy for top bloodline beasts, like the Red Gold Phoenix to break through to the fourth level. But in fact, the difficulty of breaking through the top level bloodline spirit beasts was far beyond his imagination. This last thunder had no intention of giving Xiaofeng a way out. But why did the Phantom Dragon not encounter such a powerful thunder when it broke through to the fourth level? He didn't know that although Phantom Dragon was a five-clawed dragon, its five-clawed dragon was acquired. In a sense, its talent had an upper limit. Xiaofeng is a natural red gold phoenix. And its potential is much higher than the acquired top-level bloodline spirit beasts. This is the reason why the rules of heaven and earth impose the greatest restrictions. It was too late for Li Shiming to take action. The power of the last thunderbolt was too great. Even if he took action, he would only be involved. Just when he was feeling annoyed and ready to accept the worst outcome, an accident happened. The last thunder struck Xiaofeng, and all the feathers on Xiaofeng's body burned. When the thunder hit it, its entire body turned into flames. Li Shiming took a look and realized that this trick was familiar to him. The nascent soul monk of the Hidden Sun sect had used this secret method to transform himself from a physical state into an energy state. In the energy state, it can reduce the attack's face to the greatest extent. The flame that Xiaofeng transformed into was struck by thunder, and the flames flew out in all directions. Xiao Feng! Li Shiming exclaimed. He felt that his contractual relationship with Xiao Feng had not been terminated, but he could not see where Xiao Feng was. Flames scattered in all directions, and a small group of flames transformed into a red gold phoenix form in the air. It's just that this red gold phoenix is a bit small, but after it appeared, the surrounding flames concentrated on it making the flames rise higher and higher, and soon exceeded the size of the flames before it was struck by the last thunder. Chapter 597 Phoenix Li Shiming smiled. At this moment, he saw Xiaofeng still alive in the flames. Xiaofeng's condition was not good. A shocking thunderstrike. If it hadn't had the ability to energize itself and used it when it was most dangerous, it would have been killed by the thunder. Even though it was energized, the power of the last thunder still caused serious injuries to Xiaofeng. Xiaofeng didn't care about the injury. He looked at the thunderclouds in the sky. The thunderclouds split the last thunder and turned into thin clouds, which were quickly dissipating. It seems that the natural disaster has been successfully passed, and Xiaofeng has become a fourth-grade early-stage red gold phoenix. After surviving the catastrophe, rewards from heaven and earth will follow. A warm energy appeared from the void and circulated in Xiaofeng's body. Xiaofeng's body was strengthened by this energy and even Xiaofeng's soul was improving. Not to mention Xiaofeng's previous injuries, which healed in a moment. Xiaofeng was suspended gracefully in the air, its flame feathers shining with golden light. And it felt extremely powerful. It sent out a phoenix cry towards the sky. This phoenix cry broke through the Dudong Mountain formation and echoed in the sky above the 10,000 Beast sect. The spiritual pets released by the monks from all over the 10,000 Beast sect were unlucky. That is, Xiaofeng did not have murderous intentions when he sent out the phoenix cry. Otherwise the weak spiritual pets of the 10,000 beast sect would be frightened to death by the foaming on the spot. The spiritual pets bowed their heads one after another, showing awe, which was a sign of respect for the top bloodline. The phoenix-type spiritual pets behaved even more humbly. As long as all phoenix-type spiritual pets were not put away, they all lay down on the ground and expressed their obedience. At this time, the monks in the 10,000 beast sect who had phoenix-type spiritual pets were all shocked. Judging from the current situation, if they released their phoenix-type spiritual pets during the battle, and the owner of the phoenix cry was on the opposite side, then their own whether a phoenix spiritual pet has the courage to fight for its master is worthy of scrutiny. Shurjin, why is there such a big commotion? A figure appeared in Dujia Mountain. It was Master Hu, the great monk. His voice appeared first, and then the figure appeared. However, when he saw the fourth grade Xiaofeng, he couldn't help but hesitate. Xiao Feng was promoted to the fourth rank, he shouted in surprise. Why he fell in love with Li Shiming at first sight was not because Li Shiming contracted Xiaofeng, a red golden phoenix. He was thinking that Li Shiming had spent hundreds of years cultivating Xiaofeng into a fourth grade spiritual pet. Even if he took it slowly, Xiaofeng could be promoted to a late stage fourth grade spiritual pet. But he never thought that Xiaofeng's promotion would come so quickly. He didn't need Li Shiming to answer. He sensed Xiaofeng's situation. And the last worry in his heart disappeared. What he was worried about was that Xiaofeng was promoted too quickly and had a weak foundation. After his perception, he found that Xiaofeng's foundation was very strong. And it didn't look like he had a weak foundation at all. 
You take Xiaofeng back to the cave first. The commotion this time is a bit big. You can't hide the fact that you have the red gold phoenix spiritual pet. You have to be more careful in the future. Brother who said helplessly. Li Shiming has a red gold phoenix spiritual pet. And there are very few monks in the sect who know about it. Originally. Brother who had planned to keep it under his control so that the news would not spread. But the noise Li Shiming made this time was really too big and couldn't be suppressed at all. Especially the monks who have phoenix-type spiritual pets. They can judge from the situation of their phoenix-type spiritual pets that another red gold phoenix has appeared in the sect. Master, please excuse me. Li Shiming bowed and thanked him. He recruited Xiao Feng back and took Xiao Feng to leave Dujia Mountain and return to his cave. It wasn't until Xiao Feng was sent to the spiritual pet room that he had time to check Xiao Feng's abilities. Xiao Feng has only one ability. The fire ability called Nirvana Fire. Although, Fire of Nirvana is just an ability. It has many effects, such as burning the soul, the body of fire, and rebirth. These are the specific effects of Fire of Nirvana. There is no need to explain much about burning the soul. Seal Feng had this ability when he was in the third level. The flames emitted by Seal Feng can cause extremely strong damage to the enemy's soul. The body of flame is the method Seal Feng used when he encountered the last thunderbolt when he passed through the fourth grade heavenly tribulation transforming himself into an energy-based flame. The body of fire can be immune to physical attacks to the greatest extent, and also has a certain reduction effect on most energy attacks. The last step is rebirth. As long as the fire of Nirvana is still there, Seofeng can rely on the rebirth effect to be reborn in the fire of Nirvana. Of course, Seofeng's combat power is not only reflected in the fire of Nirvana. Seofeng's fourth grade body is also extremely powerful among the early 4th grade spiritual beasts. This is not long after Xiaofeng was promoted to the 4th level. After Xiaofeng has accumulated a certain amount of experience, his 4th level body will be even more powerful. Xiaofeng's sharp claws and sharp beak are equivalent to the magic weapons of Yuanying monks, and have the effect of breaking through spiritual defense. In addition, Xiaofeng's defense has also become stronger. The defense of 4th grade spiritual beasts is inherently stronger than that of human monks. Xiao Feng's defensive power means that even if it is hit by the magic weapon of the early Yuanying monk, it will not be too damaged. Its flame feathers are a solid line of defense. Xiao Feng, this is for you. Put it away. Li Shiming took out a space ring, fixed it on Xiao Feng's foot and ordered. Xiao Feng naturally knows how to use the space ring. When it discovered that the space ring contained a large number of third grade top spiritual beasts Yuanzeng Dan, it just needed to replenish its energy and immediately started to feast on them. Li Shiming smiled. His mountain peaks were planted with third-grade beast saliva fruits, which are the main material for refining the third-grade spirit beasts in Yuan Dan. There were two spiritual planners dedicated to taking care of the third-grade beast saliva fruits. In the end, 10% of these third-grade beast saliva fruits were given to Ling Jifu, and the other third-grade beast saliva fruits were refined by him into third-grade spiritual beast increasing pills. Even if Xiao Feng and Phantom Spirit Dragon have a big appetite, no matter how they eat, with the number of third grade beast saliva fruits, let alone two of them, they can still have resources to cultivate even more spiritual pets. Li Shiming received the message transmission formula and started the formation with a smile. Zhong Chong, Yu Shan, and Lu Hung arrived hand in hand. It seemed that they knew about Xiao Feng's promotion to the fourth rank. Congratulations, Junior Brother! They congratulated in unison. Zhong Chong has become much more confident since he was promoted to the Golden Elixir stage. From his current aura, it seems that he will soon be promoted to the Middle Golden Elixir stage. The reason why he was able to improve so quickly was not only due to his rebirth, but the most important reason was that Li Shiming provided a large number of extremely high-quality Golden Elixir stage training auxiliary elixirs. Come in and sit down quickly! Li Shiming let them into the cave hall. He poured the fourth grade spiritual tea he made for the three of them and put some 4th grade spiritual fruits on it. He had no shortage of 4th grade spiritual fruits. Not to mention the spiritual fruit trees he planted himself. Even those from Zhongzhou Trading Company the 5 year salary given was enough to amount to 100 coins. Senior brother, take these 4th grade spiritual tea and 4th grade spiritual fruit back home and eat them slowly. If you eat them all at once, your state will probably burst your body. Yu Shan thought more carefully and reminded Zhong Chang. I won't be polite to my junior brother. I will take away whatever I can. Such spiritual objects can save me a lot of practice time. Zhong Chong replied with a smile. After accepting so much help from Li Shiming, 
He even gave the most precious things to Li Shiming. The relationship between him and Li Shiming was already extremely close. In particular, all the elixirs he used for cultivation during the Golden Elixir period were provided by Li Shiming. All third grade elixirs are third grade high grade elixirs. This alone allows Zhong Chan to reduce the interval between taking third grade elixirs and maximize the effect of his practice. He had also heard of Li Shiming's reputation for the fourth grade spiritual tea. But due to his state of mind, he could not normally come into contact with such fourth grade spiritual tea. This time, with the congratulations, he was finally able to taste the four grade spiritual tea. Since he couldn't taste them all here, he would definitely take all the spiritual tea and spiritual fruits back. This was the best resource. Where's Xiaofeng? Lu Hung asked, looking into the depths of the cave. As soon as he called out Xiaofeng's name, he saw Xiaofeng, who had shrunk in size and was running happily while flapping her wings, ran out of it. Is this a red gold phoenix? Yu Shan and Zhong Chang both raised questions. It seems that Xiaofeng's appearance is the same as the red gold phoenix described by the sect but his character is obviously that of a child. Completely different from the proud red gold phoenix. They immediately thought that it had only been a few years since Xiaofeng and Li Shiming signed the contract. Even though Xiaofeng was already at the fourth level, in terms of age, Xiaofeng was still in the infancy of a spiritual beast. That is to say, Xiaofeng met Li Shiming, the master of alchemy, and in the previous battle with the Yuanying monks of the Gufeng sect, he devoured a lot of third and fourth grade spiritual insects so that the very young Xiaofeng not only became, he became an adult in a short time, and has now been promoted to the fourth rank. Looking at Zhong Chang again, in fact, the situations of Zhong Chang and Xiao Feng are very similar. With the help of Li Shiming, a master of alchemy, Li Shiming's second and third grade elixir can shorten the time to get through this period to a few years during the period between the second and third grades, or the foundation building stage, and the golden elixir stage. Xiao Feng. This is our gift to you. Yu Shan smiled and took out a Corolla made of a fourth grade spiritual flower and hung it around Xiao Feng's neck. Originally, this flower crown was intended to be used as a hat for Xiao Feng. But Xiao Feng had shrunk at this time and could only hang it on her neck. Although he said it was a gift from the three of them, Zhong Chang was only at the Golden Core stage and most of his original wealth was lost. The remaining portion in the cave could not be used until he reached the nascent soul stage. This made Zhong Chang couldn't come up with a decent gift at all. Lu Hung was a registered disciple. And even though he had a small fortune, he was still far behind Yushan. Everyone has spent money. Li Shiming glanced at the Corolla. Even though it was made of fourth grade spiritual flowers, it was not made randomly. The fourth grade spiritual flower has gone through some special techniques. So that the fourth grade spiritual flower will not wither. When forming the Corolla, a refining technique is also used making the Corolla equivalent to a fourth-grade magic weapon. The effect of the flower crown is to enhance Xiaofeng's soul. This effect is naturally extremely weak, but even if it only improves a little, it also increases Xiaofeng's potential. This is for Xiaofeng. Yushan waved his hand and said. He smiled and signaled to Xiaofeng. Xiaofeng liked the flower crown very much and jumped to his side. It was obvious that Yushan was deliberately trying to please Xiaofeng. This is not difficult to understand. Xiaofeng's future is foreseeable. When Xiaofeng is promoted to the late fourth grade, he will have the same combat power and status as Brother Hu. Junior Brother, you still have to be careful in the future and don't expose your whereabouts easily. Although you have become a guest of Zhongzhou Trading Company, the greedy heart of the monks will always do some lawless things. Zhong Chong said at this time, Thank you, Senior Brother, for the reminder. I will pay attention. Li Shiming was not a person who could not listen to persuasion. He nodded and said, he knew this, and now his possession of the red gold phoenix spiritual pet was completely exposed, and the red gold phoenix was promoted to the fourth level within the 10,000 bees sect. Whether they have the idea of killing the red gold phoenix because they don't want the red gold phoenix to suppress their spiritual pets, or they want to plunder the bloodline of the red gold phoenix to improve the bloodline of their own spiritual pets. There are sects that monks will take desperate risks outside the sect, whether it is the hostile Hidden Sun sect or other related or unrelated forces. They will not think of letting Xiaofeng grow to the late fourth level. If you want to stop Xiaofeng's growth, the most direct way is to kill Li Shiming, the master. Even if Li Shiming is a guest of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank, Zhongzhou Commercial Bank will not know as long as he does it secretly. Elder brother, 
When are you going to enter the Cave of 10,000 Beasts to choose a spiritual pet? If you need contribution points to enter the Cave of 10,000 Beasts, I still have some contribution points for you. Li Shiming asked Zhong Chang. Zhong Chang's spiritual pet has died long ago. He currently does not have a contracted spiritual pet, which is extremely rare within the 10,000 Beasts sect. Senior brother, don't be polite to him. His contribution points came easily. Unlike mine, every point was earned with his own life. Yushan said to Zhong Chang with a smile when he heard what Li Shiming said. Junior brother, I will not be polite when needed. But I plan to consider it after I advance to the nascent soul stage. I will not leave the sect until I advance to the nascent soul stage. Zhong Chang said with a smile. Elder brother, when you choose a spiritual pet, you must not choose a phoenix-type spirit pet. Do you know that the phoenix cry after Xiaofeng was promoted to the fourth level will make many phoenix-type spirit pets lose their fighting spirit? When your phoenix-type spirit pet, when a spiritual pet encounters Xiaofeng, he will immediately fall towards Xiaofeng. Lu Hung said from the side, What other spiritual pets can fight against the red gold phoenix? Probably only the top dragon-type spiritual pets. Zhong Chang couldn't help but laugh and said, He doesn't have much ambition for what kind of spiritual pets he can contract. His potential is only so great and he will only be able to return to the middle stage of nascent soul in the future. The four senior brothers gathered together and chatted about interesting stories about the sect and the eastern Qi continent. This gathering deepened the relationship between the senior brothers. Li Shiming enjoyed this atmosphere, which was a rare embellishment in his lonely cultivation career. At least at this moment, he was no longer alone. In other places in the 10,000 Bees sect, the topic of Li Shiming and the Red Gold Phoenix was being discussed and Li Shiming was once again pushed to the forefront. Chapter 598 Meeting After nine months of sailing, Zhongzhou Trading Company's long-distance ship safely arrived at Zhongzhou Continent. The Yuahang flying boat made a special detour and sent Jian Wuwei to a location very close to the Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. After Jian Wuwei got off the voyage ship, although he saw a vast ocean of nothingness in front of him, he felt as if he was a wanderer returning home. He flew to a barrier, which automatically detected his identity and did not prevent him from entering. After passing through the barrier, he saw the familiar scenery. Jianfeng remained unchanged from before. Just when he entered the barrier and was observing the long-lost scenery of Toward Intention Chongxiao Pavilion, a wave of energy enveloped him, and his figure disappeared from the place. Then Jian Wuwei appeared in another space, and an old man with white hair and beard stood in front of him. Finally home, the old man said calmly, Grandpa, your grandson is unfilial. When Jian Wuwei saw the old man, tears welled up in his eyes, and he knelt on the ground and cowed out heavily. The Jian family has weak blood. I was in retreat when you and your father had an accident. I also looked for you, but there was no news. You have suffered all these years. The old man reached out and stroked Jian Wuwei's head with memories in his eyes. Shisa said, the old man did not say anything about Jian Wuwei's father because of his blood connection. He was sure that Jian Wuwei's father had died, and not even nascent soul could escape. It wasn't that he didn't want to ask Jian Wuwei, but he didn't want to ask about it right after Jian Wuwei came back. My father met an enemy back then. In order to save me, he used his life to activate the sword's will, which happened to break the space rift in the void. I was teleported to the Beishu continent from the space rift. Jian Wuwei cried. He could never forget that his father gave up the chance to live for himself and left the hope of life to himself with his father's strength. Even though he was defeated in that battle, it was still possible to drive nascent soul to escape. But if you do that, Jian Wuwei cannot be taken away. So his father made his choice. And Jian Wuwei survived. The old man sighed. No wonder Jian Wuwei has not been found for so many years. The Beishu continent is almost the most remote place in the world of immortal cultivation. It has poor resources and a very poor aura environment. So almost no monks are willing to go to the Beishu continent. The local forces in the northern Shu continent also lost contact with other continents tens of millions of years ago. Even large commercial banks will not go to the northern Shu continent to do business. And only medium-sized cross-continental commercial banks will care about petty profits. The intelligence network of Jenny Choshao Pavilion is indeed very extensive. But it has not been distributed to the northern Shu continent. I'm sorry for you. I was promoted to the nascent soul stage in the Beishu continent. Practice hard when you come back. The previous training will actually be a good thing for you. The old man helped Jian Wuwei and said, Hey, how come your foundation is so depleted? When the old man helped Jian Wuwei up, 
He took a look at Jian Mu's body and asked in surprise, although he didn't show much excitement before. In fact, he was just suppressing it. How could he not be excited? The Jian family lineage has been inherited in Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion for more than 10,000 years. And it almost exists with Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. When it came to his own lineage, due to the death of Jian Wu's father, the Jian family had a fault on Jian Wu's father's side. If Jian Wu hadn't returned, the Jian clan would have been in danger of being cut off. After a period of time when the old man stabilized his emotions, he realized something was wrong with Jian Wu's body. Jian Wu described to the old man what he had encountered in the eastern Qi continent, and he emphasized the great kindness he owed him. You have to follow your heart. I will not stop you from repaying your kindness. But after you come back and recover your cultivation, you need to leave descendants for the Jian family first. The old man thought for a while and said, The sword cultivator's sword heart is extremely important. No matter how much the old man doesn't want Jian Wu to spend his life repaying his kindness. If Jian Wu wants to improve his level in the future, he can't stop Jian Wu Once stopped, Jian Wu sword heart will be damaged. And Jian Wu will have no chance of improving his cultivation level. Come with me. I still keep your original cave. The old man came outside with Jian Wu and pointed to a cave not far away and said. Jian Wu looked at the scenery in front of him. If Li Yuanba were here, he would definitely find that the scenery here is exactly the same as the scenery on the scroll of sword intent climbing to the sky. This is the real core of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. The Jianfeng outside is just the place where ordinary sword cultivators of the sect live. Grandpa, you still keep this cave. Jian Wu looked at his cave and said softly, At the beginning, he was not qualified to own a cave here. This so-called cave was built by the old man for his grandson to play next to his cave, so that his grandson could have a place to live here. You should practice while here and recover as soon as possible. The old man waved his hand and said, He has experienced so much that he is not good at expressing his emotions. If it were not for his grandson, he would rarely show up at Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. Grandpa, my grandson has accepted a disciple named Li Yuanba. I heard that he has also been promoted to the nascent soul stage. He returned to the pavilion ahead of me. Please help take care of it when you have time. There is something here that Masterly brought to him. Yes. Jian Wuwei was about to walk into the cave. But he thought of something important and turned back to the old man. He took out the storage bag and handed it to the old man. The old man shook his head slightly and took it. You don't have to worry about things outside. I will take care of him. The old man waved his hand. Jian Wu was sent into the cave. And all the formations of the cave were activated. The old man looked at the storage bag in his hand. The storage bag had a spiritual imprint. But it could not stop his exploration. He saw dozens of fourth grade flying swords in the storage bag. Especially the five top grade fourth grade flying swords. Even with his knowledge. He was surprised. What an interesting kid. Go meet him. He said to himself with a smile. Li Yuanba played the 101 points pill technique. There was no pill splitting in the third grade pill furnace in front of him. And there were still three spiritual pills taking shape. He shook his head helplessly. Even with the experience of Li Shiming's countless 100% activation of the 100 points pill Ju. He still could not successfully use the 100 points pill Ju. He performed the elixir collection technique and put three fourth grade elixirs into two jade bottles respectively. One of the fourth grade elixirs belonged to him. He felt the six yang spiritual fire in the third grade elixir furnace. It did not consume much. And he could still refine several more furnaces of fourth grade elixirs. Just when he was about to continue refining the elixir. When he turned to take the elixir, he saw an old man looking at him with a smile. The hairs all over Li Yuanba's body stood up. And he instantly mobilized all his combat power. For characters, and one sword empowered his Jiang sword intent and shot towards the old man. This was not over yet. Ten thousand swords peak appeared beside him. And from ten thousand swords peak, thousands of flying swords flew out with different sword intentions and also flew towards the old man. He is also activating the end of the world and is preparing to use his magical power to escape from here. These are his fighting instincts. He knows very well that a monk who can appear silently at such a close distance without being discovered by him is simply not something he can deal with. What was even more terrifying was that when he looked at the old man, he did not perceive the old man's state or even his existence. Otherwise he saw the old man when he turned around. Or maybe he didn't know there was an old man standing next to him. He didn't even know how long the old man had been standing here. Maybe he had just arrived. Or maybe he had watched his entire alchemy process. This is really too terrifying. 
as a nascent soul sword cultivator. He still has some confidence in his own strength. Before today, if anyone said that there was a monk standing a few meters away from him without being noticed, he would never believe it. But now he believed it. What a sharp attack, the old man said with a smile. The four characters' swords stopped in front of the old man, and 10,000 flying swords were frozen in the air. Even the south close to the end, Badly Yuanbo was about to use failed because the space could not be mobilized. Which senior of Jianni Chong Shao Pavilion are you? Li Yuanba calmed down at this time and bowed to ask. He figured it out. This was Jianni Chong Shao Pavilion. And his cave was in Jianfeng. If outside monks could easily enter Jianfeng and invade his cave, Jianni Chong Shao Pavilion would not be like this. A big name. The old man's strength also made him lose the idea of continuing to fight. Even though he can move freely now, it seems that it has no influence. But his four character sword and the 10,000 flying swords summoned from 10,000 swords peak were all unable to be driven. The connection with the flying swords was still there. But he could not make the flying swords move at all. You are smart. The old man smiled and praised. And he continued. My surname is Jian. They call me Jian Lao in Jian Chong Shao Pavilion. I am also Jian Wu's grandfather. Jian Wu has come back and asked me to take care of him. You? When Li Yuanba heard Jian Lao introduce himself, he couldn't help but be startled. How should he call Master Jian Wu his grandfather? Just call me Mr. Jian. Seniority means nothing to me. Mr. Jian saw Li Yuanba's confusion and said with a smile, Li Yuanba has met Mr. Jian. How is the master? Li Yuanba asked with a respectful, okay, sword salute. Although he already knew about Jian Wu's situation, he still asked, Wu suffered some injuries and needs to rest for a while. Jian Lao replied while looking at Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba showed a look of reassurance at the right time. But he knew in his heart that the main body Li Shiming arranged for Jian Wuwei to ride on the Zhongzhou Commercial Company's long-distance voyage ship. So there was no chance of any accidents. Your situation is strange. You are obviously a pure Yang body. But you have managed to reconcile Yin and Yang. This mountain magic weapon is equally weird. It can energize the flying swords and activate them all to form a volley of 10,000 swords. It is a good magic weapon. Not many people can be noticed by Jin Lao. But Li Yuanba has two things that he paid attention to. With his knowledge, he did not see Li Yuanba's Tai Chi body. Only the pure Yang body in the human state. Normally, monks with pure Yang bodies will encounter a problem when they reach the nascent soul stage. And that is the trouble of Gan being out of tune. This lonely Yang cannot be reconciled through a simple method. It requires the same quality of Yin to be reconciled. In this case, it is usually necessary to find a monk who possesses the ultimate in body to practice dual cultivation together, so that both of them can achieve a state of harmony between in and yang. But after reaching the nascent soul stage, it is not easy for monks to find a partner with whom they can completely rest assured to practice dual cultivation. In the process of dual cultivation, as long as one party has a wrong mind, the other party will be severely harmed. So even though the monks all know this method of in and yang reconciliation, very few can actually apply it. Li Yuanba didn't have any troubles in this regard. His own Tai Chi Taoist body was balancing Yin and Yang all the time. This was also the reason for his extremely fast cultivation speed. As for 10,000 Swords Peak, it can only be said that the formation of 10,000 Swords Peak is extremely difficult. It takes a sword cultivator sec for thousands of years. Sword cultivators constantly put their sword intention and flying swords into 10,000 Swords Peak before dying. After the precipitation of time, 10,000 swords peak was created. Jianfeng. Needless to say, it took thousands of years. The special spirituality that allowed 10,000 swords peak to be able to energize flying swords was an extremely accidental ability. Even though the 10,000 swords peak in the Beishu continent was just a product that helped sword cultivators below the Golden Core sword cultivator to practice their swordsmanship. The spirituality bred in it was far beyond the level of 10,000 swords peak itself. Li Yuanba shut his mouth tightly. Although he didn't know what Jin Lao's state was, he didn't dare to tell lies in front of Jin Lao. If he couldn't answer, it would be better not to speak. Ha ha. Who doesn't have a little secret? This is what Master Li Shurjin Li of the Eastern Qi Continent asked Wu Wei to bring to you. It seems that you are really willing to give it up just for this mountain magic weapon. Jin Lao shook his head and said with a smile. He brought the storage bag to Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba knew what was in the storage bag. So he was not surprised when he heard Jian Lao's words. 
he was also relieved. Although Jin Lao was sighing, he was not greedy for the flying sword in the storage bag. There are five top-level fourth-grade tribulation flying sword magic weapons in the storage bag. These five top-grade fourth-grade tribulation flying sword magic weapons alone are enough to make any nascent soul sword cultivator's heart flutter. It is even possible to give up one's own flying sword for the sake of the fourth-grade top-level weapon. The Flying Sword The fourth-grade top-level tribulation flying sword magic weapon is almost the ultimate quality of the Yuanying stage flying sword magic weapon. Even if the Yuanying sword cultivator tries to find materials to improve his natal flying sword, he cannot find a top-level weapon that can improve the fourth-grade flying sword in the Yuanying stage. The Weapon Refining Material of the GFA Sword Magic Weapon In other words, these five fourth-grade top-level tribulation flying sword magic weapons have reached the graduation standard among flying swords in the nascent soul stage. Thank you, Mr. Jin. This 10,000 sword peaks was given to me by the master. I want to improve the quality of 10,000 sword peaks and don't want to let down the master's wishes. Li Yuanba bowed and said, You are a good boy. This is my token. Wu Wei needs to be in seclusion for a long time. If you encounter any problems in cultivation, you can come to me. Jian La took out a token and handed it to Li Yuanba and said, He accepted Li Yuanba. Chapter 599 10,000 Swords the Sword Elder did not persuade Li Yuanba to concentrate on swordsmanship or indulge in alchemy. Nor did he persuade Li Yuanba to only focus on his natal flying sword and give up cultivating. 10,000 Swords Peak. His vision is higher. Standing at the top, he has a more comprehensive view on the concept of sword cultivation. You leave five top grade, fourth grade tribulation flying swords with me for 10 days. And I will return them to you after 10 days. Jian Lao made an excessive request. This surprised Li Yuanba at first thinking that Jian Lao had ideas about the five top-grade fourth-grade weapons, the Fei Jian, but he soon realized that he was wrong. He had some guesses about Jian Lao's realm. Li Shiming, the real person, has met many great monks, and his master is a great monk, so he is extremely familiar with the aura of a great monk. Although Li Yuanba couldn't sense Jian Lao's aura clearly, the pressure that Jian Lao gave him exceeded that of any great monk Li Shiming had ever seen. Perhaps the fourth grade top weapon tribulation flying sword is extremely precious. But this is nothing to Li Yuanba. It is just a little troublesome to transport it. If Jin Lao is really in the normal realm as he judged, then the fourth grade top level tribulation flying sword will be nothing to Jin Lao. Li Yuanba took out five fourth grade top level tribulation flying swords and handed them to Jin Lao. Jin Lao took them with a smile and said nothing. Jin Lao is still very satisfied with Li Yuanba. But he still needs to observe for a while. Li Yuanba was Jian Wuwei's only disciple, and he had been promoted to the nascent soul stage. So it was possible for him to accept Li Yuanba as a member of the Jin family. As long as Li Yuanba passes a period of observation and there are no surprises, he will be a member of the Jin family with a foreign surname and will also become the core swordsman of Jinny Chongshao Pavilion. Jian Lao disappeared from Li Yuanba's cave without disturbing the formation in the cave. This made Li Yuanba spend a day looking for loopholes in the formation again. But even if the original body, Li Shiming's natal magic weapon Z-15, was searched together, the loopholes in the formation of the cave were not found. Li Yuanba didn't know that the reason why Jian Lao was able to enter his cave without being discovered by the formation was not because he had a deeper understanding of the formation, but because Jian Lao's mastery of the rules allowed him to do things that ordinary monks could not imagine. Thing. Jian Lao took out the identity jade plate and issued an order on it. Soon. He received all the information about Yu Xiang Trading Company. He added all the remaining forces of Yu Xiang Trading Company to the SEC mission. And the mission reward was proposed by him. Jian Lao's temper is no longer what it used to be. If he had been back then, he would have gone to slaughter the remaining forces of Yu Xiang Trading Company with his sword in hand. If there is a sword intention to attack Xiaoda, the remaining forces of Yu Xiang Trading Company will be eliminated soon. It is estimated that when the five early Yuanying monks who were persecuted by Yu Xiang Trading Company come out of seclusion. They will be extremely disappointed because they have no target for revenge. Li Yuanba took out 10,000 Swords Peak. Today, he will make an important upgrade to 10,000 Swords Peak. He first sent dozens of fourth grade flying swords containing Heavenly Thunder Sword Intent into 10,000 Swords Peak and 10,000 Swords Peak turn them into energy. This process took more than 10 days before it was completely completed. After this period of hard work, there are more than a hundred energy formed fourth grade flying swords containing sword intent in 10,000 swords peak. The power of 10,000 swords peak. 
has also been greatly improved. When any monk faces hundreds of fourth grade flying swords in 10,000 swords peak, it is like facing hundreds of nascent soul sword cultivators to attack at the same time. Of course, the energy flying swords inspired by 10,000 swords peak are far less powerful than the natal flying swords inspired by the Yuanying monks themselves. But the quantity is enough to make up for everything. Hundreds of fourth grade flying swords, plus nearly 10,000 energy flying swords with a hint of nascent soul level sword intent. Make any monk in the early nascent soul stage not dare to underestimate the power of 10,000 swords peak. Li Yuanba took out the five top grade fourth grade tribulation flying swords that Jian Lao had sent to him a few days ago. The way Jian Lao sent them was the same as before. Appearing directly in Li Yuanba's cave, Li Yuanba was also helpless. Fortunately, he didn't have too many secrets. The only thing he needed to pay attention to was not to let Jian Lao discover his corpse refining state. He looked at the five top grade fourth grade tribulation flying swords in front of him. Before, there was a hint of dissatisfaction with the old sword for entering his cave at will. When he saw these five top grade fourth grade tribulation flying swords, he immediately disappeared. The under sword intention in the five handled fourth grade top level weapon tribulation flying sword has not disappeared. But there is an additional sword intention in it. Since the owner of the five handled fourth grade top level tribulation flying sword is Li Shiming, it is equivalent to Li Yu and Ba's flying sword. Therefore, all the extra sword intention information inside can be clearly perceived by Li Yuanba. The sword intention is called Void Breaking Sword Intention. One sword breaks the void. This is an extremely sharp sword intention, and its lethality far exceeds that of Tian Lei Sword Intent. The most important thing is that this Void Breaking Sword Intention is the real sword intention of the Great Monk. It's just that Li Yuanba didn't know what kind of method Jian Lao used to integrate the Great Monks. Void Breaking Sword Intention into the fourth grade top weapon tribulation flying sword. But it didn't affect the original. Thunder sword intent. The identity of the owner of the fourth grade top level weapon tribulation flying sword has not changed. This method is beyond Li Yuanba's imagination. Li Yuanba carefully sent a fourth grade top level weapon. The tribulation flying sword. Onto the rock at the top of the Wanjian Peak. This is the core of Wanjian Peak. And there are five Liu Guangxingyu flying swords placed there. The five Flowing stars, flying swords are also weapon calamity flying swords. But unfortunately, they are only at level 3. A 4th grade top level weapon. The tribulation flying sword. Replace the Lu Guan Xing Yuan. Lu Guan Xing Yuan. Was sent to the mountain below. Inserted into the mountain peak. And became one of the thousands of flying swords. The subsequent four, Liu Guang Xing Yun, were also replaced by the 4th grade top grade tribulation flying sword. When the last 4th grade top grade tribulation flying sword was placed at the core of 10,000 swords peak. He felt the 10,000 swords. The peak has changed. Li Yuanba's expression changed. Without any hesitation. He quickly used South close to the end of the world. To move towards the outside of the cave. Stopping in a place outside sword peak. This is usually the place where sword cultivators compete. Today there are not many sword cultivators here. Only two pairs are fighting. He stayed away from the two pairs of fighting swordsmen. Soon after he stopped, thunderclouds appeared above his head. I don't know whether it's because five top grade fourth grade weapons, the tribulation flying sword, are used as the core of 10,000 swords peak, or whether the fourth grade flying swords inside 10,000 swords peak have reached a critical point, making 10,000 swords peak exceed the rules of heaven and earth limits. Therefore, 10,000 swords peak needs to face the baptism of heavenly tribulation. If it survives it, it will be a magical weapon. If it cannot survive it, it will be broken into pieces. The changes here were noticed by the nearby sword cultivators. They did not approach, but observed from a distance. Although the sword cultivators and sword intent Chongxiao Pavilion are warlike, fellow sect members will not actively affect the calamity of other sword cultivators. Any behavior that dares to affect the calamity is an act that creates a deadly feud. Unless they are life and death enemies, they will not interfere. 10,000 Swords Peak Still cannot tell what quality it is of the 4th grade. But when Li Yuanba's spiritual consciousness enters, 10,000 Swords Peak He can sense 5 shocking, void breaking sword intentions. Inside, 10,000 Swords Peak Blowing Every time the Great Monk level, void breaking sword intent, blows inside, 10,000 Swords Peak It will be strengthened by the void breaking sword intent. As long as there is enough time, all the sword intent of 
10,000 Sword Peak will be under the influence of the Great Monk Sword Intent, and its own level will be upgraded to a level infinitely close to that of the Great Monk Sword Intent. What calamity is Yuan Ba preparing to save? At this time, the members of Yunche's team arrived. Yu Xiao looked at the gathering thunderclouds in the sky and asked curiously. He was not asking Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba was preparing to deal with the catastrophe at this time. And he would not disturb Li Yuanba. This is the weapon calamity. I just don't know which of Yuanba's magic weapons is going to save the weapon calamity. Guiping recognized the weapon calamity. And he shook his head and asked in confusion. For Li Yuanba. I have experienced many cooperations. So I am familiar with him. They also knew what Li Yuanba was good at. In addition to his natal flying sword, Li Yuanba's magic weapon is 10,000 Swords Peak. But they knew that the foundation of the 10,000 Swords Peak magic weapon was too shallow, and it would not be possible to grow 10,000 Swords Peak to the level of a weapon calamity in a short time. It is estimated that even though they were thinking too hard, they never imagined that it would be someone like Jian Lao who helped Li Yuanba give birth to the sword intent of five fourth grade flying swords, or that Jian Lao was best at. Breaking the Void Sword Intent. It can be said that it was Jian Lao's help that allowed Wan Jianfeng to overdo it. The figure of Jian Lao appeared near Li Yuanba. The position he stood in was very particular. If he took one more step, he would enter the range of the Heavenly Tribulation. And he would be stuck outside the range of the Heavenly Tribulation. The sword cultivators who knew Jian Lao bowed respectfully. But Jian Lao waved his hand to stop him. All the sword cultivators could see that Jian Lao appeared for Li Yuanba. Their eyes changed when they looked at Li Yuanba. Before, Li Yuanba was just an ordinary nascent soul sword cultivator, or at best an alchemy master. In the eyes of nascent soul sword cultivator, although the alchemy master is very noble, he does not have strong combat power. The alchemy master is still just a support. But with the attention of Jin Lao, Li Yuanba's status in Jin Cho Shao Pavilion has been greatly improved. How could this sky thunder be so strong? Li Yuanba kept paying attention to Lei Yun. From the original body Li Shiming, he shared a lot of knowledge about Li Yun. This knowledge of thunder clouds was summed up by Li Shiming's personal experience. He can be said to be unique in this area of research. Although Li Yuanba was frightened by the power of thunder clouds, he did not have too many worries. He possessed the sword intention of the sun and had a strong ability to withstand the thunder. Draw out the sword! He shouted softly at 10,000 Swords Peak. Sword shadows flew out from the 10,000 Swords Peak. Each sword shadow was a real flying sword. There were more than 10,000 flying swords covering the whole sky. There are not many sword cultivators who can shoot 10,000 swords at once. But why are all the sword masters curious about 10,000 swords peak? When a normal swordsman performs 10,000 swords, he divides his own flying sword into sword light. As these sword lights are constantly dispersed, the power of the sword light will also continue to decrease. Therefore, the sword cultivator's volley of 10,000 swords and 10,000 sword lights is indeed spectacular. But the real power is really limited. When fighting with monks of the same level, not to mention dividing 10,000 sword lights, even 10 sword lights will affect the power of the flying sword. A normal sword cultivator's 10,000 sword volley is a method that is only used to deal with enemies that are much lower than one's realm and have a huge number. But 10,000 swords peak is different. Every flying sword in 10,000 Swords Peak is real. Li Yuanba cannot control 10,000 flying swords at the same time. If the real body Li Shiming is here, 10,000 flying swords can be controlled by Li Shiming like an arm wielder. However, with his mental strength, it is not a problem to use the distraction method to control 100 flying swords at the same time. As for the other flying swords, they will follow one of the 100 flying swords. 100 flying swords are all 4th grade flying swords that contain nascent soul level sword intent although the quality is uneven. The power of the energy-enhanced fourth-grade flying swords mainly comes from the sword and tech contained within. One hundred flying swords formed a lightning control formation in the air. Each node of the thunder control formation was a fourth-grade flying sword. And a hundred other flying swords were flying around a node. With a boom, the first thunder fell. This thunder blasted away most of the flying swords except for a hundred fourth-grade flying swords. These flying swords themselves were transformed into energy. After being blasted away, they turn into energy forms and return to 10,000 Swords Peak. As long as a period of time passes, 10,000 Swords Peak will recondensate the damaged flying swords and restore the full power of these flying swords. This is the power of 10,000 Swords Peak, the mountain body of 
10,000 swords peak is not damaged, and the thousands of energized flying swords inside can be infinitely reborn and restored. The branches of the Thunder Control Formation were broken, but the Thunder Control Formation composed of 104th grade flying swords, as notes, was not broken. In a confrontation between a cold drink and 104th grade flying swords, the last trace of thunder and lightning dissipated. Li Yuanba breathed out a heavy breath, and he mobilized his spiritual power to enter the 10,000 swords peak to speed up the recovery of the flying sword he had just lost. He hugged the main body of 10,000 swords peak to his chest. The quality of the mountain body of 10,000 swords peak was too low, and most of it was made of materials lower than the third grade. It was precisely because the quality of the 10,000 swords peak mountain was too low that he could not use 10,000 swords peak to transform into the original mountain to suppress the enemy. 10,000 swords peak in his hand is more like a container containing the energy of flying swords and sword intent. Flying swords continue to fly out from the 10,000 swords peak and join the thunder formation. These are flying swords that were recovered first. Although their quality is not good, they can help deal with the sky thunder. Boom! The second thunder fell. This time, not even one of the 104th grade flying swords remained. The thunder formation was destroyed by the sky thunder. But it could only withstand most of the power of the sky thunder. The remaining power of the sky thunder still fell towards Li Yuanba's head, who told him to hold 10,000 swords peak. He was equivalent to sharing the catastrophe of 10,000 swords peak. The remaining power of the sky thunder struck at Li Yuanba, and the four characters slashed at the remaining power of the sky thunder. The Jiang sword intent collided with the remaining power of the sky thunder, and a dazzling white light appeared in the sky. Chapter 600, Overcoming the Tribulation Li Yuanba's Jiang sword intention may not be the strongest sword intention, but it is one of the very few that can withstand the power of thunder. The Tianlei, which had lost most of its power, was blocked above the head by Saipingxing's sword, and all the remaining power of the Tianlei was consumed. He took a long breath. The body of 10,000 swords peak is too fragile. If he is really hit by the sky lightning, his body has practiced the body training technique and can still resist one or two. But, 10,000 swords peak, the main body may not be able to withstand this thunder. The thunderclouds in the sky once again gathered thunder and lightning. Intense thunder and lightning energy enveloped the entire area. Even if the last thunderbolt did not fall, Li Yuanba's hair was flying in the windless force field caused by the thunder and lightning energy. Without any hesitation, the nascent soul flew out of his body, and the body of the nascent soul suddenly grew in size, becoming a Yuanin Dharma form that was more than 10 meters high. In the right hand of nascent soul, the fourth grade sword base is held in his hand, and the fourth grade sword floats quietly above his head. As for the 10,000 swords peak, it is held in the palm of his left hand. It can be said that he used all his combat power at this time just to fight against the last thunder. His mind entered the 10,000 swords peak. At this time, most of the flying swords in the 10,000 swords peak were in a state of repair, and the number of flying swords that could be used was very small. However, he had not used the five top grade fourth grade weapons, the tribulation flying sword. Before, he had kept them just to deal with the last thunder. Sword out! He shouted, and five top level fourth grade tribulation flying swords flew out from the 10,000 swords peak. The five Heavenly Thunder Sword Intentions In the five-handled fourth-grade top-level weapon Tribulation Flying Sword formed a pentagonal shape in the air, forming a defensive formation. The five-pointed defensive formation rose into the sky, and the five Thunder Sword Intentions were driven away from the fourth-grade top-level Tribulation Flying Sword by Li Yuanba, forming a line of defense above the five top-level fourth-grade Tribulation Flying Swords. Boom! The world instantly turned into white. The power of the last thunder was several times greater than that of the second thunder. The sword cultivators who were watching were all frightened and couldn't help but worry about Li Yuanba. Only Jian Lao looked at him calmly, without any worry in his eyes. The last thunder struck heavily on the pentagonal defense formation composed of five sky thunder sword intentions. The five corner defense formation was destroyed in just one breath. And the sky thunder sword intention was almost annihilated under the impact of the sky thunder. Paksu! Li Yuanba's eyes flashed, and he shouted again. The two breaking sword intent was not something he cultivated, although he controlled the five top grade fourth grade tribulation flying swords. The control was far less satisfactory than his own. 
Heavenly Thunder Sword Intent. This Breaking Void Sword Intent can only be used on the 4th grade top grade tribulation flying sword and cannot leave the sword body of the 4th grade top grade tribulation flying sword. Li Yuanba had his own ideas. He had judged the power of the last thunder. He did not want to scatter the void breaking sword intent of the five fourth grade top level tribulation flying swords and be defeated one by one. The five top grade fourth grade tribulation flying swords are combined together like one flying sword. And the five void breaking sword intentions are also combined into one. This flying sword slashed at the falling thunder and a deep cut appeared in front of the falling thunder. That was the mark left by the void breaking sword intent that cut through the void. The sky thunder hit the void that was cut open and the terrifying power of the sky thunder continued to wash away the void. The gap in the void disappeared within two breaths of time. This was not caused by the power of the thunder, but the void cut by the breaking void sword intent could only last for two breaths of time. Li Yuanba used the void opening to resist the sky thunder, no matter how powerful the sky thunder was. For the void opening, it just led the sky thunder to another dimension. It's a pity that he can only hold on for two breaths. If the time is longer, the last thunder will be swallowed up by the void. The five top grade fourth grade tribulation flying swords lost the blessing of the void breaking sword intention and were hit by the residual power of the last thunder. The five handled fourth grade top grade tribulation flying sword was hit and rolled far away. This is still a fourth grade top level weapon. The quality of the tribulation flying sword is so high that the sky thunder cannot destroy it. However, Li Yuanba will not be afraid of the fourth grade top grade tribulation flying sword being destroyed. The five handled fourth grade top grade tribulation flying sword is an energy based flying sword. Even if it is destroyed, its origin will return to 10,000 swords peak and recondense in 10,000 swords peak. Cut with one sword. Li Yuanba's natal flying sword was ready to go. After the defense of the five top level weapons of the fourth level, the flying sword was broken. He slashed with one sword of the fourth level because this sword was blessed by the nascent soul dharma. The power of the Jiang Sword Intent increased several times. The Jiang Sword Intent delighted with the Sky Thunder. After the Jiang Sword Intent consumed a lot of the power of the Sky Thunder, it was also annihilated by the Sky Thunder. Seeing that the Sky Thunder was about to fall on Li Yuanba's nascent soul form, he slashed out the fourth grade sword base in his right hand with all his strength. And at the same time, a short sword with the runes of the Sword Intent climbing into the sky flashed inside the Yuanian form. The sword body, runes inside the rune dagger emitted a bright light, causing a metallic skin to form outside his nascent soul body. With the blessing of the sword body, the defense and power of the nascent soul's dharma has increased many times. With the blessing of Jiang sword intent, the fourth grade sword base slashed on the sky thunder. The last sky thunder had been weakened continuously, and it was already at the end of its powerful crossbow. It was struck by the fourth grade sword base, and the sky thunder scattered in all directions. A large amount of thunder and lightning fell on the Yuanba's nascent soul, making his metallic skin shine with electric light. The thunderclouds in the sky dissipated, and the weapon calamity of 10,000 swords peak was finally over. His whole body felt exhausted, and he quickly ended the nascent soul dharma. Every time he attacked just now, he went all out. His Yuanying stage was at the beginning stage, and the spiritual power in Yuanying was very limited. Continuous all-out attacks without any reservation left him almost exhausted. Fortunately, everything passed, and he saved Wang Jianfeng. Wang Jianfeng successfully survived the weapon tribulation and became the magic weapon of the weapon tribulation. He felt that there was an inexplicable energy in Wang Jianfeng. This inexplicable energy had a strange effect. Every time Wang Jianfeng absorbed a bit of this inexplicable energy, the body of Wang Jianfeng would be destroyed. The quality is greatly improved. Obviously, this was the recognition of heaven and earth after overcoming the catastrophe. And he was rewarded. And 10,000 swords peak. Used a third grade mountain to survive the fourth grade weapon tribulation. Natural rewards from heaven and earth make up for the quality of the mountain of 10,000 swords peak. Go back and understand. If you don't understand, come to me. Jian Lao said to Li Yuanba in a deep voice. After saying these words, Jian Lao's figure disappeared out of thin air, and none of the sword cultivators present saw how he left. Li Yuanba was sensing the changes in Wan Jianfeng. When he heard Jian Lao's words, he was about to answer, but found that Jian Lao had already left. 
he found that he was surrounded by many monks. He quickly greeted Yun Xiao and other team members, activated his sword escape, and flew towards his cave. When we have time later, let Yuan Ba have a good chat with us, Yun Xiao said, looking at Li Yuan Ba's figure. He, like several team members, has great curiosity. Jian Lao appeared to protect Li Yuan Ba and allowed Li Yuan Ba to consult him. What an honor it was. In addition, Yun Xiao saw clearly that Li Yuan Ba finally summoned five flying swords from 10,000 Swords Peak, which contained Breaking Void Sword Intent, a great monk level. Breaking Void Sword Intent. Li Yuanba returned to the cave. He put the 10,000 swords peak aside and sat cross-legged in the sword room. He practiced the sword intent to the sky technique to restore the spiritual power in his body and thought about the breaking void sword intent. This time he actually invoked the void breaking sword intent, the great monk level. Void breaking sword intent. Due to the huge gap in realms, he could only invoke the fourth grade top weapon tribulation flying sword once in a long time. Breaking the Void Sword Intent. After the Void Breaking Sword Intent is consumed, if you want to reconcentrate it, you need five top grade, fourth grade tribulation flying swords to absorb energy and recover on their own. Although there is the accelerated recovery of 10,000 swords peak. Due to the Void Breaking Sword Intent, it's the Great Monk Sword Intent. This recovery time takes a long time. Unlike those with Sword Intent in the early stage of Yuanying, since he is in the same realm as Li Yuanba, he only needs to channel his spiritual power into the 10,000 swords peak to quickly recover the sword intent in the early stage of Yuanying. His mind fell on the five fourth grade top level tribulation flying swords at the core of 10,000 swords peak. And at this time, the breaking void sword intent was condensing little by little. During this process, breaking void sword intent would slowly recover from its extremely weak state. Although the recovery time was a bit long, this process gave him the opportunity to observe and comprehend it carefully. This is why Jian Lao reminded Li Yuanba that every sword cultivator does not necessarily have only one kind of sword intention. Jian Lao hopes that Li Yuanba can understand the Tu Xiao sword intention. Li Yuanba would never refuse. He had also seen the horror of Broken Void sword intent. The great monk level. Void breaking sword intention. Strikes with all its strength. And even ordinary great monks may have to retreat. Li Yuanba didn't just rely on his own insights. He contacted the real person Li Shiming's natal magic weapon Z15. With the help of Z15, he could have a better understanding of breaking the void sword intent. It took 10 days to recover from the void breaking sword intent of the five top grade fourth grade tribulation flying swords at the core of 10,000 swords peak. But his retreat took a full 40 days. In the first 10 days, he watched the breaking void sword intent. Recover bit by bit in the fourth grade top weapon tribulation flying sword. Until the breaking void sword intent returned to the level of a great monk, making it impossible for him to look directly at it. For the next 30 days, he was completely enlightened. What Z15 provided was technical support. Every detail of the breaking void sword intention was thoroughly analyzed. All he needed to do was to condense his own breaking void sword intent. Based on these, Li Yuanba moved his body for the first time in 40 days. And he stretched out the index finger of his right hand. A point of sword intent appeared on his index finger. This sword intent was extremely weak. But there was a smile on his face. Because although this sword intention is weak, it is the two breaking sword intention in its original state. He has mastered the breaking void sword intention as long as he keeps condensing the chain. This breaking void sword intent can continue to strengthen. Of course, with his realm in the early stage of Yuanying. No matter how he condenses the two breaking sword intent, its power will only be at the level of the sword in the early stage of Yuanying. The compatibility between the void breaking sword intent and the sword intent climbing into the sky is much higher than the Ji Yang sword intent. After truly mastering his own void breaking sword intention, he felt it the difference. Ji Yang sword intent was something he understood from Tai Chi Taoism and has little to do with sword intention Chong Shao Ju. Broken Void Sword Intent is different. This is the core inherited sword intent of the Jian family of Sword Intent Chengxiao Pavilion. That is, Jian Wuwei was living outside at first. Otherwise, the sword intent that Jian Wuwei cultivated should also be like this. Broken Void Sword Intent. The reason why Jian Lao did not guide Jian Wuwei, but started with Li Yuanba first, was because the most important thing for Jian Wuwei at the moment was to restore the body's origin and make up for the previous shortcomings. 
This broken void sword intent is actually an assessment of Li Yuanba by Jian Lao. Whether to accept Li Yuanba's entry into the Jian family lineage, Li Yuanba didn't know these things. He kept waving the index finger of his right hand in the void. Even in its weakest state, the two breaking sword intent had an all powerful and terrifying aura. Sure enough, my previous training was still biased. This is the sword intention that an invincible sword cultivator should master, he murmured to himself. The legendary sword cultivator is a being who can defeat all kinds of magic with one sword. Although he has seen many sword intentions, no matter which kind of sword intention can achieve the effect of breaking through spells, it is still far from what he imagined to be able to break through all spells with one sword. Whether it is the Heavenly Thunder Sword Intent or the Jiang Sword Intent, they are both swords that have reached the ultimate in a certain aspect. When encountering the same extreme attack, it is hard to say whether it can still break through all means with one sword. But the breaking void sword intention is different. This is the real sword that breaks all kinds of magic. The breaking void sword intent can even break through the void, let alone spells. This does not mean that Li Yuanba will give up the Jiang sword intent. Although the Jiang sword intent is not very consistent with the sword intention Chong Shao Ju, it is extremely consistent with his Tai Chi Dao body. Sword cultivators are not only able to master one kind of sword intent. This breaking void sword intent is the second sword intent that he masters. When Li Yuanba condensed the breaking void sword intent, the sword intention Chong Shao technique in his body had a faint sword intent in the rune dagger, which was the germination of the breaking void sword intent. This sprout of broken void sword intention will continue to grow as his power of broken void sword intent increases and will eventually form a line with the Jiang in the Sword Intention Chong Shao Technique Rune Dagger Sword Intent is the same as Broken Void Sword Intent No wonder practicing the Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju will form the Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju Rune Dagger in Yuan Ying's body The biggest advantage of this form is that it can continuously replenish various sword intentions It is not easy for ordinary Yuan Ying monks to add a technique rune to the Yuan Ying body It requires a huge price consumes a lot of time and energy, and requires understanding the technique to a very deep level. It is much simpler to practice the sword intention climbing into the sky technique. Every time a new sword intention is perceived, it will be synchronized in the rune dagger in Yuan Ying's body.